Oh man, let's see. I'm pretty nervous, dude. I'm extremely nervous, actually. You wanna know why? Uh, cause I'm not the one getting interviewed today. What layout am I even using? We can use this. I was about to say, dude, why is it so blurry? What the fuck happened? It's an um, artistic choice. As a matter of fact, I'm not ready yet. I wonder if that stream actually started at 11 a.m. We about to figure out. I don't even have the page open yet. I opened it last night. They didn't have a starting soon thing, so I was like, okay then. I'll be back eventually. The side scrollers. I'm gonna just do it now. Let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure that this stuff not full screen. Yeah, it's not full screen. And it's blurry. Look. It was an artistic choice. Darks Fidel interview. 762 waiting. Yo. I thought this shit was gonna get like 400 views max. They got a thousand people waiting. It's over. The trolls have lost again. And then they got him doing a lip thing. He's dead ass doing a lip thing and a thumbnail. This is a thumbnail like fucking like Shinko would make this thumbnail. No, no. To catch a pay pig. Super crazy. Super crazy would make that thumbnail. Like Drake. Red Bull just resubbed for 32 months. Big ups to such an emotional, tremendous event. I'm going to uh, illegally restream this on YouTube with no commentary wow i'm such a cool guy on my other youtube channel why my other youtube channel i don't know it's incognito it's the extra special the extra special hot out restream ah yes a underscore pepsi oh, fuck i gotta get my stream key to the sub to sub the yemp welcome to the upper room They did just start their thing. So that's good. I didn't even tweet my stream out yet. No. I'm doing all the stuff right now that you never see me do. I'm doing it right now behind the scenes. I wonder if Dinga started a stream yet. I'll show you who's naughty and who's not. Thanks for fucking up my typing, Gix. I got this mobile app that you can read chat scene easily. So if I like just wake up or if it's the middle of the night or if I'm using the bathroom or anything else, I just check that app and scroll across every name and see who live. And even if they're not live, I can see people in that chat talking. So I scroll all the way over to Dingus and I see fucking Eagles and Eddie B in his chat talking. I go to his chat, he's not even live. So they're bullying him already. They're literally bullying him already. Oh man. I gotta do like two more things. No. Look at these dudes. They're already there. Fucking professional bastards. Ah, yes. Hello, Craig. And other guy not named Craig. Whoa. Gotta love me, big purple eyes, I'm very cuddly, especially when I hit my daddy with a frying pan. Bonk. Bonk. Jump on the bed, hit my daddy on the head, run around the house, cause he tells me not to hit the bed. 
Adorist has just resubbed for 10 months. I love you, Tenon. Less than three. It's a fake message. It's probably a typo. Everybody uh, be quiet. The stream technically didn't start yet. Just pretend I'm starting late. What am I hearing? Craig? But I got like a thousand views, no cap. It goes on today. With that said, uh, today Let's see what it's saying again. Yeah. Yeah, he's hanging. <laughs> Before we get to our our guest today, uh, I want to seven twenty p. Coming up. On one minute man is DSP. He primes the tip jar. Ask him about one minute man. Folks coming today. Hopefully you guys. Uh, Somebody super chat button and uh, join us because we are a uh, show. We go every Monday. I'm not subscribing. Central Standard Time. Uh, I'm not gonna talk today. But what if I did? Pretend I'm talking now. A place where common sense reigns supreme. Uh, something that is very hard to find in the gaming industry. Uh, but we do have some great guests coming up. Obviously today we have uh, Dark Side Phil. You guys uh, want to hit the subscribe button and uh, join us because we are a uh, show. We go every Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, the whole idea of side scrollers is it's meant to be a breath of fresh air. It's meant to be a place. Believe it or not, sense rain this is regular water. Uh, something that is very hard. To what a statement. In the industry. Common uh, sense is supreme in our community. Awesome. So therefore, you should join. Have, uh, ah, yes. He'll be joining us very, very shortly. Ah, yes. So Mark the Cyborg joining us. To please hit up the, hit the Hello, man on the internet and uh, journalism is quickly Oliveira, 90, just morphed into that um you know I, i've talked about how um, i i have this degree in journalism that i got 20 years ago and i haven't used it and uh, there's a reason why i didn't go into that field it's because it sucks and uh, journalism is is just just trash bag of an industry it's it's just a huge business we can talk about that all day long but, um, okay, okay. It, it has nothing to do with, with your abilities as a journalist. Okay. <laughs> well, I, but I would like to point out that I am no, I am no journalist. It's no them. Journalist. I mean, uh, I think that's, that's these the I, aspiring journalists. I am not a journalist by any by any uh, way, shape, and form. I don't know what that means, Craig. Today, we know there's a lot of questions. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm just being an asshole. Concerns, and we're gonna celebratory uh, bubble blow. Bro, they got like fucking 50 million. This shit crazy. I didn't know DSP was this popular. For everyone to uh, feel as good as you can possibly feel, which is next to impossible. This is like when he played Elden Ring last year and he had a thousand views and he said, Welcome home. When he played Grand Theft Auto with a thousand views, I was like, Yo, DSP, this popular still? And then never nobody showed up the next day. Established, established. Um, but with all that said, we're going to go today and I'm looking forward to uh, diving in deep. And, ah, yes. So I guess with all that said, let's get into this. I'm Hello, Craig. Welcome to the stream. No, no. I'm fucking great. See, this is kind of a hot opening for me. I'm expecting 30 minute pre-stream. I spawn, I die, thugs on the flow. I play music for 20 minutes before the 30 minute pre-stream. And then we have, don't, 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 don't. Uh, I'm pretending it's a different song. It's like a cowboy theme. Hello, welcome to DSP Gaming. Let's have fun. But uh, these dudes, they're actually too professional for me. That's what those fucking journalists do. I'm gonna rewind. Put dramatic, dramatic effect, uh, dramedy and comedy. Obviously. You are constantly uh, nagged. nagged. Subscription, subscription, subscribe, subscribe. Those fucking, fucking subscriptions, fucking emos, shit. Subscribe, subscribe. Oh my god, dude. Speaking of subscribe, subscribe. I got like a billion shout outs I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do this really fast and say this really fast. Every sub and resub during this stream. DSP, shut up. Every resub and sub. DSP, shut up. Every sub and resub during the stream. I am eating one bean boozle. Oh, fuck. I should have started the YouTube thing. Help. Oh, yeah, I did. The YouTube people watching on the raw, the raw archive on mine, they're fucking loving it. I fucked up. I hate YouTube. It was literally live, but not. Okay, now it worked. The YouTube re restream like dance. Like I say, I'm really good at doing everything. Okay, I'm eating one bean boozle per 
resub and give sub. One spicy one on one nasty one. This is to keep myself um, active and interactive. And I'm also counting, counting DSP snarts. Every 10 snarts, I'm taking a shot. Maybe not immediately because it's like 2 a.m. or something, but uh, it's going to happen. You'll see. I'm going to write it down. Uh, okay. We got Mob Mama, The Prime, Sniff Burnett, to get this up. Pepsi Addict, to get this up. Alpha Lee TV, get this up. Bego, 32 months. Uh, big up, such an emotional, tremendous event. I agree. Pepsi Addict, the two give us ups. Uh, Adorastus, the tier one. 10 months with the I love you tenant message. This dude way too nice. Jeff Oliver, tier two. Two months in a row. 40 months total. Yes. <laughs> what an amazing event, ladies and gentlemen. Steph Burnett, give us up. To the great tournament. Black Mage, uh, 100 bits. Uh, be my cringe shield, mysterious black man. You got, you got dingus for that. And WWE Wiser. The 32 months. All right. It's fucking. I might as well watch it full screen now. Troll opening. Troll opening. Technical difficulties. Yes. And he's trying to do the troll opening. He's going to say something like, uh, they fucking stupid idiot morons. Oh. Ah, it's even funnier. Oh, my God. It's even funnier. Oh, it's quiet as fuck. Okay, that game. <laughs> we have the troll opening. Everybody, listen. Phil, the camera's on now. It's so fucking loud for me. You guys actually did it. I'm on we did what? I'm on the you show. did it. Yeah, I got my first Wait, meet. Oh, okay. you here? Listen, listen. listen. You guys I can't hear you. Run. I can't hear you. Hello? I'm just joking. I can hear you. Uh, oh. you, got, <laughs> okay. you nice. guys have had a good run. You got me with that one. I ain't gonna lie. I've watched every episode. It's a great show. However, you made the big mistake of having me on your show. As of today, March 16th, you guys are officially canceled. I'm sorry. Troll opening. It's over. Nah, you can't cancel something that doesn't go. care to be canceled, and we don't really care to be canceled. DSP said the same thing. We're sponsored. We're sponsored by the the people out there, so we're good. Yeah, we don't need the cope segment. <laughs> exactly. When you we don't we we could do it out. Oh my god! It's like they wrote this down together. Accidentally said something in the wrong way. It's a lot of relief. You can just be honest with your audience, and that's something that I love about. I hate how you know DSP voice well, could sound this, better. Uh, He's like uh, behind uh, everybody and uh, foggy. I think this is going to be uh, a really telling. Um, you know. Hour, two hours, whatever it may be, three hours, space. Six, six days, hand whoever, however long it may be. Um, so I, I was told pretty much after we after we announced this uh, that you were coming on the show. I was told that let me. I gotta check you something. Should not come on. I was told not to interview you. Why do you think that is? Holy guacamole! I mean, considering the fact that the name of the show is you know. Possibly the, the most hated guy on the internet. Uh, I don't think it's it's rocket science. You know, people don't like me for various different reasons, and you know they they come at me with so many accusations, so many crazy smart, yeah. conspiracy theories, and I'm just a small time guy trying to make content on the internet and, and and make a living doing it and loving the interaction I have with my little audience. Um, I don't know why this is so funny to me hearing them do it to people like, like, about me, it's, it's like they're funny. not just listening to a stream; they're talking to them. Just exacerbates worse. Um, <sighs> So why have me on a show when people feel like all I'm going to do is not answer the questions you're going to ask me, not provide any additional information? Sorry, he's going to be said, you know, a normal in a little while. Be here for a fluff piece or something. Like, you guys are going to kiss my butt for two hours or so. I don't think so. I think this is an opportunity for me to come on a show and be honest, transparent as much as I can. Again, I've already said this up front. I got to protect my family. I got to protect my business. Oh my God, it's buzzword. Ridiculous personal information about uh, any of that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the reason that I feel this interview will be different from what they're expecting is because I am. Oh, yeah, it's fucked up. On my streams, I try to curtail the nonsense. My viewers are not there to hear me talk. You don't have a video on this end. They're not there to hear it talk about. Oh my God. Accusations of spending a hundred. Accusations. Game, 
or how I groomed someone in the past. This is you read the questions ahead of time. They're just there to listen to gameplay. They want to see me play a video game. Just saying such shit. Show. And how I groomed guys, someone in the past. Entertaining the trolls. Why is he doing it? What does that mean? Now, you gotta brush the hair. Will be an opportunity for me to finally open up about all these topics. Nothing. Oh, man, man, man. Yeah, if I have this full screen, it's fucked up. Every single thing. Anyone wants on, to ask? Uh, don't know how much I can talk about. Free again. YouTube There's restream, I think. Everything, but Illegal things. And, like uh, this stream right now. This will be the focal point from now on. You want answers to all the drama? Watch Side Scrollers from March 16, 2023. Phil addressed it. And if you don't believe him, that's okay. It's everyone's subjective ability to judge whether or not someone's being truthful or not. Right? It's just ridiculous, so man. You can't make someone believe you, but at least we'll have one situation where I sat down, I answered every question that you threw at me. And even it's if you heart. don't ask certain questions, I'm probably going to bring up topics that I know so, people want answers to. So that way it's all out there. And then we can just move on. I don't want to have this crap on my content anymore. I just want to move on with my community and, and breathe a sigh of relief after today. And I'm hoping that some closure will come out of this. So and he takes a sip off the off and the checks the data. About whatever, whatever we want to talk about, um, which is great. Um, I don't. Okay. Okay. I, I feel I feel good about that. And I think that's one of the things that, once again, there's going to be things that oh, we're going to talk about that I feel, man, man, man. Is, as long as you're honest, and we're, we're going to push you on things, Phil. You need to understand. Hey, we'll push you uh -oh. in, And I think, uh -oh. you know, the one thing I've said over and uh -oh. over again is, is I feel that I'm a fair uh -oh. interviewer, a fair interviewer to myself, fair interviewer oh, yes, to the person interviewing, and fair, fair to the audience. And I'm going to creatively uh, crop this. mind as we go along, along here. So, like I always do. I guess could I, uh, could I very briefly just make one statement? No, sure. Yeah. It's Tevin's well, fault. I want to publicly apologize to, to you Tevin. guys, to your other hosts, to the oh. G2s, and anyone else who likes the G2s. The past two weeks, you guys big ups the G2s because of me. I never intended for that. I wonder what uh, hand sign it have. Happened and it happened. I don't control this black cloud that follows me around the internet as much as I try, but I still. I, don't, I wish I could control these people that don't like me openly. You just Interesting. Have me on your show as a regular guest. Why you repeat and weird shit, DSP? Two weeks of drama and nonsense. I'm hoping this again will put some closure to it as well. It's not just about me. Hearing pig noses like this is something else. Say, okay, we did it. We had the interview, and can we get back to normality? I love your show. I am a long time fan. I wish you could see that stupid attack. chat easier. Everything you guys were putting out. As a matter of fact, before YouTube was even pull it up on uh, I, I've watched the every YouTube of your thing show since you rebooted it. I, I, I I'm so upset. Hello, and Joe. This has become about me somehow, and I'm done with it. Like, that's why I'm, I, I want to apologize to everyone. Never intended, and I hope that we can move on from it today. Bruh. So, Phil, you just killed our show by giving us an endorsement. Thanks, man. Appreciate go. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're horrible. You guys suck. I hate you. Oh, you're going to ask me terrible questions today. I really hate you guys. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's get into some of these terrible questions. And I think this is this is something that I've heard. Um, Let's see where we start with this today. There, there are a good mix of questions that have been on the internet. There've been questions that I want to know. There's questions that uh, some of your biggest detractors have asked me to ask you. Um, so they're, they're, and I think that's that's important. I want to get all sides of this. Um, so I, I think a, a great a great starting point for here is when you're streaming, Phil. Who who is streaming? Is it Phil or Dark Side Phil? Both. It depends on who asking for money. Well, it depends on. It depends on if he asking for money. It depends on. Okay, what here's the thing. Depends on what time period you're talking about today? What? You're pretty much almost getting 100 percent the real me. Of course, every once in a while, it's funny to over dramatize something that's going on. I have a segment on my podcast called "Old Man Yells at Cloud," where, you know, I, I, I depends on what I'm streaming. It also depends on what time period you're talking about today. You're pretty much almost getting 100% the real me. Of course, every once in a while, it's funny to over dramatize something that's going on. I have a segment on my podcast called Old Man Yells at Cloud, where, you know, I, I, I really ham it up if it's a dumb topic I'm talking about and I over dramatize like I'm so concerned about it. Or Bro, they're mostly DoorDash complaints, though. Playing a game that really. And he did that because other people said it. This literally is like yeah. shit everybody else said when they made fun of him. Oh, he's like an old man talking to the clouds. He just steals it. But that's kind of my shtick. That's always been yeah. his shtick. Actual fans know that. But his shtick was that he was an old man yelling at the clouds. Bro, he started streaming when he was 27. As if you have never playing games. Over the past 15 years that I've been Big ups, Curse Jobbies. You would have seen. Welcome to the DSP interview. But. This fucking channel got 1,300 views right now, bro. I used to be. You know, when you've made content for 15 years, you go through several different stages and evolutions. And 
you know, when I started. Greg's camera is wild. He's got like a filter on or something. It was about like an extra beauty filter. It was about being dramatic. It was and sometimes he lean in and look like he looked directly in the camera. I feel say in his playthrough. You get the Instagram eyes. I can't believe he said that. Um, but what happens is over time, things change, you know, and there was really, uh, how can I say, uh, almost like a, an epiphany to me. In 2017, a lot of different things changed in my life. I had a lot of things that kind of rebooted. And did he get a new PC then? No, he didn't actually. Being someone who focused on on demand content, you know, videos that you would digest and watch offline versus being an interactive. What year again? In 2017, a lot of things okay. changed in my life. So he went to Twitch in 2017. In 2017, we discovered bits. Business wise, one of the things that rebooted was I went from being someone who focused on on demand content, you know, videos that you would digest and watch offline versus being an interactive you online. You would digest. Streamer. And when I became an interactive online streamer, Bruh. I realized, wow, wait a minute. I've been got a bag I want it. Time because, like, for, you know, eight plus years, I've just been talking to a camera and pretending like I'm the only one in the room. I have an audience live watching me. What the hell am I doing? I'm ignoring them. And once now, I... to be semantic guy, he told us his less plays were like a person being on the couch with you. So how was it like you was by yourself? Started having an interactive conversation yeah, with my audience. Me looking at his chat is irrelevant because I'm already ten minutes behind, five minutes behind. Conversation, no. Live, uh, reaction no. I'm doing on stream, and so I realized I don't have to be a character anymore. I could just be me. I could just talk with these people and be honest and, and about my feelings about games or whatever. And again, yes, every once in a while there's an exaggeration. Absolutely. But that's part of the fun of it all. You know, we're not all just here to be Mr. Serious all day. How boring would that be? But at the same time, yeah, today I would say I'm a lot more laid back of a person. And I'm Let's do hate on people for basically having fun. They act like a fucking clown. They ham it up. They overact. I'm not doing that. Everyone wants to But when he overreact, he's having fun. Man, have fun with your wife. For a little rise, but for the most part, I would say what you see today in my content is is more authentic than it used to be. So, so man, that so answer was so annoying. That quick first question, I, I'm right so now, mad. It didn't suck, but it's DSP answering yes it. No, again, so everything is cool, yes and no, and mixed bags and fence well, sits. Like, and he's like, like okay, we'll, what we'll the fuck is the answer then? There are times that I, you know, I'm over the top. He just answered, and he's like, what the fuck is the answer? What does it mean? What does that mean, really? And why would you, you know, if there those fucking the custom emails changed, and shit. Right? Uh, there was a there was a point. You you are correct in saying that uh, back in the we're, we're not gonna get to the questions, know, uh, dude. The, you know, we're not gonna get to the questions. Prominence. There was, you know, you, you took your personality and you. Every question is gonna be like this. We already lost. Exponentially, make it a little more, a little more over the top. But he's the checking the data. Has changed to authenticity. People want to get to know, and and I don't disagree with you there. But when you when you mix up, oh my and you're, it's almost Lord. like you're sending mixed signals oh, yes. to your What's audience. Happening? And most people, no. they they haven't watched you for 15 years. You know the idea, the idea of saying like, "Hey, I I've been uh, I've been on the internet for 15 years. You should know you should know how I act." But the reality is is that most people see you already know how I glow clips, uh, through Twitter or how it go on me, and they they don't know you. So regardless of how long you've been on the internet, I mean, I, I've been doing this you like forever, the hair and the vast, 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 vast majority of people watching right now have no idea who he's I giving am. them the head, not so, a gave cat. Uh, you know, you treat every viewer like a, like a potential new viewer. So <laughs> I don't know, kind of walk me through that. Because the interview I, I nod. I think that's kind of, you know, he jamming, he like, tab jamming. An example of, of what what DSP is versus Phil. Sure. Uh, right, right now. He's still answering this question. Fallen Dynasty. Oh my God! It's one of these games. So you shit on the game because you being a fucking ham. He's being a ham. Software style game like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or Elden Ring. It's ultra. When he say that, when he said the game sucks for three hours straight, right? In my opinion, this is this in character? Not very good. A lot of people disagree with me. They love this game. Okay, I don't like it. I think that it, it's a cheap knockoff. I feel like it's very wonky. It's not polished. He's answering this technically. In my content. But is he in character? Point, if I'm running through a stage and I get, oh, instant kill, cheap death, I freak out. Oh, you son of a bitch. This game sucks ass. It's the worst game ever. The game doesn't. Bro, he like hundreds downed on That's saying the game sucked. Feel over the top persona kind of coming through. I could just sit here and say nothing and be like, oh, that sucks. This, the, this, is, this dude don't even know how his own fucking life work, bro. Yeah, when I say a game bad, it's my fucking persona. What? I don't hate the game. I don't hate the game devs. Of course I don't. You know, they tried to make a good game. I, I, I think it's decent. I don't think it's great. But, you know, you, you, you go over the top every once in a while. Now, just like but, you but say, is that just something that Phil would do also? 
Right. Well, uh, well Phil, so are you trying to be like Dr. Disrespect now, DSP, or what? Okay, the game killed me. It's a cheap deck. Man. I really think that I'm that upset about it. It's a game. Yeah. Game, you know, it's a big deal. Oh, Everyone gets me. triggered by games. I mean, I get, I get tri- exactly. And I, I, when I watch DSP Rage at games and make fun of it, I don't think it's him fucking putting on a. No, 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 no. No. I got to pause. I got to loudly disagree. So he's saying a lot of people put on a filter, right? They put on a filter and let me guess, they nerf themselves or do they put on a filter and act extra? I'm going to figure out. Why? Because they're trying to be marketable, right? They're trying oh, to say, so they're nerfing themselves. So, uh, yeah, couldn't you call it a filter if you act extra too? Like the filter is you being nice and you normally like fucking mean. Like if I was nice when I streamed, I wish I could be nice to people when I streamed. But that could be a filter, right? He don't want to see it that way. Like, what if his filter is him raging at games? His rage filter. Man, this shit fucking stupid. Because they don't want truth. Arms crossed. They want Mr. Marketable. Arms crossed. When I say things like, oh, uh, this game I really don't like because this is unfair. Oh, what a fucking answer, man. Of course not. You know, but. You know, but, but, but Phil, but, but Phil, hold on. Like, you, do you think that they're really. Do you think that those game companies are, are like looking to establish a relationship with like like they're not? I mean, the, the reality is is that these companies are looking for streamers who, who stream this is true. 5,000, 10,000 people Correct. as opposed as opposed to, you know, a couple hundred. I don't know and, about that part. Right. I disagree but, with him on that. Craig don't know what you're talking about. He being a boomer. Whether it's you saying or or or, or DSP saying it. But they don't give uh, a fuck about him saying that game suck. I, I don't I think that if people but what if they watching, did? to see those over yeah, the top reactions. I think they were watching for that. I can't speak for everybody. Ago. And I, and I really mean two that, right? like I, just next to so each other. I had a character named Evil Craig, right? I, and Evil, Evil Craig, Craig was meant to be the essence. Evil Craig was like Isaac Heimler. Of, of just the internet troll, right? Evil Craig. Like, 10 episodes, 12 episodes, whatever it may be. Like dark face, and death face. And I stopped face. doing it because I realized that- Death note. That I was, I was, um, growing an audience of people that were negative and trolls right I really wish and I it's funny it was funny and it was so, my so silly but stream thing by, so don't by have starting video. with the idea of saying like look i'm gonna overreact big i think there's there's two prongs to this okay question. now i wish Number i had one, a video if people Again, are really watching to see your over-the-top reactions don't you think don't, they'd be making this full of screen instead of instead of other clips that they were making yeah. and those would be going viral and number two if if you're really not enjoying the but, game why 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 play it why play it in the first place? That's a great game. That's love. It's actually been but, but, but start, with, start with number one though. Start with number one. Like why if if people were watching to see your over the top angry reactions, don't you think they'd be clipping those as opposed to clipping other things? No, they clip them all. In truth, yes, I don't know what they clip. Because you, okay. I have so much stuff on the internet about me that I don't really watch a lot of it. You don't watch your own stuff? From my you hear about what you upload technically secondhand? No, I, I, I what? understand what you're saying, totally. I don't understand what you're saying. Case in point with Wolong, there's totally some people who are... DSP really telling us that he basically avoid his own content because his own content is people... Like, the troll content is his own content, right? But it's just like against him. There are people... I've told my audience, I don't like this game. I would uh, like to move on. This kind of does... My move audience... Half. He also told his audience they got to keep paying to see the game. He's been extremely transparent about that. I feel like if I'm going to play a FromSoft game, why don't we just do a second run of Elden Ring, a new game plus run? And a lot of people are down for that. And others are like, no, Phil, we like seeing you rage. This has been a part of your shtick for 15 years. This they didn't say that. He didn't even tell us people say that. More attendance on my Wolong streams, and I'm getting more, honestly, more support on my Wolong stream. Yeah, I like this part. They want to see that rage come out of me as opposed to me playing a bunch of games where I'm more laid back. And what about the part where he tell I people over and over and over and over and over That's that he won't play the game anymore if you don't get any support? But you will always get a different group of people. That, that I'm not going to play the clips. Is one of the reasons why, why can't I get this to fucking show on the screen? I have different audiences. I have one audience that'll do that. watch me be the real Phil. No, my work. Relaxed Phil. I just sit back. The relaxed I'm Phil. I'm not going to rage. The game's, you know, nothing really too challenging, uh, right? I just, just, no, I'm playing a. a I can even lean back. I'm standing right up. Now. That's exactly what that playthrough is. It's relaxing, right? But then when I play Wolong, now it's time for that old Dark Side Phil to come back out. And now a whole new audience shows up. It's funny because you'll watch one of my streams, you'll say, well, Phil gets around 200 to 400 viewers a stream. That's a but in reality, when okay. You my metrics on YouTube or my analytics, two hundred to four hundred. What a range! Like thousands of different people, 
One stream gets 200 viewers, the next stream gets 300. Those are 500 different you people. You got a bag I want. people are coming for different I kinds of content. I keep a bad woman. When you've been around as long as me, you realize you get people from all I'm over the world for different reasons. Um, if I were to but are they be, sticking? Uh, no, because, because because what about them you know, thousand people from Elder Ring? What about them thousand people from San Andreas? That's, that's Welcome actually home. Bad for the algorithm. That's bad. You you want hundred fucking eighty views streaming a night, and uh, you know you have these these new people coming in because they want to see a new game, not necessarily because they want to see you, right? What? They're interested in the game, not necessarily you. If you're playing a game that's do you not know who you're talking to, to? or something along those lines. Or something of the sort. Uh, again, yes and no. I would say back in the day that was the case. Like new releases, I would get ginormous. Again, yes and no. I actually used to have but Adam's did. Games. This is Adam. Used to be one of the more prominent gaming. I'm pointing at my monitor. Over a decade mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. I was in the algorithm. I play a new game. I would see my my attendance double, triple, just because I'm playing a new game. This water tastes extra good today. You know, it's been. And there was some of the things we'll probably talk about today. One of the reasons was that that why that happened. It's wild because. The interview allegedly started, and it's like one question. Hey, it doesn't really matter what. Are I we even on the second yeah, question? Yes, I'll, I'll play a new game. I guess. A bit of a spike. But as for audience retention, yeah, this is the view it question. Really depends on what I'm playing and and who's there for what. Oh my god, it's a mixed bag answer though. It's legit a mixed bag answer. I could sit here and play. Right, you, get, you got your hardcore. You got your hardcore. You can play Tiddly Winks and people will show up, right? Exactly. But right, I do. I I will get an increase when I play a rage inducing game. Or a multiplayer game where you know there's going to be an element of challenge. Rage inducing. Severe, or I can really fail miserably against people online in a competitive setting. People like that. And that's the variety that I bring in. But yeah, I, I, like, I understand what you're saying. It would be great if maybe I was just one kind of content. But I felt one kind of content. playing kind of both sides, it gets you a different audience. You've been playing and both sides a long time, DSP. At least that's what I feel. No like matter what the fucking side are. Tomorrow... If they never made another front game, I'd be side. okay because I still play everything else. I would I'm not okay. be okay with that. <laughs> oh, I would be okay with that. Everybody's so loud compared to him. I rage at them. And I wish they would at least boost his volume on their stream. I absolutely appreciate and love them for what no. they are. Well, clearly you just need to get good. Yo, just, yeah. The one time somebody's streaming and it's not DSP and then people could say turn DSP up and they could actually turn DSP up. He's not being turned up. Yeah. Exactly. I'm a terrible player. He is pretty loud, though, compared well, to a let's, normal let's, let's DSP stream. Real quick. So, so that's so good, at least. You early on had this perception of the king of hate. That was something that you that you marketed, you created, or... I am whatever, watching right? Phil watch is, TV was, right know, now. The king of hate. You had the king of Wait hate .com and all that stuff. And he now scared you scared me with that message. Feel, right? But do you feel that... King of hate question? Um, do you feel that that still follows you around? This idea of, of built around... Like, look... James when I made the persona video, King of Hate, a character. people know that there's the angry video game nerd and then there's the character. But your perception is that there's this, there's this. I got to start eating some beans some dude. around you. This negative. So I don't get too uh, right? Do you think that that lost in the to the point to where, um, you know, regardless of if they're coming to watch you, Phil or DSP, that um, that that is going to be tough. A, been a negative detractor for you. This is the whole hate moniker. Absolutely. Um, and it, of course, There's so many so negative many names, names in the chat. Phil holding cat hostage, her family can't find is a username. It ignores the LED strips or it gets to spray again is a name. We got some fucking Carls and reforms and shit in the chat. Something about Planet Jeff wife in the chat. Bunch of people sending super chats that are gonna get raised like five hours enough. I used to be a competitive Street Fighter player back in the 2000s. Oh boy. And Back then, it was a, a really weird situation because Street Fighter wasn't big like it is today. I didn't even listen Street to the song. Downturn, there were no new fighting games out. So the way to get attention on... Wait, he didn't snort at all either, huh? Either, 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 either. See, me counting snorts is a fail. I'm glad I didn't think about it. That shit did. The snort counts dead. They're not happening during this. So let's fast forward, right? We This has been well established. This is a decade ago. Let's talk about today, though. Like, do you feel that... Do you feel that you this, this is on around? Do you feel that people? Do you, th do you think that the King of Hate moniker is still relevant? Today it is not. It was because when I started, my whole my, the meaning behind it is when people hate on you, you don't use that to become a victim. You don't use that to crawl into a ball and hide in your corner and oh, I'm defeated. People don't like me anymore, so I quit. Instead, you use that as a way to motivate yourself to do better. For example, when people say get the bag, get the bag, get the bag, correct. So tough. Ah, you say I can't do it. You're hating on me. Say I'm a bad gamer. I'm going to beat that game just because you said I couldn't, right? You say I'm, I'm a bad content creator. I'm this. I'm going to fail. I'm going to... No, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to use that hate around me 
and mo I'm going to be the king of it. I'm going to motivate myself with all that hate. But he factually didn't do this. You see where he was going and he didn't go there? I want you to figure out where he was trying uh, to go. You say I can't do it. You're hating on me. Say I'm a bad gamer. I'm going to beat that game just because you said I couldn't. You say I'm bad at games. I'm going to beat the game. Right? You right? Say I'm, I'm Correct? A bad content creator. You say I'm a bad content creator. I'm this. I'm going to fail. I'm going to. I'm going to fail. No. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to use the hate around me to edit videos and make good good content and be a nice guy and make layouts and make my own emotes and commission stuff and not get it for free, right? And mo I'm going to be the king of it. I'm gonna oh, no. He's going to be the king of hate. He's going to be the king of hate. So you're telling me bad at games is going to beat the game? You tell him he's a bad content creator and he can't be a good one? He's going to become the king of hate motivate myself with all that hate to be a successful he can't use the hate to I become good at making content you don't even want to think about it you want to be successful ah yes and that's why i have so many haters on the internet i use that to fuel myself every day to come back and say no i'm gonna i used to have to fuel myself every day idiots say on the internet about me um but it follows me Big ups, right because welcome to the dsp interview not that phil owns the hate against him and motivate i'm a few minutes behind He's a hateful person. Take a look at that thing he said 10, 15 years ago. That racial joke he made. That ridiculous. I'm also running a free restream on YouTube. That's what the king of hate is. And then they'll say, right oh, now. have a website, thekingofhate.com. And then they'll reference that stuff and say that I'm a, a bigot or, oh. I'm a, you know, I'm a racist or I'm a sexist. What about when DSP called his own view was bigots? Probably saying it right now in chat. Like it's, it means so much to call him a bigot because of something he said that was bigoted. But people saying his wig was a woman's wig made them bigger. They need triple okay, down on that shit. Well, then let's let's. He act like he never said it though. It was it's like a non-event. Yeah, go, go but you call him a bigot 15 years ago. He gonna remember for 20. Hate mountain and hey, this dude talking. King of hate. Don't don't you think? Hello, it, Beanie Man. Inviting people to try to take you down. You know, you you said that you made that your thing in the Street Fighter world, and then as time went on in the YouTube realm, that's what. You, you were, got a bag I on. guess, made your 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 position on the internet. No, you're the king of hate. So like, I you can almost expect people to come back at you and, and try to use that same kind of vibe. And you know, I I've I seen speak truth. plenty of clips of, of pure fat shit throughout the the past. Watch me weeks. in a booth. I didn't, I didn't know who you were, right? So me. I I'm, I came from the I'm bottom. No slides in my pocket. Some some something. And uh, oh, you know, I was at this rock shit. I was at the I've seen the way sometimes that you, I, and of course, this is what people share, right? So what I've seen is can't even pretend another lyrics to that. Kind of letting it get the best of you in some. And I know the lyrics to Sean and Milan songs. That almost get under your skin, where I mean, oh, if, yeah. if you want to be that person on the internet, you kind of have to be able to take well, it. Brian, at. um, I, I just I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's almost like you kind of asked for it. By oh, what the king of hate and making that your thing. It kind of was like, all right. Correct. Well, That's why I got rid of that moniker. I am now known as DSP Reacts. 100% agree with you. Adam. Go fuck yourself, DSP. But I because you should get mad at him for victim blaming you. When I started, he literally victim blamed you. No successful. He said you brought it on yourself. Living, doing it the way that I you showed up with the vest and the hat on. You brought it on yourself. A history lesson. Look at what Phil has done, and don't do it. Right? Look at all the mistakes Phil just I made. I thought he was successful and he had a fun community, though. Correct. On YouTube. Don't do what that guy did. And he's been doing this 15 years and he outlasted everybody. Correct? I, I, I was like, I'm just going to roll with what I do in Street Fighter. It worked there. Why not do it on YouTube? Never happened. I wasn't doing it for a living. It was my hobby. I had a 9 to 5 job. And this was something I came home and did two, three hours a night. I would pump out some gameplay. I never took it seriously. I never thought it would be my job or anything. So I was the king of, hey, I just rolled that moniker over to YouTube. Now, fast forward two and a half years after I started on YouTube, I lose my job. Oh, crap. What am I going to do? Can I monitor? Call myself the king of hate and tell people to click on ads off that column slurs. Imagine doing a face reveal and calling people the F, the F slur. What do I do? You know, I, how could you show your face that you've already established? And that's what you're was wild enough. And well, so it's uh, been rough. It's been rough. I'll, I'll tell you this. Two years ago, well, excuse me, about a year and a half ago, I had, I, I had a revelation. I was like, I have to move on from my past in any way that I can. I have to try. Remember that pre-stream? This is something that people. When he said he had an announcement and he booted up and talked about how he was getting rid of the King of Hate HD. That was a really fun pre-stream. It was so dramatic. On your website. Do you know that? Look at all these things that he did. And they would link to things little one. From 20 years ago. Right. It's something I did today. 
And well, they would say, he's okay. the king of hate. So I said, I have to stop this. I have to get rid of the website, rebrand myself. And now that's why I, I'm, I do not live by that mantra anymore. I don't even mention it. You know? It wasn't, um, yeah. what whatever. Who cares? What have you done, Phil? What do you live by? He's checking the data so much. Have you, have you changed the look of your You're streams? Not even live. Have you changed your production value? Did you take a break? Why Did didn't say, DSP look, stream I'm, this I'm at the same time, right? Come back, but, but I, I need time to... Kind of like I get it, and but like, he, did you, you know, because you're still going know. under the, it's the same, it's still the same channel, still DS. Oh, marked one here. They were probably at all time. Like, um, what Sorry, if, I can't read the chat. To, to it's moving too fast. Of that. I mean, it, it's been a consistent I gotta fix some water, some, the entire some time of, right. of Phil, Phil, Phil. So what have you done to change that? Because it, it sounds like you're saying, well, you know, what was me? But ultimately it comes down to your actions. Victim yeah, mentality. Yeah. If you were to watch my content, you take know, a sip. Five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, hell. You made sex jokes aimed at women, content, and now you make them aimed at men. You would see a difference. Like, for example, look how everything looks. You could at least be by DSP, oh, damn. At least have by commentary. Like I thought you were an ally. You know, I, but, you know, it's because I don't have the know how. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much crowdfunded by my view. Plays the character, check. They, interrupts host, check. Tries to be an example of what I do, check. Blames the trolls for everything, check. Can't stop making racially charged jokes, check. Everything I'm Correct. doing. Let me listen to feedback. Just in the last year, I started re doing React content. I was the biggest critic of React content. I crapped on it constantly, saying it was terrible content. It's the lowest form of content on the internet. I hated it. And then he did that really recently. Like, Phil, what, what and he blames his viewers. Why are you so ignorant, Phil? Open up and be a, a more why guy about all this crap. If you don't want, you got to be more laid back, bro. You got to listen. And I started listening. I started doing different kinds of content. I changed my setup. I'm trying to change the- He legit makes shit up that people said. The problem is- So it often. It matter if I went away for two months and rebooted my channel and renamed it or whatever. There is such an overwhelming stigma against me on the internet. Um, Big up Sneed Feed, the things, one bit earlier. Sniff Britta that gets up no to go, Captain do, Two no how much I change. Uh, Sneed Feed, the one bit, Silver Key. The five gift the subs. Keep rolling I will be eating five spicy bean boozles. It sucks. I would love to. Due to these five gift subs. It wouldn't matter. Within uh, VZ, the prime, DSP two months in a row, 28 total. Fooled. It's the same guy. You know, so but I have tried because to. Because VZ, and, and the R999, the one bit. You watch my stairs disgustingly at Phil Burnell. I wish we had a, I should put another DSP on screen. Meaningful content with my viewers, I feel. But the stigma remains. Well, let's 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 talk about something. And Jay Reed's Jr. The Risa Prime, right. two months. Um, and and I think this is like this is important. You said the light bulb went off, you know, about a year ago. You got to change. You, you change your background and stuff. Um, but 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 I want to bring up like there's still the jokes that are made that um, that don't necessarily like they don't I feel like spicy today. beans are and a bad I wanna, idea. I want to play one for you. The nasty really ones might be a better idea. Reaction to this. Okay, spicy. So oh my God, we're gonna play is, clips. Yeah. So you know, you know where this is going, and I, I want to watch oh, this yeah. so so we all understand what's going on here. <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna play clips at all. Oh. <clears throat> all right, boys. Prepare the slave trade. We're selling it right off for profit. You know how much I love you, right? Oh, all the way to the moon. I'm scared to just think about this guy in the middle of that chain. Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle <laughs> and stay with her. I should have made another layout. Wait, can you see him? You can kind of see him. She's worth a lot. DSP's leaning. Ah, uh, not a bad. Yeah, so, so. So what's going on there, man? Like, let's, let's talk about that. Like, how does that, uh, when, when you see far. that. Oh. When, when you see that, how does that make you feel? It was an off-the-cuff joke. Regret that, saying that, like, is that edgy sure. humor? What? Well, first of this all, should, like, I'm just happen to. You, you now seen it. Oh, I DSP. Seen that clip before. Okay. No, is I that haven't. the first time? Okay. Correct. What do you think the joke was there? I'm just curious. What do you think I was trying to joke about? I thought he was... To the slave trade? Okay. That's what it sounded like. So... That's pretty fucked up. Okay. Now, from what reference are you... Are, do you think... Um, how can I say this? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll approach it from the detractor perspective, okay? From the detractor... At first I thought he was now, just I making a human trafficking joke, and I still was like, what the fuck? And then I rewinded and I was like, yo, it was that type of joke? What the detractors mean. Like, it, for, like for me, that would have put me on the detractor side, because it sounds like you were making a joke <laughs> about selling that little girl. It's like, yeah, I would have started making fun of you if I saw this. Like, what did you mean? Oh, no, that that's, it, that's, that's... It would have put him on the detractor that's side. Real. 
But there's a difference between oh, no. it's okay and it's funny. Stop it. The ridiculousness of the situation. See, you just saw that clip completely out of context, correct? You don't know. Yeah, watch the whole playthrough. Right correct. Okay, explain the context then. That sheriff. Beanie dude kind of know it. He is actually orchestrating a situation to try to murder people. He's just going to explain the whole game. His secrets. He's like a dark guy who controls the whole town. And no one knows this. Everything. Everyone thinks the sheriff's a No, okay. Guy. So you, this is being revealed throughout the plot of the game. He's a scumbag. A ton right? of people have streamed this game. The joke is if the joke is this fucking good and this noticeable, right? Why nobody else made the same joke? Nobody else made the slavery joke. But in reality, he's such a scumbag. DSP really is unique. He's the only one making slave trade jokes. People. That's the joke. Now, ah, yes. is it a joke that's acceptable by today's standards? No. 80% of people? Probably not. Oh. I agree with you. Do you think that's a joke? Like, do you think that's a joke acceptable by any standards? Like, like, like pulling like, five bean boozles. No, we fucked up. Troll L. Hell. Okay, we got it. I was trying to joke about. Here, I want to hear. That was a misclick. Between saying that's okay and it's f murder people inside a building. Ridiculous list of the situation. See, you. What were we anyway? Joke. We had Craig um, talking. Side, cause it's okay. Everyone thinks, right? Bad. No. Is it a joke that's acceptable by today's standards? By 80% of people, probably not. I agree with you. Do you think that's a joke? I like, have do you think five things. By any standard, yeah. like, 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 oh, really? I, I don't, I don't even, even a decade. I don't ago. know what flavor spoke. Three decades ago. Three decades like, ago. And, I and think, uh, it's, it's um, like old I just bandage. I want to hear your thoughts on that because I, I think there's edgy content, then there's appropriate content. And we've, think, we've, look, we've all been, we've I all got been pomegranate. edgy content. The first bean was a good one. So. I think so it's, it's dark humor. It's definitely. Yeah, it was definitely some dark humor. The risk game. Okay. Okay. Not to say that I, I've heard much worse. Hey, the SP, if she was white, would she be uh, okay for me available for the same trait? Um, and you know, there's well, things... especially, but especially with 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 what's following you around. This this mm -hmm. the, you know your reputation. Going against so right? much super chess. If you truly out of control. Truly went off in your this head. This is a great so, like, day for everybody change, besides the SP. Think it would be like, well, maybe okay, maybe okay, I should okay. bite my tongue on this one. I may be thinking it. But, but how about I bite my tongue on this? Yes, I 100% agree with you. And it's it's a working process. It's we have a brown bean? It has to happen naturally over time. It's not something that can be a switch that's flipped because... Cappuccino you know, or a, liver and onion. Someone who's done this for 15 years back in the day, that's what people came to watch. It was liver and onion. That they wanted from me. That's what got me popular on YouTube. That kind of ridiculous, <clears throat> unacceptable, over-the-top, dark humor. You can't almost spit the second bean out. Why do I hate the liver and onion flavor so much? I know that. And but the thing is, those jokes still click in my head. I absolutely should. I hate it so much, man. I will tell you that right now. One million percent, you know, but it's a working process. And here's where you have to have some kind of an air of fairness, or at least you have to see the big picture. We got a strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. I've been doing it full time for a job since 2011. I do it six days a week, full time. Six days a week. I'm here. I think it was the go. It was the fish. I have over a hundred thousand videos on the internet. You got a cat, Beanie Man. He's what been petting the cat a whole stream. That, that moment of weakness, that stupid thing that I said. I know, ah, oh, stupid Phil. Why the hell did I make that joke? But once it's out there, it's out there. And all you can do is we got a blue one for it. Say you're gonna do we better. Not to do it and move on. Now there's a reason. We have a white bean today. Okay, this is what birthday March? cake or it's dirty dishwater. And you had to show a clip, Dishwater. one random clip from last summer. You didn't show something I did in the last week, the last month. You showed something from last, the one moment a week. Oh, the trolls bring up stuff from 10 years ago? Stupid on the internet. It gets hyper analyzed, you know, looked in with, with a microscope and blown away. This is what Dark Side Phil is. Have you watched the last five years of content I've put out? There's probably, okay, yes, I'm a human. Bro, you play games. Absolutely. And I'm stupid and I do. Dumb People don't pay attention to the last five years of the this fucking actual president. Like, chill out, bro. Like, real talk, chill out. And if all you knew of Dark Side Phil was that joke, you would hate my guts. You'd be okay, like, what, what if you paid attention to the last five years and then realized this dude's actually still been shit? Like, let's say you pull up on DSP today and enjoy his content and then deep dive. You watch him the last five years. You watch the last five years of DSP somehow within the next three months and you realize, you know what? I think this dude's still bad. Would he say, okay, I agree to disagree? It's fine that you think I'm a fucking piece of shit. Or would he I say that, that you should give him a chance? Child trafficking. What kind of a horrible person thinks child trafficking is? It's like, dude, you just play video games. Context, it's yeah. not as bad, but it's still bad. 
How much chances what? do you want? I don't know. The, con the context that you explained did you checking the data? Better, I'll be honest. That's fine. I agree. Yeah, the context I'm is not, not I'm better. I'm not sure which character you're The eating. context don't help. Like portraying. So you were you were you Beanie dude did not like the slavery the joke. Situation? That's why I did that's why I did like the accent. Yeah. The accent. I, okay. I don't know. I, I I think that like yeah, situation some like accent. That, like, we live in a society that society now where like look, I under, I understand that going into this interview that literally every second of this is going to be analyzed and Adam understands that and you understand that, right? But yeah, they should play the jailbait joke. He you did. Say, there's a camera on you at all times. The suspicious jailbait joke. You know, he was just uh, speaking off the cuff. I, I mean, for somebody who who does this for a living, I just I just feel like you you have to be able to bite your tongue at at some this time. This cat. You need to know better. They're basically you, a part you of the show. Yourself. The, the switch was. Why can't DSP cat act like his? Uh, I understand that I he got a lap totally cat and not a I'm mojito for giving of mistakes. Right. But when there's a pattern of these things uh, that go back Five beans the down. course of, of time, yeah, one, like two, it's no longer a mistake. Three more. It's, it's a, you know, it's a continuation. I feel like I got like so, 15 left to eat. I, 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 I think, look, if you're saying that that the con I, I'm I'm also a big believer in taking people at their work. I got a cappuccino right? one. Uh, up until their actions show different. Um, cappuccino or liver so and onions. You're saying that over the over the course of the last since that joke, you've been pretty squeaky clean, and you and you have awful, made in like nasty jokes chocolate. like that that are that edgy. I guess. I, I I don't. Here's the thing. I don't want to say that because I'm here six days a week. These people about to cry. You know, that's a lot of my life, and I guarantee you, if I say right now, if I say, man, yeah, that was it. Right? Why does the guy on the top left look like an animated oil painting? He 100% got some filter on his OBS. It's very dreamy. The problem is when you are 100% on the internet at all times. He also got that thing in the background that DSP hate on. The arcade shit. I am actively trying to change. What I will. It looks so nice. You could say this is a green screen. You could easily green screen this background. Two, three years to really find a running pattern of me doing really bad jokes like that. Okay, maybe you'll find a few. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a flawed individual. Tutti but fruity you're not or find it as like, like stinky you socks. Say, oh, he loves right, this. You would be challenged. It was actually tutti fruity. The last maybe two, three years to really find a running pattern of me doing really bad jokes like that. Okay, maybe you'll if find he had a running pattern of doing really bad jokes like that, he would have probably got banned for hateful slurs even earlier than he did. And he probably would be streaming on fucking kick right now. Like, what kind of point is he trying to make? I'm definitely a flawed individual. But you're not going to find it as like, like, you wouldn't say, oh, here's four. I don't do it every day. I don't make slave jokes every stream. I know for a fact he's a <laughs> right? You'll find one what kind of point? One time what kind of take? Here, and then they oh, blow Phil. it up on the internet. You just, you just gave so many different people a, a reason to do exactly oh, they, that. Oh, they will. I know that. But the thing is, they do it anyway. It doesn't matter what I say or do. Beanie dude gonna upload his DSP yeah, video tonight. He's gonna make an eight-hour video brain, shitting on him. You know, was was off so that you you made that joke. Like, do you, do you have it in 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 there that it's like thinking like when you said that you were like maybe that was too much or you were just free flowing and that's we just kind of another you. bean, a um, yellow one. Let me put it this way: if I'm streaming. So let's see the juicy pear my head. or booger. And and I feel, oh man, that's probably too much. Today I usually will not say it, usually. It would be maybe an extenuating circumstance or uh, just for a second. Can't a momentary tell. Lapse. I feel like th th what that was was a momentary lapse because I've done it for so long. I get this weird observational humor in my head. Strange flavor. You know, my brain is going a million miles a minute. Is this, this, here's a joke. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. Right. But do you think and, that's observational <laughs> humor, though? Like, that's, I don't, <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not one to, like, the, the, DSPs, uh, DSPs, this is a mini, a mini retcon that, of, that of course, I'm positive for for some reason because I'm messing with OBS, too. He used to always say, like, I don't know, fuck it, five years ago or some shit at this point. I used to always try to go out of my way to make these crazy jokes. And I was like, always oh, trying to think of a joke, but I don't do it anymore. Now I stream and I'm like more laid back and relaxed and I'm interacting and talking with you guys. I don't have to make jokes constantly. You know, I'm doing shout outs, right? Correct. And now he's acting like the constantly trying to make a joke shit is still relevant just because he made an actual slavery joke. Ah, yes. People who make like there are comedians who make jokes and they're edgy and such like that. 
I get a real comedian you studio. Fancy yourself as a comedian? No, like, because you're telling you're telling you're telling us that people come to your streams. Don't hide behind a c word. You know, to say whatever you want to say. Rage react to streams and and you know uh, things like that. I don't. One day, dudes gonna become I rappers so they can say whatever they want to say. Yeah, rappers, I think, I think quit, have the most freedom of expression are they, are they over anybody else in any media. Those edgy jokes, or are they coming to watch you rage because? I don't know. Motherfuckers man. make a whole albums doesn't, about shooting people, kids, families, you know, grandmas, I agree. kids. I agree. I actually, it's just rap music. We love it. Made that joke. I know that. That today you're a hundred percent. I'm not hating. I'm making an observation. I love rap songs about shooting people, families. Climate on YouTube and people were looking for that. That's who I was. And now I'm. So that, not this was last year. You said. That was yeah. probably. But if DSP did that as a joke and said it was obs- observational way. commentary, I don't think it will work out. But if he was a rapper and he was like, yeah. Put that bitch on a slave trade. slave trade. This should have been, you know. No, no, you said it. Now you said it. You See said what? Black, you said black girl. It was that, on, on that's screen. That's correct. That's correct. And herein lies the problem. I listened to Sauce Walker. I didn't think that. Sauce Walker be talking about some shit. It doesn't shit. matter. It doesn't I'm pretty right. sure he got arrested right. recently, right. too. I agree with you. But in my mind, I didn't even see that. I didn't think that. That's, okay. you know. The joke was, this is a scumbag sheriff. He's literally going from a sheriff who is, like, trying to kill people to seeing a little black girl and thinking it's like he's pretending like he didn't notice this dude bros what this dude review a 20 minute tv show and the like main details he give you is what fucking color skin the people had trade oh no no you said it now you said it see what you said black girl it was on on that's correct that's correct in here, I'm not watching that playthrough, but you know, you, you know, your boy DSP pointed it out and noticed he didn't think matter. that. So he was doing, you're right. Okay, so the slave trade joke was about just the girl in general, and so it was a that's okay. trafficking joke and not a slavery joke, then, right? He's a scumbag sheriff, he's literally lying to everyone. You know what I mean? Traffic someone for profit, nah, bro. You say slave trade though, he says slave trade, but it wasn't about race, he didn't see that. So it was a sex sex trafficking joke, uh, correct? <laughs> you don't even know what joke it was now. Girl going to the slave trade, and that's that's stupid of me. Why the hell did I not? Make so it she was trade? black then? Because I'm stupid. Okay. No, it was a girl going to the slave trade, not a black girl. Yeah, I don't believe it either, bro. You fucking knew it was a black girl, and you made the joke because it was a black girl. What are you talking about? Oh, she's a black girl. Make a slavery joke. Oh my lord. It was about child trafficking essentially and that this okay he listened to my fucking he listened to my take on it yeah thank you for the child trafficking joke instead of the slavery joke then big ups that's way better i feel like we can go on for you know uh for an hour about it's like you go from being racist to being offensive to just everyone right right (laughs) now i wasn't making a race-based joke i was making a child trafficking joke it seems like (laughs) your biggest detractors uh, are some of your earliest fans? That's pretty fucking uh, fans sus. who have turned into detractors. I'm gonna do a bean why, count. Why do you think that is? <sighs> because um, my content sucks. So Some people that watch it for too long realize here, that it's toxic. People know it, but again, I've been doing this for 15 years. My first five years that I did it, all right, I had absolutely no effort to make it professional at all. I was being a jackass on camera, okay, and I didn't even have direct capture. For five years, I was having a camera pointed at my TV. Everything looked like junk, okay? But it was a joke. It was like, I don't care. I'm just some normal guy filming games. I'm terrible at them. I make risque jokes. I'm swearing at them. That was the shtick. That's what oh, everyone no. liked. That. 12. I got and 12 then, beans left to eat. Basically, what happened was after doing it for about four to five years, someone made a video. And the video was called, This is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid. This is how you don't and play. This was a playthrough I had done a Metal Gear Solid. This is how you don't my play. Usual shtick. And my usual shtick is, Oh, I suck at the game. Do I? And is it my fault that I suck at the game? Of course not. It's the game's fault. It's Hideo Kojima's fault. So I blame him. I insult him massively. Why didn't you insult the devs for every other game the same way? Because you didn't know their names. Bro, you called Kojima a homophobic so slur. A parody video essentially taking out. What did that have to do with anything? Taking out all gameplay moments that would have been. I like how you could just, at any moment, you can bring up DSP either jerking off or like saying a slur. And it blew up with popularity. And it's always relevant to the discussion. <clears throat> and essentially what happened was all of my Fucking dude. as a content creator for five years, these things that people like now became, oh, Phil is not like his contemporaries. He's not putting effort. Effort code plan content. over here, like 0.1%. Okay, good, it's not. Okay, good, it's not. So now let's we just have a really small so gift. What happened was people would take every right playthrough right I did right moving forward and make a this is how you don't play video about it. 
and my this fucking my chat was broke on screen too. No. Admittedly, if you would like, I'm not. No. So, so what, your your fan base turned on you it's because been like an of hour. a video that somebody else did I'm hurt. highlighting. I'm hurt. Like, I'm hurt. It, I'm hurt. That doesn't make sense, Phil. Did, like, did you did you get did you get bitter when that happened? Because when oh, I, yes. I hear it, oh my god, yes. So do you? <laughs> like, I missed something. My fan base turned on me. Oh, we still on this. I'm not gonna go into a giant explanation. So, so what, your your fan base turned on you because of what a video that somebody else did highlighting, mo like it. That, that doesn't make sense, Phil. Did, yeah, no. Did yeah, you no. get yeah, no. Did you get bitter when that happened? Because yeah. Oh, yes. it, oh my God, yes. So do you think that? Do you think that he made a dedicated video to Evil AJ? The white coats are coming to get him. He's crazy. He's gonna pull up to my house and kill me. I think he's fucking obsessed. I don't think he basically tried to get people to go and like hate brigade him, Loki. That was the king of hate coming out back in the day. I look at it and I'm like, that was an opportunity. I could have taken that and run with it. I could have done my own, or I could have highlighted those and laughed at them. But instead, again, it was a different climate today. Everyone who makes content has all these global warming correct we have correct, Patreon, correct. we have correct. crowdfunding on our streams that didn't exist. yeah patreon yeah, isn't yeah, crowdfunding patreon. right i was someone who had a full-time job and the job was putting videos crowdfunding on monster wheels so this was stream. this was after 2011 when you lost your job oh correct yes i lost my job we really went to the helicopter job for a little while for about two years when this is how you don't play that would have been a good prediction to do um and basically, the way I what could be a good prediction? Like, what you think DSP gonna bring up that he didn't bring up? And he gonna bring it up against like when we don't want to hear about it against all we highlight myself and my business in a very negative light. That's gonna make me look like crap. And instead of people laughing with me, now they're gonna laugh at me. And therefore, that's theft. I outright said this in my videos. You stole my content without my permission. How dare you? This is bad. This you know. Today, I realized how dumb that yeah, I gotta get more water, man. These bean boozles yeah. are gonna start Let's kicking be honest, in. The bubble was gonna burst on ad revenue on YouTube one day anyway. I don't think that was ever gonna last forever, but, but I was an idiot. I thought hey, I was actually mad at it. The two get the subs. Bitter against it. And when that happened, two, people saw that change four, in attitude waffle. of me. And wow, need to plug. The I go to 100 bits. About anything. Now, all of a sudden, he's always bitter about people joking about him and stuff. And that just goaded them on to do it more and more. Okay. And now, That's what you just said. I love said how every joke feel makes false flat and he react. You added this bit. Yeah, he's not, uh, he not doing too like, good today. Initially, like two minutes and ago, he a said Pepsi that's when they up turned on you chroma before seats it, like, admitting the that first you month. actually were getting bitter. So don't you think that like that kind of correlates like maybe it was that moment when you didn't own up to the fact that Beanie do way more talking being this after we did the guy now slave trade to, talk. they're stealing my shit I'm fucking pissed about it uh what the fuck and now everyone's like what the fuck who, who is this guy you gotta own it if you don't own it then like why sh you know then you, then you're just a joke so it felt like you just kind of like let that run your ship that you were you were sailing Y'all ever seen a Volkswagen have, Beetle nothing with I monster wheels? That, in a defensive manner. that is, it's Correct. a mistake I made. My my reaction to this is how you don't play. Would well, DSP admit to playing champions by name? And to escalate. Oh fuck that! That's got to be way longer than a ten minute prediction. We're not going to talk about champions in the next ten minutes. Because but what if we did? Quality. He just he's a rager, you know. Make sure to you're predict in their prediction. Will DSP admit to playing champions? knowledge of really how to play a game at a good level because he's of not course not you watch well you know what he will jokes and stuff. i admit to playing it but i didn't spend that much money and it's not my account watch the this is and i don't know what the line app is paid for it and just make fun of him instead and my reaction so much lip things going on percent fueled that i will admit that now over the years it got worse and worse and that's i'm sure we're going to get into how it didn't, wasn't just about Phil's a bad gamer anymore. It became everything else under the sun, and we can talk about. Yeah, it became Phil's a bad everything. It's my fault. It is my fault that people. He's only saying that because he's on his stream, but it is what it is. Tomorrow is going to be YouTube's fault because so the algorithm, the algorithm like helped the trolls. Your reaction to the "this is how you don't play" is what really parlayed your Man, fans. Why the fuck I can't get this stuff to show on screen? Yeah, it's not all of them, but absolutely. So annoying. Back then, I saw people who had been longtime supporters and fans disappear only to years later crawl back into you know as as someone who was crapping on me I'm like whoa what happened i whoa. didn't the way i saw it was and this I'm is i'm looking again, at my phone right now i'm playing I'm champions as we I speak this today you know after 15 years of doing this you realize how you change as a person and how you can see from a different perspective my mantra or my mentality was 
I'm the popular. Okay, if I don't click I'm the, the screen, I'm the guy putting out all these videos, and everyone's watching. I'm making money. The free YouTube stream works the like man. the video How show. How can you say that I'm doing something bad? I got a not click the screen. Successful business, not you. So who are you? Hey, chill, Murray in the chat. That was my attitude. Oh, the camera's on in the chat. What an idiotic attitude! Everyone knows. Dave Baxter's in the chat. Actively be listening to your viewer base and your fan base and working your with them to create a product that's meaningful. Surprised I didn't say audience that time. And at that point in my career, it was just put the same shit out every day. And hopefully people watch it and, it, and you know, hey, at to, up to that point, 2012, 2013, I hadn't seen any plateauing. I hadn't seen any decline. It was still going up. So I'm thinking, hey, everything's good. If people are saying I'm bad, I don't believe them. That's bullshit. That's just them trying to ride my coattails, right? But in reality, they were all correct. They were 100% correct. My, my shtick was tired. It that was 100%. Incorrect. I missed that channel. Raging Hideo Kojima. But I don't miss. Or maybe I should say I miss. I miss this resub. 11 months prime from what the schmeck? Almost a full year sub. Big ups. Big ups. I will be eating one extra bean boozle. I at the beginning, and I was a dinosaur five years in. You know what I'm doing right now? totally my fault. And, what would you What would you say you you innovated at the beginning? At the beginning. Complaining about games? Um, The improv commentary style. Gonna get a green one. And the ability see the juicy pear or booger flavor. Commentary over it. I was not the first person who did it. There's other people. Everyone will, will argue. There's actually argument. It was booger people, flavor. Or someone else who originally was like the big first Let's Player. But I was the person. Slow Beef and Chris Chan, the original Let's Players. Back then when I started on YouTube, 2008 is the year where I really started doing active playthroughs. The people who were doing gameplay on YouTube were mostly known for being <clears> like <throat> a guru in one genre. This is the call of. It's duty. such a like, weird fucking flavor, I and then it's so much sugar. Play any game, do commentary over it. That was kind of improv commentary, and people thought it was funny because of my 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 mannerisms, my jokes. Yes, back then that kind of stuff was funny. Um, and and what kind of stuff? Kind of stuff? What, what do you mean? Oh, well, I knew it. Beanie it. Man is like gay jokes. You know, what's that ever funny? Commentary was like ninety percent sexualized content. It was making fun of every woman, made dick jokes, you know, sex jokes, bad stuff that today you don't say. Beanie that. Man in a different world would 100% be like, um, he would be LSB, like part five. Now, I, I couldn't even LSB on steroids. Stuff that I did 2008 to like 2011. I, I'd be like, it, it, it turns my stomach. White Tevin like, part seven. Cringeworthy I was back then. Look, like, we, all, we, all, like, look, we all get it, right? We understand that, that people change over time. Totally understand that. I guess my thing is, what if I you wonder what they got to drink? So you've had these light bulbs. If it's moments, water or not? You had one last year. You had they one, got like Pepsi. You know, 2012, 2013, where you were no burps today. from DSP, no snorts, barely any sips. Doing He's trying to protect that himself. Are, uh, you know, you're, the big difference for Phil was Phil could hand, could play all games, not just fighting games or Call of Duty or whatever. What has changed? What are you doing differently now in 2023? These beans, that, man. That you were doing. That, that you maybe water tastes extra good after eating nasty you beans. Had this realization because mm. it's it sounds and when it sounds like you're doing the exact same thing, Phil. It sounds like I'm I'm the guy who plays different games and occasionally come to my my channel to get some some sort of a shock shock value joke, right? What differentiates you now from who you were t a decade ago? Okay, wow, geez. First of all, uh, full time streamer I wasn't back then. I was just a YouTuber. Now I'm a full time streamer. Six days. Mm. A week. You know, get mostly gameplay. I, now I do React content as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Really close. Because um, 10 years ago, he, he kind of started streaming 10 years ago. He legit started streaming on Twitch 10 years ago the first time. I'm pretty sure it was 2013. I recognize in the chat and I can talk with them. And as if they're a friend, okay? Back then, I didn't know anyone. I, maybe I knew you know people who helped me with moderation and stuff, but I didn't know my viewers back then. I didn't have oh, personal like, relationships what? with any of them. Now it's like a friendly community. It's a totally different vibe watching 2023 Dark Side Phil than 2013 Dark Side Phil. That's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, having that he didn't ask for money in 2013, community. so I guess the vibe Oblivion is different right now. I don't know anything about Oblivion. Yeah, him saying he didn't know anyone was like what? Because of that social aspect. What do you mean you didn't know anybody? No, he didn't know people in his audience. But he literally did anyway. He met people in person from his audience. You know, risque, uh, commentary kind of guy. Today, that's all gone mostly. Now, yes, there are moments of rage. I'm playing Wolong. There's definitely moments of rage that come back. But for the most part, you know, watch us. They got to make the today. interview time sensitive. All the things that people say that I am, and you'd be like, I don't what? get it. I get this all the time. I don't get it. Someone will come by. I still get so much hate. And at the end of the stream, 
They'll say, Phil, just so you know, this is the first stream of yours I ever watched. I've heard all these things about you. And I don't get but it. But that's fake sometimes, time. DSP. People do that to get your attention. Happened in the stream. It's been a thing for a long time. How you know? How you don't realize this, bro? They highlight the moments that are the, the, the shortcomings. That's what they do today. Or they reference 2013 Dark Side Phil as if that's today and saying that's the content I put out today. It's, it's not. It's now he put out slavery jokes. I have a whole new channel. We just talked about this and it was recent and he told us it was recent. I used to be an so it was like, you know, I, 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 I used to be an idiot, by the way. I used to be. That's low brow. That's little, minimum effort. And people are like, Phil, people are interested in your thoughts. They just want to hear you react to random stuff from the internet. They want to hear you talk about a new stuff. Why would you think that's bad? And then I went, you know what? Let me give it a shot. I started doing react content. People love it. So that's on me for years being an idiot and saying dumb shit on the internet. And now I try it. And it works and it's more relaxing and it's fun it's interactive with my audience maybe you should talk about minecraft yeah, next now, i used to hate on minecraft and they started playing it put out meaningful content for my people every day it's there's a difference between i did one rage inducing thing everyone laughed at it and talked about it versus wow i just put out a four hour stream and people told Got me it. that they were able to separate from well, their daily lives and relax with me and have a good time that's more meaningful to me than getting one rise out of a stupid joke okay what what is a um meaningful what's a day like look for you uh, like wh when you wake up what is it what is your average day like walk me through i wake day. up i eat a bagel i have some like hawaiian coffee from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. i turn my stream on uh, and i complain about my day my cat wakes me up sarcasm and not uh, even just a, a joke bed, quote unquote day, not even just like a normal whatever person. my cat wake me up shower or eat breakfast have a coffee do chores around the house quick you know, it depends on the day because some days my wife's at work, some days she's not. I love the mixed bag answers. I do this. Well, it depends. I do this. If that. But what do you actually do? What's consistent for your day today thing? You know what I'm saying? Usually between 10, 10, 30 a.m. Uh, I'm setting up for my stream for the day. I'm, I'm, I'm reading news off of Twitter to try to have news stories for everyone to talk about on my podcast, which I do every day. Help. Um, my stream usually goes on by 10, 45 a.m. my time. Help. Uh, you know, we do a little bit of pre-stream, you know, get some people on the stream for about 15, 20 minutes, music <laughs> or whatever. And then I do what I call the level one podcast. This is about an hour to an Look hour. Look at your ball on the top left. Just discussion. The lean. The lean in. He stares straight into the camera and you get the Instagram filter eyes. Whether it's special <laughs> events coming up, getting feedback from my viewers on how you like the, the things. Fucking like Craig. News stories. All kinds of stuff. This is something I just. We're going to start a detractor meme. We're going to call him a dream. He's dream boat Craig instead of stuttering Craig. <laughs> So I do the podcast. We're going to put like some uh, anime effects around his face. Time. You know, maybe take another few minutes break. Then we start with game. Are you sure, DSP? So we'll do about He's making that face. Four hour gameplay stream. Are you sure about it? So as we talk, a wide variety. And I have a set schedule I do every day. I'll, I'll post it up everywhere on my socials so people know what I'm doing. Um, that gameplay will usually run about three, four hours. Then when that's done, <laughs> I have to upload all that content. So, you know, another half an hour. A roughly. piercing stare. And then usually I spend some, if my wife's home from work, I'll spend. Oh, he doing it again. If my wife's home, we get the mixed bag. Again, depends on the if and answer. The if and or. If my cat wakes me up, I do this. If I wake up on my own, I do that. If my wife's home, I do this. If my wife's home, my cat didn't wake me up and my stream uh, has rage plan, then I do this. Let's say there's a major new game coming out. If my cat woke me up, my wife isn't home and I feel like raging, I jerk off before stream. That's the one everyone wants to see. More Correct. people can watch usually on an earlier time zone or a time frame. So I play that on the first stream. My late night streams are chill. Do you just want to relax with me? You don't care about rage. You don't care about a new game. You just want to relax with Phil. Come to my late night stream. That's like 6.45 p.m. every day. And that runs about two, three hours. You legit going to have to go over this, write down a question, and like truly pay attention to the answers. We need Theo to watch this. And then when that's done, you know, that stream probably runs. Every answer is so long. And then, of course, I'm closing down for the day, setting up streams for the next. I'm probably out of my office between 10 to 11 p.m. So all in all, <clears throat> you know, we were talking. Thank you, tear gas, for the two bits. Is he complaining about not well, eating his meals? He's done it before. You don't have time. To 11 p.m. Then after that, I'm stuck in the office. To spend with my wife and relax at night. Yep. Uh, you know, watch the, watch a movie. Watch. A Bro, you're in your stream at 9 p.m. You know, and then your time, house, time for bed. and tell us that your cat go your cat that your wife go to sleep at like 1 a.m. Uh, one day a week, I take off. Well, you know what? I'm being mean because he pretend that he's in his office two hours after you're done streaming. Forgot about that. Like, fuck, man, she could come hang out in a room with him. Grocery shopping, doctor's appointments, you know, uh, everything you think of. Oh, by the way, that's the one day I have off to spend some time with my wife. Realistically, DSP got a bunch of game shit, gaming shit in his gaming room. 
Cat loves playing video games. So when he done streaming, she could just walk in there and sit down with him, right? Just Correct. What you what you're saying right now? That uh, doesn't seem. He act like the lady's at a different like building. Like, like he's like actually in an office, and he got to like drive down the street. Like, you know, from, from a from a streaming pers per perspective or a content perspective, Pretty yes, like. you're producing a lot of content, but it doesn't seem like a very healthy lifestyle. Do you feel DSP is unhealthy lifestyle? Your community and the people who donate to your streams are enabling that lifestyle. Do you feel that they are encouraging you to live that lifestyle that may not be the healthiest lifestyle? What? So you're saying through people Look at him. showing up and supporting my stream. Look at him. He's thinking of it. Work more. Is that the question? Maybe well, maybe you maybe you have a DSP uh, is getting like the like the same feeling he get when he answer a snow crawl question. That's how we feel right now. Through people showing up and supporting my streams. So you're saying through people showing up and supporting my streams, they're... I could totally see him responding like this, reading the slow crawl message the same way. So you're saying the people that support me are enabling me. Think about what you're saying right now, slow crawl. Like, really think about it. Making me work more. Is that the question? Maybe, well, maybe you... Maybe you have that's Uso Jen. Founder in the chat. Sure ...that you're putting on yourself to do that because this is your only job. And then you're therefore working as much as you are because you are, you know, working for the man. Support. His mouth is on fire. Oh my God, so DSP, it, it, what's wrong? Like, like they they come and then you're like, I need to be there. And then like now you need to be there and do it all day. And then if they're not there for you, then it's kind of like this mental um, <laughs> addiction almost. I mean, I've been right. doing YouTube for about three years, and uh, I, I know that it's a thing. Um, getting addicted to champions super chats numbers, oh, okay. analytics like the way I agree. we spoke about analytics about 20 minutes ago or no 40 minutes i don't know earlier in the stream you know you're clearly very much like watching it and and you know attuned to it <laughs> so it's obviously on your mind we're gonna have dsp jam and it's just him nodding his head in agreement we talk about mental health right mental health physical health and how they're how they're so tied together and the one thing i didn't hear during there is, is a time to, you know, whether work out or have time for yourself. You know, everything that you're doing right now. It really is like an intervention, huh? From a streaming perspective. And you know what? Content perspective. Uh, I, I can only assume, most people, including me, I definitely kind of assumed it, that that lady would be here, the lady from the clips. But she probably... Right? Oh, she didn't want to have anything to do with this. You know, right, well, uh, but, but, but an hour... I don't know if she's on his show every day or not, yeah, but I feel like she was, awesome. right? I, I'm just... The lady the, character. Again, like... You, you seems like you're in this this they want nothing to do with the sugar i don't know for back and beanie dude was like what was that slavery uh, joke again i want in on this and you start running and then you finish up at the we end got of a day, two v one you, you finish up running then you get off you go to sleep and you wake up and, and you do that six days a week and i understand we all have our you know we all have our hamster wheels and our and our, and our uh rotations and our schedules and the way we do things but um it it just appears that just from the outside looking in that um, if you weren't making the money that you were making, you probably wouldn't live that lifestyle. Okay, fair enough. Um, I've talked about this many we times. We've got Josh so Duh with the prime three months. This is alone because he hopes that they forget the questions before he's done talking. Life. Correct. And the answer would be... That's a form of pignosis. He talk in circles, and like by the time he's done, you don't give a fuck. You're like, okay, bro, whatever. We haven't been on a trip since we got married. Um can't can't afford it you know and i'm sure this is stuff will come up yeah you know, i went through a bankruptcy because of really bad choices in my past victim time. and a combination of online trolling ruining a lot of my financial income with big victim um, and a combination oh, yes. of that ruined a lot of stuff for me since the bankruptcy went through i have not been able to fully recover because of it's always something else and i'm tired of it i really am I'm looking, where's the light? Isn't that what life is, though? So I can have an extra day off with my wife. Like, for actually everybody? She deserves. But it's going to yeah, always be something else, no matter yeah, who you are. I, I want to make something very clear here. Because I even if you have everything, something's going to piss you off. Right. You might drop a spoon on the floor. The reason that I don't know. Of the you get my point, right? Maybe. Correct. I know that. I'm a flawed human. I'm but some people, something else is like getting shot, I, I, I getting a car wreck. That's why a lot of people hate Getting me. cancer. But Every Some people, something else is losing an Elden Ring. These uh, get a game save being deleted. Horrible to me or you know? my family that ruins 
financially things for me. This has happened. So DSP before. something is everything though. Everything right. is an issue. Huge problem. This, I was still on Twitch. This light at the end of the tunnel. Like he's years. like he's actually dying. I've been streaming on Twitch for four and a half years. I built up my viewership and my member, or excuse me, my subs on Twitch were at like 900 subs a month. Things were going good. I said publicly to The number change every time we talk about this it. This is great. You know, the bankruptcy went through last year. That's not great, but that took a lot of financial burden off. It was great. If things keep going how they're going. He loved it. I see a light. I'll be able to, I'll be able to improve my business. I'll be able to maybe take time off, spend time with my wife, reduce the amount I stream. Did I eat a bean yet? No. We what eaten happened? two of them. My troll. One for the ketchup blue can gift us up. Mantra, which we just discussed and one now. for the Josh Risa. Now I've been with the Twitch partner program for four and a half years. Yeah, one of these orange Twitch ones. Had no issue with me. Twitch either dead fish or a smoothie. Was. In my past, the Faithful kind of slur, right? Out and everything. Oh my god, it was a good one. Me under their partner program. They Very strong, a strong flavor. Promoting different things on their streams and stuff. And then they actually campaigned to get me kicked off of Twitch, and they did. So I'm not kicked off of Twitch, but I can't make money on Twitch anymore. What, so what, happens, what did they do? It's really funny how we set up. feel that, that they did to you uh, to get you removed off Twitch specifically. <clears throat> they organized a campaign. They did it. And I, you, the thing is, these people are so they, – they, everything they do, they try to do public. These so people. Get a laugh out of it or at least get credit for what it. What does that mean? So there was an organized – You're going to make a joke again about a trade. Would say that 2011, excuse me, 2021 well, Phil, because that's the year this happened, is the same. LeBron never got traded, huh? 2000. Maybe when he first started playing, like Phil. his first. They no, I think clips, they took Cleveland drafted him from back then, which I've already huh. publicly apologized for. And Maybe I'm when he's like 45, he'll get traded. Okay, I've grown from that. And then retired. I just saw a bad clip from a year ago, so that's pretty recent. Correct. That's correct. And correct. again, I'm I'm totally fallible. I make mistakes from time to time. Okay, but. For the most part, that's not me anymore. You can. Watch I, I know, but uh, but but what you just said was just disproven because we got you just made it that another same kind of racist well, joke. Ketchup, look. I, I'm not trying to like make it mm -hmm. a big deal, but I'm just pointing out that butter, what popcorn, they were or rotten uh, egg. Twenty one fill is the same mm -hmm. as before. When you're you just told me in 2022 you made a joke. So this it was, was butter, after popcorn. they'd said this, and it was you're making the same kind of like inappropriate beanie dude doing it to him again back then correct so it's kind of so correct they're right are they no, right or are they wrong i mean they're, they're, they're so right scared that i still make mistakes <laughs> human they're wrong in saying this is, right? is all the time this is his content you just say and correct got this, this happening and by the way it wasn't just the twitch partner program they they basically did this exact same thing to all these different business relationships that i had they said stream elements and stream labs has a website called that's basically it right Here's a bunch of bigoted. He lost his teespring allegedly because he didn't sell anything. You know, horrible jokes he's made over the years. They can't keep his stopping forever. Like oh, apparently. And they basically had hundreds, if not more, people pummel these businesses with it to the point where they said, listen, it's not that, you know, we I like how he made it seem like it long. actually was, this was him. a true yeah, group effort. Harassing us for this. So we have to, you know, how it be. That way the, 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 you know, it'll stop. They won't still did, keep Did Twitch it up. tell you that? Did they say that? No. Twitch told me all. Here's what I where they no, they didn't. Then we just say they didn't. Investigation into your Beanie history, dude, Matt. And we found they got uninstall over the years. You have used <sighs> what was the word? It wasn't racial. Was it night. was harmful slurs. Hateful slurs. Harmful slurs. Harmful slurs. Saying really nasty oh, racial oh. or things that I do not say. You know he's doing this on purpose. Things. You you'd have to go back so far. You know he's doing this on purpose. Like that, and it was a one-off comment that was again. I'm sure How many times you know, DSP repeated the hateful slur part, right? How many times? How many times? And now he don't know the word. Mr. Extrapolation don't know what a word is. Hornful slurs. Four and a half years making. Whatever. You know, you never. It's the same thing, man. Now you find something from the past, and that's not acceptable. And all of a sudden, what changed overnight? And the funny part was, it happened to me. It happened to another. Bro, I've been selling dope for 20 years. Why I just got arrested? The fuck? Which was having a culture. They've been watching the whole time. They, they actually have been watching the whole time. They let you build up your portfolio well, of slurs. True. I mean, that, that happened to plenty of people. People on the periphery. So, people who got booted off of Twitch because they're Christian and they're proud of it. Wow. It's it's. Pretty, yeah, I bet they're really proud of it. I, I don't like Twitch. So here I am. I've never he hates the purple platform. Morning. I never got in a community strike. Everything I'm doing according to Twitch terms. Is you like the actual live from DSP right there? Service is fine. I'm not banned from Twitch. I could stream there right now. But according to Bruh. their partnership criteria, all my past actions 
are unforgivable and therefore you can't make money on our site anymore. Did so you go to them? That's not fully true either. You know, he can he can get affiliate again. He told us that they told him he can go back and get affiliate with Twitch and maybe eventually they'll partner him. Because if you're saying that the same way Deller got partnered again a decade ago, five years ago, seven years ago, whatever, and you know culture was different or Twitch might be more desperate now. It is you want to say, have you had that opportunity to speak with? Because I ain't never seen somebody get un un unbanned and be partnered. Okay. And then repartner okay. like and he by did. The way, it's not just Twitch. This happened to several other businesses. That shit was fire. I don't want to talk about all of them publicly only because it's just going to open the hornet's nest. But basically, Man, it would be so funny if DSP got affiliate because he wouldn't be able to change his emotes. I'll laugh at it every day. If you break them, too bad. We have absolutely no legal obligation to tell you what you did wrong. I think you're going to come back to Twitch one day. don't have to. The longer he exists. I that's true. I think if you do something... Or you're going to fucking stream on kick eventually. Specifically what you did and how to remedy it because if you're telling me i did something to break our legal agreement obviously i want we need ltg to get partnered so we have uh, a band shield i tried reaching out to the legal team of twitch and essentially they, they that we have no they keep fucking unbanning them they want them here obviously some like somebody like them here partner program come back in 365 days yeah this part time, the year pass he can get affiliate me, out of income for a year they won't give him partner though can you can you they're gonna make him work for that Nope. He can. I was out of nah, you're lying, bro. You can you can join it again. In a year, why why don't you try to rebuild whatever? The who cares? Side of things and uh, and try to reapply. And Let's see what he it, say. It's been how many years now? I mean, and it's and if you, I mean, he hates Twitch and he's so never gonna go back. Route. So. I mean, being a partner on on Twitch and it, let's let's be real. Being a partner on Twitch, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. No, nothing. What? You know, there's nothing. There's no benefit of being a partner on Twitch. At, Incorrect. Outside of them, it's actually uh, because you right. have to you can't share you can't, content in multiple places. You have to be I agree. on Twitch. Right. So it, it would seem like the best route. DSP is like you sure about that. I uploaded everything the same day. Not be a partner on Twitch. That way you can. She uploaded everything the same day for like yeah, five years. You possibly can and and uh grow your audience as much as you possibly can i don't, I don't know like it why and it was back when they cared about it more well they just care about everything less and less now especially that exclusive shit because of TikTok and stuff TikTok and instagram that same time they're stealing all views year uh twitch had basically several times shut down my business entirely for things i never did so for example false dmca or i'm streaming a game man people always get false dmcas bro you ain't special what happened Oh, you've been hit with a copyright strike. A copyright strike. Oh, my Someone Lord. Lied, said they it was the, the cowboy. I was playing the game of and impersonated an employee, and Twitch doesn't vet it. They yeah, it happened to me, too. Wow. Uh, big ups. Can I complain about it on this fucking stream? And like, dude, it wasn't even, a, it literally wasn't a big deal. He wasn't even down a whole day. But they left me with basically no avenue to really fix this issue besides going to their support and saying, you know, what are you doing? What are you Actually, doing? You confirmation this is real or not. Um, then at the same time, okay, that I got kicked out of the Twitch partner program, I decided I'm going to just what you just said, Craig, I didn't just quit Twitch that day. I stuck around for about a month. It was really funny when he did this. I can't get super chats. I can't get paid. When he streamed right on now. Twitch and was like, just tip me. Anyway. Let's see what happens. Can I make a living? I had a Patreon. People were sending me tips, you know, direct donations, as you call them. Maybe I could still make a living doing that. And you know what? more power to it because if i can now who cares if i'm not in the partner program what are they going to get me kicked out of right the As website streaming, i get shut down again what oh the n -word? said a racist term stationary negative no i didn't yeah you did I what, it, oh, it was just an accident what did they, they say should play the said? clip they're not going to play the clip we don't need to play the clip you believe don't say that in the log that they submit look how fucking cringe this is right they told him that he said a bad word. Other people told him what he said. He recorded it and uploaded it. He can watch it a million times. He can watch it right now. He can watch it when he's done streaming. He can watch it with his fucking wife in the bed. He can watch the stationary clip on his channel. I think. He don't know what word he said. And, and he gonna get mad at the Twitch website. And basically he said Twitch should have sent him the N word. Twitch should have sent him the N word and said, "This is what you said." They just say, "Oh, you were caught saying a racist term." Did and you say you the N word? Back, oh no, I was playing a. Return you did though. It was just an accident. Playing it, I was in the middle of saying something, and then like an enemy attacked me, and it was like a. No. Oh, <laughs> I complain about this all the time because DSP, like, bro, nobody wants to watch him play Returnal, and nobody, nobody else play Returnal because they don't have a PS5. So he say that he was doing this and doing that, and it's just not true. It's just not true. It's not true.
oh my god, I heard it out of context. It sounds like he said it, but it was. It was actually like me getting tongue twisted. He wasn't. Literally, no enemies existed in a room he was in. He was in a safe room, bro. He was in the equivalent of a safe room. Temporarily, my whole stream gets shut down. An enemy attacked him. I got brought back, but it's like, at one point, when am I going to realize this business is not being professional? They're going to kick me out of their partner program for stuff I did 10 years ago, not give me any recourse to appeal it or stick up for myself. We don't have to do that legally. So, you know, oh, so now I'm out. I want to find a clip. I, I was making for a living. Now you can shut down my stream at any time for something but, I didn't even yeah, do. It's hard to really find. And then I have to go out of my way to correct your mistake because you're an unprofessional business. I mean, and I was there for almost five years building a community. I had so many people who loved me being on Twitch and I lost a lot of viewership and a lot of income moving from Twitch and coming over, becoming a full-time streamer on YouTube. YouTube is not as this profitable is you stream, don't play. There's no real uh, discoverability over here. It's very hard to get noticed on YouTube. I lost mm. a ton. But why there's you, no discoverability on Twitch either. This one video yeah, that's I, allegedly I about it, but it's like streamer. five minutes of like, everything what, what else. your reasoning? The same I, thing. I, I like streaming. I understand. I, I love being on stage. I'm a musician as well. There's something about having an audience that I really love, and I, I love having yeah, an audience. You look up the stationary that. clip. The dude, it's no enemies in the room. If you're struggling, if you're facing this, like, wouldn't it be better for your well-being and, like, your relationship? I like to compare it to the banana and room in Donkey Kong, when you just pick up bananas. A while, he was in a fucking banana room. And just, you know, talking about enemies breathing. attacking him. A lot of people I had a gamer moment older and older said older the N-word by accident. She's like, you know... He's about to cry. Things are going. You know, on the internet, everyone's crapping on you. And, you know, don't you think that maybe long term things should change? And at that point, and this but I'm pretty sure the stationary clip, like, uh, before the bank, ex like that. exclusive used to be on and channel so and old, this, old and channel gone. Best, so now you got to watch like the desire don't play don't and then skip to the part. It sucks. No matter what I do. And my mom said something really important to me. She said DSP lore is being erased by the day to anyone but yourself and God. Like, as long as you're OK with who you are in the morning and that you feel that you're OK with God. And my mom's religious. I'm not. OK. But when she said that to me, it, it, it was like, she's right. You know, why do I have to answer to an angry DSP mom? high behind religion a lot? Why can't my I mom's religious, but I'm not. Well, why the fuck you use religion and not talk about charity? But, and of course, there's always a but. Um, I don't want to talk about DSP and his religion takes again. Um, I do that shit every fucking day at this point. At one point, I'll, I will openly say this. I hated what I did for a living. Around 2016. Oh, man, this segment. A lot of things were going really bad for me. Oh, man, this segment. Had really started to just totally hate me. Um, I was getting, you know, all kinds of horrible things were happening to me behind the scenes. My, my personal life was falling apart as well. This is before I met my wife, by the way. If you go back to any year of DSP existing, he's going to tell you another year sucked and that that year is great. I'm so much you know you can go back to 2016 and hear him tell you how he loved his life and how he's so happy. I'm gonna lose everything. I'm gonna lose my house. I'm gonna lose everything because I, I maybe 2016 he was single though. Like that one year he was single. I forget. But this dude, man. Um, so that's really that's really what it comes down to is is I was streaming. Oh, I hated doing this in 2016. I hated doing this in 2014. I hated doing this in 2010. Oh, I forced myself to do this. Since I became a full time streamer, future's so bright. I got to wish it. I changed my formula. It's not just about. Might have been 20. A ton of videos a day. Yeah, it was 2015 and 2016. Full content with an audience that I connect with. I might be able to find this, it. Now, I would say for 2017 till today has been the absolute Because I named the video after it. Best time like, of my life. Future so bright. Professionally and personally. Damn, this video from six I, years ago. I have a great personal life. As, as little time as I get to spend Yo, with Yo, somebody re-uploaded this? Best experience I've ever had in my life. It was a life-changing experience. Yo, it was a dude. Illegally re uploaded my videos six years ago. We got a video from me. Uh, six years ago, named DSP has a future so bright he has to wear shades. May fifth, twenty sixteen. May fifth, twenty sixteen. Legit, the middle of twenty sixteen. At the same time, DSP was what depressed and he hated streaming. He just told us he hated streaming in twenty sixteen, right? Becoming an interactive future so bright, I gotta wear shades. Same year. I have to fill dead air constantly. Ah, yes. Stupid, risque joke and dumb commentary. And growing up and mature. Seven minute long thing I uploaded. Old. No. Some teenager or 20 year old being an idiot on the internet. I don't. Troll my audience Lost. today is not the same audience I had 15 <laughs> years ago. Now, if you look at my. I, as, as Adam's I just noticed my live now video is completely my, fucked. My, it's a seven minute clip. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what I uploaded. Less than 1% of my viewers. I left people. the camera on. It's people in their middle, late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Why? Because now you come to my content. 
chill fun. You know, everyone's my beans. Rage comes out, everyone laughs at it. Has but this been a nothing burger so far? I, I would say no. With my fans. I, I really feel like my fans are my... The dude with so the beanie got mad at him about the slavery joke DSP made. My, my friends, they're really good acquaintances. Since the slavery joke part has been kind of kind of scary for DSP. Have meaningful talk. I learn stuff from my audience, and now now I look back at my past like what a dummy I was. I had this amazing experience I could have been having for years and years, and instead I sat there making dumb jokes instead of actually making meaningful content. So I what, love what my is job now. what does meaningful mean? What does that like? Walk me through. What does that mean? Do you feel like you're like is this you say you have your your audience is your friends, right? You feel like you have a, a now. I've seen clips of you say that that you know. I actually, like these general, general follow up questions so, like, because it, are they your friends or are they not? Your when friends? he says shit meaningful, you're just supposed to understand what he mean or understand and just like connect the dots and figure it out and keep moving. You're not supposed to say, "Well, what do you mean by that?" But now we got this dude actually saying, "What do you mean by that?" Like, this is what I do when I'm complaining at the fucking screen. I'm like, what the fuck you mean it's meaningful? We got the dude actually asking what the fuck you mean it's meaningful. This is my, this is my social interaction. So that's pretty good. My wife and the one day a week that I leave this house to, to, to do this in my life. You know? We got to say that? Do we have to say that? I'm here six days a week. This is my, this, this is my wife and my cat. Interaction outside of my wife. In my hand. And the one day a week that I leave this house to, to, to do stuff when I'm not streaming. This right here, this laptop, this chat is my social interaction with the world. So that is me. Tap, tap, tap it on the laptop. People. That's DSP you know, Grinchin. You, were, you know, you go to your place of work. Hi, how you doing? Your coworkers, right? You walk in, you hang out with them or whatever. It's kind of what it, it kind of feels like a camaraderie um, with regulars. And, you know, there's people who come in. And I don't want to say anything. That that's the nature of the beast. But um, I really do feel like today it's more meaningful what I do. There's, again, back in the day. I can't wait to watch Dingus, Dingus take at this. Watching your rage. Today it's like, Phil, let me tell you something. Something horrible happened in my life. And I came by your stream and I hung out with you for two hours today. You were playing Oblivion. We talked. I helped you with the game. We had fun conversation about Nobody ever said that. At the end of that stream, I felt so much better. You know, I, it was such a, a, a fun. Specifically about Oblivion, too, right? And when people give me that, fun, ah, yes. that lets me know that what I'm doing is worthwhile with all the hate and all the shit that gets thrown at me every day, that what I'm doing is meaningful. I don't. Since I've become a full time streamer. Why people trauma dump DSP so much? And the content I put out right Phil, I had a horrible day, uh, everything went wrong, this and I got shot. And then I watched your videos and realized, damn, at least I'm not bad at games. Not, but that's what they tell me, and I love it. It helps me. You know what Correct. I mean? It's like kind of reciprocating back and forth. I need those tips. I really do. Okay. Okay. Let's, um... <laughs> like, this dude's fucking crazy. Okay. I, I think that every every streamer has a relationship with their audience that's unique, right? Um, I agree. It's it, unique. Uh, I don't know your personal relationship with with your with your audience. Um, what the fuck? Is that you? <laughs> that was that stream. Is that you, <laughs> Okay, okay, just making well, sure. You were talking about a relationship with the the audience, you know. And I'm right. like that, that sound effect not on my computer. Okay, just just making sure. You so, fucking um, tricked me. But it seems like your your relationship is is a little different when it comes. You know what's to, funny? The Saints' um, new quarterback, you know, you're very more than likely, you is going to be named, well, he's audience, named Derek right? you, Carr. You said many times Derek that, uh, Carr. Don't want sponsors, but you started talking today about how no sponsors will touch I'm going to have to cheer for Derek. Because of uh, another uh, Derek. For, for a number of different reasons, for your reputation, mm -hmm. right? Um, which, what is it? Which it's one is it? It's going to be a fat L for the Saints, bro. I can't wait to see how much they lose. To, uh, like if, I'm gonna blame if Derek Carr. I can actually blame Derek when the Saints about, lose. I just thought you know, about this. This uh, is gonna be good. Whatever their product is, uh, wouldn't that be better? What than the fuck, Derek? Having to rely on crowdfunding or your audience on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, you know it's a double-edged sword. It really is because I could say right now, if I had a bunch of sponsors on my stream, mixed bag. Absolutely, would things financially be better? Would the, would the pressure be taken off of me to earn on a stream? Yes, absolutely, it would. Um, but at the same time, and again, this is something that people will bring up that feels stubborn. You know, I agree. Um, I have always, always in the 15 years that I make content, always been critical of people who shill. And there's a difference between, oh, I have a sponsor today and I shill. There is. I know that, you know, you can watch people out there who they put out a 30 minute video and two minutes of the video is a plug. I think that's acceptable, Right. But then there's people who like, they try every opportunity to monetize everything they possibly could. Every aspect one of what they do me, is a monetization. I've me. seen 
In my react content, so now a shill isn't the thing he said a shill was, and it's a person who literally makes everything about advertising. Man, come on. It's like one percent. You know, who is a shill that much? That much, because. He's yeah, making up a person. You say, look, hey, I really need, I, you know, I'm in a really tough spot now. I got this coming up. And on this, on the same screen, you have a, you have a tip tracker. Yeah, I know, right? It's the same, same type of thing. Like you're, <laughs> you are, you're, you're tracking your revenue. on. You don't want to hit I, it. I don't have any problem with that. That's you don't want to hit millions it. Of streamers. But, but it's the idea of saying like, hey, I'm in a really tough spot right now. Uh, I really need you guys to help, help me Remember out. Remember Craig is the and guy words, who, you know, when I, people I'm told him DSP big a lot, he was like, uh, don't every streamer ask for money though? Right? Like, so like, what's wrong with lunch meat sandwiches sometimes? There's nothing wrong with lunch meat sandwiches. I eat them a lot. <laughs> They're delicious. Um, no, I see what you're saying. For, for the tip tracker, that's really there for rewarding my audience. And I know that sounds weird. I, I would prefer... I uh, get where he's going to go with this because the hat and the shades and the vest. But we're really going to act like the tips tracking is rewarding the viewer because they know how much they gave you. Um, what? No, I see what you're saying. For, for the tip tracker, that's really there for rewarding my audience. And I know that sounds weird. I, I would prefer not to track tips because if I didn't have to track tips, I wouldn't have to count. I'll stream. I could just kind of <laughs> focus on what I'm doing with my audience. Um, my audience. Uh, but, you know, uh, is, there's incentives. There's rewards. You have to like, focus like, on your like, audience. They've, they've come up with ideas, not me. They've come up with the idea that if I raise a certain amount on a stream, I put on a stupid hat or a vest. They, Blaming they, the viewers they for coming up with his cringe ideas. Stream to look like an idiot. And I'm they ruin like, his streams with. Them. I don't care. What do I, you know, I'm self-deprecating. Who gives a crap? You know, they're, they're supporting me. It's a way to give back. Um, no, I hear what you're saying. The difference is, all right, there's a tracker on the screen. Okay, big deal. I'm not going to sit big there deal. constantly. If you watch a four-hour stream I put out, yes, every once in a while, I'll hey, guys, it'd be great we can get some more support on the stream or whatever today. Big and segment. We'll move on, right? And I'll hit it up upon it a few times during the stream. Some people say I hit upon it way too much, and I understand that. Everyone has different perspective on that. I agree that oh sometimes God, I hit too much. Really I'm bro. trying to get better at that. Um, but there's a difference between that and you could tell that a stream is being done because someone... He just wants to make money. Having a passion, or someone turned on a stream today to make money. You know what I mean? Um, there's people out there that I feel like the only reason that they're in it is that there's no passion. You know, they don't love what they're doing. It's because they saw dollar signs and they want Phil, to monetize as much as. It sounds they can. like projecting right now. Yeah, yeah. Phil, 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 you you just said you just said a few minutes ago, and I mean this with all sincerity, man. You're you're. Oh you said, God, I'm getting scared. Ago. The reason why you still do this is because you you can make more money than a nine to five job, right? And mm -hmm. and half it's of it, right, mm -hmm. right. So like that that's a pretty big half, you know. And uh, I, I don't know, man. It just it doesn't seem. It seems like when when you're asking your audience for money consistently, look, Adam and I have both worked with people who who like the worst thing you can do is 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 value. Is uh -huh. look at your audience as a dollar, as a dollar, right? And, yeah. and, and a dollar. this is something dollar. that, that dollar. I don't that's have a lot of, you know, hey, hey. I left companies I need this, dollar, right? dollar, and dollar, that's what I need. That I, I, don't, hey. I don't agree with, but oh yeah, I would say that when money comes in and you reach a goal, let's say you reach a goal and you put on your vest or whatever, how are you taking that money and are you... Are you reinvesting it into your company? No. Are you reinvesting it into cameras? Are you uh, doing? Tell us a lot of ESP. Give it to us. Outside of. Uh, Tell us how you got everything. Got everything of, gifted. Your camera and your capture uh, card, and you didn't buy a new one yet. Play stuff. What are what? Tell what us how you didn't upgrade your PC yet. My people. You got to get it gifted I mean, I get you and pay, pay, bills, pay for. Get it, right. What value are you adding to your None. audience's experience to further that? He's adding being in a good mood. That you're, that you're He's on. adding not begging more. He um, beg less if you make more money. Big goals, like for example. If we hit a monthly members goal on YouTube, if we hit a sub goal on Twitch, now instead of just doing our normal routine gameplay, I do an interactive event with the viewers where we'll talk for a series of weeks. What do you, you think Craig going to be all right with this? Like you think he's going to accept this as DSP improving his content? What is what is a react event? What is What does that mean? Because this isn't really improving anything. It's just a one-time event, you know what I'm saying? 
Like if I drop to Walmart on stream, that's not improving the stream. It's just the one, a one-time thing that you see if you're there. Uh, correct? Two hours, right? But for me to react to it, it's going to take like three, four hours. Well, uh. that's going to take a major chunk out of my, my normal schedule to do. You know, people also don't want to be get backlogged on the games that I'm playing. But you hit that event. Now we're going to do special things. You know, this big React event. It's big separate react, from all my yeah. other content. A lot of the times it's hype. Going to make fun of Wings and Boogie again. Around it that I normally wouldn't do. Uh, yes, some of that money gets reinvested. Oh, well, I know to this what? Stupid, Buying like gin? It's called feasting with the king. Uh oh. Oh. I order a meal and I eat a meal with my audience. They think it's funny because they think it's funny to see me eat. I look stupid. They say I look. I get the tips and I invest the tips into eating on stream. He invested in the eating on stream. Things around it that I normally wouldn't do. Uh, yes, some of that money gets reinvested. Uh, I have a series. I know this sounds stupid, but my fans love this. It's called feasting with the king. Basically, I order a meal and I eat a meal with my audience. They think it's funny because they think it's funny to see me eat. I look stupid. They say I look like I'm, I'm in pain when I eat. They like making fun of me, right? He don't pay attention to the trolls and the detractors, by the way. Uh, mm, yeah. When you well, say the still, king... You're still using the king moniker, I, I see. Right. Uh, the king of hate. Not the well, king of hate, that's the thing. There's, it doesn't there's matter. You, you say the king and, you know... We're going to really pretend like 20, 30 people, 100 people say it in his chat that he's in pain. He looked like he's in pain when he eating. Get out. That don't happen. Feasting with the king and ask... People barely even fucking talk when he's doing those eating segments. I don't even know what they talk about when they do talk. But saying he's in pain, he look like he's in pain, that might be one message out of like 100 in his chat. BSP be watching Meerkat. Pushback. Like, don't change it. We love it. It's been like that for so long. Those are you my take notes when you watch him. Saying that, not my haters. My true fans. You're right. You're right. I agree there. The true believers. Eighteen hundred views right now. Holy shit. This choppiness, though. I'm blaming my computer. Just said, do it. Doing something above and beyond. I'm gonna. Well, that doesn't cause strange choppiness I've ever got before. Another stream, reacting. That's just making more money. But correct. But then you know the ordering of a giant meal that normally I wouldn't order. No, I'm talking. Ordering two entrees and stuff getting door dashed. You're talking 50, 60 bucks in my pocket that I normally would not spend. You know, mm -hmm. it's not budgeted, but because, you know, we did this special event. And I know I hear what you're saying. What you're saying is if you have these goals every day, where's the money going? <sighs> would you really like to know? Hands up. You really want it's I mean, not, it's not, honestly, it's not that we are asking. It's that mm -hmm. big ups. Kit Cat like 94. The reset 13 months earlier. That now they say, big ups, you, daddy tap. Guess what I'm eating the bean. Them or, uh, you saw them as dollar signs. And I'm taking an easy way out. They were one of these blue ones. Like, I feel like they want to know. Most. Well, let, let, the blue ones always taste good. Let's I got the two right? plates flavor. There was a, um, you know, you went through bankruptcy, right? Mm -hmm. And that's pretty public. You went through bankruptcy and there was this. Um, I don't know what this weird the, crackly choppiness. I'm getting up. $5,000. Um, you know, business expense thing has been talked oh, about. Oh God, this! Quite a oh bit. no! What could you possibly be spending five thousand dollars on? Look, oh I'm no! Lucky. You are a streamer who streams, you know, by your own schedule. You're, you're. Remember, he got that question during the bankruptcy right? call, and, but it was from that strange guy who was role playing. You didn't fix. And he didn't have to answer it. If he had to answer it that day, it fucking would have ruined his life. Most of your de over a decade of of doing this. Mm -hmm. I spend right. it on Hogan's so and Booker T's. There's, there's this whole, like, what what do your business expenses look like? I mean, I've done this for a long time. The business expenses are your initial cost of setting up your camera, your mm -hmm. lights, and, and that's about it. And then after that, it's your 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 cost Internet is bill. your time. Yeah, it's, it's right. your time, right? And uh, so so walk me through. What is that? Some five like? stars in the chat. Specifically, you know, there's this $5,000 business expense right. every month. So right. what, what what is this? Okay, so first of all, we're talking about things that came out publicly during a bankruptcy uh, proceeding, correct? He's going to bring it up first to make them, like he's going to bring up how the information went out to make them not want to talk about the information. I believe it's from my, my a tax return. Is that It's going to be great. It was filed or, or, you know, the data. I'm trying to remember exactly mm -hmm. where it came from. Um, you guys are probably know more than me because you've probably been inundated with this for two weeks. Well, inundated. I'm so far removed from this. Oh, from you. I, th I think, again, I'm just speculating. This is I'm um, You guys probably know more than me because you've probably been inundated with this for two weeks while this is I'm so far removed from this. I want to hear it from you. I, th I think, again, I'm just <laughs> speculating. I think what happened was when I filed for bankruptcy, a lot of information goes public. And so they look at a public filing. 
I guess there's certain information that's made public. I don't think it's all your tax returns. I think it's like one year's worth or something. Um, and that's I guess there's good. a number that was thrown out there that it looks like Phil does spends five thousand dollars a month on business expenses. Yeah, YouTube just yeah. recommended an ADB forty three video. That's how you know I clicked on a video from six years ago. They recommended another DSP video from seven years ago. Seven years ago. All right, when I I can tell you right now because I'm working on it right now for this year. <clears throat> what are considered expenses that a tax attorney wants to know you're spending every month? Jeez. Um. What does five thousand dollars come from, though, man? I guess that's so. Five thousand dollars is all of his bills a month, or what? He don't know. Um, How you add a mortgage to something and don't know if you're supposed to add it? I'm pretty sure mortgage is a lot of money, right? Uh, Phil, Phil, you've been doing this for 17 years and you don't know what your business expenses are. You don't know what you get taxed right off. Some what? Of stuff. I mean, like I'm stream queen. Uh, Specifically, uh, uh, no, I don't. DSP, you all and out, bro. I pay him a lot of money. To a tax guy. Somebody going to call his phone after this segment. The text dude calling his phone. He texted him right now. He texted him. Different. You know, I get to feel the tax loss change and stuff. And they figure it out. I give them all the data. In fact, just got an email from a tax guy the other day. He's like, we still need this data for you for this year's tax filings. We need how much do you pay for utilities? What, you know, what's your cost of internet this year? What's this? What's Yeah, his defense seems to be that he lied. But he didn't know he lied. So, what you're... They're going to re-audit him in 10 years. All right. When they catch up. We're really going to get to the meat of it is this stupid WWE champion. Oh, boy. I cannot hey, I can enter prediction. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But I but I want to I want to stay on this for a minute. I'll be able to enter prediction soon. Like, just once again, walk me walk me through this because like. Well, DSP I'm admit just, to playing I'm champions to by name in your shoes. And I'm trying to trying to think like, while, while you're while you're uh, piecing it together, you know, building that up. I just want to eating a uh, bean uh, for like, the Wilhelm screen at the beginning of this. Stream. For the one you want this to be this is where people can go to finally like tutti okay, fruity or video, stink right? bug I don't, I don't have to say it anymore so Correct. like this you you said like what do we want to know it was actually this isn't for us this is for the Fucking people sleep. out there that are like what about the five fifty dollars super you know, chat you know what about wwe channel which we'll get into like what about these things so it's like you're this is your chance to now say yeah beanie guys like either never gonna look up dsp whatever. ever again mortgage, and silently hate him mm -hmm. if that's oh he's gonna make fun of him publicly after this he's gonna make a five hour long video trouble, but i don't know it just feels no i see that's the thing uh, again when i went to that bankruptcy oh my god that he's about was to cry. the craziest rigmarole because my tax attorney excuse me not my tax attorney i misspoke my bankruptcy attorney had no idea what they were getting into with me being a public persona. And there were things, so, to do, I guess, to protect uh, their uh, online harassment, uh, uh, which they did. I tried uh, to explain, they didn't really uh, understand. Uh, who uh, was, and so when all that went public, that was the, the most drama. You guys play persona, right? Ever. The judge was inundated with thousands of messages from my inundated. about stuff. But anyway, let me answer the question for When did the judge get thousands of messages? What lore is that? That, that the, the expenses are including everything that I do. Okay, that's that's related to the business, and that could include <laughs> mortgage, any insurance that I, I don't even want to do it by accident. It's gonna happen to me. Um, no, I want to do it on purpose. It's gonna happen to me by accident. Or medical costs, um, legal costs, and that what I'm talking about is my tax attorney, but also other attorney and things that I've been involved in over the years. Which maybe we, may, we will get into that today, or maybe we won't. I don't actually. I really can't talk too much about. They both look annoyed. They're leaning in opposite directions. I know it's the first time I ever mentioned that, you guys. So. This is 2D, Craig. Among other things, you know, all, all the normal things in a month. You know, like I said, utilities and all of that. It adds it up. Here it is. Here's my tax return. All of a sudden, I'm being accused that that was a lie or something. Because it was $5,000 in business expense per month. You know how that sounds. You know that's ridiculous. How do you have $5,000 business expense every month and you have equipment from 10 years ago? You have equipment from 2010. How you spend 5000 a month on your business and you got a computer from fucking eight years ago? What? Um, How you spend five thousand a month on business expense, and you can't buy a fucking lept laptop. You can't buy an Xbox. That was involved in the bankruptcy. Hold on, player. Attacked online with so much shit. I had to go into meeting after meeting. I didn't remember this part of the story. I don't remember the judge being attacked online. I could have did. I could have been part of it. We went through. No, I could have trolled the judge. Dude, I would totally love to troll a judge. To a judge who has no idea what live streaming. Wait, no, it's not like never mind. Of being a live streamer and showing every single. I'm like it's a criminal judge. It's not a criminal judge though. Never mind. I want to troll a criminal judge. 
you know, Correct. and it, it took yeah, so much work. At the end of the day, right after all that explain. extra work and time and money that had to be- This fucking troll, it went through. Yeah, Discord merchant, the 5,000 bits. Line item by line item, what my business expenses are. Yeah. It should probably be the judge who's gonna make a Thanks for the extreme massive positivity. Hopefully it'll be a stone crash. Correct. They saw it all. They went through all of it. And at the end of the day, they said, this all makes sense, approved. Well, so, so, it, but in the vast majority of time, winners in did we ask, did we answer the question? Like some sort of relief, mm -hmm. right? Uh, whatever the debt is that you were paying, it's gone, right? So why do you feel so? Why do you have to go back to the well? Going back to your audience, um, it was like and, a pre-stream answer. You just talked for a while and said, your, your "Understand, content, correct?" Understand. Uh, when you claim and, and you sounds good, you still say that nothing has really changed financially for you. Great question. Thank you for asking it because this is one of the ones I get hit with every day. Um, we just talked about 2021 and what happened with Twitch. Okay, so the bankruptcy goes through around mid to late 2020. Oh my God, bankruptcy still. On your revolving debt that I had. I'm just hearing some slamming. It was, oh, it's Diller. Daisy Rage. Taxes. And taxes is a big thing because for years there, I was not able to pay my federal taxes properly. And well. It, you, 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 you couldn't pay them or you didn't prepare to pay them properly. There's a difference. Because as an. I thought you said that you paid a guy to do your taxes. Yeah, they screwed him over. Correct. To file the taxes. Because because I think the one thing that people need to understand is that you are acting as an independent contractor with YouTube and Twitch and whoever, right? So when you're paid, when, when somebody gives you a dollar super chat, YouTube takes 30% of that, right? And then, so you get 70%. God damn, YouTube. That 70% then needs to be taxed by... Nah, by, YouTube uh, needs to pay Sam, my taxes. Uncle they're Sam taking 30%. They take however much of that. So, so you, you know, by the end of it, you could be getting anywhere between... After Uncle Sam, I only get like 30 or, cents of that tip, man. 35 cents of that, depending on what your revenue is for the year, you know, and, and you're the tax brackets you're in. It sounds like, Bill... That that what the hell is you planning, yeah? didn't necessarily plan. So not your fan. For that. The two get the you didn't subs. Save your money to all the pay. Time. And if you if you have a tax person to do this, a CPA, which is for any hey, online the two creator, subs that's to like the Ivan number one Zephyr? expense is, what is, is having a CPA and to do red taxes. animated. That's the number one and thing. Because because resub, seventeen months. Scale, that's that's extremely Guess important. What? But We're eating three beans. Your tax because I don't want to add up the count. Tax person ever ever came to you and said. Hey, you should probably prepay your taxes. You should be paying quarterly instead of having one big lump sum at the end of the year. Yeah, because it, that just it probably seems, did. It would it make seems sense. Really irresponsible for somebody who who works online and has done so for seventeen years to have a tax person who hasn't suggested that and no, haven't no, no, had no, no, you no. prepaid. Do not please that, that. My tax guy is great. You okay. Know, he he he. You know, I have an well, estimate of what I should be paying, not even quarterly, monthly. Like basically, can I? We now love our tax guy. Our so tax guy. I can easily make it no problem, and other months I can't. I have to pay less. All right, I got a red, red bean. But that the, income is based off of your tax old for bandage. that month is based, and your quarter and your year is based off of the money that you're making that Thank month. God. So if you make ten thousand dollars that month, then then you're gonna be, you know, then you prepay whatever two thousand dollars in taxes, three, whatever, however much it is, right? So the money is already in your account. So why why would you have trouble spending? Why would you have trouble with that? I'm 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 really having a hard time following this because sure. if you have the money, it's either being spent before it's somebody's time to post taxes and, uh, or these do shit. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Way too good. Nobody's reading them. Okay, so they're just I gonna pass by. Streams. One revenue stream is very much review tech USA daily is daily in the chat, meaning. ladies and gentlemen. Cucumbers, 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 brass, brass. Brass. Where is he? Where is he? Does anything? We have to find him. I'm just struggling with my OBS right now, like always. Boom. Hey, I got a filter on. I forgot to turn off. Phil, who cares about your history with Keemstar? Why are you above a 50k sign on bonus for a podcast? But We'll ask for tips and groceries the next day. It makes no sense. Like tips, let's say. Okay, that's pretty much. I agree groceries. with you, Tech. The other revenue stream I agree. is the other income that I get from YouTube. That's average. Rich from you, Tech USA. 
memberships and all of that. <laughs> it's like Phil from DSP Gaming. And that essentially is the money that I'm using day to day to uh, pay pay. We have bills, another bean. Grocery shopping. Um, you know, buy a new game for the stream coming up. All that. The marshmallow the or stink bug. Comes in behind the scenes is what I use to do all my ongoing recurring. Wow. Mortgage, my car. It was the stink bug one. Health insurance payment, whatever. <laughs> What's mm. happening? Okay. The bank. Get the chills eating some of these, man. End of 2020, things are looking up. I'm actually getting more popular on. Actually, the chills. Good money. I announced to my audience in early 2021. Hey guys, guess what? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys. Hey, the light back. Me so much. The bankruptcy went through. It's looking like if you keep this going this year, not only for the first year in many years, because now the bankruptcy is over with, now I can pay all my taxes properly for the first Thank time. Thank you, Carlson, for the 17 months. And Ragnarok, I'm shot. Put on 100 bits. You know, I, I couldn't do Adam it. Adam got the fur put on right now mentality. You know what? Kind of do. I didn't notice. This jacket. And what happens? They get me kicked out of the Twitch party. Whoever he live, it must be extra cold out outside. The revenue streams for me that I can't really talk about. Later on that year, identity. How can you not talk about nothing? Whatever. Who cares? Huge one. Identity you clearly want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then what happens? They get me kicked out of the Twitch party. Listen to this. They shut down other revenue streams for me that I can't really talk about. Later on that year, identity theft, which we might or might not get to today. I don't know if we talk about that. That's a huge one. Identity you clearly theft. want to talk about it. He's going to go we'll, max we'll victim there. mode. We'll yeah. It cost me we'll so there. much money to fix the identity theft thing. So now I went from I'm good to, oh, I immediately have lost a revenue stream from Twitch. I have to go to YouTube. I'm making way less you money go to YouTube. Now than I was on Twitch. All that money that was going to make everything even, I'm good to go now, is gone again. I'm way reduced income again. So you're right. Because it just We're going to highlight the review. Well, nothing else the review. My mortgage Don't know. still exists. My car still exists. All the YouTube archive. Still exists, we'll go. I'm making way less. Okay, okay. So it, it, here, this is a running pattern, and I hate this shit. Every time in life I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens and screws me over. I'm serious. It's a it's like a comedy of errors. It's but once again, once again, Phil, it, a lot it, of people probably feel that way. Remove all that shit and just do something different. I'm not I'm not telling you what to do, but like mm -hmm. if if there's you don't want to hit a keep running in if if you keep running into a wall. Maybe he'll tell us I am doing something different. It's called DSP reacts. Right? And and like I I love that you love what you're doing right now, but if you're still struggling with this so immensely. At, at a certain point, don't you need to like self-reflect and say like, look, man, I'm running into this wall fucking five times. It's I, I should probably DSP come to Brazil this or change my approach to it. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Hashtag we want DSP in Brazil. Hashtag DSP Brazil. Changing it and, you know, not be beholden to people, do something different with my life. Um, I mean, yeah, let's be honest. A major, a major factor is money. Have to be honest here, right? That's what this is about. I'm going to be transparent. Major uh, factor. I mean, it sounds like it is the factor. You get a bag. I want. It sounds like you you're just spending the money as it coming in instead of saving and preparing for the next month, where it might not mm -hmm. be as profitable. So that you could be like, I already I, I'm saving. Maybe I'm not going to buy that new game. Maybe I, even though it's probably a write off because you're doing it for business. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, you know, it seems like you just got to. DSP, what's the money? definition Maybe of 1651? For the future. What's the I mean, meaning behind this like number? Lecture you no, you're money, right. But you it seems right. like you it <laughs> seems like you need it. So Yeah, I need uh, 1651. I Interesting I number. Sure, Phil. I need like a year. And here's what I mean by that. I need uh, this is so funny when you do this. To make content. He did this already like a year ago, right? Fuck we did this a long time ago when he I asked for an amount of time. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. I now agree with you. I know that now. I now agree. That's what's happened is every time something happens that screws my income again. Well, wait, oh, here we go. I worked my ass off. I changed the thing I is, of course, even if DSP got this weird year when everybody left them alone, it would just be like leaving a strange, a strange person alone and not having like authorities around and not having adults around. You're going to be leaving DSP in like a candy store overnight and you're going to show up the next day and he's going to be fat as fuck with like a stomach ache. Actually, it's going to be poo on the floor. Because the diarrhea was that bad. And he's going to say, well, you left me here by myself. Damn, I'm a different kind of content creator. All you left me alone for a year. This is why they do it to me right there. We don't like Phil for this, this, this. Okay, I'll change all of that. Nope, still do it anyway. Ruin his income. So uh, think about how many slavery jokes change. he would have made if people didn't, if people left him alone. Why, why wouldn't you just stay the person that you were and that you... you he might make even more slavery whatever, jokes if you leave him alone for you. Adhere to people on the internet. Because the people on the internet are going to hate... The haters are going to hate. Like, who fucking mm -hmm. cares? 
Yeah, you know, I say that all the time. Like, he literally refers you know, to people as detractors, and then he's like, I can't get them like to change their mind. Bro, I, I, the fucking identity I, of a detractor I, is a person that don't like you. I do if they change their mind, they're not that anymore. I be here every day with my audience. It's fun. I wake it's up, like I'm literal, go. you know? I gotta go play games and film again. Craig was confused about the detractor statement. He talked about it like the people that make fun of DSP made it up, but DSP made it up himself. Um, Some weird word that he didn't like create, but you swear he did. Let's say right now, cold turkey, I quit YouTube. But every once in a while, you see like a really famous person say detractor or like a big celebrity. In addition to that, there's a. And you'd be like, what the fuck? People say this word in real life? Who's going to hire a. You have my detractors. Besides. Wait a minute, Trump said it? Operate an online stream. Go on uh, Trump, nobody, Trump, nobody Trump, Trump go attitude, and look up Detractor. He said it like it once. Feels, it seems like you're you're already defeated, not even worth worth trying. So, so you're putting yourself in this hamster wheel that Craig was mentioning earlier. It's just like, I there's no option. This is it. Word is so I have to grind. I have to do this. And like that sounds miserable to me. Even though you're, you say you're having fun, it seems like you're just trying to convince yourself that. Yep. Of, Actually, it is. It might be true. It a might lot of true, people think that, but, but DSP going to say they're all trolls anyway. Also, I'm, I'm just pointing that out, what I'm seeing. And I, I just like to kind of continue on with that, right? The idea of like, do you, do you have a business plan? Do you have what it looks like in, what your business looks like in a month from now? Do you you got a business loan during COVID. From now? It wasn't a business um, loan. You have a tax guy who runs your numbers, but- You got that $1,500. Are, are you saving money? Because it, it doesn't What's sound a 14? like you are. Because- he probably got more. Just we only know he got that. Saying. And it, mm -hmm. it very much sounds like. And you know, he ain't need that shit. 60, but what if he did? Right. And if, you know, and if you want to be doing it with you when you're 60, that's fine. But, but this doesn't seem very forward thinking, you know, when you seem like you're, you're living day to day, as opposed to mm -hmm. thinking about long term. Um, and, you know, dude, you're 40 years old. And at a certain. I point, made a video. I made a video dedicated dedicated to point out dsp and his day-to-day -day living and his um his fast thinking how he always want like the the quick the quick buck literally how he wants the quick buck it's like fucking seven years ago i made that video you gotta look at things and say like that's only got worse do i want to be doing that like will i ever have enough his money only long-term thinking is members goals to, to only long-term thing is members goals you know, so and he don't have them anymore now he do daily members goals that, so he don't have any long-term thinking at all i mean it's okay to say you don't have a business plan it's okay it's like we're putting it all on the table here phil and if you don't mm -hmm. that's fine uh just kind of walk me through it man his uh, business plan is to wait for games really to come out he need other people to be creative plans in the past 100 percent. every single one of them has been destroyed by they can't even make trash and he make fun of that he don't want to play bad games at least like technically dsp is making a bad game and i'm making fun of it and depend on a little bit of that stability. he's re-releasing quiet man every day like adam said youtube twitch any kind of online content creation is a constantly fluctuating thing tomorrow well, for dsp to get 400 views he needs like games to come out with 500 million dollar budgets and huge actors and three years of build up and hype like damn bro you need a lot to try to make your fucking channel work you need everybody else to do a lot looks like there's consistency to my life oh here's what he still can't rely on ads he got a big on top of that if you guys like this game i'm playing give me some money the fuck i can pay the dev i had a business plan here's what i want to do let's do this for a certain amount of years i can pay the dev let's try new things let's do this and then if it keeps going you get to the next stage of the business plan right and what happens? I lose my partnership, identity theft, income's destroyed. Now what do I do? Business plan's gone. So how can I set a plan when these people won't So you don't have a plan then? The question was if he had a plan. He answers by saying, well, if I have a plan, people are going to ruin it. You make another business plan. It's called having a rainy day fund or something. I don't know. That's what you do. Like any, any I mean, I don't. What choice yeah. do you have? Right. The, the only choice is to make a new one and continue moving forward. I like, agree. Like. I will, I will not be beaten by these people. These you know, people? Not, what you well, just said sounded like you, you were. Oh, like no. You, you have been over not. and over again. One of the I'm, major I'm things. letting you know. I'm oh, you God. Know, like the, what you had just <laughs> finished with. I'm getting you know, scared. Business, he asked what your business plan is. He was like, I had a business plan, but they kept shitting all over it. Like that was your response instead of this is my business plan. Mm -hmm. Right, you didn't. You didn't. You don't have a, a future vision. That's. I think that's what. Craig oh, I was do. Going okay, for. okay. I spoke. I do have a future vision. The problem is, if I fully explain it, they're going to try to ruin it. You understand? That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I should have said that. I, I'm sorry about that. Like, do I have an idea of what I'd like to do? Yes. 
I know exactly. Actually, I have. He won't tell us. To know exactly what I can do. He's being vague on purpose. Situation. He's going to continue it. Wanna, listen, sounds good. I don't want to be here on stream every day saying to people, toss me a few bucks. Oh my God, that's the worst feeling every time I effing do it. I don't want to say, hey, tip me, do this, do that. That's the soy voice is coming out. I, I don't want to ask for tips. And this hey. is the one part that my detractors will never mention. You got a bag, I want it. My income kept getting screwed. Oh, the trolls made them big. All these different times by them and by my choices. It's not just them, it's also my bad choices that did this. Mm -hmm. I never had any kind of crowdfunding. It was always just filled. Incorrect. Via ad revenue. I wasn't asking my fans. For it was Imagine like, lying about people giving you money that like you. Via ad revenue. I Acting like they never did it. Sponsors. I didn't take. This dude was partnered from like the second month he was on Twitch. He got partnered mad early because he had like 100,000 subs on YouTube. They gave him the partnership. That's what they do. If I had 200,000 subs, they would have gave me a partnership, but I was trying to. Uh, so he had that. He had his PayPal on his YouTube since 2009. I mean, that's enough. That's literally enough because, you know, that makes what he say a lie. I never had any kind of crowdfunding. Never had any kind of crowdfunding. I a living on YouTube via ad revenue. I had no sponsors. I didn't take any money. He did have sponsors too. I wasn't asking my fans for crowdfunding. Everyone else was. I wasn't doing it. It wasn't. We're never going to actually do those questions because this is insane. Because everyone told me to do it. But I specifically emailed Craig a bunch of sponsorship shit the SP did. I had to dig to find these two. And they go, they go from 2012 all the way up to now. Sponsorships for money, sponsorships for free products, beanbag, fucking chairs. They're like, he never did that shit. Begging. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry, Phil. Begging, begging for money is never a good look for anyone. Completely Anyone. agree. Completely agree. I agree. I can't, I can't dispute it. Well, it's the, indisputable. What the okay, fuck then, you doing yeah, it then? Look, we all we all established. Look, the idea of like going on stream and saying I really need help for these taxes. I really you got a bag. I want it. Big thing Correct? coming up. Um, Trav, can you please kill it with the uh, with the chats, please? Um, <laughs> I didn't know they had a fourth, the thing, a third person doing it. And people asking, "Is this live?" Yes, this is live. Right? Of course, it's live. <laughs> we recorded. Um, the 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 you had an opportunity. With with Keemstar and drama alert. Yeah, they should you ask about his two hundred dollars trash can. Phil, do you still have a two hundred dollars trash can? Why did you buy that? To, you. to to go on this podcast, right? Fifty k. Why not do that? Like that's mm -hmm. that's a that's a. We saw his chat amount, talking about this earlier. Taxes attached. Because I'm fucking after it's eleven minutes, done, fifteen minutes behind now. Right? Right? But we got that why Keem not question. Just say, okay, I'll take your money and I'll spend a couple hours on your podcast. Uh, and it, that would clear up so much of your financial burden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keemstar story. Here we go. <laughs> well, no, no. Just, 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 but just answer that question. I, I don't, I don't want to hear this. Like, Honda. Why would you not take 50 K? Because that's not what happened. You, you've been told a story. That's not true. I have to tell you what actually okay. happened. Uh, Please. So there's a history with Keemstar. I never went to go and get my fucking water. I was supposed to get water like an hour ago. Reputation on YouTube, you know, Everybody on the stream taking sips. This dude's got his cat in his lap the whole time. You just go look on YouTube. You'll find out all about him and the things he said and did to people and things over the internet. Um, I've a had a bit. little bit of history with him. A little bit, but not a lot, you know. Um, and basically, he had been pretty nasty to me a few times, tweets and things like that. I'd, what it is is people will ask me something on a stream. What do you think of Keemstar? And I'll be like, you know, it's not. It was 1.11 p.m. Like for me. I call them misery brokers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never heard him say that before. You have a bad day. Holy shit. They're having a good one because you had a bad day. Misery that brokers. To, my, to me, I feel that's the... Remember the term drama merchant? It's been so long since I heard it. Personal drama the misery broker is new. Definitely one of those people in my eyes. You can disagree. That's okay. That's what I think. Man, pig, pig, go that. So I, I said this one day. I'm doing it now. He starts insulting me and everything on the internet. So we have a little bit of bad blood there. Okay? WWE. Bad blood. Last year. Okay? Unbeknownst to me, people start telling me Phil Keemstar is trying to contact you. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I, you know, I have a public. Email. Well, I'm a fucking shop at three stores just to wear one outfit. If you want to talk to me, contact me. Let's talk. He said it specifically, exclusively about Keemstar. Only once during the Keemstar react, he said it twice. He like to call these people misery brokers, bro. He, you only call Keemstar that, and you only call them that once. It's like he wrote that in a script overnight one day, and he forgot it. He forgot it until just now. His new line, the misery broker. My business, I can't be 
showing ridiculous. Why is it so quiet? Wrong link. Let's figure out. You know, it's a business. Why is it so blurry? No email. What? Nothing. Okay. He is. He's sitting on his Twitter. And he's no, negative. Public Twitter. Twitter? Someone tell Dante. Okay? <laughs> he is. He's sitting on his Twitter. And he. <laughs> No email, nothing, okay? It's Twitter. He is, he's sitting on his Twitter, and he's making public tweets. Someone tell Dante. Public Dante tweets. Right now. He should make private contact tweets. Contact him. Tell him I need to talk to him. There's $50,000 on the table, and he needs to contact me right now. Public tweets. I remember when DSP made a public tweet about me at 3 a.m., telling people to flag my fucking YouTube channel because I made fun of him. It was really funny. something to offer me. Should he not contact me i got banned on twitter the next day people come to my stream to i don't know if it was worth it but i got the tour so, back so to answer your the question, cowboy took an l in, in a traditional in a rare cowboy l that's not how you start a start a relationship uh when you deal in the space that keemstar does and kind of the drama Bro, like they got two thousand views um now. yes that is how you would start it because it, you throw out fifty thousand. before it started i would have guessed that they hit 500 you know, 600 yeah, max you know, i want to want to get get this attached so um, it's traditionally, no, but we're not dealing okay. with Coca-Cola. We're dealing with Secure. Keemstar, right? And that, that's what he does for a living. So he wants to put eyes on his product and drive mm -hmm. interest. So I, I would say, yeah, he did do it the right way in, in his world, in his interest. It's the okay. same thing as the people making a, this is how you not, don't play a video game. It's the same shit. They're using your, this is how you don't play. I don't know, for lack of a better word, cloud content? Oh, okay. to make content and it works. So Keem did it, and you know you're you're doing that same thing. You're bitter that he's not approaching you respectfully. You know you, you, you if he actually wants to get you on his stream. The guy that MP4 he maybe should have reached out to you, but you know he's he's basically using you. It's like the right Correct. thing would be is to use him back. Right, and, and if there's, if there's <laughs> right, and if there's fifty grand on the table, what better way? There's no way he's gonna make fifty grand back off off nice of you. Like why? Why don't you? Why don't you just take it, cash the check, and then you're golden? Okay. Or even, even even if it's ten grand, even if it's five grand, Ooh, even if it's a thousand dollars, like it's a little blurry now, but be like, yeah, I'll take it. The sharpener was on by okay, accident. Let's continue because that's this isn't what happened actually. There's, Please, it wasn't it wasn't an interview. I'll, so I mean, explain that part because I you know there's you're wrong by the way about that like you said that that's not what happened. You fucking that, right? buffoon. So you're a fucking dunce. I had to DM him on Twitter to get, even get his attention because he wouldn't contact me. You know, I learned from drama on my stream. Everyone's drawn up drama on my stream. Keen wants to talk to you. So I DM him, and he's like, call me right now. I was like, I can't. You know, just tell me, what is this about? You know, I'm streaming. I'm busy. Just let me know what this is about. I'm busy at work, man. So I, I, I'm serious. I had to go back and forth with this guy so many times for him to just tell me in a DM. What I'm interested in is I want to do a show with you. I want you to host a show. This was not an interview for two hours. This was some kind of like an a big project he wanted to be involved in. I don't know exactly what. Let me explain. So he says, but I don't want to talk about it in a DM. We got to have a phone call. I'm like, okay, that's reasonable, right? I'll Let's be able to listen to this on my phone. I got to go and get number. some water. Here's when to call me. I, I'm available at these times of the day. I haven't got the raw restream I can pull up. It's been like two days. The, call the trolls win again. I'm serious about it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this guy's head. All of a sudden, I don't I'm know what streams. I could do. He starts calling me. When Open I'm a giveaway streams. that I forgot I'm to like, reopen. Is he, I, you know, I don't know what's going on again. So I DM him after the fact. I'm like, hey, you want to go? So basically, it's like, it's like. We Steam. have a Steam call. giveaway the guy won't even for contact me to talk Barrett to Trauma. For me when oh, I'm Steam. Available. I got like four or five so games I want to give away during the stream. I legit forgot until now. Out what this is, and I talked to my of wife. course I did. We sat down. I was like, sounds to me like he wants But if you want to win this game, or at least enter to win, just type exclamation mark, enter, followed by a number between 1 and 777. And we talked about a series. If you don't have any glow, you can't enter. Imagine not having glow. Would be hugely helpful. It's some weird game. I can't explain it. I can't explain what this game is. Um, with all the things that are going on financially behind the scenes. And, you know, when, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. You got to do what's best for You got to do what's best for everything. Everyone's good interest. And if this were someone who all right, I I'll be back. had, like, my best interest in mind or possibly um, was not, had the history that he has, I probably would have done it, you know. But this is a guy who has a history of online. He gets you involved in something. And then everything he does is for his own personal gain, and it doesn't matter how much he hurts you as long as he's still benefiting from it, okay? There was no offer to me of being on an interview for $50,000. That's a lie. Right? So, okay, and I'm just, just for – if it sounds like there's miscommunication here, Yes. right? 
if if we were to get Keemstar on the show right now and kind of kind of walk through this, because I, I'm I'm very intrigued by this, right? I want to know more about this project. Would you be? Bro, I'm so that? confused. I can hear myself yeah, on the old thing. Was I there a whole time? So, so you was the YouTube not archive basically not fucking correct? Never going to do business. No. After okay. the things I now know about. It was supposed. You was literally not supposed to hear my voice on it. Okay. Okay. Oh, then I'll delete my tweet that I was about to send asking Keemstar to come on the show. <laughs> I, I I didn't send a tweet out, just so you know. <laughs> I, was, I was going to. Um, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. You could say there, it's a difference between short term gain. I don't know what the long, hell happened. Long view, right? I turn I on a like raw restream. I'm hearing myself. In the long and now I don't hear myself. Rather than help. Huh? I feel like it's going to be even more, more trolls, more toxicity towards me uh, than I already have because I've seen this guy's. I've seen documentaries on this guy. It's factual evidence that he creates. I don't. I don't, I don't want to worry about. I don't want to talk about Keemstar. Yeah, um, it, it, but, I, but, I, I, I want to say you should use that mentality towards money. It seems like like in a prediction. You know, you're you're holding him on on that, but instead of in your own. No, world, I'm fucking tripping. Gonna help you out. They're talking about champions <laughs> now, feels like but we're behind. I'm hearing it on like, my phone. I'm the type of person. <laughs> I, my friends call me. So you gotta wait, asshole, and I'm mm -hmm. cool with it. Like I don't mind. I'm I'm brunt. I, I'm freaking vicious sometimes and uh it just just seems you know you're being really raw here and and honestly props to that so yeah um, major props for I, sure i just that's just this is just who i am so i just uh, just feels Dude, like no i take no that. offense from anything and I, I appreciate all of the input i really do having conversations like this can only help well so so how do you square the idea of not not taking keemstar's money but taking it from your from your audience who you may not know maybe they're slinging crack maybe your audience you know you don't know where that money's coming from right they may be getting it morally in a in a you know in a way that you may not agree with morally um how how do you square yourself with that you know maybe maybe that I, I think everybody you know if you have a sizable audience online you you deal with people who are favorable people and you also have some unfavorable people in your audience right um, and they may get money from other ways. So how, how do you square that in, in your brain with, uh, you know, Keemstar versus unknown money? I don't equate the two. Like, Keemstar money is I'm taking money for a direct project that apparently is going to be a long-term business relationship with this guy. I'm associating myself. I'm going to take this opportunity to listen to my own stream on my phone and see what the audio sound like. See what it sound like. Okay, I'm doing it right now. Like what I stand Dude, it sounds great. Oh, I'm such a professional. His Ted! You know, my crowd funders are the people. I'm so glad. Do this for a living 15 years I'm so later. glad I got to see this. But I can still make it's Ted. Ask DSP about his doxing, doxing Discord with donators driver's license. I tell them every day. Oh, Ted. I fucking love Ted. Meaningful for you guys. And what you tell me is meaningful every day. Um, but here's the thing. And this is an interesting point. <clears throat> As a, someone who's crowdfunded, mostly. You know, it's mostly income coming in from streams, ad revenue from people watching ads, all of that. This is a question for you guys, too, I guess. This is interesting. Sure. Can, or can you be held accountable for your viewership? Correct? Like, for example, right now, the G2s. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I, I would hope that they're all upstanding individuals, right? You always want that. But you don't like know what they're so. all doing, right? Sure. You don't, you, do you micromanage your G2s and say, well, you know, there's someone who's nice on my stream and they come by every day. And I just found out, I went to their Twitter to find out that they're a horrible person. They say racist things on their Twitter all the time. If someone came to you and said that, would you say, oh, I got to ban them from my community now because they say things on their own personal Twitter? No, that's censorship. I don't believe yeah, that's that. censorship, and I, I don't agree with that either. But I, I do think that it starts and stops with expectations, right? Your expectations, and it starts with, with leadership, right? Whether you like it or not, I think that you are the leader of your community. You are the people that everyone looks to on, on how somebody should act, how somebody should uh, interact with other people in your chat. How you are the the flag bearer of how uh, what the community should be like, right? So uh, I think ultimately your community emulates the hosts. And um, that, be, that being said, I do I do say I, I absolutely understand not wanting to go in, into business with someone that you don't respect. Uh, yes, I, I per personally know um, many different people that are very successful that I don't respect, and I'm like I'm couldn't be happier not working with them. Right. Exactly. I mean, the root, right. That is exactly real ones. No. There with yeah. I, I mean, I get that. I get that. So, so we'll, we'll let, let's let's kind of okay. Let's let's kind of dig into this a little bit, right? So, where's the line, right? When you when you have 
let's just say you have a community member that you know, you know, via their Twitter, let's just say they are selling Coke, right? They're selling illegal drugs, whatever. Don't you want to be like, hey, man, like, I'm not... I'm not into that. Like there's visual evidence of them doing something bad or, or at least alluding to something negative, something that would be uh, shunned uh, in a normal society. Right. But you, you know, they're a part of your community. Um, I, you know, and once again, they're coming into their community, potentially, uh, you know, potentially bleeding that into the community. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think you censor them, but maybe have a conversation about it. Mm hmm. Um, I agree. It, it's 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 a line of is it influencing you and your content and your community or not? So I think I think we're going towards a certain topic. I don't know if there's a particular person you may be referencing, Craig. Um, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not going to reference any specific community members. That's that's not okay. what this this, this is not about. This is not about you know specific community members. We're here to talk to you. Okay. I, I so, do. I do. I, I want to actually address something real quick. Um, mm -hmm. So Keem Keem actually just tweeted. And, and uh, responded to what you just said. And I, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'm going sure. to read his tweet. Uh, Kim, he said, DSP is lying in this live interview. I called Phil at the agreed times, and he ignored my calls and claimed later he was at work. He ignored my calls for 50K up front uh, for the uh, low cow podcast to stream to under 200 live viewers, begging for them to pay his rent and his utility bills. Both Wings and Boogie agreed to low cow, uh, low cow podcast. The only reason it didn't happen was because of DSP. Thoughts? Response? It's a blatant lie. He called me when I was on stream. I looked at my phone when I was on stream wondering why I was getting a phone call. After the fact, I realized that was Keemstar calling me when I was on live streams. It's just blatantly false. I gave him okay. the times. I said there was time frames between streams he could call. At One day I actually sat here. For an hour in my office after a stream, waiting for him to call, and he never called. Well, if it's not true, he's gonna he's gonna post, you know, when you were streaming and the phone call. And if not, then you know, it's pretty easily provable. Yeah, that's fine. So, he never. I tell you right now, to to my knowledge, he never actually called me when I when during the times that we talked when he was available. To my knowledge, so that's all I can say. And then you know, after the fact, I here's the thing. I just wanted to have the conversation. As I told you guys, I personally have issues with the guy and the content he puts out. I do. So at least, at the very least, knowing it's in my family's best interest to have the conversation, find out what the conversation is about, at least, to find out, you know. But but he wouldn't even have a conversation. So if you, the conversation doesn't take place, of course I'm not going to say. If, if you can't even have the call, how on earth could you ever enter a business relationship with someone for a big amount of money, for a big commitment of time or whatever it was going to be? You know, it just didn't make any sense to me at all. So that's why it never happened. Okay. And by the way, Boogie, I've talked with Boogie behind the scenes. He really wanted me to be on the show, but I, I told him personally, I can't do it, man. I can't do anything with Keem. I just can't do it. I, a guy, I can't be involved business with what he stands for. It's kind of like the same thing. I know this is going to sound crazy. All right. I'm the kind of guy that I, if I can help it, I won't shop at Walmart. Okay. Why? Because I don't, I hate that company. The company has destroyed small businesses, little towns, Right. Now, everyone shops at Walmart because that's the best price. I, if I can help it, I won't. Every once in a while, I go there. But for the most part, I, I can't. I got That's the kind of guy I am. Maybe that's a huge flaw with me, right? But I'm not going to take money. I would feel like taking a paycheck from Keemstar is kind of like blood money. That's money he made on the backs of people, drama content he put out, people he's hurt to earn it. I'm not going to do that. But didn't you start your career on, on like drama and hate? But not nah, it's people. I, never, I will say this. I never, if I could help it, but the people directly in the street hurt anyone. The Street Fighter community, like that's who you said you were targeting. Oh, okay, that's different. And here's the thing: you're right. I've how's totally, that different? It's di no it's different because I've changed now. I will agree, and I, I've talked about this in documentaries about. Me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you past. sound you sound like like the abusive ex boyfriend trying to get back with his girl. I've changed no, we, now. Don't worry about it, Adam. I'm you're talking about something that happened the first half I, of the two. I know. I, I'm just I'm just calling as I said. It just sounds funny, like hearing that. Yeah. Um, I, that I changed now. That that line is so. I, I don't know, overused by the I was wrong an online people. troll in the Street Fighter community. Absolutely. There was online harassment that happened. Absolutely. I've learned from that. I've been through it myself now. And I realize how harmful that is and why you would never do it. Especially when you're someone in a position of power who has an audience to actually troll people, to do drama against people. That's so harmful to them. I would never do that for personal gain anymore, you know, ever again. And taking that money from Keemstar, I feel like I'm taking money from other people who've been hurt. 
in order to benefit. I can't do that. Have you reached out to anybody that you were, that you feel that you wronged did in the street fighter community to let them know that you changed and that you're sorry? Well, the people from back then, I would have absolutely no idea how to contact, but I have publicly said things. For example, last year I went, I did a react to the down the rabbit hole video about me. This is by Frederick Knudsen. It was millions and millions of views. It's one of the, the videos everyone was watching. It was made in 2017. It covers all my early years as a YouTuber, but also my career in the Street Fighter community. And I admitted publicly how bad I was back then, what an awful person I was just to get over in the Street Fighter community. You know, there's people back then that for no good reason, I trolled them for no reason. I'm no, you know, I'm just an asshole. And I apologized in that video. I mean, I mean, do you want me to name names? I mean, this is well, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because I want to know who's so hard to get a hold of. Uh, what's his name? Sh Shady K. I don't even know if he's even around anymore in the Street Fighter community. I mean, in the early 2000s, I destroyed this guy for no reason, no good reason. I don't know, you know, I just, I latched on to people because look, if I, more, the more I make fun of this guy or the more I try to attack these people, I get over, right? And it caused so much drama. You know, people, we almost fought at Evo. It's so stupid. Now I look at it, I'm like, boy, I was dumb. What kind of dumb shit was I? I thought I was a pro wrestler. I thought, oh man, I'm talking shit and we're going to, you're going to have big rivalries at, at, you know, fighting game championships. It's the dumbest shit, you know? Right. So is, that is this long, long tram? I, I don't know. You tell me because that's the thing. Like it's, these these people are not hard to get a hold of, and his DMs are open. So like I feel, I feel like that's that's pretty disingenuous to, to say like, well, I, you know, it, it's more like I don't you don't want to put forth the effort in saying that, you know, I I'm gonna say this publicly, and it should it should it's a big blanket to cover all the things that I've done wrong. When mm -hmm. if you know that you that you've done things that that you regret, you should probably reach out to people and say like, hey. I, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for what I said. Because the reality is that on today's internet, it's not impossible to, to find these people. It's, it's very easy. And it just comes down to like a little bit of effort. And I'm not oh, even man. saying that you're it's not, been great. but I'm saying that- Ted showed up. We had the Keemstar more. tweet. You know what? Keemstar right. tweet discussion. Here, here's, here's why. They're asking questions about people. I was, in high school, I was bullied a lot. He had to name them directly. You know the internet got to find whoever that is now. They're going to find them. Yo, you're DSP talking about you, bro. He want to say sorry. And he found me online. He contacted me. Oh, online. man. I just want to let you know. We got to stick I'm, together. I'm just kidding. No, no, he, no, he basically said, I'm sorry for what I did to you. Yeah, DSP's talked about this before. What's the point of bringing this up, though? Hey, have you apologized to people you should own? Well, somebody did it to me. And I said, but what did you do? Said, Nothing. I don't really care. You know, I don't care. Life. You don't have to worry about it anymore. And that was it. So, to me. The ego, though. I don't give a fuck, man from those days you know we're talking 20 years ago does this guy care to hear from me 20 years later in a dm yes never never even crossed my mind you just pretended like you couldn't find him you made the point go find him I have to think about it i, have to think oh, about I gotta think about it wrong back then uh who possibly i could maybe reach out you should to apologize to pandaly because that was one of the people who nah it's probably more him. people ahead of him no reason. It was just that he should apologize to guy, to the point right where at the end at the end of evo we had a, a grudge match on stage review take super ended, chat I wanted to shake his hand and he was talking so about WWE champions, maybe. Because I trolled him so bad. Like if I skipped ahead. He basically was like irrevocable harm that you've done to me. I'm not going to shake your hand. You're a piece of garbage, right? Now I look at that and I'm like, I probably would have felt the same because I've been through probably. that. I'm on the other end of the trolling now and now I get it, right? But you're right. I, you know, well, I, I think it like, makes sense. You know, what, what, you're, what you're talking about, you're talking about growing, growing as a person. I think those are things that that people you can absolutely learn from, you know, and absolutely should learn from. And, and those are those are things that are incredibly important to do. And to answer your question, does he want to hear from you? I guarantee he wants to hear from you. He doesn't <laughs> know he wants to hear from you. These people don't. But but taking time to just say, hey, man, take a messed up. it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You know, uh, if, if especially if you know you messed up, like people said, oh, Craig, you messed up. But I don't know why I messed up. They just they just point their finger, you know, True. Um no, you know, I know why I messed up. Those it's me every single day life. on this right. show. With, with it's been, a, it's been a, a consistent theme with Adam. He's always pointing his finger. I mean, you really messed <laughs> up. Um, all right. Sorry. Is the oh, cat still there? Um, I'll say this. Don't, um, don't point your finger at me. Uh, I'm not pointing tell. any fingers. Probably. No way. Damn straight. He's like stroking right, the whole uh, string. Let's continue on. All right. Holy so we made mistakes. Lee. We're going to uh, big blue box. for them or do our best. Um, let's go into wwe champions sure WWE. let's talk about this because this has been a consistent theme uh, i love it all the uh, i want love to know it. about your experience with this game 
Yeah, I want to get good at it. Um, just a real simple yes or no. Mm-hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Why are Prediction you ended. so... Um, why, why are you so uh, hesitant to... Just look at his face for it. Mm-hmm. Champions. No. Mm-hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Why are you so... Uh, Shout out to all my champions out there. Why, why are you so uh, hesitant to talk about that or to talk about uh, WWE champions and... What could the next prediction Start be, though? There. I might be able to think of something. Yo, five oh, gifted subs. This is the first time they got some gifted subs on his stream. Well, the thing is, I wasn't at first. I did talk Snort about... Snort Hogan got one. Years ago, when the game first came out, very innocently talked about playing it casually. Uh, you know, that I was a fan of wrestling. This is a game that I played. Now, you know, over the oh, no, he got... While, they I got gifted the earlier. I didn't see him. Or whatever, but, um, you know, it's nothing that I would think that my audience would be super interested in. To hear about me, what, what, you know, what mobile games I casually will talk about them. That that would be like something I would mention on my podcast. You know, oh, let's talk about them playing a new mobile game today or whatever, right? But what's ended up happening is, if his audience didn't want to hear about mobile games, why was he trying to make a series dedicated to playing them? My content or my business, what I'm doing on stream, somehow gets to Bruh, somebody know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna look it up. He wanted to make it a whole actual thing, to make me look bad. but he couldn't figure out how to capture the footage off his phone because he's stupid. Of them. In my opinion, and you can disagree. But he did a he did a video back in the day, like filming his iPod, and it was like, "Yeah, you guys, I'm gonna be playing some video games soon." Completely disproven. He never did it though. I never went out of my way. He acting like that never happened. His audience didn't want to hear about mobile games. It's, it's, can I can I ask you, Phil? And then when they started asking about it, he didn't want to tell them. Of course I have. Of course I have. have you yes. Spent a lot of money on this game. No, not a lot. What's a lot? What is a lot? Over over a hundred dollars is yeah much on a mobile game. So Probably it, when the game first came out, yes, I spent over a hundred dollars. Yikes! That was okay. 2017 when it first came out. Trust look me. at his face. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What's that look? That was okay. 2017. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold the fucking phone. I'm clicking the wrong stuff now. Let's see. See if I could truly highlight it. When it first came out. Right there. <laughs> it tilt down, smile come up. Trust me, I'm <laughs> first on this game now for all the wrong reasons. This is too much. Good question. What does a lot mean? Anything over, over the head shake when you say what does a lot mean? Too much on a mobile game. So Probably if, when what the is game a lot? first came out, yes, I spent over $100 on it. That was okay. 2017 when it first came out. Trust me, I'm first on this game now. I'm first on reasons. it. So, yes, in the first <laughs> year. <laughs> Wait, wait, you just flex on how good you are at the game? No, say? no, no. I said I'm versus the game. Uh, I have to know about it because they they're uh, freaking put me in conspiracies about it. Uh, really yeah, he cool. looked up the game because of the conspiracy about. theory. Not, sure. This is like saying you looked up gay porn because people called you gay. What? Total under a thousand dollars over the years that it's been in operation for sure. Okay. 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 Over a thousand dollars. Okay. No. Because that's not what that's not what people think. That's I just wanted to know what people oh, were accusing me of doing. Some sort of a, a whale in that game. I looked oh, into I it, man. Every, you know, I, well, okay, I haven't seen every video. I've heard it all. For, first, it was fucking DSP, like, man. Thousands, then it was ten thousand, then it was twenty, then fucking it was forty. DSP. Now it's hundred, I think. A hundred thousand supposedly I've spent on this game. Well, well we started well, talking about it, and you instantly went into just attacking other people. Like we don't have to, like your detractors. Like they, they oh, may boy. deserve it. I don't know, but. We, we can have this conversation without even bringing them up. Sure. Right? Big ups, Dominic. We'll, we'll bring you're at the perfect time. Okay. If they're, if they're, you, you I know, know you've been loving saying, the interview so far. The, They've been wilding out. Making up shit. But you do 2, play 2,230 views. And I think what ha- what's happening the is side well, you're begging your audience for money. Let's check everybody else if you can. You know, this King's Feast is too expensive for six. We got 163 on the raw restream. Pressing for money. And then putting money into a game that is a mobile game that is... I mean, let's let's face it. Mobile games are not necessary in life. Who else is factually any, any amount of Meerkat money. Meerkat got one point one thousand fucking views. WWE, I don't even know. It, Holy I, shit! I saw like a picture of it. and It looked like Candy Crush. Yes, should have stream. Or so, I don't know what the hell it is. You know, but it just feels like nice they note, feel like you're you're just using them to like using your audience, and like I don't want to be used. 
I, I personally, I don't like feeling used. I've been used by people. In we the have community. Almighty underscore Tevin with almost 420 people views. We almost got the P fan number. Someone online and supporting them, and then Craig was right. This is like the used. Super Bowl. Like when you know you you say you beg dingus, and you, you know you're working on that, which is good because I you know, hate said, it's not a good look. <laughs> but even talking about hey, this other game that I should have uh, believe you're a whale in. Sadly, why, well, no, why dingus going to be streaming away later today. So it don't really matter. Never mind. So here's the thing. Wait, like, whale? Exactly. No. Thing. Oh, been so much I know what he means. I thought I missed something that, when I was you know, distracted. I, so I'm, I'm just gonna I mean, not distracted. My head try to go over what I remember. Apparently, at first he spent a hundred dollars when he first started the playing the game. game. Look at him looking up at the sky. The name of the account was They Call Me DSP. Okay. Which is which is also your Twitter handle. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And so hey, it's the cat. just by that association, you can't see him. They're Blame assuming him. that's me in the game. Okay. Now, from what I'm going to understand, after that, after I guess at some point it had been asked on a stream or whatever, is this you? And I said, no, that's not me in the game. It is not, by the way. That is not my account. I am not a WWE uh, champion. What is then, your account in the game? Uh-oh. Oh, why not? That's weird. Because that's not, by the way. That is not my account in the game. <laughs> Everybody knew this far was going to happen. What is your account in the game? That I'm not going to say. That's A lot of people, there, there, including me, say, thought he wouldn't even ask that. That's that simple right. question. I signed up for that game in 2017. There had never been any but drop. A lot of people thought it would also be a softball interview. I don't think it is. Ever asked me the question of what's the name? DSP of the almost cried. Well, I have a, a, Can a, someone a, tell me what this is? DSP is getting interviewed today. It's been the fucking. Over a lot of different accounts. It's been more than that though. And if I were to tell you information about my account, it's a very specific DSP segment. He is not having fun though. Use this data to get into other accounts. It's a drama interview. They asking him about wasting money on champions and like if he groomed people and shit. Okay. So so on the record you're you're saying that uh that account they call Like this got to have a part too, right? That's correct. Okay. Unless they're going to be here for five more hours. So, well, okay. But that cuz there's so many things they I'm didn't get to yet. My, my 100%. Apparently that that name was changed later to down from the rafters. <laughs> Right. Correct. Why would somebody, if this is a troll, this that is, is a, a great whale, question coming up. You already right, know that in this game. Why would somebody after let, let's say let's say after this was brought to your attention? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go to somebody else's stream. Changed. I'm gonna go to like right? uh, I, I don't know. Let's pretend a literally right? racist person stream on Twitch, like an actual KKK member. I'm gonna go to that channel and gift like a thousand subs, right? But I'm gonna call myself DSP. They call me DSP. It's kind of like that. Why, Why would, would you do that? Change Nobody's going to do that, right? It's just a troll to begin with. What's what's the point? I'm trying to well, wrap my head around this idea. Well, what if they did? Sure. Apparently, there's a couple theories. What's the line account? Is, like you just said, Phil, uh, the line account and the way it works is that bad? no one and can that was uh, the pretend to be you but unless they mean? stole your phone. But so tell I me, how do you have a line sense, account? Why would you try to ch change the your line account theory is super deep? I can't explain maybe, it fully. And again, this is me just guessing. I have no without talking in circles. Me. Maybe this person was a legit player. Maybe it was a fan of mine. Maybe it was, a, you know, who knows? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's complete chance. You know, this is not dark side Phil. But when this DSP first wanted to make game. gaming, uh, mobile he gaming videos, he was going to do the equivalent of playing <laughs> champions. <laughs> Who knows? Off a right, YouTube I, video. I, hey, it's 672. It's, it's in DSP chat. It wasn't like Phil Not DSP chat. It was a side scrollers chat. Twitter account. So maybe this legitimately was someone who was playing the game and over the years was getting like harassed. I don't know. Here's here's what I can tell you. Since this started happening, not? all right, you don't I was know. afraid that the, my actual account name was going to get out there and they were like, I just told you guys, they were going to try to like harass me or change, you know, harass my, my Apple account, hack my Apple account, whatever. I well, reached Phil, out. I got, I got to say real quick. Harass his Apple account. That, that Whoever, they call me DSP, change it to whatever the hell they change it to. Why haven't you changed it to some That's, uh, that's what I'm about thing? to say. That's exactly what I'm about to say. I asked the, the you know, they have the help chat or whatever. I asked them, I said, listen, this is happening and I'm, I'm really afraid. I'm really they afraid, me, Apple. They don't do that. I was like, what? What? Like, yeah, we don't do that. We don't do name changes. I said, there's evidence that there, that there is. They wouldn't do it for me. So maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this this person, because of the level that they've spent supposedly in the game, because they're a whale. Maybe a whale? they're them a solid because they, they keep spending. Maybe. So they did it for them. Uh, apparently, you can't just change your name. There's no option in the game to change your name. I've tried. It's not there. And you contact support. They say, we won't do it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, look, I 
<clears throat> there's a lot here. There's a lot mm -hmm. here. And look, I, I'm of the mindset of How when long somebody DSP gives you money, out? I'm going to ask a question right quick. Want. Why he had to go to the bathroom yet? But true. If he was streaming games, he would have went to the bathroom by now. This is there's merch. We're, we're here to put all the cards. It do hit different when you have to go to the bathroom when you're on your stream and not on other people's stream. So it do hit different when you have when you play this game and you ha you have this whale that has the exact same Twitter handle that you have that is pulling this elaborate elaborate troll on you, right? If they are, if that's what it was, I don't know. Right, but. And, and I, I look, I, I hate to bring this up. I hate to oh, bring this up. God. But, but, I'm, but I'm going to because I feel like it needs I'm to be scared. Addressed. Go for it. People have been very aggressive with you to the point to where they have leaked bank statements from you. Oh, right? boy. And that's obviously not cool at all. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's something we don't want to talk about, but we're going to talk about it's, it. It's honestly upsetting. But it's out there, right? And there have been, you know, according to these leaks... There have been dozens, 16, hundreds of transactions mm -hmm. to uh, to the Apple Store. Uh, some many over hundreds of dollars um, that that have been there. Were those your transactions? No. No. So so those were not tied to you at all. No. Those okay. The bank leaks. Now see. Now we have to get into the identity. You're about to cry. Okay. Um, well, let's just talk about the bank leads first. Well, they're tied to that. Okay. You know what I mean, like they go hand in hand. Um, I must already have Max issues in my own giveaway. Yeah, sure, actually, the do. bank leaks are not accurate. Those are not. That is not my account. So it's the person who took your identity was spending money on app in the Apple Store. No, that's that's not my account at all. Whatever so, that is is not me. That's fabricated. Or, or it's someone else's account. I don't know whose, but that's not the my... The trash man with the $5. Why well, is he justifying an iTunes PayPal purchase, purchase on the bank leaks if the bank leaks aren't his? To run what? With some kind of this crazy conspiracy theory and say that was me, and it's not. So you're it's saying... It's not him, but it's also stolen, and it's also him. All three are real. This account that is not yours, that had thousands of dollars of... of fees to the apple store consistently that are uh these these amounts just happen to tie to exact amounts in the game that we're talking about wb champions uh, massive coincidence and, the, and it's a game that you also play extremely so big coincidence same page yeah. you're saying that that is not your account at all and they were unsuccessful in find in hacking your bank account david we found your samurai warriors for account you spent five hundred thousand dollars on Kushosho costumes. And we know it's you. You showed right, pictures so. of her and talked about her before. That, that's the truth. It's you can uh, know. How it's looking from the outside in. And your name is also it's Almighty it's underscore Baba, Baba on yeah, the uh, it, Samurai it, account. It, I mean, it's not me. An outside perspective, who doesn't know anything. So, do you love Kushosho like, as a character, you and you think she's a great waifu? Yes. Bankruptcy. You had all these <laughs> issues, and people calling and you. You spent for any money on the game? No. When you should have been saving well, you know, maybe a little, then, right? Like I bought some know, costumes, but like a ton like, of money. Of course not. And sweating, you got to freaking do something about it. It's like, oh, I was hacked. That, that I was hacked. Identity theft. Like maybe the, identity the old school Twitter happened. excuse. I'm just like you say some slurs and, like, and then say you were hacked two hours later. Hate you mm -hmm. and are trying to convince the world of what? Man, happened. my shit got hacked, bro. Like Craig said, <laughs> I mean. You are playing it. Yell at the label. Yell at the record label and say there you got hacked. Bank statements that actually correlate perfectly with this game. I, I, I'm leaning more towards that side of the story because it makes more sense. I he mean, believes you, the you champion. The you champion have, people. You have money issues. And not the guy. You had money issues for a while. Yep. And it's just like... Uh, Speaking of the guy, you know, I didn't really notice till just now. He's just wearing a regular gamer shirt. Like he didn't wear a special shirt. the one that... I we didn't get an apology shirt for DSP. To prove my no button up, not a suit. Exposing myself. You understand? You not even a vest. He should have wore a vest and a funny hat. You don't. A you police don't report? He's thinking of like he's talking to Snow Carl again. Yes, of course I have a fucking police report. You have a police report. For the a, the a police identity. report. You don't. Oh, you no. can redact certain. The look things. on his face right there. Wait, wait, no, I don't have a police report. I. Oh, geez, how do I? Did Did you not go to the police when your identity was hacked? 
No, I went to I went to all my financial institutions. I went to the credit bureaus. You didn't go to the police though when someone was stealing your identity. Why wouldn't you do that? Uh, I didn't even think to do. I don't think. What would they do about it? Uh, Yeah, that's why I don't go to them either. Try to fucking get the person and arrest them for stealing your identity. (laughs) I I mean, you're. I guess maybe, but here, okay. I guess what I got to do is tell you a little bit more about all the crap I've been through. Uh, I have contacted the police about the harassment. No, no, listen. I have contacted the police about harassment over the years. Uh, you know, when I got swatted, um, years later, when someone was actually doing tons of fake transactions against me. He my contacted account. the police oh, when he oh, got swatted. Fraudulent credit card transactions. I mean, I contacted our police okay. here, and I had a big conversation, and they said, "Listen, this. I swear to God, this is <laughs> the is conversation. Here. We don't do that." We Would you believe my desktop audio was completely police. fucked? I have no idea how long though. Is human you probably could believe it. That's it. That's all we can do. Slave trade? Number to the FBI, if you want to call them. But unless you're talking about ginormous sums of money being tossed So down. you did contact them or you didn't? <laughs> not, not about identity theft. I contacted them years earlier about other issues. And you talked to them about <sighs> identity theft? I talked to them about a lot of different because things we're that, that had happened or could happen. And now I can turn those why, down. Why they were just there the whole time, but not earlier. If not, none of that was even happening to you. Well, I don't. I don't know if we specifically said, "Oh, you know, identity theft." What I, I like, I said there was a case where, first of all, I received De- a lot of different things uh-huh. that that had just happened or could happen. Easy, and they but why, why, why would you have theft. talked to them about identity theft years earlier if not, none of that was even happening to you? Well, I don't. I don't know if we specifically said, "Oh, you know, identity theft." What I, I like, I said there was a case You're where fucking degenerate. First of all, I received death threats, like pretty serious death threats. Are you sure? You don't know if you even complained about what you complained about. You don't even know if he did anything well, he why, did. Why so how he know what threats he got? Listen to this. Earlier, if not, none of that was even happening to you. Well, I don't. I don't know if we specifically said, "Oh, you know, identity theft." What I, I like, I said there was a case where, first of all, I received death threats. You remember that? You remember that part, though? Like pretty serious death threats. Someone saying they're gonna come okay. and murder bitch, me with a gun. Oh like shit! A completely bitch, different bitch, subject. Bitch, Correct. Bitch, right. And I contacted them about that. Bitch, and while I was talking bitch, to them, I also brought up damn, PayPal damn, issues that I was damn. having, with fraudulent transactions, and other things. And I forgot I'm not supposed to mash that button. We can't. We don't have the capacity. Local PD doesn't care. Bitch. You have to go, you know, if you want to go to the FBI, but they even said, here's the number. If you ever get into something really bad, you're afraid for your life or something, you know, call us 911. Outside of that, anything else? Call us 911. Here's our number. 911. So I didn't think, you know, I know. Call us if something go wrong. About the identity theft, because I didn't think they could do anything. They told me years previous, there's not, nothing's going to happen about degenerate. it. Well, you know? it didn't so, seem like you were talking about identity degenerate. theft with them, so. Well, so anyway. l- let me let me ask this, right? Something you really weird going on in the stream, the stream now. Stream? Like based on what the chat's saying, they're why? popping off way too why? much. You're a fucking. Dick. Why did you? Why did? Why did you? Why did you feel the need to to talk about the bank leaks if if they weren't yours? Uh, did, well, what do you mean by that? Like, to what do you a, mean? A specific stream that I did. Or Just in general, I mean, if 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 somebody if somebody hacks an account and they what say are you this talking is, about this is Dark Side Phil's bank account, right? Like honestly, why don't you say, well, it's not mine? Like what are you talking talk? about? And like I, did, I think I that, did. Okay, I'm sure that I've never said that that was my account. Hack. Then how come? And this is you know the internet doing what it does. The There's been mass making based off of your your. You know, your life, going to restaurants, big events in WWE champions, things like that, that line up perfectly with this big, like, and I think I said, it's, it's your money, dude. You can do what you want. I, I don't mm-hmm. care. But, but why are like, it just, if we were in the court of law and oh shit, DSP loves the court of law argument in front of say like, look, Hey, there's a bullet here. Here's the gun that he used. It has his fingerprints on it. This person is dead because this person pulled the trigger and the I other guy stop like, reading that chat. Well, like, Holy shit. Clear, what the like, hell's DNA, going on they're there? And like, I think that's the thing that I'm really struggling with here, man, is, mm-hmm. is streams is, getting way too scary. It seems like if you would just say, yeah, it was my bank account. It was really fucked up. <laughs> uh, it lined, it aligned with all these things. By the way, I played it's going w- Craig mode. I'm, you know, I, I have a hard time quitting it. It's it, those games are addictive. Uh, and you, you just kind of said, Man, yeah, what if that pre-stream these happened? things are accurate. Yes, I'm, a, I'm addicted like, to playing like, this okay. game, you guys. And, and they'd be cool with it. But that it just seems been like crazy. You, you, you keep digging and digging and digging. And I, I mean, walk me through this because there's just evidence here, like mm-hmm. mounds and mounds of evidence. And that's right, a, you, you claim 
Somebody in Craig chat said, have you, I, I gotta read it exactly. Yo, Mr. Ludacris is in a side scrollers chat. Somebody remember that dude. He used to make fucking DSP videos like before I started making them, I'm pretty sure. Or around the same time. He was a, a talking head DSP guy like Ree. But he didn't put clips and shit in his videos a lot. So he's never going to get fucking like blocked and banned from YouTube. But this dude said, have you all noticed? Not a single star today. Not one. Not one. We're going to do a mini d It was someone else. But and why, I'm going to just look up his channel. A lot of the things on the bank statement actually correlate. And hope my fucking OBS don't forward. crash. Okay. Right. And the only evidence that, that, that you're putting out is... Well, no, I used to watch his videos back in the day. That's a lie, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, just walk me through this, man, because I'm, I don't like I'm. This is no. The purpose of this thing was not, in me. not to make you look bad at all. But yeah. I just want to walk through this, this here, man, because mm -hmm. it it doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. What? So what specifically? Like you said a couple things there. First, you said Pendley the rant. To money and nine money years money ago in the game nine I, years like, ago and like, in, in, in the game apparently like, there's like special events holy shit game, you know a, a certain characters release I, I don't know enough about the game right I, I didn't do a deep dive into the game just <clears throat> there are special events that happen hey you know i'm pretty like, sure you did start before i did then call of duty apex for this time only you can buy this character or whatever um, Even he in this chat. That's, that's all. I'm just trying like to. Like he make a DSP video well, once every five months or something, maybe. I, but so it used to be, a, you know, you know how it be. He used to make way more, man. I guess what you're saying is there's transactions on that account that. He's a bro. That's been proven that I spent money on. How would that even be proven? Go watch his videos from 10 years ago well, I mean, to get really I mean, old. Maybe you went to a restaurant and you said, hey, I'm going to go to dinner tonight. And then there's a transaction at a local restaurant for and a an amount that may add up to a couple people dining at a restaurant you know what i mean okay. um th that, we're gonna have to decompress a lot to, after the stream trying to walk through this yeah i don't know that's sound, i nothing. mean first of all from exactly from your oh shit the sip change you got some gatorade I'm sitting where you were right now and hearing this story you know don't I forget like, the bell probably lying. i i i don't know how to defend again i don't know how to defend myself yes Without putting myself and my family, big up scuff, Jake. That's the problem. I don't, I don't know, know if you're at all time, but life. welcome to the. I that's I very strange I, and scary DSP I I interview. Yes. Trolls are going to be watching this for a decade. I'm trying to figure out how I can tell you from my perspective what really happened that summer. Yes. I was thinking to myself, dude, yeah, if it's okay. extra I'll cool, I'm gonna do a YouTube, YouTube video about, about it. Very easy. But very we hit that point. Very simple. Like an hour ago. Yeah. You have my. I'm gonna make a ten-hour video about this. And this is this is a small ask. Yeah. It's also a big ask. You can say whatever you want. I thought he said ass at first. Well, you, and you can say no, yes. and I'm totally fine with this, but just confidentially between us, will you send me a screenshot of your, of your yes. account, of your WDB account, and just so I, I, I personally. Yes. I will not share, share your name yes. to anybody, but just between us. Man, I have to think about and, what, and what vouch for you. I would put out. Yes. Yeah, and, and I'll, I will vouch for you either way. I have to think about what kind of risk that. I don't want to say. Here's the thing, I, I'll consider it, but I can't agree to it. You like how he say I would have to think about the risk? The dude just told you you're sending it to me and only me. I gotta think about the risk. I don't trust you, Craig. We're not friends. Yeah, I have to see what exactly. What's the risk? You know. And I what's the risk? What if you want to trade? You might be able to I trade champions. You can't what, trade. What if you want a one v one? More than what's the risk? You have no idea. 1v1 me and champions, man. How this is going. Again, accounts that I happen. do. I see it. I, I'm well aware. I, I have chat up. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I know. I, I mean, people have been tagging me. You must be going to cry. Since it was announced that you were coming on the show. And i like, again, I didn't know who you were. I, I had never heard of you before. Uh, it, before this moment when Craig was like, hey, so do you know who DSP is? And I'm like, no. Uh, what's the deal? And everyone's like, oh, we got to freaking tell adam who dsp is you know it's like three hours not one snore attention that you get in a negative light mm -hmm. right so like i understand that's why i'm like i kind of understand that you don't want to be too forthcoming with your uh, any more information that isn't public already because it, as there's a, sh a lot out there so you know but but you're in a pickle man because yeah the in the internet is a fucking pulse and it's a new brain that humans are still learning how to adapt to. <laughs> and right now there's a big chunk of the internet that has a target on your head. And 
you know, you, you've said it multiple times that you fucked up. You held your hands up. You said, you I didn't up. handle this right. You I fucked, fucked up, up multiple times. You, you did up. this and that. You so up. it's like, if you want to remain on the internet, which you seem to enjoy streaming, and you like what you're doing now, which is good. I'm glad you like what you're doing. But it's like, if you want to move in a direction that's going to alleviate some of these, these haters, any, anything might help. Uh, obviously not giving them more ammo, which, I mean, I've, I've grown to trust trust boy. Craig. Um, of course, you know, don't tell him I said that. Uh, but, you know, I I, uh, I I think that that would actually do more for you than you think. If, if Craig came out and was like, he disagrees. Yes. He, he sent me this the would like to share proof, their and I can confirm to everyone that his account is not, they call me DSP, the whale account. You know, like... Or or the uh, or the other the other name down from the rafters, or would have changed it. What if he's both? What if he got two phones, like Kevin right. Gates? At this point now, yeah, more like, than two. By the way, suspect that you're not wanting to just do whatever you can. Yeah, again, I, I hear you. If I was sitting in your in your position right now, I would feel exactly the same way. But just as the levels of shit that I've been through and, and people who betrayed me, not that I'm saying Craig would. I don't think he would. But every I, time I, I, I have no interest, Phil. I. To be, I want to be really clear with you, man. And just like this, we were talking about this. I have, I have zero interest in making you look bad. Like, I, I think there's a tremendous <laughs> opportunity. Here don't betray me, for, Craig. For you to be humanized to a lot of people who don't see you as human, you know, and, and to err is to be human, right? That's the old saying, like everybody fucks up and you've owned up to a lot of those things. But there are, there are certain things here, man, that, that I just... You know, it, it, they they don't add up, and you're saying you're saying, hey, if I was in your shoes, I'd be saying the same thing. I just see him as human. It, it doesn't. I, it, I don't know, man. It's it's not connecting. It's not connecting. And I'm trying to help you out here, man. I really am. And, I hear you. And so I, I feel I feel like there's help there's, yourself. I, no, I feel like there's nothing Whoops. else to be said. Then you know because. <laughs> Um, this shit gonna act weird. Oh shit! They're talking over there about yeah. They're talking about the thing. I didn't think his chat would be doing that. Fuck. Then I mean, it's not like a lot of people. Still, it's like six seventy two basically talking about the interview. On the stream, people are talking about in the chat. I'll address it. Okay, I did look into it. I looked. I saw some of his supposed bank statements that are mine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple things that don't make sense to me. All right. Number one, if this is me, okay. The addiction on it, he cry. He's not crying. Pet stores, okay, and people are like, "Well, that's because Phil has a cat." Yeah, but those those transactions are like big. You're talking like hundreds of dollars well, a week or something like that. I have one cat. Now again, that's is that true that it was hundreds a week from the pet store? I don't remember seeing that when I looked at the thing. All this time, I don't have a secret herd of dogs in my basement. I don't even have a basement, so we're mm -hmm. you know some of the transactions in. It's also some nice deflecting, buddy. Don't make sense at all. For what I, it's funny because you say circumstantially, some of these transactions. Amazing deflecting, and now he just happened to know information about stuff. Okay, he just right. happened to know There's just a just a certain amount of information to make okay. a point. There's a bunch of transactions on there that say iTunes. Okay, now I don't know, but here's the thing: the, the narrative that they have put out there about me is that I'm. DSP is basically doing this for people like you, Edie, but he wants you to give him a chance and tip him. that money goes right into WWE Champions, correct? Like, that's the Correct. So you can do that. If that's the case... It goes right to Champions. Why are there bank transactions for, for iTunes? Because you fucking... Okay. I don't want to explain. Why are there bank transactions for iTunes? It doesn't make any sense. Why would I take money out of a PayPal account that I have that I get my tips from? transfer it to my bank account where then i take a hit because there's a transfer fee you can pay through paypal and use your bank account by the way dsp's being a real asshole acting like people don't know how the fucking world work you can dead ass pay on paypal and click a thing and use your bank bruh that doesn't make sense to me, well, there's a lot of things that, that haven't made a whole lot of logical sense here, Phil. I mean, let's just be real. They're, why would I? Why would I do this thing that I right. may have yeah, done and maybe didn't do? I don't know, but why would I do it? Microtransactions from games uh, get charged, so that uh, actually would make sense. But the thing is that I don't know. Of course, is can you specifically play a mobile game, spend money on a mobile game by using your bank account connected to your PayPal? Yeah, but on, I mean, probably. Well, I know what you're saying, but on PayPal, you can actually use not a single. PayPal. Look at this. Look at this. Look. I'm going to just believe it, too, because I remember not seeing any triple-digit purchases either. Maybe. You know what I mean? Not a single small purchase over $100 on the leaks. 
I, I fucking believe you. I read them. I remember listening to it. It wasn't no fucking two, three hundred dollars. It wasn't even a hundred when he was going to the pet store. Click, use balance. Just made that shit up. Use your bank account. I hate it. And oh, shit, he know. Point I'm making is, <laughs> fucking Adam. So, okay. Beanie if, Man if, toxic. Yeah, on, hold on, I know what you're saying. Hold on. But on PayPal, you can actually <laughs> use PayPal and you could click. He ace attorney. Or use your bank hold account. Hold it. Uh-huh. And it'll just pull the money from your bank account. Look at the SP face. PayPal as the payment service. So that that's... That's irrelevant because you can you can choose choose where the money's coming from on PayPal. Okay, I see what you're saying. What my my I was going off of their narrative. Oh, oh, every okay. Day I'm begging my audience for money. It's it, it goes to my PayPal, and then I immediately <sighs> spend that on WWE champions. That's the narrative. I, that I didn't heard. I didn't believe that narrative, but it does seem that okay. you, you do get money and you just spend it on the I'm things that need my to phone. Be spent on instead of you know planning for taxes the next month or whatever you know that's um, no that is absolutely correct yes right and uh, or well, things that aren't necessary which could then, include wwe not saying that it is WWE but it could champions be. do you that I hit? feel that um you said you still play the game do you play any other mobile games yes. yeah do you feel his that wife play one too we're trying to ruin our life no, no? I, I play them casually I play them, Mission accomplished. You know, for example, uh, I'll be off the stream and it's night and my wife and I are watching a TV show. And as we're watching the show, I might just open it up. And, you know, these mobile games are not big narrative experiences. They're just like kind of busy work game, grinding games, right? You, you mash a little bit. You do like, like... You know what's wild about this? DSP got a PSP, a PS Vita, DS Lite probably, and a 3DS in his house right now. Why? I get it. No, you don't, you don't want to play like a fucking you know, forty hour game that you gotta read paragraphs in. Any money into you really gonna pretend like you can't play anything on those little consoles, bro? You, you kinda What you playing mobile games for, man? Too. All right, I'm right. I'm a one of the core players. This uh, this all started because you guys probably don't know the full history. Just leave it, man. Just leave it. Find some PSP game to play. Financial issues. Just grinding Monster Hunter all day. I don't know. Uh, I was playing a different WWE game. It was called WWE Supercard. All right. This mm-hmm. one, I actively spent a lot of money on. I you know, I was forgetting that. about Supercar today. Supercar was, a, man. Everyone knew it. I told yeah. you. I have been addicted to mobile games. Yes, I have. This is some uh, quality, quality DSPing right now. He's going to bring up Supercar to make you stop talking about champions, the thing that's relevant to now. And I mean, huh. You know, I never really thought about it. Was he begging when he played Supercar, though? Not really. He had a Patreon when he played Supercar. So he still was spending his viewers' money on mobile games. Everyone knew A lot of money, too. Everyone knew it. Everyone didn't know it. Yes, I have. No. Bro, what? Okay. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Everyone knew it. one as well. After the fact. Before, you know, way before, the years before the bankruptcy and everything. I was spending, I was spending too He told us he spent money on those games when people brought up other games that he was spending money on. When people said, are you spending money on WWE Champions? He said, no, but I used to spend money on WWE Supercar. You guys remember when I played that game? Casually played other mobile games. He's doing that right now. Same thing. Basically what happens is with, with my, and I know you guys are going to say you're changing the narrative. I please bear with me with this. No, it's, it's not helping your case at all though. But we got some good drama back in the day with champions. That's why Parasite Eve died. The playthrough. He fucking didn't finish a game because of fucking Supercard, man. Fucking Supercard. A mobile game made him not finish a playthrough. If I can dispute it or disprove it, or if it gets somehow disproven, then they drop it and they latch onto the ones that they can't, that I haven't been outright been able to disprove. This particular one, They've been looking for something to get me on for years and years. Wish best is career in best. Or just forgotten about. This is the one I can't Did find a Dude, even I finished Parasite Eve. I beat like one game every five months. I haven't, I haven't found uh, a way. I allegedly beat Mario Brothers 2 recently. The real Mario Brothers 2. So this is why the but I didn't play like even the D so stages. Things, you beat World... There's one through eight, and it's four more videos. worlds after that. Like, come on. About me in the past Dude, I was so mad. They don't care about I was like, fuck you, Nintendo. The next thing that we can make drama you fucking think you own me? Gain on the internet and get clickbait views and shit, you know? Um, 
So that's what I mean. Y'all because I this all started years deal. ago with those what? other games. I publicly I also played yeah, Doki Doki I Panic. To I spent too much money on them. I'm done with that now. You know, and then I casually people at one point, like 2017, when this game came out, asked me, are you playing any other mobile games? Thanks yeah, I started for following playing this one. And every once in a while, I mention it. I think I think the last time that I actively had admitted that I had played it. Actively admitted. I said that I was on a plane to Connecticut to get married with my wife, and I had played it on the plane. And then people used that as, a, you still play mobile games, you're still, spe-, you know. I don't think he said champions, so, and he was talking well, about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure okay. he said just generally so, mobile so games, but who cares, you bro? Play the game. You say you're not addicted, although you have been addicted to mobile games in the past, right? Yes. And I'm just, I'm just going to lay this. That's one of his main issues, Edie Bar. Right? Allegedly so fifty thousand dollars. Mobile game that was WWE related. Yes. Okay. And that's all one game. That just game. one. Fast forward, new game comes out, right? You play that game, and by the way, you 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 separated yourself yeah, from the that game by. because you knew that you were addicted to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Usually in the case of addiction, just usually there's there's some sort of intervention in life, some sort of intervention that happens, whether it's brought on by friends, family or just He's checking personal, the data. He's about to cry. You know, uh, He's checking the data for tears. You realize something needs to change. Right. Right. Do you feel that you're addicted <laughs> like, to to these games? I've already asked you this, but I just feel this like this might be our first bathroom break. Oh, boy, might be going. You have transactions that line up with major events. I'm getting DM pictures Look of at him. you. Yeah, they're like clear his throat. Your Discord. And he still did it into the mic. WWE whatever they, whatever Discord, that was, right? it did. I have. And I it just it. seems <laughs> there, there's all. The, so make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it sense. do hit different. Sense. I, I have hit that like button. I'm believing that there is a, a group of people that are so hell bent, this evil plan to make you look bad that they're willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on WWE champions just so they can make you look bad. I, I'm, I, I don't buy it. And, and once again, there's an easy out here, Phil. I like, I'm offering you the, yeah, the easy out. <laughs> oh, no. All you gotta do is just take a quick screenshot. You can email it to me. It's done. We all move on. The Detroit oh, no. and everybody goes, okay, you know what? You know, and, and and we all move on. That's it. That's you think it. You gotta it's, do it. It's very simple, man. And but I wish it was live. Like, I, I wish I this was happening. I like you to be able I don't know. From it. I want I want the detractors. You could do a prediction on it. On it. But I'm 20 minutes behind, so we can't content to 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 be done. Like it's it's there, man. It's there. Like yeah. let's 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 make this happen. Like <clears> and then we're, we all nuts. move on, and we can start talking about other things. I'll, like I said, I'll think about it. I got to see how I, if, how I can I do it. think about it. And, uh, you know, again, what liability? I'm not going to 100% agree to it, but I'm I gotta think very about strongly it. considering doing it. I don't know how I feel about that answer. Let's see if we can do it before the end of the stream. We have yeah. Answer, right? Oh, I th- no, hold on. Just put him on the spot. I'm not even doing anything. Because I was thinking to myself, yo, DSP is going to end this stream and he's never going to talk to these dudes again. We're not going to do this, obviously. You gotta understand his liability. He low key putting him on the spot. Okay. This is not just oh no. I'm my wife, you know. He gotta talk to his wife. Okay, hey, uh, honey. That's a honey? lot of stuff that now can be compromised. Honey, okay. is it okay uh, if I show my champions family, account to Craig? It. Right, totally understand. Okay, but then then you know when you decide that it's this is something that you're comfortable with, you can you can email it to me. The email will only be seen by me, not anybody else. Oh my God. Okay, and I will delete it immediately after, <laughs> and. uh and I will You're gonna take it out of his trash and put it on his, des- his desktop process, after that. So it's gonna be his wallpaper. I, I mean, I don't really know how to move on from this. I don't. I don't know. Jasper, I, you know, I, this is a good idea. Like there's this mountain of this stuff. Is a good here, idea, buddy. It just Phil. Meow. I, I got a. I got a show name that you can. You can do. This is how you don't game. Oh my god! I think, you need, to, I think you need to own it, man. I think you need to. He did. He did try that though. <laughs> he named his Metal Gear Solid Five streams. This is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid Five. And he kind of fucked up the algorithm too. Oh, you know, I mean, in a good way for him. Just do what you want to do. Do you, man? But like, the best thing to do is be honest. I remember uh, and own up Jay, to whatever. He was right? pissed. So if you, if you truly, you, you on a said back times, in the day. You don't know what you could do. I think Craig has given you a, a good out. If you want to use it, like I understand, you got to like think about it. That's fine. See, that's uh, the thing yeah. about him making a new account, Colbin. It's allegedly tied to your phone number. It's like having um, a cash app or something. It might be deeper than that. That's the line account, the line account theory. I, 
like so he can't just like he would have to get another phone number oh use cat's phone you gotta log in on cat phone that is not yours see i don't have any champions zero wwe champions in my account they include you know shops that are around where you live you know and and restaurants and i never tried making a champions account like i once no. again, Phil, help me out. I don't miss with like, mobile games, man. We're looking at an account that just so happens. Just ignore those crane games I played for a few months. Where you live. Mm-hmm. That just so happens to be shopping and dining. I don't play a mobile game so in like happens to have 15 years. Your soul, uh, I played mobile games back when Androids first came out. I mean, that's how they access it. Not, not, you know, I said we talked about how we totally disown that. That's ridiculous. Hey, I love but crane games. Mm-hmm. I have physical items I, I can pick up question. right now sure. that I want from those crane games. Let's can DSP pick up his champions? Wait a minute. I, the screenshot. I send you a screenshot. You see it. Okay, this is his account. This is, you know, this is not it's what he said was true. So then how did that happen? How did they make this bank? How did they do that? I don't know how they did it. I but, wish I knew. Just like, the, you're, like you're you right. just mentioned. Those Discord, the Discord uh, chat stuff. I don't know how they did that. I have no idea. I guess I, I'm stupid. I'm a dinosaur, right? Like, I don't understand no, how they faked all this. DSP can really pick up his champions. How can they have done it? It's like they took advantage because I don't know. I, I can don't know physically hold to answer how they could fake my crane game winnings. Fake a bank account, or is it a real bank account that they somehow had access and found? And this is this is just know. it's just some of think, it. Do you I think got that somebody more. went in and created a fake fake bank account and made eight like whatever twelve hours, eighteen hours, we got the boba, however boba. long it was? Uh, to, I mean, do you really think that somebody dislikes the side that they were, they're, they're willing to make a 12 to 18 hour audio record? I wanted a whole lineup of Pokemon transaction from a bank like account, six of them that I think that, I got four uh, that just happens to be right where you out. live, right in the same area at shop. Yeah, I got a may or may not be, I'm pretty sure. Is it like this seems like an it's just like, some of my winnings, fucking degenerate. Just like, some, dude, do you hear my honest answer? Yes. I'm going to play crane games again one day. It's going to ruin my life. I have. Yes. I, oh, I wasted 50,000 on crane games, man. And I can tell you about them if you want. Or yes. We don't have to. It's your call. It's just, it's just way too elaborate, man. It just, I hear it you. Just, I hear you. I hear you. Cat, yes. I've had people who have catfished me for two years saying they were someone to get yes. into my group. They moderated for me on my, my group for two years saying they were a You're talking about moral or whatever? Persona. Of who they were. It wasn't that deep, by the way. It was just a person that said they were a girl and everybody was nice to them because of that. That's what happened. It was literally a dude that said they were a girl. And DSP let them be a mod and everybody in DSP community was nice to him because they thought it was a girl. He even say catfished. Were you trying to fuck them, DSP? It's not catfishing. What about That's not catfishing. The down from the rafters, the DSP account. It could be if you look at it in a certain way. Why are they tied to your phone number? But I'm pretty sure it's that moral person from way back in the day. Well, when you and DSP you made a weird video about it, an account. You no, you're not talking about an anonymous. An anonymous didn't to pretend to be a girl. Right. He was just a weird why, dude. Why would that be? No. But what if he did? My knowledge, if you're going to play any mobile game, there, you don't ever enter your phone number into it. It's tied to your well, I guess line account. Tied to many things. So uh, oh. Oh. What's that? What? The line app. I guess it could be tied to many things. Line be tied to what's that? Line. Well, I guess it could be. This tied- remind me of I forget exactly what part, but it was some part of that bankruptcy call. It was like one word was said, and he was like, wait, wait, "Excuse me." Oh, it Line. was the WWE. What's WWE Network? That's it. What's WWE Network? He was like, Ex- "Excuse me, what?" Ever enter your phone number into it? It's tied to your. Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. Line it could be tied to what's that? Line the line. Ask app? about the line app. Line, Perhaps. Oh, line Ask about the line app. The apps, correct. There can mm-hmm. be correct. Well, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, I'm trying. You want to try to confuse me. us? He's going to ch- pretend to confuse us by acting confused. For example, WWE Channel. Ah, uh, yes. I believe it's your Apple account. It's a Facebook account, or there's a third one, and I don't know because I don't think I use the third one. So I use the Apple account. That I mean, I never entered my phone number. You know what I mean? Like it was just the yes. Apple account you log into and you download it. I think the Apple account might already have your phone number. I don't know. I don't. I'm not in the text bracket to have a iPhone. To a phone number. I have no clue. I've never entered my phone number into any mobile game that I've ever played. Yes. <clears throat> if you bring up the Line account, that's something else entirely, which we could talk about too, because they've tried to spin that into it too. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an advertisement segment. Three hours. Um, we have in a little while. And and it's been a, a great interview. I, I know it's been tough. Um, it's I, been I'm tough. I'm certainly um, taking the stance of being very critical. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything. Um, but I think that we should move to super chats because oh no, uh, and I don't, they I got don't so many, the and there's so many questions. I saw super chats going. Bro, there's so many things time. left on the right. table with this. Well, th there's so there's many things. Here. And I, and I, I think that those who are contributing, they will be read and they will be appreciated. But I feel like there's more substance here that we need to hit on before okay. before we look, we talk about that. And I think those who are contributing. Will contribute because they want to contribute and they appreciate <laughs> it's like fuck uh, that shit we ain't doing shit. And so i want to be clear like dude I, I told you all along man i really appreciate you doing this like i said you you had other offers uh this was not meant to be an interview to start with but i i right. appreciate you coming on and being a part of this uh, i know that those who who want to contribute they will contribute they will give memberships they will super chat they'll buy merchandise whatever because they want to support um but i think that there's more substance about so, some so more gamer me, merch soon all of my hoodies right. fucked up dude. yeah yeah, it's your show. Buddy. Um, right, well, it's our show, buddy. It's our show. Um, let's 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 talk. I about have this, man. the uh, silver vest on. So we'll move on from WWE. If you didn't know, and we'll we'll talk about something else. Um, have you played champions? You have yes. Been, you you have been doxed. Oh boy, you have been doxed, and that is ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, to be clear, there's been a lot of. Uh, you know, the you think the we're ever going to get more champions, is, right? Like, like more of a response from him than what we got today. Who I'm getting my information from? I feel like we can't. Well, no, no, the one more thing we can get is speaking. him sending Craig the screenshot, and then Craig tell us about it. Information out on the internet for people to find, for people to see, um, and uh, that that normally wouldn't be available to. Yeah, DSP 100 percent docs himself, and based on how he talked, he would say other people did. If it was somebody else that got doxed the way he did, he would say they doxed themselves. 100%. You know, Shit. When Lysa for Soul, because I recently saw this, which is how I remember it. When Lysa for Soul uh, logged into DSP's Xbox, DSP said he doxed himself that day because his fucking email address showed. Just because of that. He was like, oh, well, I didn't fucking show anything. I didn't do anything. He logged in on my Xbox and doxed himself. So, I mean, when DSP was throwing letters and envelopes on the table in one of his videos and said, uh, who fucking cares if people see my address? Well, then you dox yourself, asshole. It's, it's, it's insane. I mean, you go out of your way to call yourself you Phil Burnell every 20 seconds anyway. Who cares? Not necessarily doxing, but... Uh, no, he'd been accused of doxing. But holding the information of that you have over people's heads. And I, I wanted uh -oh. to kind of show you this clip real sure. quick, and then, then we can talk. He made a face when he heard that. So... Uh, let's the fact that his fucking Twitter account what the hell the made this show up on the screen? He's fucking oh, it is his troll account on my website. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So, congratulations, you, you fucked, fucked up. up. Be awesome, one on Twitter. Be awesome, one on Twitter. I have all your fucking personal yes. information. Now, I'm gonna say this did the take a sip clip come from this video? I'm not going to give it out. I'm pretty sure it did. Doxing video. I do not condemn. When I, when I reacted to this back in the day. Information yes. or anything like that whatsoever. However, understand something. Yes. I got you. I got you. Okay. Twitter. I got you. Do you think yes. that's okay? Yes. Uh, it sounds like a threat, right? That's the first time I've actually sure does. heard this clip since I said it. Pretty sure it was a threat. <laughs> yeah. A mixed bag. Um, you don't know how I feel about it. Yes. That is, I mean... Okay. No, it's not. My pr again, this is kind of goes back to I was, you know, you tell a dark joke. You yeah, it was way, it a came dark out joke. A what dark I, joke. I was getting at he was talking about the trade again. Someone who had hurt me. I don't know if you want to get into the specifics. Of what they, they hurt you, bro. Kind of a moot point. Oh, that's why they showed up. What um, the fuck? Really badly. It's actually one of the things that have happened. Actually, hurt what these my inmates said. since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies it. it. No, it doesn't justify. That's it, what you're. That's why well, you wouldn't have said it otherwise. It, it got me that angry. They got me that angry. They had actually hurt me so bad for no reason. I don't even know who that guy is. All right. And the only reason I knew is because someone had found that information, sent it to me. I didn't find it myself. And Let's, I said that on the stream because I was so DSP upset. that don't help your case. What I, what, the, what I was, should have said <sighs> was, you know, this is a situation. You hurt me so bad. I don't know who you are. And, you know, I think I'm going to go to the authorities with this. That's what I should have said. Then that would have been really oh, different. Your information and blah, blah, blah. That would have been really different. 100%. You're right. I never, so, I never doxed so that guy. So it was a threat. 
So you admit yes. that it was a threat. Big ups, Mr. Fun. It Welcome to the weird interview her. thing. That's a threat, what? dude. It's definitely a stream you were on. Correct. It was me venting anger. Thank you. Three hours ago, yes. we had I Isaac with the 420. Anything, Thanks for the years of free, that. meaningful Appreciate content. Big ups. Publicly, or if it did, and 22 minutes ago, Anonymous with the 420. This dude is a clown and a fool. But but you were probably talking about me. That's not something that that you should. Oh, Craig, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Oh, Craig, Craig your audio. <laughs> Craig died. Uh, he uninstalling. Mike seemed to have been muted. Oh crap! Muted. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I have people that support me. I have a few different companies. I have a coffee company, and like I have oh shit people's information, and I would never ever use it ever because, and I would never claim to even if someone pissed me off even if they, if they bought my coffee company i knew where they lived that just feels like a weird like you say you elder ring official whatever, art book from it, udon's it store out. it's like is uh, there well udon in a tournament like in your well, head man. That might i gotta tell mark don't about this way it sounds like it seems like you kind of just fly off the handle sometimes and do do shit and say shit that you're you know that gets you in trouble like I mean, at the, it, it almost yeah, feels like I'm like worried about hypnosis. you, dude. Like, I, I, what, I got it this again. What you know, say? Gets you in trouble. Like, I, I, I mean, at the, it, it almost yeah. feels like I need to be worried about you, dude. Like, I, I, what, what's going to happen next? I, I, you say you've changed, but, you know, it, it turns out that uh, racist mm -hmm. video with the little girl was only like seven months ago. It wasn't a year ago. <laughs> that's yeah. that's pretty real. Yo, Post Void? Like, it's on PlayStation and a Nintendo Switch now. Bro, what? Bro, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. The Let's see if I can get a copy to give away. Thinks it's racist. I saw it and it's fucking racist. So you're talking about a, a killer who's killing people in their basement and then so you're bringing up the slave, you're like sending a little girl off to the slave trade. I, I don't know. It just, it's pretty obvious. All right, mm -hmm. so I know you claim that it isn't, but it really <sighs> did sound that way. But that's that's whatever. I don't know, man. It just feels like no, Craig. We can't hear you. Can't hear you, Craig. Still can't hear you, Craig. What the heck happened? Craig got to restart his stream. OBS crash. This bullshit. No, I'm just <laughs> no, but anyway, or bullshit to, to, in general. To follow up on what you just said, so that clip, just so you know, 2015. You know, that clip is okay. from 2015. Not to say that that's, that means anything. Yes, I will check, admit check, check. I made... So what's the point yeah, of saying it's from 2015 if it me. don't Thanks. have a... So that clip was from 2015. Them. That's, again, one moment. I'm going to tell you it's from 2015 yeah, about four or five yeah, times. But right off to say it has nothing to do with anything. Not that that changes what I said, but I said it in 2015. By the way, did you know I said it's 2015? I really don't. I think I said it in 2015. I don't even remember saying it. I apologize. But I mean, you know, obviously I apologize if I did something wrong, but it was in 2015, by the way, and I don't remember doing it. Thousands of dollars that year onward and to this day, but that's a moot point. I should, I did the wrong thing. Oh, you can't fight a wrong with a wrong, correct? You can't fight fire with fire. It just makes things worse. And I shouldn't have said that. You're right. You're right. But I feel like that that statement in itself, the idea of like you can't fight fire Prince. with fire, you can't and fight. DJ real eyes um, open. You know, like I feel like a lot of this conversation. Obvious interview enjoyers. You, know, you, like it's it's been denied, 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 deny, and it's you know I don't know you know that's not true. Uh, that's that's not true. Um, it's David's fault. But you haven't given. A whole, you haven't really given any facts, any facts to back it up. I feel like just across the board, there's this entire mountain of evidence here that's saying, um, you know, that's saying this is these are the things that Phil does. These are the things that that uh, that has happened. Um, and and you're just saying, well, no, no. He's checking the data so much. And oh, I didn't that, say no. That's, he's probably nervous well, about his stream. True. That's not my account. Not that's that not nervous, but probably a little bit. Because you know I mean? it's like, like, waiting for DSP that, gaming. He was no, supposed to be streaming like 30 minutes ago. Just when there's a mount of evidence, you can't just say like, well, no, no, that's not. Yeah, that girl on this there over, bro. There is definitely a reason why I'm in the position I'm in. This stuff doesn't happen overnight. This is 15 years of me. They could have been more me. Every day putting myself on the internet, making mistakes. Maybe. I started. 15 years ago there was no groundwork of seeing oh here's someone who's done it and here's the right things and wrong things to do and i made tons of these mistakes over the years like i was just saying that clip's from 2015 when that happened i'm sure everyone called me i said how dare you make threats against and somebody that? asked a Derek question you in his chat what? you're right i probably shouldn't have said that and now i won't do that stuff anymore and then maybe i did it again i don't know I, but you know i'm doing my best to improve and not make those same mistakes again i do slip up 
I absolutely do. What, what I would say is, and I, you know, Craig, I have no clue if you did this or anyone else. If you just watch a stream of mine, you know, just come by one day, watch I, I have, half, yeah. an, half an hour of the stream. Mm -hmm. Bro, Craig showed up to five. Right Craig you? showed up to my stream. No, he didn't talk in chat, something to but he got glow here. here. Picking and choosing things that he snuck in with a mask during, on during interviews, during streams. He's been here for like at least an hour, I think. Absolutely something to that. Fuck knows what he showed up during, but he showed up during Ten something. Seconds to, to screw things up, right? I, I totally understand that. Check glow, Craig. You know, Adam, you said something yesterday when we were talking. Uh, you want to? You're talking about uh, a collection. Whatever the name of that Twitch account is. Say what you were saying. Yeah, stuttering Craig, 1.5 hours. I don't remember what, you were, what we were talking about. He what showed up during the BRB that, segment. Saying that. He showed up when uh, I was watching Doctor. That, that your detractors put together of you saying these things, there's a lot of them. Like, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you were to go through most people over the last, you know, most people just in general, there wouldn't be as many. They wouldn't be as long. There, there's, there's just a lot, lot to sift through. And maybe you have a, maybe you have a, um, I have King Star still, man. Than most people. But, but it just seems like there's, there's a lot lot there man mm -hmm. and uh i think that's that's probably the biggest thing here you know i, th uh, I think you're right i think it comes with being I guess you eat some more beans prolific content creators of gaming that have been you know over a hundred thousand videos there's that illusions of grand oh fuck i didn't read this no, earlier i'm not saying it's good content i'm saying real johnny happened. moto you could say it's six shitty. months 24 care. minutes ago missed the beginning did he admit to still playing champions he admitted to it Maybe 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. I'm a small time guy. But yeah, he technically did admit to it during the stream. We make that video about Phil. And now he may send a screenshot of his account to Craig, but he probably won't. Or people are donating to you to continue to make fun of me. You know, this is how you the verdict's still out, dude. The internet. People made entire channels that were profitable based off just making profitable. fun of me, right? So why what you gotta even bring up money? Target. You made multiple channels that are profitable on other people's stuff too. You know, this started making fun. Then you call it being a let's player and a reaction channel. So why can't other people be reaction channels and let's players? Uh, his family what? members make fun of. You know, it, it's just it kept going big, big, big. Make fun of his horse. Toxic as you can. Um, Horses can't even understand English. And that's what I mean. Like I make fun of my guinea pigs all the time. They don't know what the fuck I'm saying. They call us lal cows, correct? Let's. It's a term that's used. Lal cows. Right, lal cows. Yeah. I have a toxic relationship with them. You got Boogie. Wow. Thanks, DSP. We don't Thanks. I bet you they appreciate the shout out. Term that's used, lol cows. Right, lol cows, yeah. So you got Wings of Redemption. You got Boogie. We're targets because we don't really, we make mistakes repeatedly. We all do. And we kind of, we, sometimes we make the same mistakes over and over. I feel that other content creators... Oh, yeah. make I will never dis too. disagree. I will never disrespect my guinea pigs enough to call them a hamster like or a rat. Content creators are big and they have ginormous audiences. That but what if I did? Defend them. And, you know, the crazy stuff. I mean, the other day I saw a video of Moist Critical picking up an assault rifle in his video. Mm -hmm. Without, if I Right now, if I picked up an assault rifle, I'd be off the internet. <laughs> that would be ending for me. I'm out of here. Right? It doesn't even matter what the context is. If I pick up a weapon... But I think street, it does. I was about to say, what's the context? It very much does. He say it don't does, matter. Uh, Holding a gun is going to get you canceled. Uh, military? What he was doing was he was, he was making a point. I saw the video you're speaking of, and he was talking mm -hmm. about some beef he has with some other guy. I don't know. Thank God I don't have to look it up and Craig on his a little he bit. was talking to was talking about, uh, you know, clips. He was talking about clipping streams and clipping and, and the guy who is pulled out a clip kind of threatening him with a gun who's talking about the clips 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 and he's like no listen this it's is a magazine not, not stupid a this is a mag oh yeah, this is great context big ups great these things in context of for what was going on i, I think context you think dsp watched it does, or if he saw a fucking picture on twitter it is against terms of service on youtube to be live while holding any gun that's well, that's what he was on Twitch. Yeah, oh, it was a video. Yeah, it was a video. So then, it, then there's okay. nothing wrong with that. YouTube's so weird. I see so much gun stuff, man. Well, so let, let me let me say this, Phil. You so much gun stuff. You have your detractors. It's kind of like weed, I guess. How you have a fuck ton of weed stuff, and then some people just get banned and blocked or every time they try. You fail, or laugh at being, uh, or laugh seeing you fail. That does not sound very fun to me yeah that's pretty good that dude was like talking about clips so he pull out a magazine he's like nah this is a magazine um, bullets look like crayons going to therapy or anything along those lines to help you get through this because we are his not, therapy craig easy, he does a podcast easy every day you've chosen for yourself i mean mm -hmm. that's, there's, there's a lot to talk about and i would imagine that going to talk to somebody therapy is not i do kind of like gun videos sometimes good thing for a lot of people uh, well, you just the YouTube shorts gun videos. I don't know if I want to watch a 20-minute gun video. 
Uh, at one point I did, for sure. Uh, I would say probably around, like I told you, around 2016 was one of the worst years of my life. You have such a big variety, too. My personal life you got so people cool. in the hood making gun videos. You got people in the suburbs making gun videos. You got people in the woods making gun videos. Anti-therapy or anything like that. But no, I had just never gotten to that point. It's a motherfucking Draco, bro. Watch this bitch go. Da -da 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 -da. People in the comments complaining. Is it because you think that it's not you? It's everyone else? <laughs> No, that's the, that's the feeling I get. I'm a flawed human, man. I, I, I know you, you too. You've admitted your flaws from <laughs> and then you watch a dude drink Hennessy you after say, that. Like, yes, back in 2015, I said that fucked up shit. And I I took that, you know, this is how not to play way wrong. And I what I if Keemstar now, got to like, call in? Could you imagine to do that? Right. To mm -hmm. convince that'd be some Kumite shit. You've changed. Actual no, Kumite that shit. That's what you're doing. But Keemstar calls in and just says a bunch of slurs right. instantly. So it's like, you know, it feels kind of like you're you can do no wrong almost and that's oh, the vibe i'm getting whoa. and i could do no, no wrong that <laughs> no 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 like um not not in your past but it does feel like you kind of have like oh god did he quit he pulled that. the internet plug um, something weird happened it, it's we're so behind though i'm getting that you're because you, every t Fuck it, i'm gonna skip ahead i'm gonna skip ahead and go back what happened what happened oh conversation Things like for your present. I, I, it's chicken the data. Oh my god, look at the look on his face. Look at the look on his face. What the hell did Dingus say? It's over. Did DSP leave? It's really good. I, 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 I thought it was really late. What was the last thing he said? Gameplay through that we did. I don't want to be. It's the internet crash. Who had an old face beat off on stream? Like, that's so stupid. And it's such a dumb thing that I've moved past. I'm not in that part of my life anymore. I'm so much happier now that I don't need to dwell on the past anymore. I don't need to think about that moment. It was stupid. And yeah, well, I don't I'll say want this. to be there forever. If you're not going to monetize it, we will. Later tonight, the Beat Your Demons t-shirt will be <laughs> in the store. He's trolling. <laughs> He's trolling. No, no, that's and then terrible. he disconnected right there. Wait. I, I, I wait. Wait. All right. Oh my goodness! This so, is there's a few things that wait. I want to circle back. Wait, back wait, 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 wait. Did we, did we lose? This. I hope not. Oh well, if, if he if he's, he's coming back, he's right? Come back in. Um, yeah, he he's coming back, back right? Much, I was t I was just kidding. He's coming back, right? I mean, I, I, we were I just playing. The they they wrote themselves. I'm sorry. I didn't mean uh, it. Phil, uh, make sure you pop back in. I'm sure that he will. Uh, I I doubt that he quit uh, because he would have he would have been dropped from the thing. It's definitely an internet issue of some <laughs> yeah of some, yeah some corp. Must so, be frozen. I'm taking a screenshot uh, I, I of this though. That he uh, that he rage quit or anything like that. So Phil, you can just he's pop coming back. back. Your, uh, what if his rage quit was a part and, of the uh, joke too? Keep going. But oh there are a few man, that I that'd be good. Circle back oh. on um, mainly on the uh, on the. He's gonna come games. back. He dropped, so he'll he'll pop back. Team star more than a fair job. I guess we're not going uh, back now with Phil here. We got to listen to fucking King star now cult he is but I with him talking about the DSP's never calling back now is this over the lol call podcast. I just uh, really want to get on to say my piece because uh, he's just dishonest. He and uh, experienced this right. He had an opportunity to clear uh, so easily. And he just put it off and made excuse, made excuse, made excuse, and then goes on to bring up some other situation with hookers and some other lies. What if, like, what if you say he got a DDoS attack, like, like, like unironically, right? But in True. this one issue where he could just prove his Unblocked. innocence so quick and he doesn't take advantage of it. Then yeah, I wonder like, if my captions were on today. <clears throat> Probably not. I told him it, it's just making you more sus uh, like that. It's making me trust your story less. That you're not like, you know what? I want to fucking prove this shit. Like, I'm All sick right. of these lies. Let's prove it, you know? Well, I'll say this. Look, Keem, we appreciate you hopping on. Phil has rejoined us. Phil said he didn't want to be on the show if you were on it. Um, so I'll tell you, can we invite you back? He's on back now. After we're done with Phil? Sure. Did you hear this? Uh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Right. He don't want to be there when Keem star there. Prove it, you know? Well, I'll say this. Look, Keem, we appreciate you hopping on. Phil has rejoined Dalu's tip $17. Oh, God. Dalu's? Oh fuck! Forgot you were doing Twitch stream. You're I'll check it out jet. later. But what happened now? It's fucking wild, dude. It's actually literally too wild. DSP internet just happened to go out. He just happened to just get DDoS attack at the exact moment, specifically the exact moment on the T that they were making a joke about him 
jerking off and them selling shirts of his old face. He looked at his data and he was disconnected. But then he said he may be getting DDoS attacked. Wow, uh, big ups, dude. You may be. And then Keemstar called in. And DSP's back, so Keemstar got to leave. Said he didn't want to be on the show if you were on it. Uh, and that's just one so part of it. Can we he admitted to playing champions. After we're done with Phil? Sure. Uh, we had a bunch of segments, dude. It was great. I appreciate it. Okay, we're, we're going to bring Phil back on. We don't want to make things weird. So I uh, appreciate you understanding, man. And, uh, you we need some blood when sports. Keemstar yeah, versus DSP. Appreciate it, man. All right. And, uh, uh, boof. All right. Like, I forget the name of the Phil, clip channels back from back then. Sorry, we had a second. We wanted to, he had reached out and he wanted oh, to share I his saw. side of it. So. I saw. We, we, we I fucking saw running, that man. fucking asshole. So, um, so let's continue. Fucking Keem. Okay? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. My whole internet went down and came back up. Mm -hmm. ISP or if I've just been DDoS. I would not put it past them to DDoS me at this point. Imagine being like DSP. I never, to my knowledge, my internet went out during a stream. Either it went out randomly or I got DDoS attack, you know. Right? What? I, what if Mark would say that every time his I stream died? I think I was getting DDoS, bro. It might be a troll. Right. Pretty. All right. Uh, let, let's let's circle back on some stuff here, man. Um, and did I miss anything? Things. Did I miss well, anything? Yeah. yeah there, there's there's a few. I'm eating my damn like, beans. Kind of oh yeah. I gotta add. We, we add in one bean for the address. real Johnny so Moto. Circle back Reso. to the business expenses because we talked about the five K. Uh, thank you for following. We talked about that. And the fifty bits. But Listen, the first really thing I hear is Phil talking about mobile right? games. Like, mm -hmm. And this kind of and all ties ass to sucker. the idea of like as somebody who works online, I've been doing this for a long time as well. I understand that spending well, we caught up to the stream kind of at this point. Idea of a mortgage being a business. I missed like a 20, 30 business. minute segment though. That's necessarily true. The, you, you mm -hmm. can, I got to remember to go back a eventually. Perspective, you can, well, uh, allow me to tell you because from a tax perspective, you can, you can uh, take the square footage of your office space. I totally in your house remember. And you can, that can be deductible. Right, and you can use that as a business expense. Uh, you can take the internet in, and do those things. But I am eating but one bean boozle per not, not be or a sub or a gift sub on the stream. Right. So with yeah, with I didn't think that was of, legal. I don't think that's legal. Right, it's not. It, oh, yeah, we had Crosa for seventeen months for sub. Um, but with Literally, all that said, I don't I think I noticed like it. There's and if I did, with, I forgot. With all, everything lined up. Right, there's still a lot. Like, are you spending uh, that a with a hundred bits? Can't believe I thought this is going to be a nothing slash uh, nothing interview slash for, podcast. You know, yeah, I know. Out and things like that. As, as long as you technically talk, it's going to be a nothing things, burger. Um, you know, and do, I've done that hundreds of times. It's like if five guys like, made a nothing burger and, and charged thirty dollars for it. You and your wife talking, and I had a really big piece of meat um, and delicious lettuce and tomatoes. But gifted us walk me through once again, like eighty bot. What, what do what are your month to month eighty bot just like the beans? What are you paying for as a streamer who works twelve hours a day. Okay. Kind of walk me through. This, this. is going to be uh, well, a again, pear or booger now, specifically for eighty bot. The worst one. Something from like it's not the worst one. I think. Right? Yes. Is that like the temperature from my bed? Well, uh, uh, but, but I want to know about today. I want to know about. Today. It definitely wasn't like, a peach flavor. That you have yeah. on like, what is a flavor of booger at all? Like, anyway, are you? Okay. Right, right. You know what? How about this? Give me one second. Whatever. Sure, yes, believe it. Yeah. Watch this. This, this should be fun. Uh, all right, old. Phil. Phil is off, and it uh, looks like. I wonder what he's. This, this, this could be a surprise. I'm reading three more. Let's see what happens. I, so. I'm an old man. Okay? Yes. Another blue one, so I, I can cheat. Do something that no one else does. I use paper, and I write on it. Delicious Crash. toothpaste flavor. No one okay, else now, does this, right? Now hold on, Phil. Before <laughs> I, before you show anything, I want. Oh, to make I'm not sure. going to show. I'm going to read. Okay. I'm going to read some things. Don't worry. I'm not okay. going to show anything. I'm going to read okay. some things. What I'd like to do is kind of go through. I don't know what these yeah, pink ones supposed to be. Day, where does your money? Like go? the color not right. Which, essentially, that's what you're asking, right? Where does the money go? That's coming in. What did the logo? One hundred. Uh oh, you guys are chopping. Tell me. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Um, here we go. I'm gonna go through this. I'm not exaggerating. Line for line, this is what I'm paying this month, and this is okay. Please. That all one was good. Goes, plus a few other things. Okay, and this is literally all of it. Um, Great. We're really doing this. <laughs> I have a subscription to Hulu. Interesting. Dollars a month. Business Sorry, expense. Buddy. Okay. Definitely not a business expense. I'm just saying, this is where our money goes. This is everything. I'm serious. I'm going to cover it all. Ooh. Um, I have my internet. I have two internet lines that I pay for. They're very expensive because they're unlimited internet. It's, you know, it's not an hourly. It's like you have to pay a ton of money. Did we know you had Hulu? Um, hourly? Who pays for hourly internet? No, not hourly. I said unlimited. Oh, um, I, I thought you said, that, okay. You go I'm, ahead, I'm sorry. Sorry. I meant to say data rates, not hourly. My Got bad. It. Data rates. We have peach or barf flavor. Uh, I have my dues here where I live. I, I live in a... a Community, a condo. Was what was the bar flavor? Dues, monthly dues. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I got, let's see here. 
I mean, Game Pass? but but you're you're reading off personal expenses, and that's Again. no one's business. I get the right. fucking no, 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 chills eating these things sometimes, man. Everything, so you know where my money goes, because this is the only, this is what they want. They Actual want shivers down my spine. No, I, I don't think that's the case. I think it was about the five thousand dollars, the business expenses that they. We were never got the answer to the business expense. This? Like how? How is this the case? So you're you're now giving them more shit when you're you were very. Yep. Seemingly very nervous okay, okay, okay. giving anyone any more information that isn't public. You know what I mean? Yeah, they get stuck I, in your teeth. They stay in your body. Continue. It just mm -hmm. seems like this is counterintuitive. They stay in your body in a bad way. Where you have uh, three hours later, you drink on, some like, water. You're like, oh, I can still taste the beans. Well, I'm not going to tell you any any account name. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Yeah, you know I get I'm that. Saying? But still, it's still personal stuff that it's like, all right, well, uh, I don't understand what. That's not what the subject was about. Right. It was about the business expenses. You better take right. These aren't these aren't business expenses that you're reading off. It's personal stuff. Well, some of this, well, some of this would be Good considered point. business, and some wouldn't. You know, like I was just gonna say, Game Pass. That's. But what's you know, the that's... point? Is is kind of where I'm leaning? Like, what what is the reason for? ESP might be exposing something he don't want to expose by because doing whatever he just did. Uh, you're asking your, me your business, what? your business, not personal. Yeah, BSP. Yeah, the trolls, the trolls want to know seen, about personal on the internet. Help. That's what I've seen that people are upset. <laughs> There's the the business expenses, the five thousand, and then like I don't know where this like half a million thing. Half a is, million, half even. a mil, Phil. Some, some question. Half a million. That, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I heard. <laughs> I, I've seen. I didn't look into that much because I I have multiple shows that I'm I do, and you know I couldn't dedicate too much to uh, learning about you, so. Uh, yeah. I figured I'd 500 bits from what you, underscore you know, like, one. Uh, that's from what I've seen. It's, uh, it's so fucking wild. That, they are that's what people all gross thing. Like, this fucking pig. How are you spending that much money on the? They're gonna have a lot of stuff to watch on your stream after thing, this, Mark. If you were to nickel and dime, everybody will. It's ridiculous. Review, review Tech's gonna review watch this shit. He's gonna love it. Games and stuff like that. He already watched and he super chatted twice. I think it's. I don't. But you know what I mean. In those, you know, in that report or whatever they used for the bankruptcy, I don't know how it's calculated. Yeah, I like this dude telling him like randomly. I got multiple shows, man. I know it's DSP's right, too busy to do anything. Through it with the bankruptcy judge, line by line. So is I that, know is everybody that, else got that, more going uh, on. Large except Kat. Jasper might have more going on in DSP. How much debt you had? Oh, I, I'm maybe, just. Maybe. I'm trying to take a. All right, oh, I'm felt, getting five I mean, beans you, so I can narrow the number down. Right, I mean if that's. What I don't know the total number of. Seems like a pretty big moment in your life that you would, you would know. I no, I didn't. I never. You know, it's not a. You moment. don't know shit now. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Oh, half a million dollars off my. Half a million dollars off my. It's, a, it's a good milestone. No, it's a horrible. We have a so possible a booger past, flavor. Forget and get you know, put in the past. But I don't know. Maybe that's what that number is. But again, I don't know. I don't. I can't go line item by line item. I don't know. Uh, it's from years and years. Do the boogers? The boogers supposed yeah. to taste different every time. Uh -oh, it's never it? consistent. It's just awful every time, though. No. Okay, you froze again. Jeez. You're good. You're good. You're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, okay. Well, they call um, me Mr. Freeze, so. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, like, I can't, I, you know, I don't have that. I don't know. I, I would assume, this is my assuming, that that data includes. We got cappuccino or liver and, liver and onions. Liver and onions is my least favorite. No. 100%. Uh, again, I can, without going through it, because I'm not going to go through all of it anyway. That would be exposure to talk about all that stuff. Yeah, with liver and onions. Um, okay. <sighs> I don't know why I hate it. <laughs> I don't know why I hate it so much. If I think about it, when I talk about it, it tastes worse when I think about it. You do what you're comfortable with, man. I think that's the biggest thing. Is I really you don't don't want it just tastes like old grease. I'm going to tell you. Okay, hold on. And every time I talk about it, people say, liver and onions taste good, though, Tevin. This is not what you would expect. It tastes like old grease, like with sugar mixed right? in it. It's just like not right. About you're about to cry. Like what the fuck? It sucks. Well, no, you don't. You, you said you said like thirty minutes ago. You don't give a shit, and it doesn't make. You're about difference. to cry. So, yeah, pick pick a point. Pick pick a place to stand. Yeah, I know. I don't. Either, know. Either, oh. I gotta see him run away again. That's the biggest thing is. I really I'm sorry. Like, Let me go put the paper away. I'm gonna tell. Uh, you. Pomegranate or old bandage. It was old bandage. Okay. <sighs> All right. I don't like. I don't want to <clears> talk about shit, but I I yeah, have to. It sucks. Well, that no, you don't. You, you said you said like 30 minutes ago, you don't give a shit and it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, pick pick a point, pick pick a place to stand. Yeah, I know. I don't either. Know. Either you don't give a shit and you're going to move on and let the haters hate you no matter what, because there's nothing you could do or 
try to appease them. It's a great segment. It's not, it, you can't be somewhere in the middle where you're I like, I might appease you. I might Adam, actually do this. I'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Adam, I don't care one about one or that. the other. I care about you guys. I care so you're saying you guys. <laughs> He's talking his shit now. So much nasty stuff about me. At least have a place to listen and hear my side. You know, that's what this is. And I appreciate you guys so much for giving me this time. I really don't. I'm starting to get emotional now. Thinking, you know, but you're gonna cry. You know, all right, I'm just gonna. No. Do it, all right, I'm gonna tell you Help. a few things that no Fuck. one knows without specific. We lost. Okay, so it doesn't really put anyone. Under I'm eating two more beans. I don't know what flavor it's gonna be. In a few different, you know, legal you things over sip. the years. I've been it tastes good. Well, good. My own health and my wife's. It's supposed to taste good. And it's not stuff I should talk about with my audience. I don't want my audience to come to my stream and be like, I want to give you a tip because I found out that you have maybe a medical issue or something going on. That's none of it. No one's business. I don't. The scaly hands. Scaly hands. Him talking about his hand being numb and never getting a follow up because his chat doesn't care about him. Uh, what else? It's another thing. Gout. Of course, we got gout. I, the know, initial I gout discussions. Let me Is he really acting like he never talk about this stuff? For real? For real? In real life? Come support me because you like me. Ear infection. Okay? Ear infection too. support me because you want to stick it to the haters. I don't want that pity party. Keep that, you know, you know let them... He specifically... Come and just support me for my... Basically asked for this. Tell you stuff that's going Back on. in the, the, the Twitch days. You know, medical expenses, legal expenses. You know, and it's... You guys sort of stick it to the haters? <laughs> medical conditions. Okay. Well, then, 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 Bro, you're 41 years old. Of course you got something. This and he got DDoS forum. again. No. Like, He's back. This is your form, Phil, right? If, he if switched his sip of, container, like, medical condition that as you may have noticed. You to live, you know, paycheck to paycheck or, what or is stream this? to stream. And you, you pride yourself on transparency. I can't think of anything more transparent. Dead than fish than or strawberry banana about, smoothie. You know, uh, something going on. And like, you know what? People are people and they'll understand that. Like, Allegedly strawberry and banana willing, smoothie. I came out and it don't taste good. You know, I had cancer or or something bad happened. I was, it's not that. It's definitely not that. Okay. I don't want to make right. anyone think that but, I'm trying to. Again, this is not a pity party here. Right. It's not that. It's, it's not? that I have so, a, a few chronic lingering things that come it's like back. the party. Years and then. You know, yes, there's a medical cost. There's deductible, of course. You know, you have to pay to a certain amount. Uh, in a nutshell, I've been involved with a few legal things, and I've been a few involved with some medical things, okay? And essentially what's happened over the years is I can't really pay them because oh. of the financial situations that I've been in. No. And did you pay any of those Did you pay any of those things as business expenses? I, uh, again, I believe, and I don't know if this is true. How do you not know what you did? Isn't it true that certain, like your health insurance. Oh, now we got to talk about, yeah, we got to talk about some weird shit. Tax deductible? I don't know. Again, I get asked this by my tax guy. I do. He says, what your are you? Tax, what are your, your tax guy was asking you this? He said, I just got an email the other day that said, we need your breakdown of what you paid for premiums. If you had any medical expenses, if you had any of this, we need all this to file your taxes properly. It doesn't so, sound right, dude. I don't know. Again, <laughs> no, listen, please. And here's the problem. I don't want people going over my tax guy. You know what I mean? He knows what he's doing. He, uh, he's you sure? But he clearly mm -hmm. doesn't because you've been in tax <laughs> it doesn't issues. Sound like it. No, like, no, no. My tax issues are not. Yeah, it's not the same, dude. The shit. They really are. I used to have tax issues with an old account. You might be getting the story. Earlier, they thought it was the same dude, too. No, I could tell. And he I didn't say anything. Everything. Okay? okay. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. This guy is great. And You're I'm throwing the old dude under the bus. But basically... Okay, I have a few ongoing things. When you don't have credit anymore, okay, but you still owe, some things can get erased, some things can't, all right, buy a bankruptcy or whatever, and I'm in a situation where I have ongoing costs that I'm on payment plans for, mm -hmm. okay? Not, oh, a credit card. I can't get a credit card. I have no credit. My credit sucks. Ah, I yes, walk off, no, lock off my, lane. I, I have payment plans. So, for example, I incur a legal cost of several thousand dollars. Okay, Phil, you don't have to pay that today. You could pay it slowly over time. Here's your payment plan, right? With the IRS, no, I owe them back taxes. Phil, we understand. Phil. As long as you're in repayment status, you're paying this amount every month. This is, You know what I mean? So that's where my money goes. I'm embroiled in all these ongoing things behind the scenes. I'm still like tasting the beans. No one needs to know about. Medical Delicious stuff, flavor of bean. That I'm going through and tax stuff. And where does your money go? <laughs> and then just think about this. I'm streaming six days a week full time. I'm stressed some days, you know. Jersey's so sad for here. DSP right now. All your money on mobile games. I, my wife, and my and me are feeling so much stress with this going on. And you know, 
We didn't go on a honeymoon when we got married. We haven't been on a trip. Still listen to Waka Flocka. We haven't done anything. Phil, I get it. We we understand, which is why you know we talked about therapy. We've talked about my wife. You're right. My honeymoon. But you you still haven't like you still haven't answered the question. I'm going to ask you this really directly, okay? On a month to month basis, mm. how much money are you spending? On WWE, I wish all the emo were as big as FFZ. Oh, we got a good one. On a month, a month oh boy, are are you spending on iTunes or any sort of mobile device? Okay, just a, just a straight dollar amount, this, and this, whatever this it is, month, it's okay. Serious question okay. of DSP life. Okay, this month I have spent probably ten to fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. That is an honest answer. Mm -hmm. And by the way, it wasn't on WWE champions. Oh, we found a new one. Okay. Why would you smile after you say that? Well, here we go. Because you, you know, wanted to laugh at us. Gonna blow it up. Gonna no, okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Then. Don't worry about it. If it's, if, oh, if you know, my Lord. It's a oh, game. Lord. It's a game. Oh, no. <laughs> Got it. The room was a true. Okay. Yeah. Is it good? What, what's your favorite character in Street Fighter Duel? They build a team of fighters. They fight against each other. People was in his comment section and shit asking him about it. Like, yo, Phil, what's your favorite character in Street Fighter Duel? Literally Street Fighter. Don't he love Street Fighter? We lost. Play it on stream. Why are you spending $15? Fifteen? A dollar. A couple? I will get destroyed for saying that. Yeah, a couple is like way less than 15. You know how math works? A couple let me, 15? Let me, let me kind of move this. What? Up. Going for a long time. And thank what? you again, Phil, for your time. Ah. We're, going, we're approaching four hours. I got, I got a few things that I, that I want to make sure we hit on before we go. Sure. Um, uh, before we, you know, can move forward. So, um, number one, um, Keem is here. And Keem has said that he will be respectful. And He's not going to let him uh, call in. DSP going to just, talk. no. I think He's not going to let him have enough. No, no, no. To bury whatever hatchet or no. whatever it is you guys have, and and men defense. No. I think this is a tremendous opportunity. Are no. you open to that? No. If you want him on the show to talk, I'm not doing business with this man under any circumstances. There you, you go. Establish that. That's fine. That's not yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, I'm not trying to broker a business deal or anything like that. No, we're not going to talk to him. If are you open to talk? I'm not answering the phone. I'm curious what he even wants to talk about. I Answer the question. Are you willing to talk to him? So. Well, let's. Okay, I'm going to so, bring him so, on. Right? Wait, wait. So you're okay with? Him coming on to talk. As long as he's not going to sit here and insult me or, do, you know, you guys have already asked me so many questions. I don't want him right. interrogating me, too. It's if you're no, not that's, his. This, that's not, right. I mean, Kim, uh, you know, I, I, he's watching, obviously, so it's like that's not the case. Live review take on. Interviewers, he, 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 and he just said it, he agrees. Yeah, he agrees. So, so look, we're going to bring him on. And, and like I said, I think this, this is not a tremendous oh, opportunity man. for friction. There's an opportunity. How is Snarf Renell going to make a video out of this? I just show. thought about them. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. And Phil, thank you. Uh, He's shooting so loud. On to talk to you directly. <laughs> um, I do mean what I what I said here in the chat, that I will be respectful. Uh, I'm not here to interrogate you, but I, I desperately want to represent my point of view in this situation between me and you. Um, because what I've heard listening to this podcast or this interview or whatever you want to call it, is you describing problems that you have in your life. Um, paying bills, being harassed by you know your detractors or whatever. And I actively went out of my way to solve major problems in your life and me and you are not friends in fact no, DSP is cropped out the DSP oh you. I thought he froze me and you were fighting Jeez. back and forth you, big leave. you on your Blimp. podcast Blimp. out of nowhere Blimp. Um, Blimp. reacting to me retiring when I turned 40 and you said well that guy's evil welcome to you the know, stream all these horrible prototype fan one two three four money whatever you said about me because you don't you this don't like podcasting in a while and Many Truly unexpected things happen on the stream. Uh, picked up on and now Keemstar right is here. The actual the real you don't Keemstar. Like my show and you don't so we have Keemstar and DSP talking. The the fapping. Uh, we never thought in this would happen. Oh, that, that's that is the really untrue. I, oh, oh, dude, you oh, covered it. Go ahead, respond. Yeah, yeah that's P fan intro. Family. It's a great you intro. Really harp on it. One of your guys contacted me behind the scenes. Said, "Do you have anything else to add? Do you want to be on the show?" Gotta recrop this. You covered it fairly. I don't think you were unfair at all. That's not the case. Thank you, because I don't think I was unfair either. You know, no, not at all. Who told you that? That's bullshit. That's you want. That's the distractor. That's what everybody, everybody jumped to that conclusion. Why you had such a hateful, uh, you know, 
response to me retiring was because of that, because no. we have no previous history, Phil. Correct. I, I've, I've never talked to you. The only interactions I've ever had with you is just covering this one story about you. Mm hmm. And just so you know, this is a great example of why I wanted to bring you on, because there's clearly a, a miscommunication somewhere along. Yeah, he hate him too much for not a good enough reason. You know, uh, Phil thought Allegedly. This, and Keemstar's like, yo, why you don't like me so right. much, bro? So, I ain't even so doing anything that wrong. We're in, better, we're in a better place, which is great. So to move on from that, you sure. know, um, <laughs> I see a clip and it's on Phil's They're going to have me call in next. To my Are you okay with today? Almighty Tevin calling in? Uh, of course, if he doesn't fucking, like, slander me. And I hold on, hold on, Kim. Kim, is that, is that true, Phil? I didn't think he would answer the King's thought, to be I, honest. Like, I'm sure but he I, he don't want you know he don't want to run okay. run away from I anything, don't, right? I don't know exactly what was said. I'm going off a of memory, but it was something along those lines. The clip gets sent to me by multiple people, um, so I respond to Phil because the only thing I know about Phil is him being a lol cow, right? Him on stream begging for money to pay rent and stuff like that. That's all I know about him. So. I responded to him on Twitter, which I thought begging was pretty for clever. Um, begging in and begging. Terms, terms. And I explained to him that, like, we oh are my God, I keep the same age. We've been doing OBS. YouTube for, like, 15 years each. We started at the same time. And now we got I'm retiring Chroma key now, key and me in the I don't ever have to work again. So I have completed this video game of YouTube. And I said to Phil, <laughs> DSP is officially still on level an authentic one, lol cow. Right? You're still on level one and you're restarting, you know, level one over and over again, like a video game. And you're getting nowhere. You're still at the point where you uh, no. you said he was on mission on one to, to pay your bills and whatnot. And I thought that was a good response. Right. Even though I am talking trash and you you're know, still on mission one drama going on for Twitter and whatnot. You know, I thought that I was actually giving you good advice. Yeah. And. You know, well, you just, for, uh, yeah, he was, was giving say, toxic that, advice. That, um, is that advice or is that more like cause I, in, in, that, in that text felt form? like a, a, a backhanded smack uh, right. with, you know, Internet Twitter battles, you know, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But it's also advice. Right. My point in those Twitter yeah. videos was that Phil needs to do something different. You know, I imagine you're playing a video mission game, one, you're on level one and you try the same technique over and over again. All right. And you're dying being you on mission one level over like you're never going to beat level one. And that's the situation that Phil has been in. Right. And I, I Phil, what are your thoughts on that? Do you do you feel like there's any truth to that? Or do you feel like that Keemstar is out of his, you know, out of his way to uh, kind of make you look a fool? Uh, well, first of all, I know how I can get the clip. You know, the best way to give life advice is to, you know, Say it in an insulting way, for sure. I mean, that's very makes everyone very receptive to it, correct? You know, right. well, sure nice fair point, but slab. You're still on mission one on Twitter. Um, is there some truth to it? Yes. Okay. But oh my god, nigga, the truth. If you have a criticism of me, then criticize me well, fairly. Well, in a way well. where, you know, maybe I have a chance to have a conversation. Instead, you just go to your platform and you say something nasty about me on there. I'm a tiny little guy. Okay. Oh, okay. When I say something on my stream, who you got 20k subs, 200k. Oh, oh, there we go. Correct. So he's not then. I'm the little guy. You are a big guy, Keem. You're huge. You have a giant reach on the internet. Do you not understand? This is bullshit because DSP basically told us he got giant reach. If he says something and it gets spread because of people that don't like him, it's still getting spread. Keemstar shit gets spread by people that don't like him a lot. That's why every time he says something, Somebody bring up Etika. That's like kind of the same and not sorry for bringing up Etika. That the stuff that you say and do has repercussions. But you get it, right? Maybe. Somebody you. do. You it makes sense. You're to be someone that you don't, you're not self-aware. You don't understand that when you say something like that, now I have to live with that shit for months on end. I get, ah, ha, ha, you're on level one. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> level one. Yo, you've been for 15 years. You're just on level one. Do you think I need that? I already have enough shit in my life going on. So much stuff. So why do you have a podcast named Mission One out, every day? Which is what you do. That's why people don't like you, man. <laughs> I didn't like, see it. I not understand that. I, I didn't see That's why you don't like you, I man. I saw a clip of you talking. Team with the arms crossed. Kind of shit on me. Like unprovoked. And I just responded talking shit back. But also but, giving you advice. That's the way I saw it. Anyhow, after that incident took place, um, months went by. And this bothered me because I saw the solution the People entire the time archive missing Phil needed to do just something being there. different. All right. <laughs> I 
am a person that recognizes entertainment. I really, really get it. You got to understand, Phil, you have haters, you have detractors. So do I. But I have more. I have more than uh, Wings of Redemption, uh -oh. DSP, and Boogie uh -oh. combined. I have way more haters, but I'm still successful. And I still have new business opportunities. He was thought a real king of hate. I was supposed to he used that hate to motivate him. Still doing new stuff and, and being successful in this platform. Because I understand this business very, very well. And even though you have that hate, hey, thank you. Hey, you Pepsi, know, yeah, they are viewers. What they is up, Drama Alert Nation? It's your host, Killer Keemstar. Haters are. Let's get right. <laughs> people that give you money, that donate on your. I spent like five months <laughs> watching Keemstar. I binge watched him, and then eventually he was talking about like, drama that I really, really didn't understand. I mean, between YouTubers that I really had no idea who they were, people no, I just here. opted out, fell out of the algorithm. It's, just, it, it, it's you. This have is years ago, man. A legitimate fan base. Those haters, those people that don't like you, are oh, yeah. your fans. And <laughs> I want it to solve this. If DSP has a fan. I am one. But wings and if he got ten, I am um, one. Right? You have more something like that than like supporters, right? But really, they're all fans. They are all fans. They're all. This could be a good coat. DSP should just go with it. Stop. Oh, fuck. YouTube TV price really update. The They're adjusting the price from $64.99 a month to $72.99 a month. Going to watch. They're going As to content costs have risen. That these Yikes. three guys have come together. To <laughs> Thanks, make YouTube. Content. Now, between the three of you, you guys uh, don't have the business sense to like really want the bag and make this thing actually happen. But I do. The right. dead ass inflated you YouTube guys don't TV. Even understand how valuable the valuable three people paying for it, they're getting punished. I'm one of them. No, because you look at the numbers and you're looking no, guys. at everything and like you know the oh, price for I'm YouTube TV went up. I'm gonna need your help. That's the mindset that you have, right? But I have a different mindset for each and one of you that you guys are amazing entertainers, but just not in the way that you want to be, right? Oh, you're low cows, but there's so much value there by putting the three of you together and you know, each one of you would own 25% of this podcast. All right. We never got to have this conversation. So I, I do want to have oh, it. Oh, yeah. No, they actually did never get to talk one on one. I would and also, look how easy it was. I would do the best. And they're both at work right now. I've had uh, maybe. success selling podcasts um, to exclusive deals with Spotify and other companies, <laughs> multi million dollar deals. Yeah. Look at this right? camera and compared to everybody else. Together, the blurriest person deal. besides DSP is uh, Adam. And I knew but still, that. All three DSP of you loses. would be in a situation He's too blurry. where you didn't really trust And he looks so like, sad. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. And you'd have a lot Game of doubts. camera is so glitchy, though. I was just going to take my own money and, and take $150,000, give you each, just to start off before we even film the episode, the 50 grand up front like a to let you know that I was serious. And I believe in this concept and this idea. Now, I call Boogie first. I instantly get on the phone with Boogie, all right? He loves the idea. Power he of the internet. It. He gets it. He reaches out to Wings. Wings is down. And now it's time to talk to DSP. Boogie, did such a good job of cropping stuff. It, was zoomed in so much. You and told I should have did it zoomed out. Going on, right? Correct. He DM'd me on Twitter and we had a brief conversation back and forth in DMs. And, and he told you that I wanted to do a podcast with the three of you, right? Uh, yes. I had no idea. That's what you were trying to contact me about because we you didn't answer. But he said that there was this idea for a podcast, correct? So you so, didn't know. <laughs> so, so Boogie told you? So he knew, but he didn't. Boogie told uh, me. Caught in a lie, on the score. And Wings had spoken to Keem, mm -hmm. and that Keem wanted to do a podcast with all three of us. No money or anything was discussed. He just say, you know, he, he wants to do a podcast with all three of us. I didn't know that's what Keem was trying to reach out to me. I, I said maybe that's what it was. I didn't know because I never spoke with him. <laughs> Phil, hearing this... Hearing this and and hearing the uh, the business opportunity that was laid, I don't even know if it's still there or not. But uh, what are your thoughts right now, given what Keem has said to you? Thoughts like yeah. you mean? Yeah, what, do you feel, what do you mean by that? As he's laid this What's out, what's the thought? Like, lay out your feelings based on. I don't what know what that means. Star has has laid out for you. You're still on mission one. I have, I have absolutely no problem doing anything with Boogie or Wings. In fact, you know. I had the conversation. Thank you. Rain Bows. The prime four months. Would he be interested in me? cows. Me or he, me behind his and guess what? You know, We're eating I, one whole these bean. Guys, you know, I uh, boozle. I, last year about his I didn't need any spicy ones during the stream. 
but the non spicy ones almost out. Doing a collab with them, just doing a fun podcast is not out of the question for the future. But your issue is with We're gonna have his business principles either pomegranate okay. or so old bandage. Understand. So e even if there's an opportunity for you to remove yourself, it was old bandage, quote unquote, level one, and and potentially have an opportunity further down the line to potentially sell the podcast. To such an odd flavor, man. Put fifty grand it's in your pocket. Just not right. That's that's a one hundred percent no go for you. Oh man! See, I didn't know I was you know, on the spot. You know, actual. So that's that's this an interview. Is a, man. This is a discussion. What the hell? Just made by me. Yeah. Medicare guy can't be in chat. He's supposed to be dead. This was a discussion we had. Then. I wouldn't be able to find him anyway, huh? I'm gonna. Can I? Because he don't have like a check mark. I'm reasonable and don't you know not under the belt. Can we? Can I be honest about you? Sure. Let Medicare you can own. say whatever you want. About so we can say anything. Sure. But um, I just want to represent how I yes. feel about the situation. I'm not done, but go ahead. Okay. Yeah, bro, I'd be so happy so, if I heard Med Mr. Medicare voice please, like in the next 20 please. minutes. Could you imagine? Your history on the internet. It's very interesting. That'd be fucking great. I'm actually, yes. damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched a documentary about yes. you last year. You started off trolling yes. people in Halo. I mean, holy shit. And you turned that into an empire of money on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's so admirable. And if anything, yes. one of the things you absolutely... Started off from a crack rock. And now we got boulders. Boulders. False copyright. Oh, he sent a super real chat. Real DSP, bro, take the money. Illegit is a good offer. Off the three, you could parlay it and stuff that would probably get a lot of eyes. No way, that's the real him. That that's Phil, it sounds familiar. I wish I was a mod so I could check. Yeah. I guess. It's, it, it literally sounds like you. Yes. I don't It's true. We just we just heard your story. and. No, wait a minute, Phil. No. Rick's absolutely right. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, Jim wants on. Right. Matt Jarbo was in the chat. What? And what I have done. I'll probably be forgotten. I'll just be a fart in the wind. Ted showed up. Now we got Matt, Matt Jarbo, allegedly Medicare. The real Matt Jarbo. And the real Boulder God is in the chat right now. Everything else. Who cares? And he but says Jim wants on. Team, you know, has a big body of work. Ah, yes. Well. But when you look at wh how Keem made his money. Hello? Mundane Matt. Again, I'm going off Matt Mundane. I've seen. I mean, Keem, you have to openly admit that there were a lot of things that you've done that you probably have no issue. What if uh, Boulder Dude called in and then Mr. Medical called in and we had everybody oh, shit, else? Phil, I got to say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. Whoa. You're, you're, get, you're getting Whoa. Shit. No issue with that. I got to begin now. There are a lot of things that you've done that you probably have no issue with whatsoever. You always feel from your perspective, because there's always two perspectives on everything, right? Holy shit, <laughs> Phil. I got to say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. Yeah, you, you're, get, you're getting your information from the detractors that Keem has, <laughs> and that's where you're basing this on. When yeah. the whole episode, you have been talking about how much shit you do that all the time. detractors have yep. made other people think about you. Like, okay, you okay. Hear yourself right now? You yeah, always do that. That's the nature okay. of the beast. That's how you do it. I'm going by what people tell me. Oh, Don't go by what other people tell you. Watch my streams. From what I've heard, but he judges other people based on what people tell him. I, I call them a misery broker. All right? Misery broker is back. When you have a good day, it's because someone else is having a bad day. Someone else has drama going on. Someone else has horrible things happening in their life. It's your good day, man. It's time for you to blow that up. And then you interject like a like a shoe, shoe wedge. Yes. Zoo, get we didn't get a poo reference yet. Right? So you we got lucky. Part of it. And now get them on your show so that you can pull this out to be not just a one time thing, but now it's going to be pulled on for weeks and weeks. If there's something. Phil, do you know the profit. internet at all? <laughs> do you know oh, the know. internet at all? Yes, I do. You, do. Do you see who's who's successful on the internet? I mean, yes. yeah, I, I, I would probably be more successful if I talk shit on people, but like I don't. And, you know, I, I do what I can because hey, that's just where I, I'm at. Mad Jarbo still like, in the chat. You can't, People you made can't a ton of cash off my situation. The I can't blame them. Advantage, which the team seemed to have figured that. out. I agree. You're right. And at one point I was. At one point I was a really stupid, jealous guy. Man, I feel like I'm putting out content that's not harmful to anyone. I'm just doing gameplay. I'm dicking around on the internet here with my viewers. And this guy gets over and he's doing this drama content. You see this? It's him. hurtful. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Jarbo. You're right. At the same Epic. time, you have everyone has what's called a moral compass, correct? Correct. And you know, I've I've been talking about this on my streams recently. I was raised a Roman Catholic. All right. I'm not religious anymore. But yeah, you said that earlier. The same exact combo. Certain morals. All right. Not an excuse, but I'm going to bring it up first. 
and then say I'm not that. What kind of bullshit is this, man? Like, actually, what kind of bullshit is this? Stepping on other people. I'm not gonna step on those people. I would rather be. The I don't guy think that's what I don't think periphery. that's what Kim's doing when he's when he's making. I've been videos. stepping on people all my life. I, I, I see. I'm a born stepper. Yeah, D Day Cobra, shout out to him. I saw him in chat. Like NBA young boy, and, and tweeted us out. Thank you, buddy. Uh, mm. He he talks shit on anyone. Like he he freaking, you know, he monetized the haters better than anyone I know. Right. And well, I've talked to him personally off off air, and he's a fucking great guy, and like <laughs> has a good moral compass to me. I don't think talking shit about people on the internet. Somehow, for some reason, chat. It's right? just this and, one and dude. He's going on compass. about Pandaly. I mean, you, drop, you said moral no. compass. It's like, come on, dude. Like, can I ask Phil a question? Making... Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely, uh, Phil. Listen, all right. If if me running Dramaler is like a taking advantage of people's misery, right? Because the way I understand it, for how you're explaining it, is like uh, a YouTuber will get canceled, and then I cover the story on my platform or right. you know you had the fappening right and i covered the story mm -hmm. on my platform that i'm making money off of other people's downfalls right that's the way you see it yes well there's there's people on youtube that run documentaries so that roll a joint i hit the bong incredibly the important question in the same situation correct i'm saying joint they're making you can money get extended of, coverage a with a joint the story on the so internet factual reporting Correct. of things that are happening yes. like a news network like what do you mean of course and then i inject my opinion on on these stories as well but there are youtubers yes. right they're they're commentators still no snorts that's crazy isn't it do, like, he cleared his throat just now he cleared his throat once early and muted the mic by the way Every single one of them uh is except you know what i just noticed it i didn't notice it but i noticed it like he looked over he did the like like he did, he did like the throw clear in animation, right? He did like he did like a that. Because <laughs> he could mute the microphone really fast. I saw him do it. Well, I seen him do it. Simply voicing your opinion is one thing, Keem, but let's take a look at your history here. There's been documented cases where you've actually seen yeah, the throw clear animation. It's like a, ca a video game character. Come on. Where it didn't really exist. And no snarts though, none. Explain that. Yeah. Not even a snark plus excuse me. I don't, I'm not aware of these. The documentary I watched last year, uh, but Drew yeah. King made this one. And mm -hmm. I guess there was a situation with a YouTuber, and I forget if he was a Minecraft YouTuber or another YouTuber. And, you know, yeah. originally he appeared supposedly as an upfront, honest guest on Keemstar's show covering this drama. I think it was allegations that he had been with underage girls. Man, well. you need to figure stuff out instead of thinking. Come to find out the, it, later on, the whole, or at least part of it was orchestrated between the two behind the scenes. Like, I guess he wanted to get back at someone. I guess. Ex, or, or, I don't know, know man. Oh, fucking, who participated knows? participated in that, that I, setup situation. Why are you even talking about this? You don't no even know what you're trying what to tell us. Yeah, sound. you're doing a good job of explaining, DSP. I have no idea okay. what you're talking about. You have the right about. to deny it. He's That's explaining like a you moron. Just Probably on purpose. Out there, man. But What's I just want to say, I just want to say, like, you participated in supporting a YouTuber, all right, that covered a story on my misery, right? If I supposedly did something wrong, you Taking watched a not and break. support it. I'll be able to YouTuber listen on my phone, though. Doing exactly what Dramler does. It's a good point. I'm legit, well, and, and like, slightly that, bummed out just to kind at of the fucking this, YouTube like, TV again, price going no, up. What kind of shit is this? He has the right to deny that because he's saying it YouTube didn't happen. TV. Even though you're saying there's a mountain of proof in this documentary, right? Mm -hmm. The same thing is being said to you right now about mm -hmm. your WWE legends and everything like that. And you have the, the right WWE to legends. deny it too, even though there's a mountain of evidence through documentaries online. Correct. But the, the difference came to respond to your point. Sorry, there's a lot of points that just came up. Mm -hmm. uh, the documentary is not just negative stuff about you. Okay, you understand? The documentary is actually covering your entire history. I've learned a lot of things about you that I find very admirable and very positive by watching that. It really did cover factually your rise and all the stuff that's happened and some of the How do you know that? No, factually. How do, how do you know it's factual? I'm just curious. It's on the internet, so it must be true. I know. I Phil, real quick, I mean, I see documentaries on DSP, but you on the show said half of the stuff's not even true. So right. I'm confused. Is the internet 100% trustworthy or not? Because when it's about me, it's all facts. Right. When it's about you, it's all lies. I'm I'm confused. It's not all facts, and it's not all lies. It's it, it, it's always somewhere in between, right? We all know that. We're not stupid. We're not born yesterday. When you watch that documentary, you gotta kind of suspend your disbelief. Say, hey, okay, believe it or don't. Right? Make your own judgments based. So on you what chose you to believe, believe this one when it came to Akeem. 
Uh, in, in, in a couple of particular cases, I'm not saying that that one documentary is the only thing I've ever heard about Keen. There's been lots of people who've been That's what you're referencing a, a lot so far. So that's what I'm going on. Can we come to the conclusion that me and you both have a bad reputation? We're controversial figures, but one of us is wildly more successful. Oh, I'm not, I don't even say I'm successful at all. So okay. like, yeah, yeah. Sure. Keem, okay. sorry, continue with what you were saying. Okay, I think we, we've established this. Keemstar, continue with what you were talking about leading up to this. You reached out to, to Boogie Wings right. and DSP, uh, 50 grand on the table to start the podcast. Continue. So knowing how to help all three of them, all right, and then also creating a business opportunity for myself, right? You know, it, it is all these things combined. Um, and not only just helping TSP wings and buggy and myself, cause this is a brilliant idea, but it's also helping every single person that's in this chat right yes. now. It's also helping every single one of your haters, every single one of your guys actual supporters. Everybody wants this content. This is a win. This is a golden opportunity. So knowing this and, and wanting to reach out to help you, I found, you to be so incredibly difficult yes. to work with. Boogie already contacted you and told you that this was about a podcast. I publicly tweeted, reach out to me, $50,000, and you ignored me. Yes. Then we finally start talking in DMs, and your response is, well, email me, because I want to set up a call. We're already talking in D DMs on Twitter. Why can't we just jump on a call and talk right away? We're already yes. communicating. You tell me to go email you. That's mm -hmm. I I that is so weird from my perspective. Yes. If I reach out to the yes. biggest YouTuber on the You're platform, um, yes. uh, Mr. Beast, and I text him, hey, we got to get on the phone. I got to talk to you about something. I'm going to talk to him within 12 hours. And this is a wildly more busy guy than you, Phil. Attention. All right. And that's the I biggest YouTuber yes. on the platform. Your this is how content yeah. creators communicate with each other. Like we don't oh, email yeah. each other. Like we have managers to do that stuff. We have lawyers to do that stuff. I have a team yeah. of people that will get in an email. I don't get in an email ever. I'm never in a Gmail <laughs> ever. You know, <laughs> this is what are you talking about? It was so disrespectful to me. When I'm just communicating you in Twitter DMs, we're talking back and forth, and you're telling me I have to email you in order to get on a call. Free I was so guys. confused by that. But I play along, all right? I think I one of my people may have emailed you or something. I got a phone number. We, we set up a scheduled time when we're going to call, and we're going to talk degenerate. about this. And I call you during the scheduled time, and you don't answer the phone. And then I get a message back saying... Oh, I'm sorry. You're you know, I was degenerate. streaming. I told you I work at this time. Well, even if that is true and you were streaming, you that stream is not more important than my phone call and my opportunity. It's not. Phil, what do you, you think about that? Do you think that's accurate? You have a, you have an opportunity to put five figures in your pocket and and you mm -hmm. kind of give us your mindset there because I, I it's, don't. It's also semantic because. Who cares how you're talking or whatever? First of all, Craig knows how to contact me. He contacted me to be on this show. It was pretty straightforward. Wouldn't you say, Craig, it was pretty easy to reach out to me? It wasn't you're hard to reach me. No, I emailed you. Yeah, it was easy. And when we, we were able to talk back and forth pretty reasonably with no issue, correct? I don't think we ever had an issue, right? No. I think what we're hearing well, here is... Well, hold on. You, you think Craig is... is uh, a big a YouTuber, degenerate. though? Come on. Look at this guy. Oh, no, no. I'm not even saying hey, it. Once upon a size. time, buddy. Once upon a time. <laughs> this has nothing to do with size. This has to do with just being reasonable. If You're someone a has a business degenerate. contact line, said, this is the best way to contact me. Please do it. But instead, you go to your giant audience on Twitter and you just scream, yes. I want DSP to contact me immediately. $50,000 on the line. You're a it's fucking hostile. degenerate. It's disrespectful. It's unprofessional. So you you got you got triggered and were on the defensive immediately when you saw that from from exactly. Keem. You you if did he, not see that he was actually reaching out to help. You're a you know, it, even not though at all. I didn't even know people had to tell hold, me hold, my hold, chat so, was happening. So according to like what I've just heard, you were talking shit about him retiring, and yes. he jokingly responded, and and kind of slapped you a light a lighthearted slap degenerate. with a glove, yes. but said, you know what, I'm gonna hook you up anyway. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yes. And you were stuck on that. What year was this, by You're the way? Just because I kind of have a. So this was recent. Last yeah, year. roughly a year ago. Wow. Okay. 
No, I, I wasn't expecting that. I you're was expecting a, a little, little further back. I mean, it, it feels you're like, Phil, you're you're in this this time of like, you're trying to find that yes. way past this spot that you're in. And I don't mean, yes. I don't mean to like s call anything out, but it does feel like that's being stuck on level one. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, in, I, it feels like, I mean, shout out to Kim for like actually reaching out yes. after you were talking shit. Like, and that's not that's that's not something that happens. Yes. And if he was right. truly trying to help you out, like that's that's kind You're of surprising. Be, I, I would well, if it, someone was talking shit about me and I had a, and I was yeah. a free boxing match. Me, I'd been like, Fuck oh, I can't person. wait for the dingus restream. Especially as you say, yes. it was just some small time. I don't remember yes. what wording you chose that you weren't even successful in your own mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. But him talking shit to me, I'm lurking, isn't a personal thing, right? It's an opportunity for me to make a Twitter video and make some entertainment for my audience. Degenerate. Like when, when I that's, go on the that's internet. That's how yes. you internet right there. When I that's go on the internet, internet, I am not thinking about, will people like me? Will people hate me? I'm thinking, let You're me make a degenerate. piece of content that people will enjoy watching, whether they like me or hate me or whatever. Let me make some piece of content that people are interested in. That's all I ever think about when I come to the internet is certain. Isn't DSP people. down on his luck and eat money? Um, Phil, well, hold on, hold on, real quick. Phil, are you are you okay with this? You know, I I don't what? want. Yeah, just with this conversation. You know, I mean, you came on to do an interview with me and Craig. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a tough interview. You know, we've we dove deep into through throughout. You know what was going on, and you weren't prepared for. I didn't know that Keemstar would be on the show today. I didn't know either. It yeah, this, right. is, yeah. this is all just just kind of happened naturally. This is the and internet. I, as as the guest on my show, I just wanted to ask you if you're cool. Like, I, I would love for this to continue. I just want to make sure you're cool with it. I, I, I'm okay with this, but, I mean, obviously right, cool. we want to get back to the other topics too, right? I mean, we kind of put everything on pause yeah. and came. And we, we, I we, mean, we, sure, but I, I think that I think something good is happening here, right? We're, we're working agreed. through things. We're understanding what, what each perspective is. I understand your perspective, Phil. I understand Keemstar's perspective. Um so I, I got a question for you, Keem. Is this, you don't mind if I call you Keem, do you? No, that's fine. Okay, Everyone okay, calls cool. me Keem. All right. All right. All right. Is the offer still there for this to happen? I mean. If, if Phil is open to it. I would say potentially, but not really. Right. You know, I, I took Wings of Redemption and Boogie 2988, who were willing to work with me and understood this business opportunity. And I'm setting up a boxing match between the two of them. And I'm going to break the internet with this. All right. This is a awesome opportunity for Wings. An awesome opportunity for Boogie. Um, this is going to be broadcasted on May 13th. And I haven't even announced this anywhere yet. This is an exclusive. It's going to be free to watch. Oh, shit. It's going to be free to watch. And Can I, can I ask a question? Yeah, of course. This is huge news, insane yeah, news. Yeah, please ask. Yeah, Keem, I, uh, you know, again, I understand your reasoning here. You're saying I'm just making content people want to see, right? Um, is there any line that you won't cross when it comes to content that you think people want to see that you can make profit on? Do you have any kind of restraint? Do you ever feel that morally something is too far? Because I personally and many others hear this about this boxing match coming up. Okay, now let me give you my perspective. Okay. Okay. Wings of Redemption, Boogie. Well, obviously, D not DSP. We all know obviously, King's thought thing something's too far. Right? It's a really well, lame question from DSP. The it's two dudes that are fighting and thing we'll like, bro, they're going to get paid by him to do it. Kind of unhealthy. I think kind of unhealthy dudes get in boxing matches all the time. Does DSP look at TV? He watched wrestling, by the way. DSP watches wrestling. A lot of unhealthy people in wrestling. A lot of overweight people in wrestling. They jump around and shit all the time, and they all end up dying before they're 16. Why don't he fucking complain about wrestling? Bro, I could think about so many random things. So many. And that's just one. Don't he laugh when he watch wrestling? Is he laughing at fat people when they're fat, when they're overweight? I don't know. Maybe. I'm sorry, Kim. Uh, please. Whatever, bro. Let me respond. All right. He want to fake feel bad for people and just hate on Keemstar in reality. He should hate on Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon probably worse than Keemstar. Arms way for entertainment. And Keemstar and Vince McMahon both pay people too. DSP never going to pay anybody. Wings or redemption. Didn't help anybody Boogie or help anybody. But what if he did? In fact, it's disrespect. Very similar what to you. What if he did? All right. 
And by doing this, I am an auto. they will audio dig way Please too insane. Me. Let me read stuff. What did he say? He's so quiet too. Fuck. Boxing match. Like to having two Compared to everybody else. Like Overweight, possibly unhealthy, doing a boxing match against each other so that everyone on the internet. Imagine overweight people possibly getting in a possibly boxing match. Be either putting them in harm's way or maybe Imagine. be considered morally reprehensible because of the repercussions that could happen during this match. Do you not think they're right. adults? That yeah, they his bottle changed. He got gin in that one. Anyone can make their own decisions. That's I'm fine. sorry, Kim. Uh, please answer them. Let me respond. All right. Every single influencer boxer, whether they're healthy or not, is putting themselves in harm's way for entertainment. Mm -hmm. They're, they're sure. all warriors. And they all uh, know. If you're in good shape, you're not putting we yourself in danger, obviously. Haven't gotten any respect. In fact, it's disrespect. Very similar to you. All right. And by doing this, they will get respect. Whether people laugh or not, they are going to get respect for jumping in that ring. I respect them for fighting, man. Unhealthy. Of course they're unhealthy. But I can tell you right now, behind the scenes, and nobody knows this, both of them have actively already lost weight training for this fight. Whoa. This is a nice. positive thing in both of their lives. And I don't think either one of them have the ability to seriously hurt the other. Do you? Do you, do you think they're in real danger by fighting each other? I think these are equal opponents. This is not a serious boxing match, Keem. They're not boxers. <laughs> That's not a... anything about boxing. Whatever. Cool. That's his response. That is not serious. Are you going to watch? headphones fell off. No. Because of that? Yes, you are. No, yes, I'm not. I, I don't, don't watch that you. crap. No. Bill, Bill, you, know, <laughs> you know who is going to watch it? What was that voice? Everyone else. Everyone, great right, answer. Right. That's exactly what I would have said. I just Stupid people who watch it. It really comes down to what I just said a little while it. ago. When, when, when I look at like making content for the internet and doing stuff like this, my question is, will this serve viewers? And I know it will. I know so many people are going to tune in. I know so many people want to see this. And I don't believe you when you say you're not going to watch this. I think you are going to watch this fight. You're so mistaken. Bill, you have no Bill, nothing about one, test two, <laughs> test one, test let's, two. Let's ask this, Phil. Just, I, and this is just my stuff. morbid curiosity. I'm looking at meters. If there was an opportunity for you, Phil, test to one, like okay. box, whatever, test I don't know, two, you know, whatever it may right. be, that was a kind of a YouTuber up. versus YouTuber opportunity. Would you Would you be open to that? Open no. to uh, anything no. like that? Wouldn't do it. No? That's that's not what I'm about. I'm, I'm on the internet. What are you about? Having fans. fun, positivity, or some stupid cool shit that you make up? You know, <laughs> yep, there it is. Fans, whatever you want to call them. There uh, it is. I'm not here to, to make a, a mockery. I'm here to have fun and positive you know, a, a contributing contributions and that. fun, chill, interactive, you fun, amazing, do. awesome times with my fans my and uh, I the like. I just want to be in my lane with my viewers doing a good, uh. fun stuff. I have no aspirations of grandeur or anything like that. I don't want to blow up because I did a stupid internet boxing match. I'm surprised he pronounced it that way. Yeah, Never so heard it pronounced that way. Grandeur. Fine, Phil. If I could um, finish like why I'm frustrated and, and explain myself. Continue. Because, like, look, this all I ordered some me grandeur, me and, me and my wife. You know, it was very yummy. Me and then us they having the that trash, metaphor man. of we got the you know, you star segment. On I know you're loving it. I, I really did retire. Like a year ago, I pretty much. I wonder how they even now doing I'm this doing call DLC, anyway. But I'm not paying for the DLC. The DLC is paying me, you know. And I'm doing more and more and more and more stuff in this space because I just love it so much. Beamer and it comes from eleven. A place of you absolutely loving what you do and like loving these video 16 games. Sixteen months. I don't. You know who else likes video games? Wings and Boogie. Guess what? You don't. I am think eighteen. The three of you on one a Bean Boozle would would be a good thing. You guys talk about games, up. giving your opinions, so talking about right current now. events, and whatnot. You don't, you don't think that's a positive so thing? So Apple or Booger right flavor? I would love to do a show with those okay. guys. I, I, I'm friendly with them. Behind so, the scenes, I have conversations. So when I couldn't get a hold of you, and I called you multiple times, it wasn't was once, one? and you ignored. Again. It was multiple, multiple. I can still times. taste the last Booger when I kept DMing you, and you said, "Oh, I'm streaming now." And da A couple weeks went by. By the way, and that's false what he's saying, but I'll let him keep going. It's fine. Whatever. I believe it as fact, you know. No. It's a buggy do. No. I love it so much. And it comes from a... No. Look at this. King Brown, 2188. The tier one. Six months. God damn it. I shouldn't have said anything. People got distracted by the bean segment. We're going to do um, some quick and fast ones. We have another bean. This is a um, dead fish. Or strawberry banana smoothie.
It was strawberry in a banana smoothie. Even the ones that are supposed to taste good don't taste good sometimes. And we got three. Get the subs from Milk the Mocker. So we pick a booger one, a possible band aid one, and a possible dead fish one. Place of you absolutely fish. loving what you do in these video games. Now we got a booger you know one. Most likes video games, Wings and Boogie. You don't think the three of you on a podcast would would be a good thing? You guys talking about games, giving your opinions, talking about current events. You, 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 don't, like, you don't think that's a positive thing? Kim, I just said right here on the show, I would love to do a show with those guys. I, I'm friendly with them. So, I have I have yes. so when I couldn't get a hold of you and I called you multiple times, it wasn't I one. I want to find a him calling him a lie. Multiple, multiple. Got really times. medicine. I kept like calling, I kept calling, I kept DMing you, and you said, "Oh, I'm streaming now." And da da da. A couple weeks went by. One more, by the way, yeah. easy one, saying, the blue well, one. Let him keep going, it's fine, whatever. Blue or up or. Fact, you know. No, 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 we, uh, we want to hear your perspective. Did, That's what we're did, doing here. Did Delicious he, did he toothpaste bean. Times? He called me at least once, maybe twice. By the way, I think it was it's not, once, not correct. It's false. The amount of times that you've said He's lying, by the way. that you don't really remember is shocking. Because I don't document this stuff. Why do I care? But, the, but, but how can you say with such certainty that it wasn't you or that he didn't call or that all these things, if if constantly, I, I'm just I'm just calling it out. Or, you know, I'm not trying to come at you, but that, mm -hmm. I, I've just noticed that a lot. So now That's you fine. say, actually, he called maybe twice. Could it have been three times? Could it okay, have been it, four times? It definitely you wasn't didn't three even or notice? four. It was one or Look two. Look at Keemstar. How do I, I know? three or four. I'm just, you know. Well, I specifically re remember when he called me during a stream and I Fun fact, DSP was supposed to go live on his his channel at 2 p.m. my time. It's 3.30 now, and it still say waiting for DSP game. He could have changed this on his phone. I'm like, <laughs> who's calling me? And then when I went Dude, Jade's play, probably I super confused. Phone, like, Where's Jade? Must be him, I, don't have I wonder if Derek numbers, watched an interview. It must be him because, of, you know, you get locations tied to phone numbers or whatever. And I'm like, why is he calling me when I gave him the specific times to call me? He's calling me when I said I was busy. But Why even then, Phil, it? Phil. Oh, yeah. I wonder if one busy, minute man tipped. There's a That's a really good question. 50 grand plus more on the back. You think he's going to boot the stream up and say one minute minutes. man already tipped? I mean, and, and once again, oh. your, your true fans will understand. Look, I had to get on a phone call. This is a really it's important an interesting business question. Call. I appreciate you guys. And you know what? They're going to stay there with you. They're going to stay there watching because they want to know what's happening. They want to know more about this. Like the idea of not taking a call just because you're streaming, like, your fans will understand that, man. No, and again, I didn't even know that was him. I didn't have his. Oh uh, no, video you games know, are more important. After the fact, during a break, he was uh, at work. Um, but the fact that this guy yeah, he has taken phone, phone calls on stream. Call this dude walk after. away for so long. The dude so like first, he won't, nothing. So many times. But then he's too here, busy to talk to Keemstar about actually getting fifty k. Make that make sense. Hit he that like not button. Talk further in the DM about what this was <laughs> until I demanded it. I'm like, dude, just tell he me. He takes what you're jerk off breaks during the streams. It would make sense. He can't talk on the phone if he's doing that. I'm totally not interested in at all. I'm just like, no, we're not even bothering with it. He wouldn't. I had to like pull strings to get him to even say, okay, I want you to be like a host on a show. And then he wouldn't even talk any further. He demanded a phone call. I give him my number. I give him the specific times to call. He calls the wrong times. Well, right? I guys, mean, according, guys, according to I what just, I hear. From Ke Hold on, I just want to say this real quick. According to what I'm hearing from Keem, he had he was going to put up $150,000 to do a show with, oh, does with this show you know, that three guys. Charity. Like that's a risk. Change my charity that's him there. investing a lot of 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 that's his income up. to try to help these guys for including yourself. And I think a phone call, uh, wanting to do it over a phone call, is like uh, uh, just. That's nothing in comparison to what he's trying to do. All right, I we just got a new Gatorade, by the way. And Phil, listen. Or is it power? Do you want to know why I don't like the phone call idea? Why I wanted it in writing? Would you like to know? In just why? a second. Keep start. Go ahead. Because he's going to record you? Phil, now that we're talking Is that why he didn't talk to Kat until she left the boyfriend and move in with him? All right. I can tell just okay, by okay. how you're reacting and what you're saying back to me that you actually understand that this was a great opportunity. And that's why we need to be on the phone is so Brian we can Gore. actually communicate. I heard him we can hear him. each other's voice. We could talk this thing out. You can ask me questions. The 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 text conversation, the the emails back and forth. All right. That's not like really how business gets done. That's how contracts get done. That's how managers communicate back and forth and do deals. But like 
when we're at the very beginning of an idea and we're trying to figure out what we're going calls. to Wait, do with this business, it has to be like real communication from back and COVID. forth in a phone call. With the like list it of three. is right now. I had to go out on my way to figure out what even happened. So that's okay. why Let's, can we get some prayer so hands and chat? For me to get on the phone with you for the extreme okay. positivity. Do you, well, do you agree? Uh, exactly. Disagree? Does it make sense to you? Phil? That's a YouTube TV what, payment. What, what I was going to say was sure. the reason I wanted it in writing was very simple. All right. Again, you have to understand, Keen. You have a lot of stuff that's said about you on the internet. You know that. You've, you've oh agreed. shit! This almost got three thousand views. Dude. Yeah, I'm so Correct. sick of hearing that from you. You might hit three K before that. I'm going to deal with this guy. If I'm going to deal with this guy, I'm going to deal with this guy. I want our conversation in writing because what's to stop me from getting on the phone with Keen, having a conversation, and the next thing I know, he completely lies about what we just talked about to get drama this on his dude, content. Man. Phil, that's and like me being, that's like me going to Craig. The most untrustworthy like, no, person I trusts no one. shit about Phil. I don't want him to come up here and start fucking wanking it on the show live. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's like or saying the N-word. What the if internet. DSP slip up when and say the N-word by accident? What if he say stationary negatives? Tough, but it was a good show. You know, Think and about it. Was a it. Chance for you to come clean and you like, know really what? Try to, to use the same point, DSP don't want to do an interview or talk to Mister Mitoker because he's saying the N word like you know on purpose, right? But DSP is saying it by accident. What if you go on somebody else's stream and say it by accident? Why would anybody invite DSP on their stream so we can say the N word by accident and get a ban? Tackle some of the shit that's out there. Maybe. But it's like you're you're and then using gonna the make same Jewish jokes kind of shit and blame how it's done against you, but you're using it against Keemstar. It doesn't make any sense. Like, come on. You do see I don't it, trust right? Him. I do but, not but, trust him. But well, DSP don't want to trust me. anybody. Nobody should talk. trust him. How, how do you yeah, how do you not trust the man when oh, you're getting your information from the internet? The internet is not a Jeez. real place. Vape Nation. I, I, I can tell I, you this. I do business Medicare with the big, big clouds <laughs> on this entire planet. All right. You're I don't already just know. run a show called Drama Alert. I develop video games. You're I gonna have vape, vape nation I get them and Drama games. Alert Nation. I, you know, one one of my companies represents the, the biggest streamer on the planet. I have a long business history Nick with Faze, Mr. Beast. Like where like you don't know anything about me. You you don't, right? But if we had a conversation and you got to learn about me and what I've done. And the business opportunities that I've created for this industry for the last 15 years, Even your opinion of me would be wildly different Sometimes than flexing you watching come easy. a drama you have too much documentary going on. about me. Flexing something is too be, easy. You're, you're against. Like, you got to you know, pull out his Rolex next. You guys want to see my card in? From it, was, it, was a, it talked a lot positively about you. Why do you think I watched a drama video about you? That's not so, what I watch. So yeah, it talked oh, it talked yeah. positively about me, but by watching it, you had a negative view of me. Oh uh, that doesn't it's not uh, I actually I respect you immensely, but I don't know after Wait, well, you do? It's not just that. There's other things too. Oh, because he made a lot of money and he's successful. And their dealings with you. I forgot I how he worked. Be protective of myself and my business. And Why my don't you respect well, drug dealers then? I Why don't you respect Pablo? With you. I do. No, I hold on. there's a risk. I mean okay? I'm not accusing be, Pablo Escobar you know, of doing anything. No, if he was, why him? wouldn't DSP respect him for that, it? I know that there's multiple multiple things that I've done wrong in my career, like a, a, a thousand percent. I have said outlandish things um, mm. in the attempt of making entertainment and, and entertaining people. Um, you know, in 2015, one of the biggest yeah, this things. is never uh, ended. and we're not gonna my team like got a story wrong and i went on air with the story wrong and falsely accused it's so of much we're not gonna of, get uh, of being a pedo how many questions identity. we're not gonna get an answer to Eighty thousand right? questions were asked I, you know if you look at that story and actually look into it the person that exposed keemstar for that and brought that to the internet was keemstar i exposed myself for getting it wrong I right away tried to make, you know, it right with that guy. Offer him 20 grand. This is like back in 2015. It's been something the whole time. If you actually look into any of this Too many moments and situation type deals. And now Keemstar here. Literally Keemstar is here. But you're going to see Keemstar making mistakes and trying to make amends for it. If you actually- He admitted to playing champions. Now He spent like a hundred bucks on it when he first started. These audience, this did- And he spent, what did he say, $15 on the new- Street Fighter mobile game. DSP's playing a new fair. mobile game, y'all. I should have gotten the one. same respect from you. He spent a or couple bucks, which is fifteen dollars, just so we could better know each yes, other. Yes, a couple equals so fifteen. That, I agree with you. Happen. And if I could finish, because I'm almost sure. done yes, with representing, you know, my point in all this. I called him multiple times. I couldn't get a hold of him. 
it, it rubbed me the wrong way right from the beginning when he was trying to send me to an email, which made no sense to me. Um, and I think two well, weeks. I can't DSP get addicted to crane games. And I went so I got these new plushies, you guys. DSP stuff. And I won a um, like this you know, mobile game and console. Podcast. Um, the algorithm like sent his live stream in my feed, so I tune into it. Mm. And something I'm telling uh, you, something I want on the crane game. In, I saw Phil bagging it's 101 rent and you Tetris game and I just it's only Tetris it. and like, Tetris style I games I believe that like you're totally doing worth this it. right now two weeks ago I was trying to get a hold totally of you worth offering it. you the, the the greatest opportunity you've ever been offered in your entire career Phil if this podcast Dude, was, I was dominating success, those playing right, games man. everyone they have to fucking in the kick chat and, and and you are looking at fifty thousand dollars it wouldn't be fifty thousand dollars this podcast would make millions. It would be a wild millions. success. It would be a brand. This is something millions. that millions. They gotta have merch at Walmart. Uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram. People would talk about this. You, Just you like got a bag? I want on it. Your little live stream now, except for <laughs> your we little live have stream to monetize it. Phil, do you uh, do you understand? Uh, kind and of maybe the, Keemstar uh, would be able to claim awesome. everything like. On behalf of DSP, I think what Kim is saying, like what yeah, Lavaria wanted business, to do, business, think about that. Right? Every offered, time you make fun of DSP, he make the money. You, you turn the other Bro, way. Bro, yeah, have a fucking a yacht. That, that you're saying today, you're talking about, um, you know, Kim. Uh, he wouldn't be able mistakes, to make the yacht joke uh, anymore. He would things, actually have uh, a yacht. Doing business the wrong way. But you think I'm going to get a second yacht? And mm-hmm. and the things that you're saying are are very. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's like holding a mirror up to yourself because I feel like. There's actually a lot of similarities between Keemstar making mistakes. You've made mistakes. Things that we touched on during this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you, you do understand the similarities between between what your argument is for not w- wanting to work with him and the reason why you have so many detractors. Sure. What I what I would say is the difference between me and Keem, outside of wild, is that DSP theory. don't pay anybody. Is that and DSP don't help anybody that I've done in the 15 years I've done, even if he's right. taking advantage of him while he's help, helping him, you know what I mean? DSP ain't doing, doing anything for anybody. The only people he paying is the people that sell him gin, you know, and groceries. Wow. What a heinous person! People will yeah. say that about bro. DSP ain't even gifting a sub on Twitch, he ain't even day, subbing with Prime. When I have to make business decisions about he's got like three years of Prime subs backed up on his damn channel, and it's just it's a moral every month. Um, no, so that's two dollars and fifty cents. Some streamer could get DSP. What the fuck's wrong with you? I you better use your prime sub, damn it! Very, very well. I do. Uh, I would love to do this podcast with Boogie and Wayne. If you don't use your prime sub, uh, you, you get taxed extra by the government yeah, every year. Let, let, let him respond. Let him respond to that. Listen, I don't know if y'all knew that. that you've never hurt anyone, right? And you talking trash doesn't hurt me. That's just an opportunity, right? That may or may but not be true. When you treated me the way you did behind the scenes. This sounds like bullshit coming from me, but you hurt me. I was offended. I was hurt. Yeah, we could Why? tell. Back when it happened, but we you could tell. Hurt me. I was offended. Because it's like Keemstar is, you know, super popular and well-known. And of course, if he's offering $50,000 for someone to do something, of course they're going to accept or at least be on his dick about it a little bit. DSP didn't do that. And that kind of fucked Keemstar up a little bit. It's like when uh, the really hot, attractive girl try to like talk to some ugly dude and he's like um i actually uh am um, i am not interested in you right <laughs> but when you treated me the way you did, you did behind that. the scenes you still got rolled sounds like bullshit coming for me but you, you hurt, hurt me. me i was offended you hurt i was hurt me. like why why are you treating me like this how why, many times people did that to King Star, you like think? Who, in the last five, six years, how many people turned them if down? You came to the conclusion Especially that, when he no, offered money up front. For me, that's fine. But you really showed Somebody me probably did. no respect I don't know at all. It was so disrespectful. I don't pay attention to how you King were treating Star. me, making me email. I have to call at a certain time. Uh, I'm calling and you're not answering the phone. And then when people were asking, your, your fans asking online, why didn't you do this podcast with King? During this whole time, I, I forgot DSP. to mention this. He was. I can't say he's shaking the data now that I think about it. He's looking at the stream on his computer, he, huh? So said, awkward. Like just what you just. He's got to look way over to the see these people. I have a problem with you. I just you noticed that someone who has no self awareness, and you think that you're the most important thing. But once you he's not checking the data on your Twitter, that I should contact you about a business public tweet. 
No one does on your Twitter. You contact a person. He's still going on about the same we point. We all do it. He can't get over it. We all do it. Yeah, it, it's it's the I, internet, Phil. Phil it's like, the internet, man. Yeah. You say yeah don't you have a Twitter DSP? Fifteen years, but like, do do you not understand the way algorithms work? The way Adam want to take anger that. is addictive, and how people are hooked on crazy shit. Go ahead. I want no <laughs> part of that drama. I don't Phil. want I to be a part of a podcast that is going to be. I about do this for you guys. That's not. That's not what he was. The part was great. Podcast was going to be about. He's being egomaniacal. I have oh, to say, I'm not. I can't he take just it. said my whole life should have stopped because Hell. you wanted to contact me. Really? I did not say that. Life, Hell. You know, I didn't say that. Answer the call at any that. time. Even though I Phil, gave you the times to call me. Answer can I give you some context? Can I give you some context? From the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, every single day, I talk yeah, that's to a good at question. least How many of you was DSP 20 different here? content creators. And I, this, this if they host true. him, he's going to have like 3,000 views. You know, I, this stream I got 2,960 uh, you know, views. Represent fighters that, Fucking that Meerkat. Meerkat had 1,000 uh, views earlier. I have all my staff. Fresh shit going um, crazy. I have uh, YouTubers and content Again, Craig was right. He said this is the Super Bowl. Brand deals and stuff like that. This is and like you guys' Super Bowl. Trailer, right? So I have to get on the phone with different content creators. And we can watch it and I get in. validate stories or get people's takes so I can, you know, inject that into the story to make sure that, like, what I'm reporting and what I'm talking about is accurate and have a, a full perspective, right? How all this business operates, right, between content creator and content creator it's like Twitter DMs. It's like, it's like, it's like a tweet. Yo, DM me. Yo, let's hop on a, a phone call. When we're talking about contracts and stuff, we got a Monday and that message just saying you want to get out of the hole. Emails, it's spelled whole wrong. Each other Put down his shovel. Forth. But the content creators, which we Man, are, how did you spell whole wrong? We are on the you same. Put the wrong hole. I'm not higher than you. You're not higher than me. We have a mutual respect as content creators. We should be able to be in yeah, Twitter DMs and then get on a phone call. Because this kind of like the Boulder stream. Like you treating me like dirt. And then this even King Star, yeah. He was there during a Boulder stream. This is about how you treated me in those what Twitter DMs. What a fun DMs. stream. I watched this shit live. Keem, you, you, I, I used to watch all the drama live. The variety drama. And I'm glad I did because... Never again. How was I disrespectful you know. to you? So it don't even exist when, anymore. When they ask me, is this opportunity, um, you know, still available? When I say, I say maybe because prototype like, fan one two three four, the gift that's you. up. You are very very Toshido. difficult to work with. They're eleven month. Uh, I mean, I need another beam too. Um, because I didn't God drop everything it. to talk to you, I'm difficult to communicate with. Even though I have. But what are you dropping? Publicly listed ways to contact what? me. Please explain to me what you're dropping. Like, wh what is go so important that's happening that you can't get on a phone call with me? My work, my job. This is either birthday cake time streaming to make or but dirty This job dishwater. that I'm about to offer you would pay wildly more and solve all these problems that you have going on. First it was of all, birthday cake. The birthday cake flavor nasty as fuck. It's like all, chocolate cake. I didn't know what the thing was because you never told me. You didn't call at the time you were supposed to. Didn't, didn't we're going give you... We are going in a loop. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it, it's happened a lot on this episode so far. Uh, right. So, look. I, That's I what happened when you talk to DSP. Here, right? He do it uh, when he talk on his yeah, own, on his stream. You know, we, 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 we brought a bridge together, right? I don't know if, it, if something's going to come from this with... with That's why so many questions are never going to get answered. No friction there, no. and that's fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad you guys had an opportunity DSP, to DSP, what does 1651 and, uh, mean? And I think more than anything, Phil, you, you know, you're learning more about, you know, business in 2022, 2023. Well, before how, he leaves, they just say, okay, we're going to do and, everybody's and questions. They go over them fast. And, and, but you can't and things like quickly that ask there, DSP a question. In reality, that's how business works now. So you can't. Before, if, it, if, it weren't, if it weren't Keem, because again, I already had a negative association in my head of who Keem is. I had really very little interest in doing any work with him. If it was someone else, maybe I would have. But, you know. That's the association I had. I had a moral issue working with the guy, so it wasn't a big deal to me that he was reaching out to me. Before I leave, because I'm pretty much done, I, I've expressed everything that I want. I appreciate Thank you. Can still. I give you some criticism? Me? Bill, is that okay? Yeah, because I came in saying that I'd be respectful and I wouldn't dunk on you or any of that stuff, but I do have some criticism that I desperately want to express to you. It's as, up long to as, it's, as long as it's respectful and it's not, okay. you know... I'm going to do this in the most respectful way and, and then I'll go. And of course you can respond, but um, I don't condone people harassing you, people doxing you, people going into your, your private, you know, life and, and doing all this horrible stuff that they've done. But 
I believe the reason why this has happened is because people don't trust you. You're, you don't come across as trustworthy. You know what? Before Kim saw so leave, I wish DSP would ask him a and question. You're asking to pay utilities and rent and all that stuff. The audience is getting frustrated and they look at you like you're a scammer and they want to know where this money is going. Well, how is he always in this situation? What is he spending his money on? <clears throat> and, and that is the motivation to dive into your personal life. You had an opportunity on this show and I watched it to just pull up the screenshot and show the WWE account. And you didn't do, do it. Your internet cut Rub off. The G At like that a point, genie. when your internet cut off and you were DDoSed and you were gone off stream, the opportunity is now gone. Yeah, it's he could have did some weird because shit. While no. your internet was out, you could have made a fake screenshot. All right, oh. you are never ever going to be able to prove what your WWE account <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, DDoS. DDoS was way too uh, convenient. Just it. He just made it. It was so sus. Anyway, so sus. Opportunity. To do it right away. He, with he went to guys, Twitter so fast, right? And you of course didn't he did. Take advantage of it because Instantly. I personally watching it, and so did the audience. I wonder if we're ever going to hear about that DDoS attack and if, again. And if you are the shortest lying, DDoS attack ever. True, DSP's if, if been DDoS attack honest, before. Allegedly, he'd say they have proof too. He showed us a piece of paper. The best advice I could give you, right? I remember how it was. It wasn't like I was just now. It's okay. This is that. I believe him. Ask for a clean slate, and I would do things different. But it was insane. I'm going to explain what happened. They brought up uh, Craig and Adam guy. They brought up DSP's like jerk off face and said they were going to sell shirts with his masturbation face on it. And before the joke was even done, DSP was looking to the side just like this and his fucking shit turned off. It was like it looked like he clicked himself out of the stream. And then within like three minutes, he was on Twitter saying, I may be getting DDoS attacked. I'm not going to look it up. He said he may be getting DDoS attack. This restarting out, yeah. one over and over. It was the most convenient DDoS attack ever. All your problems, if that makes any sense. If he didn't come back, it would have been insane. I appreciate the input. I it's thought he wasn't going to come back. So I, I'm not going to do that. But, but I appreciate the input. If it were true, I would fess up to it. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for having me on. Keith, sure, thanks. Appreciate it, man. I'll, yep. I'll uh, appreciate you hopping on. Really See appreciate you later, it. Definitely. All right. You've been throwing curveballs today, which I did not see coming. All right, I did not see them coming at all. But story I, of my I, life, Craig. Story of my life. Hey, yeah, I, I appreciate for you still being here. Do you so, want to keep uh, going? Honestly. I I've got till around four p.m. We could keep going. I, if you have more questions, I'm down for it. So, well, um, ask the questions that you got everybody to say. This. I I I it's reached almost out. ten p.m. for yes. me, and I haven't had dinner. The and, reach out questions. So I, I can't go much longer. Yes. Give, give us fifteen starving. minutes. Let's go fifteen more minutes. Okay. Good. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit that like again. button. We, uh, we stream Monday through Friday at uh, eleven a.m. Central Time. Uh, we have some great interviews coming up. Once again, Mark the Cyborg, James Roth, the Angry the Video ad. Game Nerd, coming up. We got the ad uh, plug. So make sure you guys are here for those. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, once again, you can follow us over on Twitter at Side Scroller Pod. You can follow me at, uh, you can see it on there, and Adam as well, and obviously uh, Dark Side Phil as well. Um, okay, so uh, Phil, I reached out. Once, we only have like 15 more minutes. And once again, I appreciate everybody hopping in, being a part of the day, being a part of the stream, and, and all your super chats have been amazing. Uh, I want to let you know that, that, uh, we will we will definitely take a look at them. I don't think we're going to read them on stream, uh, but during our post show over at patreoncom scrolls, we'll bring uh, Blabs and uh, Travis in, and we'll continue on while uh, so Adam some Blabs. can get some uh, food. But um, I wanted to play some audio. This is actually I reached out to several of your uh -oh. detractors, Phil, uh -oh. and uh, I thought it would be fair to have allow them to ask questions. I'm nervous. So I wanted to play this for you and uh, you play it. We'll just kind of go from there. Okay. What are we going to play? Good? Sure. Fire away. Are, are, I mean, are you okay with that? I don't know who they are. I'm nervous. Saying obviously. So well, this uh, yes, is from, people in his this chat was saying Shinko. Okay. never mind. Are you, are you familiar with I that? I saw name? a dude say something about Shinko in his chat. Okay. Well, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to like, what the fuck are we going to play? This is a question from him. Hey there, Billy Cheesesteak. Guess who Trolling. is your favorite No, YouTuber. get out. I should have did this. Remember that time you Fuck. thought it was funny to put a I should have emailed them a voice. Well, Damn, Billy, that would have been hilarious. Is, what the hell did you spend $500,000 on? You didn't pay off your house? 
You didn't pay off the condo. You spent five hundred thousand dollars on. Own. He can't answer You're that. In debt. What are you where, talking where about? Where did the money go? Why did you take business loans? This is a comedy segment. What did you use the business loan money for? You never <sighs> proved your content. You've been using the same camera for <laughs> nine on five. Oh uh, no! Years. I got a new and one donated to me like by my fans. The Dutch brothers sitting you. A new oh my god! Of course, Gundam knows. Literally, of course, no Gundam knows. Where did the money go? You're like a politician in San it. Literally, of course, Gundam, though. For nigh on 5,000 years. If it wasn't for, like, the Dutch brothers sending you a new web what camera or, like, LEDs in the background, you'd have no ideas. Where'd the money go? You're like a politician in San Francisco. If I went to the man, I said, Mayor of San Francisco, where did all that money go, that $120 million you defunded the police with and put it to black communities? Where did it go? You know, Gundam like email this question in. I'm pretty sure it's just the recording. San Francisco. It's a great way of sending a question it, in. Baby. If it wasn't for those uh, meddling detractors, is it gonna end at some point? No, it's, it's over now. It's actually he has so late. much fun. I mean, politicians tend to be that. older. Mm-hmm. Look, that was, that, was a, that was a long question. I think my, my first question after that is, what I is think he, we what, handled that though already. We talked about that shit. Well, well, but but the the, the five hundred thousand—that's the first I've heard of that figure. Where where is that? No, I, from, I mentioned it earlier. And we talked about it. And Could it, be the bankruptcy. And, I'm not sure. And I asked yeah. him, and if it was a if it was the bankruptcy, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you taken out any business loans? And if so, what were they used for? Business loans? No. Everything that you know, all that debt that got written. He didn't get business loans. He just had fourteen credit cards. Oh, I had a personal loans, not business. Bro, loans. and you had loans too. Any kind of loan, Ouch. officially in the name of the business or anything. <laughs> he got loans to pay off thirteen credit cards. Okay, is there anything else like? You know, I, did I you know, get? Very, very uh, an yeah, he got to, payday kind of loans probably. Huh? With, did he have? Uh, did he used to be loans. on the Howard Stern show? His voice is so familiar to me. He used to be. The, was he that clown guy? Oh, you're trying to call him a clown. He sounds just like him. him. Now, I don't know. He's one of the many detractors who make videos about me. I've literally never watched a video of his. Congrats. I don't have anything to say. Do you think that you don't uh, have anything to say because you never watched his videos? Do you think that if you were to spend time watching Uh, their videos, you'd be able to uh, react and, uh, you know, you have, you have so a reaction to the entire niche market uh, of you, know, no you reacting to uh, <laughs> negative content about yourself? Perhaps in the future, yes. Now that I'm doing that, it's only been on, in operation for a month. It's something that I would consider dabbling in in the future. The thing is, as I, as I, there is something with these these attractors. The more attention you give them, just the worse it gets. It, it eggs them on to do more. So my opinion ooh, is people ooh, are not new. coming to my channel to see this. They don't care about that. They want to see gameplay. They want to see whatever. I don't want to inundate them with that stuff, so I don't address it. You know, okay. But maybe, I was going to say a new a show reaction. idea: the Detractor Reactor. Yeah, maybe it's going to happen one day. We do a it's pretty good. Show where I react. To I got. The I've, I've given you two good show names so far. I did this react is, to the original. Oh, yeah. This is how you don't play last year. Not so the same. Want to talk about talking two sides of the fence of how it's completely unfair how I'm treated? The guy tried to take it off the internet, so I couldn't react to it. The guy. Everyone else had done it, but when I went to do it myself, oh uh, no, you can't do that, Phil. Like, what are you talking about? It's fair use. You got to download that. it. Got to download it next time. Well, so, someone gave it to me. So, can we talk about that though, real quick? Have you ever, have you ever uh, tried to remove uh, reactive content from? Yes. For your business, that if people have reacted, yes, from, reactive yes. content. So you're saying simple so answer, yes. Watching my content and reacting to it, or or posted. Or Eventually, posted we're going to hear him say, "Yeah." The only time there we go. This is the yeah. Uh, ever take anyone down? Try it. Straight up ripping the raw the South Park content. thing. And it it's always the South Park absolutely thing. Absolutely no transformative work whatsoever added to it. The moment that someone's there and they're talking about it, that's transformative. Blah, blah, know, blah. And then you say they're illegal and criminals. The judge that made a ruling on that. Yeah. The only way it's okay, really but you're a criminal. To be able to take anything down is if they just, <laughs> right right now, if they rip this raw podcast from, you know, side scrolls and put it on their channel, no context, no commentary, <laughs> that's illegal. Everything else is fine. So, no, I've never tried to do that um, at all. Uh, anything that's reactive content or reacting content like that. No. So... I, I understand that, right? And technically, legally, a, you are correct. Such a, right? such this a goes back plan. to, like, this is the internet. And the internet, I, I know yeah. that, that people are going to take take this episode and, like, if I'm sure Gundam and Keem and, and all sorts of people are going to go <laughs> and they're going to make, make content based off of this content. But mm-hmm. ultimately, and, and we could get upset about that because legally, yeah, right? But ultimately, that's going to help the show. That will benefit side scrollers uh because more people know about side scrollers right so dude um, i love side you scrollers know, I, I just feel like the podcast i, I feel like device stuttering craig and adam craigler like 
is very funny no, and entertaining the internet has, and moderately has chill, changed. And relaxing and robust. Not necessarily changed with the internet, over you know whether Correct. it's the things that we've talked about today. And Should have scroll so there's a big opportunity ago. for you to adapt and change with the internet. You, you've changed some formats. You've changed some you know changed <laughs> it's your, your about the such, grease the being poured on the toilet. Is adapting and it's adapting literally exponentially fast. And it's something that um, you know needs to More be done. If you're be, you know, show a, your phone a, a relevant relevant content producer uh online and i don't know I, I, mean, I would just love to hear that was an it's escort a, a reoccurring theme that i've he- that i've heard today well i of course what i'm going to say is well today escort I've probably changed. more loyal than cat and i'm much different Attention. he said that i mean yeah. i said probably so, right I, mean, I, I really am trying to be different and more would like to share this why not minimize that like the react stuff i'm doing right now that i just started doing last month that's something i was so against for so many years and that's a running pattern. Still I'm watching. stupid. I'm ignorant. I say dumb stuff. Then someone finally says, hey, Phil, Wait. wake up, stupid head. Check this out. And I Bro, you oh, call other people actually, stupid every 30 you seconds. Can context. You can How add, do you call yourself you know, stupid your every 50 seconds? You can make a react that's like, not what the just fuck? being dumb stuff, but instead intelligent content. And now I know uh, that I need to keep doing that. I, I, I feel like I'm getting better at it. Uh, I, it's a work in progress. You got me, like everything text, in life, and a uh, person who's trying to grow or evolve. It's a work in progress for me to become more open-minded. I I'm am, mad that I'm uh, trying to think I about it and I can't think about I'm it. I'm a lot right better way. at walking in other people's shoes now. I'm a I lot see him on Twitter still. Perspectives and suggestions for improvement. You're right. I need to adapt. Uh, to Bill. Bill Purnell. Damn, Dante Lowe, you piece so of shit. I, I gotta say, um, you said it at the it same took time. a lot of balls to come come on the show. And, and I was just only thinking of the Purnell part. If anything, uh, so. that's the one actual positive thing I hear is that Phil never gives up. Phil is the unbreakable rock that the waves crash against, and he's still gonna be here at the <laughs> at the end. You know what I'm saying? He like, didn't even get to live on and Twitch, I'm, man. I'm he was anywhere. basically like a content. fresh, a fresh account, a it, baby. You know? It's my passion. It really DSP is my eradicated passion. Best job him. I've ever had, and I'm I'm happy to be here with you guys and be honest with you as much as I could. Um, you know, thank you. You guys were great hosts. I know it sounds like we're ending now. There was a great, you know, and then fucking text got unbanned. Like he emailed staff to get unbanned. Well. Like, uh, maybe around when I got on band and he told him that he had to make a new account food, but I'm, I'm that, like what is there anything that you feel <laughs> that you need like, to touch like a DSP response, response. I will uh, I'll unban you but if you change your name so much. they I mean, told him to make a new account the things people have said about me grooming my imagine if they did that to me I would have been mega roll I'd be crying myself to sleep every night I probably stream you want to bring up okay well let's let's do this I have like 80 most of them never got partnership no sure absolutely okay Cool. It, we, we, yeah. we could do like a part two, and uh, and just kind of hit on more of those things, right? Because I want to be yeah. conscious. My founders time. wouldn't even be right, real well, founders. Let's, let's we'll schedule a part two for some time down the line, right? Holy and, shit, and, it's gonna uh, have a part two. And, so. You know, get you on for a part two. Part two gotta but, be the questions uh, people had. What, what when are we gonna do these questions people had? That we haven't addressed today. Oh my fucking gosh. Gundam. You know, fucking Gundam. Was that groom and shit? Like, is that what's up with that? Oh, I, I don't of course, like it's, it's blatantly false. It's my ex. I met. She contacted me. I never contacted. I don't know if her. DSP can answer if it's true or false. When they were a thing, that's how long ago this was. Over a decade. Like you know how she some people can't adult, answer a question. Adult, I don't think DSP can answer if that's true or not. That he, if he groomed Pandaly. When she was like sixteen, and I does anyone agree? I never even spoke to her until she was after she was eighteen. It's a complete and bullface lie. Okay. Another thing. I'm sorry that I have to bring this up, but I talked to my wife about it. I want to get this out in the open. People say that I'm some kind of a horrible woman abuser, and basically I, I groom these women and I bring them into my, you know, it's my personal People don't life. say he's a woman abuser. My wife abuser. and I met online. Well, somebody might say so. Talking for a few months before we ever started dating. What's Greg. your definition of abuse, okay. though? Is it taking um, women away from people and they make, like literally not letting them use the fucking internet? Her life, an abusive relationship. Oh, out of that relationship. yeah, Subaru Man was being then abusive. Talking a little bit more romantic. Basically, that's what he's telling us. I'm people lurking. made stuff up. Ah, yes. Said that I basically... <laughs> Subaru Man still getting rolled, man. He's a victim. Damn. It's funny, because when you look on the internet, they will find all this okay, public we'll information. Around. Dating or anything like that, okay? Um... <sighs> Basically, she was in a really bad place You're in her life. Yes. She had an abusive relationship. She got out of that relationship, and once she did, then we started talking. A People say I'm abusive to women. Well, actually, I took... Made- like, this is wild. People say I'm abusive to women. Well, in reality, my wife that I took from this other guy, he was being abusive to her. So, actually, I'd be saving bitches. Yeah, so let's go. And said that I basically... Jenna was finna save that whole DSP already saved her. 
It's Let's funny fucking go. because when you look on the internet, the they will find all this public information about me and my personal life. They'll find my bankruptcy. They'll find all these statements. Did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex? Interesting. Her? Whoa. Right? But, you know, make him look like a good guy. Mad lore. Internet, right? Which is what they've done. Mad lore. They've gone into her personal life with her family. She has I nothing like how the old song I wanted to look content. up don't even exist Stop. in the algorithm. If you're going to mess with me, that's one thing. Leave my family, leave my, my yeah. everyone out of it. Make fun of me. Put the brunt on me. It's one of my biggest regrets as a content creator. I Why well, can't DSP look it up? You should anything. look it up. Never. I feel awful that my Crying wife. Brian segment. Fuck all life. About things going out. Like, why are they and it's because he thought about Cap getting she hit. No. Leave her out of it. All right. Just all this stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's a million other things. Trolls lose. Part two. We'll get to it then. But those are two things that have always been hor for example, horrible to women. If anything, you will You're never ever. One people say he horrible to women though. You'll never find someone on the internet. Really, bro? That Phil was in a Who sex say scandal. that? Phil was abusive to women in the past. I have never people done say that in he's my life. horrible to women. I, you know, and it, but they want to say it, and it really irks me the wrong way. So I do say you only talk about your wife when I it understand. comes to cooking food. All right. Well, look, <laughs> I think this is a great place to stop. Uh, like I said, let's let's definitely. I'll email you. Not, I won't DM you. I probably <laughs> I'll, I'll email you and we'll set up a part two. Uh, I think that there's there's still a lot to cover. Yeah, we got milk. I speak for part two. Going to get less views. We that's going to be when they do the Q and A. Patience. We appreciate um, you know taking the time to allow us to kind of poke and prod. And I, I know you, you you know I had no intentions of this. If we like don't get a part two, interview. hopefully you didn't feel like it was I'm an interrogation up. interview. Uh, but hopefully you feel like we're fair because I feel like, uh, like I said, I try to be fair to, uh, fair to me, fair to uh, whoever we're interviewing, and fair to the audience. So uh, hopefully you, you feel that was the case. I I do ultimately. I would hope. Yeah, I'm putting Nevada this you know, on a VOD channel. Of the interrogation that I can just be a normal guest. I love you guys, man. I used to be a huge I love you guys, man. fan back in the day. You were playing. I'm gonna watch this ago, eventually too, we like for a stream or for a video. I was in that video. That's how like long a 10 hour long video. Contact. I just want to chill with you guys. I have a normal show. I don't want Dude, your whole show yeah. to be the Dark Side Phil show. If they do a part two, I can send in a voiced question like it's a Gundam. Um, oh, shit. We're going to end the stream here once again. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Part two, uh, but we're going to continue. Not that I want to surprise people with it, but it would have been more fun. No, if I was, you know, but dude, yes, I could do that. Uh, thank you so much. I don't know how we're gonna handle it. We've been going for five hours. This is we, I didn't yes. I had no idea what to expect. Uh, it's pretty crazy, yes. but I really do want to say thank you yes. to because I did send some questions in. Uh, I'm not gonna say what they were. Show or not, this is I, they may like, be read kind of like on part said, two. Yes. What, what so our that's show an L. Is. We shoot the shit about video games, talk about weird cultural stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, I feel like Craig and and Phil were talking and. Craig wanted to give Phil a, a platform. Oh, yeah, if we have a part two, they're definitely going to you know, talk about him your, showing his phone piece. or not showing yeah, his so phone by then. I don't know when so we uh, do number that. two will be, but mm -hmm. uh, normally we, re we read all our Super Chats do throughout it, and it didn't feel appropriate to do that. Are they going to milk us till next I'm month sure there's for a part two? I'm sure there's a lot of them two? that are, are probably really not. good Super Chats, but we there's probably a lot of them that no. really uh, would, would throw Three things to the side. We know about everything that... Uh, is going on on the internet. I feel like Craig the crying did a segment, fantastic though. job. Of and the random lore drop together. about that was all, that uh, was his Superman degree, hitting Cat. I mean, <laughs> getting a restraining he order. He used it for the first time in his life. Congratulations, Woo. by the way, Craig. All right, nice. Uh, so thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate you all. All right, please continue, Craig. Yeah, and uh, once he got two hours left in his day, so he got to boot up on DSP Gaming whenever you like. But but we're going to... I'll stick around, man. Listen... Support good people making good. You better not stick around. They said Patreon. Good people. I would love to do a post show with you guys too if you want. I'm here. Okay. Sounds good. I don't good. have a we'll, Patreon. We'll continue the post show over there. Uh, over at Patreon.com. scamming us. You guys can go over there. Trolls loose. And uh, support the show there. We appreciate everybody popping in. I hope that you guys come back tomorrow. That's the big thing. You can have a great show, but I want to see you guys tomorrow and uh, join this amazing little positive community we have going on over here. Uh, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button on your way out. Mark it on your calendar every Monday yeah, through like Friday them. at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. So uh, with all that said, remember, people are going to try to keep you down. Don't let them. You guys got a goal. Go get it. I'll see you guys later. Twitch, we're going to say goodbye to you now. Goodbye. Uh, and all you, all our friends over on YouTube, we'll see you guys oh, over yes. on Patreon.com slash Side So. Uh, with that said, oh, was that too early? Too, it was too early. <laughs> they having so much fun. We're about to we're about to finish now. So, bye bye.
There we go. Lots of fatalities. Good. <laughs> uh, my, we wife, should be... my wife came in the room and... Trolls loose. Look at this tweet, dude. Look at what the hell is this? Let's do it again. I locally record this. Damn. I meant to do it. Oh. Uh, I know what I could do. Yes. Yep. Time. Uh, the reason that I feel this interview will be different from what they're expecting. Yeah. Is because I am going to be an open book. On my streams, I try to curtail. It's like a 30 minute part I miss. About me because you don't. And I might be able to find it. It was before Keemstar showed up before his internet died. No. 100%. It was literally at like 20 minutes before. That would happen. Did to that. I play them, you know. That name was changed later. Weird to find it. With fucking degenerate. So because I couldn't get it to capture right. Yeah. So the view was this. You know, you still say that nothing has really changed financially. So much to this. We'll do. Okay. I don't know. I I, I think anymore. I don't even you close attack me and it was it, it seems like it had to be oh, man. Well, wait, I'll hear it. Okay. Yes. Uh, low it too much close. and you, you know you're working on that, which is good because as I at all and they were un Thanks for following Robin yes. Louis. Yes. Are this during Look interviews? This. It was like not on screen most of the time. The whole idea of this was, you know, to allow you an opportunity to kind of talk and talk through things. Do you I mean it, it and Adam is correct. You know, You're pretty much. Degenerate. What about this? Well, my dear. I think I found it. You guys have come across this. The Put the evidence out that said, like, hey. Like a horse. He never took the video down. It's he never the apologized. fucking internet, though. Dude. I know. Come on, but this, man. You know I mean? they, when these things get, get proven wrong. Oh. Oh, no, escort. I missed this. I, I totally missed this. WWE Champions thing. Phil filled with her back. Decorating my Christmas tree. I talked about what we did when she visited. We made some brownies together. We did this. We did that. Very, very basic stuff. You're a DSP better not. not. He better not. Not go live on his channel and sit around on their Patreon there post show. He better he not. Entire fabricated story. He don't even know what he's doing. That was not someone I was dating. You're that was an degenerate. escort that I was paying. The money that I was bringing in on streams, I was paying for a European escort and flying this, this escort. He lost a bit, like a fan in viewer because of this too. The All brownie, right. the well, brownie gate. What, what, that, what does that have to do with anything, though? You're Literally a yeah, brownie continue, gate. Okay? They had okay. evidence of it. They Documented said that she made these Dutch, these Dutch-style brownies. Like, let me see if I can remember it right. Escort lady said that they made brownies for DSP, right? A dude showed up in DSP's You're shed. It might have been a fan, long-term fan and viewer. Hey, DSV, I actually it was. It was literally like a dude that gave him hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars. And it was like, Smoke what you missed, literally the whole stream. Uh, uh, rewind it on YouTube. One fact poorly made. And everybody else literally watching right now. You can't listen to the whole interview without, well, one part of my audio messed up. And you can hear me talking. But you can technically go here and listen to the weird interview thing. That's like uh, I did a raw restream on my other YouTube channel. And now I'm going back to listen to a part I missed because his internet died because he got DDoS attacked. Squint real hard. But he did come back. I thought he wouldn't come back. What else? Uh, but yeah, you can do that. Just watch on 15 times speed. Wait. No, I can't end actually. I wanted to find this other song. It's like, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. I don't want to be saved. But it's some song made by possibly a local rapper. I don't know. Some song I used to hear when I was like 13, 14. Might have been on a Ludacris album. Uh, <sighs> something playing on this end, but I don't know what it is.
It's just another stream they had. We lost. Trolls lose. He's going to go live on his channel, right? He's going to post on Twitter and say, uh, Hello, everyone. The interview is now over. And I will be streaming live on uh, kingofhategaming.com. Fucking part two. Part two. I gotta send in the Almighty Tevin voice question. The voice question clip when they do part two. It's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna steal Gundam idea though. Which means I lost. I won't be original. And he's gonna bite his nails when he hear my voice. I'm gonna start off and literally say, Hey everybody, Almighty Tevin, yeah? And I want to know, how did you, uh, and why did you, uh, I don't want to spoil my questions. You got to think of them ahead of time. It's the police caller. It's not the police caller. Uh, what did happen during the stream? Do I want to even say? I don't want to say. I'm not here to get shout outs. I'm confused. Oh, I know why I'm confused too. Because DSP, I thought he was just going to fucking stream on this stupid fucking channel. Yes. And now my phone's ringing. Um, You're a fucking degenerate. Okay. Good evidence. Oh, look at this. There's a whole social media it's like account. Like 20 minutes. I missed this. Here's some real logs of your plane tickets. My phone is wilding out. It's well documented. Hell. Plainly Help. said I was guilty. Yes. I maintained my innocence. Yes for about three, four months, as she continued to visit me and we had a relationship blossomed and all of that, eventually she moves in with me, okay? What ends up yes. happening is, guess what? The whole yes. thing was fake. It was right. all my haters. They had made and the whole situation up. Well, now, hold on, because, because yes. you talk about the narrative, the narrative is that your detractors yes. actually cleared you of it, cleared you of that and said like, no, this doesn't add up. Right. They, they're looking for they're looking for evidence of this thing adding up. And they're, they're after the fact. And, and they're the ones who who apparently put the evidence. Craig telling them that the hey, trolls, the detractors the saved him from the escorts. Of course, the SP wasn't going to bring that up, though. Just like with this WWE champions thing. Phil is guilty. You look at all this evidence. It's all there. It's outright. And then. Basically, when she moved in Thanks with me, well, now what did they do? Now they have to narrate it. So now we have Sarkoth with the dollar. Just got off work, missed the interview. Are you going to have a VOD? Yeah, I'm uploading this entire VOD uh, to the YouTube archive channel. And eventually I'll do a stupid video watching Thanks the whole five hour thing one. and pausing a bunch. I'm going to make it a five parter. Five part for the DVD, the DVD set. And you ha you have this whale that has the exact same Twitter handle that you WWE have, champions that is pulling this elaborate elaborate troll on you, right? If they are, if that's what it was. We got like a crying segment five times. We got the lore dump about Subaru Man hitting Cat and her following a restraining order. And he's like, "Well, tell me how they found all of this other stuff online." But they couldn't find about the time she was getting hit by him. Uh, and she filed a restraining order. I mean, touche, I guess. You're a fucking it's like what you want people to do more so you can complain about it. Then you're going to say, oh, my God, the trolls brought up how she got beat by her ex. Like, big ups, I guess. What an enjoyable thing to talk about. We have even more negative stuff. It's, it's like negative about somebody else, though, right? So it's okay. I don't know. It's some, uh, like, alternate reality. Super chill logic. He's trying to go with. I get it. I don't feel like trying to explain it to the viewer or myself out loud. But I get it. It's kind of weird, though. Kind of weird. And then let's think about this, pimp. You know what? Let's think about this. So the dude that pretends, I'm saying pretend, but the dude that told us in real life with his real voice that his wife cries sometimes when we make fun of him jerking off. We're not even making fun of her. We're making fun of her husband 
for something he factually did on YouTube that was kind of funny. And people make fun of it. He told us this lady cried because of that. I mean, we, we apparently didn't know about Kat getting hit by a Subaru man. And DSP told us that she did. So it's like, uh, if we talk about this, will she, will gang be offended? I'm trying to say uh, it might negatively affect Kat. I feel like if she's actually crying because people make fun of her husband jerking off, she might cry if people talk about the time she got beat by her ex. That's why I think it's kind of weird. You're a fucking dick. He just had, he was like, it's almost, I'm almost done with the stream. I need to find something. I got to pull something from somewhere. He fucking pulled it out his sock. You guys remember uh, that time people found stuff out about her? They didn't find this. What are we supposed to do with this information, DSP? My God. It's like uh, he wants Subaru Man to defend himself. He's not going to come back. He's going to message me on Discord. I'm going to message him on Discord. Bro, you was doing some weird shit. I don't fuck with woman beaters, bro. I'm going to piss them off. I'm going to yell at them on Instagram. I'm going to make an Instagram account and yell at them. I'm just thinking about other stuff. I'm derailing my, men my mentals right now. We have 10 gifted subs from Black Mage. Big ups uh, to Phallic Boy. No, it's not the name. Fal Falsibo, possibly. Uh, Man, the second one. Frozen soda can You're first month. Degenerate. Oh shit, I have to eat 10 beans because of this. I kind of forgot about that. Soko 06, the ninth month. Uh, Barbanif, seven month. Chaka 2002, six months. I remember that dude. Uh, Phoba 555, the third month. Strawberry night, second month. The Rude Lude Lubed, Lubed dude, two months. Wavy Wonka, two months. We got the Snacker Man, the follow. Net version one, the follow. And Brian S, tier one. 20 months in a row, 26 total. With the Mark 13 devs. Oh, yeah. Is it cool yes. ass for Discord? Bro, I ain't used Discord in two and a half, three years. So. I guess not. I have no idea what's going on over there. It could actually be uh, pirates. Nah, if something weird happened, I know about it. But I don't go over there anymore. I barely even come on my own stream. I be depressed all the time, bro. I don't want to talk about it. Um, oh yeah, I gotta move all of my knobs. Attention, attention. I have an announcement. Yes! Zugato would like to share yeah, their appreciation. Akakak. Hopefully people <laughs> enjoyed the interview. Jesus Christ, DSP, thank you. You're gonna fucking stream. You realize you were gonna be fucking dumb. Marked 13 dab marked 13. I can't even talk. I can never talk. But it's like, come on. Marked 13 dab dot right. Join their Patreon, you guys. DSP, you ain't even on that fucking Patreon. I need a few. Let me go talk to Cat, then I'll get set up and start it. How exciting! Just noticed I had audio playing. People don't even have video. It don't matter who guess. Now we have the post stream. The post stream. <laughs> it won't be that long though. Like DSP's leaving at two hours from now, basically. It don't yes. it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thanks for following me? SN Zero. To no matter what, he's leaving two hours from now. Hey, Ann Lee was streaming. Did I really put? I really did that though. I really did. I'm not even gonna say what I did. 
I don't know what happened to my brain in the last 10 minutes. I don't even know. I bugged the synapse. I'm legit, legit, legit doing this, going here to YouTube, you see, to type in Sonic R soundtrack, or at least Sonic R OST. I do Sonic the letter O, and then just the number six. Yeah. Don't know where it come from. Then OST, yeah. Sonic 06. Dying what? Man cheered. One bits. Now that he answered all of these questions, are you ready to give up on hating dear guy? Now we need a part two now. We literally have actually millions of questions for part two. So guess what? The milk still flows. Something, something, uh, corn harvest. Yes. Yeah, he need a few. He got to go talk to his wife. Cat, is it okay if I show Craig my WWE Champions yes. account? Happy birthday, happy birthday. Remember, he told us that, well, he didn't really tell us, but he kind of told us that he needed to check with his family. He needed to check with his family. Yes. To know if he can uh, show his WWE Champions account to Craig. Like, bro. I don't even know. What is that? Actually, what is that? Oh, well, that's yes. not going to capture, right? What's wrong with this? What? Uh, It's Firefox's fault. And I wish I could shut him down or whatever. Nothing I could do about it. Why can't you do that? Why do pop-out windows work the way they work? Why can't I just replace the link? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to go through all this effort? Yes! Hello all. Yes. Welcome to DSP Gaming. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, we really got to, like, decompress after that, right? After everything that happened, everything that went on over there at uh, the podcast. The first thing we need to decompress about is how he dropped the bomb about his baby mama getting beat. Surprised he didn't do pre stream music. I'm so tired, you guys. Oof. I hope we get a oof as soon as he as soon as he boot up, as soon as he get on camera. You know what? We're doing a prediction. I'm feeling the prediction itch. And it's gonna be my second one on the stream. No, don't show up yet. I swear I'm coming. No. DSP leave. Will he act super tired? Like, oh my god, no, far, far. You got two minutes to predict. Two minutes. Yes! Everything good? I can't tell what's going on right now. I can't tell what's going on either. Don't say anything, DSP. W closing parenthesis opening parenthesis W closing. Opening for emphasis. W closing. Emphasis opening. I gotta finish capturing this for the YouTube people. The other YouTube people. Yeah, I got my beats on me. The following Corey underscore M underscore to cheered. Twenty bits. Let's say the restraining order is true. Why would you just say that? Live on the internet. Yeah, he was wild. Account. He had to pull something out. Yeah. That was what he pulled out. Very unexpected. Extremely litty. This even a song. It's just some dudes having fun. It's Sean and Bin Laden and his old friends. The yellows. Patrick, 
I'm really back though. They really freed the guys. They like actually freed the guys, unironically. It do hit different when they freed the guys. You're a fucking degenerate. <laughs> it do hit different when like the guys really got freed though. Holy shit. I agree. I agree. They don't make songs like this anymore. Big ups again. Black Mage, 66652. The 10 gift subs. Yeah, D Trash Man with the one bit. The Robies, the follow. Corey YM, the follow. And Almighty Gangster, the 20 bits. I'm eating 10 bean boozle beans for the, no, 11 of them actually. Back to back. Like I'm counting pennies. I don't have much regular ones left. Like, these are my 11. Fuck, I knew that would happen. Y'all ever seen a Volkswagen Beetle with monster wheels? We need to bring that old, that old style back. That okay, huh? That okay, huh? Flow. This is vintage Shawnee Bin Laden. Thanks for following IntelliDonkey. Okay, now I have 10 beans. I'm not tilting it again. <laughs> this will be a speed run. We got Peach or Barf. It was Peach. What are my thoughts on the interview? It was amazing. I can't wait to watch it again. We got another orange one. Peach or barf? It was barf. So we have some delicious peach barf. Um... We got butter popcorn or rotten egg. I can't even, I can't even tell. <clears throat> it probably wasn't popcorn. Frida guys, by the way. Frida Frogas. We got toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Was not toasted bug. Marshmallow. I never get toasted marshmallow. I don't even know what it tastes like. A great first super chat uh, member of thing on DSP stream. As a fan, would it be good to watch the interview? Yeah, we need Derek's opinion on the interview. Phil, I watched the interview, and actually, I think you groomed me. <laughs> you groomed Pandaly. It's going to be Derek first message when he get back. Oh, yeah, I can fix my layout. Well, it can go back to normal. He not a Grinch, he don't hoot up. Imagine not hooting up. Couldn't be me. Oh yeah, we're doing a promotion segment soon too, so don't close the tab yet. Obviously, the point of being here was to watch the interview. But guess what? We're giving a shout out to strange and unique content creators. Creators. If they get 11 follows. And uh, make sure to leave the tab open and lurk. So they can get affiliate. 
leave the tab open alert until uh, you realize that the tab's still open three days from now. And then you rated somebody, they rated somebody, they rated somebody, they rated somebody, they rated somebody. Just do that. Uh, what else? If they get 10 follows, I'm taking a shot. A free shot with an asterisk next to it. Fuck we spell us? Oh yeah, they didn't show up to the stream. So I can't just add them like that. Man, a built-in shout-out thing. Way cool, dude. Still have been paying attention. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a great job of typing whatever I'm trying to type. Oh, is this fucking clip? This is seizure clip. I love the seizure clip. I should have probably checked the numbers ahead of time. No! I gotta lean in. Okay, seven people. If three more follow, I will take a shot. Wrong tab. I'm like, why it looks so different over here? <laughs> So, I'm gonna say three more. Then I can end this prediction. If you say I'm like tired or I'm super tired, or it's like, oh, yo, oh my God. Then basically, yeah, it's gonna be the answer to the prediction. If you don't, then it's gonna be no. The no people are gonna win big. How does it work better now? Oh, I know what I did wrong here. Makes sense, fair enough. Like the chat is just basically non-existent. It just don't work right. No. And for some reason, I can't capture it through Firefox. Let's decompress from the Side Scrollers podcast. 600 views. Anonymous already gave him $50. He got the glasses on. Really like the interview, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> what was your favorite part? I like the reveal about Cat in the end. Because it would have kept happening. It wasn't the end, but it felt like it was the end. Like he did that shit and dropped his mic. Thing just went down. It felt like a mic drop, mo mic drop oh, yes. moment. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure everything is working. Wow, you guys are here? Holy crap. Funny. Funny that you guys are here, huh? Everything working with the stream, by the way? Everything good? Thank I can't you. tell what's going on right now. Uh, Something happened. Holy moly. Intelli Donkey. Go follow. Let's make sure everything is make working. Make sure to hit that follow button and uh, hit that like stream, button. Right? I don't think DSP gonna say tired. He didn't start yet officially. I'm gonna give him a couple of minutes. I don't have the chat up. I'm like, wait a minute, why is Heavy the chat not moving? Michael I don't even have prime. it. Duh. I can't Almighty talk to you guys life. if this chat's not on, can I? All right, hold on. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, you know, might as well get rid of the chat me. here. It's I wish be this on a marathon stream, right? He already <clears throat> talking about champions on his end, I think. I also have no idea what happened with my internet during that stream. I have absolutely no clue if I was DDoSed or not, because it would have kept happening. You know, it would have kept happening if it was a DDoS, so I don't know what happened there. I'm very confused. I'm getting everything open for you guys right now. You're really going to talk about that DDoS attack again, though? Come on, man. You know that was a call you shouldn't have made. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's really, it's you know. like me. I didn't fake nothing. Obviously, I wanted. I was. I wasn't done. I wanted to hang out with, with them. People internet die all the time, randomly. All the time. It don't matter how expensive it is. DSP know that. I don't know why he even had to do what he did or say what he did. I wasn't done eating the beans either. Attention. 
Got you got a red one? I have an announcement. Yes! Marked underscore one. You're gonna like pomegranate right or right old bandage. This is very nice. Hack, hack, hack. But now you can leave. <laughs> All right. There was old bandage. Right, ready? All right, everyone. What's going on? I literally just got off the side scrollers podcast um, a little bit ago here. Uh, it was like maybe. 20 minutes ago, I actually stale did a too. show with them. Plus, even though, um, I have to chew extra hard. Today is March 16th. We're popcorn or a rotten egg. show from 9 a.m. until after 2 p.m. my time. Yes, that's how long the show lasted. And we didn't even cover everything. Which I, didn't I don't think, think you're would, tired. Honestly, I did not think you're going to stream 12 more hours. You know, there's so much to talk about. You're going to do New Game the Plus amount of stuff and Elden Ring. This stream. Be on a daily basis. So, I was expecting... That it was going to end up being an insane show, and now you know. I don't even like know what flavor that was supposed to be. Point, it was not that good. With. I'm sure it's not going to be anytime soon. Good. Uh, but yeah, yeah I got my beats on. Man, we're gonna have to wait for part two. So long. So, it's gonna be next month. Are we ready? Month after that. To get started. Your sources in a First single of all, scene. It looks like someone tipped me. To set well, up how, why did you tip me? Is this who I think it is? I don't know. It's no. It is absolutely. Wait a minute. Absolutely. That's a short question. Maybe this would have been one minute, man. Who always supports every day? No. This is an anonymous twenty dollars tipper. He says, "I thought you were good on the podcast." When Keemstar Randley came on, you stayed composed. You talked to him even after all he's done. You still, you know, still. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be. An That's idiot. the way I'm not OBS look when you do everything on a fly. Someone, you know, it is what it is. You know, he wanted to, to jump on the show, and make it about him. Uh, good for him. Uh, I don't know how that was. His Damn, show. that tasted really good. Really that was the tutti frutti there, band. right? Uh, but it is what it is. That's how he is. Again, what did That's I say? That's the best one in the whole he box. He has to be the center of attention. He has to be involved in everything, right? And uh, he proved it by appearing on the show. Like, he literally proved it. <laughs> I don't even have to say anything else about it. I mean, you, you prove yourself every day, right? And through your actions. He proved it through his actions, correct? Correct. So there you go. Um. Okay, so that was a tip that came in like half an hour ago. Thank I mean, a prediction, too. He's definitely not tired. So let's got, talk. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Popcorn or a rotten egg? What do you guys want to talk about? I'm, I'm open again. We got another 90 minutes. It was popcorn. Show. Obviously, we're not doing gameplay now. We'll do 90 minutes and I'll go on break to eat my dinner. Obviously, we're not doing gameplay now. He pretends as if he would. Either just chill based on the amount of time. Dragon Ishin, whatever you guys want. It's up to you guys. Okay. But no. We were never going to do gameplay. This goes Keem Stars a drama queen for real. One of the reasons I want nothing to do with them, right? Bro, you talk to him. You literally fucking talk to him. Scrollers getting super chats. Okay. Goodbye. Any mods in chat? I have no idea. Mods? Duke says, I don't know. I thought Keemstar was pretty composed. Oh, no one said Keemstar wasn't composed. Of course he was. There's no way he could show up unhinged and start ranting at me on someone else's show. Then people would call him out for it, right? Thank you. Just saying, says, good job keeping your composure. I appreciate that. Can we not talk about the podcast, Green Goblin? Sally this dude didn't keep his composure. Really he randomly point. brought up his fucking wife being beat by her ex to get people distracted. Speaking of distracted. I don't know how we would really avoid talking about that right now. I think it's going to be pretty pertinent to discuss it right now, okay? Uh, I received a $50 tip. Thank you. An anonymous $50 tipper says, You stood up like a man on the podcast. Respect. Thank you to Oswald for a $50 tip. That is very... Or Oswald. No. I ignored... I I clicked on... What? I merged two emails. You, Do you see how, how shell shock I am here? <laughs> I had another email. And I read Oswald from a second email over to the $50 anonymous tipper. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, so I got a $50 anonymous tip and I received a $1 tip. Hold on. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, I'm going to be a little shaky. I was on the show for so long. I had two do another cups prediction. of coffee this morning. Two. I'll come. For that? Oh, we're talking about coffee. Cash. Yeah, he had two cups of coffee. That's why he's not tired. So Oswald. Yo. Anonymous tipper. <laughs> Did I click the animation? Did he dox somebody? Anonymous Dipper, thank you for a $50 tip. Uh, did he accidentally dox somebody? But not really, but basically he did. And then he pretended that it's okay because he's tired. Like, fuck me, then I can say whatever I want and then say I'm saying it because I'm stupid. <laughs> what happened? I'm going to be a little shaky. Hello, Oswald. I merged two emails. An anonymous fifty dollar tip is for following like XL on the score X87X. Thank you to Oswald X. for a fifty dollar tip. You bet. That is kid. very or Oswald. An anonymous fifty dollar tip is you stood up like a man. His stream sounds so bad. He's not even playing a game, and you hear stuff that only exists on his stream because of his new capture card. 
on the podcast. Respect. Thank you to Oswald yes. for fifty dollars tip. That is very or Oswald. No. What? I ignored. I. I clicked on what? what? I merged two emails. You see how how shell shock I am here? Shell shocked. I had another email. That term and isn't used anymore, and I don't think you've been shot at in a war. Anonymous tipper. Oops. You Sorry, fucking but, actual oh, individual that so I can't I talk about. Shell shock. Oh man. I'm about to come up out of my element hearing this dude talk like this. Shell shocked. I was on the show for so long. I had two cups of coffee this morning. Two to prepare for that, which I almost never yeah, had. Yeah, he got PTSD like, oh from God. the interview now. So Oswald. So let me get this straight. How you have the like, bro? He really be saying shit, and he don't know what the fuck he be saying. He don't know what the fuck he be saying, bro. On folks, how you got the nerve to say you kept your composure, basically, and then say you shell shocked after? Do you know what being shell shocked mean? Probably not because you're being weird. Anonymous I kept my composure. I'm uh, also shell shocked. And I just doxed the tipper, a donator. Thank you for a fifty dollar tip. I can't Oswald, uh, the anonymous tipper. Like all over the place today. He legit just said his first name. An anonymous tipper. And then he made up a lie. He merged Oswald. two emails. Oh, show, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oswald was the dollar. Holy moly. Man, this dude. He okay, shell shocked. I'm glad I rewound it anyway because I got mad about that. I'm shell shocked, man. I got PTSD. I don't want to talk about Keemstar this whole stream, by the way. So, uh, so America Manga Undertaker re-upped his membership for six okay, months. Okay, good question. Let's see what we say. Is, worth it to watch, is it worth it to watch the interview? I mean... Trash. We hate him. I don't know. Garbage. Will you guys tell me? Do you guys think it would be worth it for someone? I'm mad now. I'm more mad. It? Um, I, you know, it's not that I have a good time. I have a strange I drink. Very intelligently conducted myself. From Golden Chicken. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even after drinking it, it tastes oh, very um, fruit punchy. And then Crasco did a super chat. I thought you did well, Phil. Thank you, Crasco. Appreciate With a bit of a, a kick, like some um, acidity. Uh, age sicky did a super chat. Yeah, I got my boots on me for part two. Thank you. This city automatic cheer. We got two more beans. Appreciate that. Who keeps sending him so. these coping super chats? <laughs> Mint says, "Do you feel it was a fair interview? Chats. It felt like an ambush." That's the How self donos, dude. If anything, the only part that that was unexpected was Keem showing up. This is up. marshmallow or right. Steambug. Steambug? I don't think Steambug. That the Keem part was like, like if Keem had come on the show and was like, it was Steambug. A liar, blah, blah, blah. It was. It wasn't about that. It was about our interaction, which I don't. Oh, maybe it's marshmallow. Living marshmallow is supposed to taste no awful. My detractors about our inter. I don't care about our interaction we had last year, but you know it is what it is. Again, he has to make it all about himself. I don't want to talk about him all day. So, you, you're a liar. So, the only part that that was unexpected was Keem showing. A fair interview. With he just don't so, want to be on anybody's side. Mint says like he he's it just was a fair interview. It felt like an ambush. How was that? It a, felt like an ambush. The dude says he responds. How was it an ambush? Bitch, what up? Let's get this bitch jumping. I ain't talking double dutch. Oh. And then he basically tell us how it was an ambush. Like, come on, man. DSP would definitely call that an ambush. If somebody asked him about it and like said, "Do you think this would be an ambush?" He would say, "Yes, of course, it's an ambush." Uh, I didn't want to talk to Keemstar ahead of time. An ambush. If anything, the only part that that was unexpected was Keem showing up. There you go, Dan. I don't think it wasn't an ambush. It was just like unexpected. It's like he like, just has to disagree with that dude. Liar, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't. It wasn't about that. It was about our interaction, which I don't even understand because no one really cares. Like seriously, no one cares but my detractors about our inter. I don't care about our interaction we had last year. But I don't know what just know, happened. What, I don't know what he's talking about right there. I don't want to talk about him. Keemstar is a detractor, and they had an interaction last year. He just uploaded a fucking Twitter video. SC Charger says they should have. He didn't even want to email him. Asking questions in a certain something. order. I mean, no, he didn't want to answer the phone. I don't, don't know. know. Maybe I don't. They know talked about it a bunch. There. We got cappuccino or liver and onions. Showtime did a super chat. Felt like it was a setup. Though. It was liver I mean, and onions. It was a setup. I don't feel that at all. If oh I'm man, another one. I don't feel it was a setup. How do you feel it was a setup exactly? Right. Because people have different opinions. Like. You being serious I'm with a, these I'm a bit of a responses? Loss that you think it was a setup? He's not being serious, Why were they right? Upset with how I spend my money. First of all, they weren't upset. This is the detractors' questions and stuff, right? What? But again, the insinuation is that if I'm making money, that's just as worth as now. Just to fall ahead. Yes. Then you know, you know, there's going to be criticism. Like to share their and that's what they're making them I'm not be here. Made this giant semi-fabricated situation yes. around it, correct? And I really feel like, you know, you better take a sip. that 
you know, people want answers and I tried to answer as best I could. You know what I mean? PF says, don't send the screenshot. It feels like a setup. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. I have, I have to have future talk. We're going to have, I'm going to have future talks with him. Craig, that is. Right. Um, you know, I received another tip. Wow. I guess I'm just going to be shouting out contributions. Thank you, Cooper, who re-upped his membership. Don't send the screenshot. Oh, I just read that. No, I didn't. He says, here, here about the huge discount. Yeah, he's Bed, doing Bath, everything Beyond. wrong no. right now, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> a discount of Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, Mishael did it. Oh, shit. Out. I can hype up the giveaway. The and I got to take a shot. They definitely got 10 followers, dude. Big ups to... Yeah, I got my bits on me. Visa City Automatic Cheer. Oh, yeah, man. One yeah, we also can't read the rest of the names. Chance to humanize himself. One, Literally had a chance to prove the internet. Oh, no. I'm pretending it was enough. It might have not been enough. Is he super tired? No. Complete that. I was going to make another prediction. Forgot what it was supposed to be. I'm blaming Soldier Boy. But make sure to follow and lurk and praise the dead soon, Shet, so they can get affiliate. I will be taking a shot. I got my cap and Morgan. Yeah, somebody went in a bunch of points. The no voters. They got super lucky. But he drunk two coffees. Two. He woke up and drunk two coffees. I mean, whatever. I don't know about that. He should have spread it out. Unless he was drinking coffee out of one of them weird bottles. You better take a sip. Speaking of weird bottle, I got a weird bottle in my hand. You're a fucking degenerate. We dedicate this shot to a, sip. a successful puppy rescue. You better take a sip. Uh, weird, 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 weird DSP event that people are going to talk about for like 30 years. 50 years people are going to talk about this. And, um... To part two. Wait for the part two. When you're going to have all of the clown segments. It's going to be even worse. Medicare guy going to call in and everything. I'm going to call in. You'll see it. Shroom Duke I'm going to call in. P Fan going to call in. Uh, BD Bye going to call in. It's going to, no, it's going to be like a birthday stream. What if they did it on his birthday? Could you imagine? No. And DSP would kind of be behind this idea, I think, knowing how he pretend to act. It could be like a roasting of Phil. So they do they do it literally on his birthday. Six hour, seven hour marathon. And people call in with videos. Videos. So you make, you know, you're like, hey, DSP, I just want to know, what's your favorite five star WWE champion? And he's like, ah, that's so funny. But uh, thank you for asking. I, I know you guys know I play champions now. Actually, my favorite champion, I know you guys make the Hogan joke, but my favorite champion is um, actually Macho Man. Think about it. And that was the whole stream. And then you have Edie Bot calling and she's like, uh, hey, I just want to know what's your favorite tequila? And he's like, well, uh, my favorite tequila, and then I don't know the name of any tequilas, is Blue Agave Snort. It actually tastes delicious. Thank you for the question. It could be like a Q&A. And then people call in and ask him about troll stuff. And then he respond. And then Mr. Medica call in. And then he apologize for everything he said about him. And then DSP say, yeah, I'm sorry too, bro. Because I didn't understand who you were. And then they make, uh, they make up. Think about it. It could be a super positive birthday. But that won't happen. He's going to like be born instead on his birthday. And ask for money. Oh, well, we dedicated the shot to part two and to uh, me getting derailed again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. take a sip. I didn't want to lose my headphones. Take a sip. I saw the fucking chat help happen. Take a sip. Yes. 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 That's how chat help happen. I didn't tilt my head back all the way because I didn't want my headphones to fall off. Yes! And I choked on it. Actually choked on it. I'm going to advertise this giveaway too one more time before I pick the winner. I'm picking the winner for this in the next 20 minutes or so. I got more than one game to give away, so I got to finish this one. I have a Steam copy of Barotrauma, 2D co-op submarine simulator in space with survival horror and RPG elements. You can also play by yourself. 
This is one of them 5 a.m. Tevin games that I'll never play again. But it looked mad interesting though. Let's play alone. First of all, you have to know the graphics. But if you want to win a copy of this, just do exclamation mark enter, followed by a number between 1 and 777. And you can get 777 entries if you have enough challenge points. You, no, Jeff. enough glow. Again, you know, for me, it's this was difference. just like... <laughs> to them, that was like a long grilling session. To me, that was like normal. To them? The trolls? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, I didn't even feel like I was in the hot seat. Because this happens every day on my own streams. So, Snow Carl tipped a dollar. I think that makes sense, DSP. I want to see you did as well as anyone could have on that podcast. I'm proud. Must Thanks, have been Snow hard Carl. Difficult. Your first life Snow Carl with the self I'm sorry that, that, you know, people had to be brought into it like Cat. And I'm looking forward to part two. Thank you very much. Yeah. I did reveal some stuff, man. I did reveal some stuff that no one knew. And, uh, you know, watch the show. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know, I'm not going to be talking about all that crap. You just said you don't know if we should watch it or not. It's sad. The people that people have said and done. It's pretty and I wish you watch it to get well, more information about, about Cat. Tip, I commend you for doing the interview. So we can make her cry. In the face of all the detractor BS, you delivered your defense yes, strongly. Tim. I've been That's a fan for years. I want the best for you. Uh, people ask so, what the end game is for uh, trolls just to make Cat cry. Uh, and have Keem shop that podcast to sponsors. Do the it. Keem help your Vice City on. Automatic. You'll rise above. For the two bits. I don't know about that. I would love to do that podcast and, uh, without Keem. As I said, live on the show. Mr. Mr. Nevitz, I'm okay with the 11 I'm okay months with I'm in okay the salute. Wings. I'm not okay with Keem, so that would be the person that I really want I don't know, man. The shot kind of hit I don't know if it's worth I'm, it I'm scared. at all. It might hurt myself more than it could ever help. Seriously. I don't want to be Mr. Lalcow for the rest of my life. Mr. Lalcow. So. Correct. Um, I got a $4.20 tip. Thank you all. You guys are amazing. I got some Radical requests just, on too. Good job. If you want to request yeah, amazing high, songs, with a, a great play animation. Point one percent. I hope you have an actual fun podcast. I think one eventually I'm test my audio get again. There. It might just take a long ass time, right? One I day. think it will. I think it'll take a long, long, long ass time. Uh, for the record, I have absolutely no idea what happened with my internet. It went down legit. We're really going to talk about it again. It went down completely legitimately. I was like, "What?" We're going to talk about. And we're going to talk about I, the internet. How the trolls feel about the interview, and what else? And Keemstar, while simultaneously saying we don't want to talk about it. It's ba basically all troll shit, I negative shit. At all. How does Derek what feel happened? about the interview? My, you guys know Ask my him. internet almost never goes down. If it does, it's like a blip. My, yep. Basically, my modem. DSP, DSP being premium DSP right here. You lost me here. Listen to this. Listen I to this have statement. No clue. My, you guys know my internet almost never goes down. If you guys know it almost never goes down. If it goes down, it's like a blip. Bro, it was like a blip earlier. And you said it was a fucking DDoS attack. A possible it DDoS like a attack. My Basically, my modem... Every time my internet died, it's so a possible DDoS, DDoS attack. attack. How was it that it happened then, but then it didn't happen? You would think if someone DDoSed me. Literally, so every time internet anyone's like, internet dies, it it's a possible stopped, DDoS so attack. Like, correct? It was weird. I really wasn't a DDoS. Fucking because it was a DDoS, stupid. That means I now have to go through. Stop it, man. Painstaking Stop it. Of contacting my ISP. He wish it was. He yeah, has something to talk I about. Hope it's not. He got $150 now. Well, people paid him for the interview. but See, Butler Spirit, here's the difference. Is why eh. only take negatives away from the Keem vid. What you've they heard, owe him more. He need like 400 like at least. Drama alert. It's trash. At least. It's a trash game. It's a trash content. It's, da it's bad. That's but my I'm not going to look his disagree. horse in the mouth. But 1 million percent, I don't like his content i have issue with it you understand it yes, wasn't the documentary we're talking about came star again I already BTW. then i watched the documentary no, I wish I had a pizza. <laughs> Nay, oh say, shit the steam sale started today thank you throwing ennis to the super chat you look like a complete How exciting. dollars for vince there you go i have no thank idea you, what vince. that means but enjoy your band enjoy and, your band you uh, fucking Amber idiot super chat props for hanging in there for five hours under fire not a detractor or a fan just neutral Bro, you gave DSP some money. You a bitch now. Very nice of you. <laughs> did a super chat. Props for hanging in there for five hours under fire. Not a detractor or a fan. Just neutral. Credit where it is. Due. Neutral. Did a super chat. Props for hanging in How there much for they five gave hours him? under fire. Not a detractor or a fan. Just neutral. They got to give me some money then. This dude got to show up to my stream and give two subs. And tell me that they're neutral. The gift, give two subs and resub because you were a real the sub already, but you just don't do the message every month. So give two subs and resub and say that you're neutral. happy that... You I fucking clown. I actually am happy. Imagine giving somebody money and then telling them that you don't, that you basically don't like them. 
Like, what kind of fucking shitty ass community do you speak? I'm fucking ranting about this. What kind of fucking shitty ass bullshit garbage communities do you got? People give them money and say, well, I don't like you and I don't like the people that dislike you either. But here's some money. Like, really, my dude? Really, my dude? It's just people being dishonest with each other. Work with those guys. I would do a podcast with them, 100. percent Just it's not weird, happening. shitty, fucking trash community. Yeah, I'm hating. I find annoyed him, Adam annoying and biased. I did not find him annoying and biased at all. Ooh. It's like when DSP buy an EA game. You don't like EA, obviously. Who likes EA, right? You guys know I don't watch any of that shit. I, you guys tell me about it. I don't know anything about it. Oh, you're going to watch it. Keem, again, he's such a giant. Keem star again. He said he didn't want to talk about Keem star three Keem stars ago. Keem star again. This whole fucking decompressed shit is going to be him basically complaining about Keem star. How the trolls feel about the interview. Yeah, I got my boots on me. I forgot what the third one was. This is City Automatic. Like, like, my God. By the way, now I'll say, oh, he's talking about me. His yeah, Keen, he essentially invaded my novel. episode of Side Scrollers, <laughs> my interview. Now I'm going to talk about That would make it you. interesting. All right? People this read is novels. a giant inflated egotistic head. That he's I don't like, even read his shit anymore. My content. I never watched your content, dude. You know what? I don't watch your content. I, even the I do want to know if, like, Jade or Derek or You can't watch that shit. I need Sorry them to I talk about this interview. Some people just but don't did, show you know, up when I wish they would show up. Like I want, I want them to say something about stuff, stuff and they don't fucking come around They're during it. Piss me yeah, off. No, I, did not. I bet you I Derek won't show up today. He won't show up coffee. during the stream. If you didn't notice, I was constantly drinking. And by the way, he there was a mute in button. Yo. Okay. In that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the screen. Oh. Okay. Remember, I kind of wild out a little bit when I realized that he was, Jesus Christ, that he learned how to mute. Because like I say, he did the throat clear animation. He leaned forward and did like a, and he was muted. But it's the program. So he's really going to pretend like whatever random program he was using, he's going to also pretend like he don't know what he was using, right? He's going to act like it's easier than the thing he look at all day, OBS. You know how easy it is to mute yourself on OBS? I'm going to show you right It was that easy. And then if you got a stream deck and also have Windows 10. It's like, you know, just don't do it and then forget that you did it. DSP would definitely forget he muted himself. Well, he wouldn't because he would only mute himself to cough. And then right after he unmuted himself, right? I have noticed I went eh, a few times. <laughs> I clicked the mute button and then come back. But he did there it too. He did the animation. He pointed okay. it out. In that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the screen. You might have noticed I went eh, a few times. In that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the screen. You might have noticed I went eh, a few times. I in that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the screen. You might have noticed I went eh, a few times. <laughs> I clicked the mute button and then come back because it was right there. Oh wait. Eh. So coffee was in that the whole time. Boogie on my show. Yes, I would. Big ups. Wanted to come Big ups. I would he did it. split up his coffee Your drinking. When he switched to the weird container, the weird container had coffee in it. Everything's coming thing. together. I don't think so. I don't know why you guys feel that way. You guys are being way more horse to, the, to them than, that, than I think. Horse? You have to understand something. They are 100% outsiders to me. They don't know me. Craig knows me in a casual way for many, many years. The other guys didn't know me at all. Right? So... This is a bit of bollocks, bruv, considering the fact that Craig has actually known him and known of him for more than a decade. The other dude probably knew of him a little tiny bit of saw him in passing, maybe, right? Everybody see DSP in passing. But people have watched DSP for more, and he said that they knew him less and knew him more. Like, man, this is bullshit. No, I gotta listen to you. This song is distracting me, too. They are 100% outsiders to me yeah, that's not they true. don't know me craig knows me in a casual way for many many years so it's okay to grill dsp and ask for extra information and do whatever they did during the interview if you don't know who he is now you can ask more questions if you don't know who dsp is right the other guys didn't know me at all right <sighs> so 
They didn't grill me, man. They just don't know who I am. They just had questions. It's my opportunity to what? the negative stuff, right? So I, I could easily see DSP saying, way, man, you don't know who I am. You don't watch me. Why are you asking questions? Big Papa Phil says there's snakes everywhere is, in business man. and Thank jobs you, Big Papa you don't Phil. work with them when you must to benefit yourself and your family. Again, though, here's Brats, what you have to understand. Flaunt your fashion is not on sale. Right? Number $20. One, you saw how Keemstar acts. Good. He would literally try Keemstar to... Keemstar you know, again. This podcast is the most important Keemstar part of your life. So you again. bend over backwards for me for the rest of your life. What is the fifth like, Keemstar like, segment? Gotcha on this podcast. Whole stream about like Keemstar. We decompress him by talking about Keemstar and getting mad. And number two, just... Again, if you're on a lol cow cast, you're literally about not a show decompressing. That already, the, title the definition of not decompressing is right there. So. Right there. You're calling me a lol cow. Lol Why cow. am I going to do that? Craig called right? him a lol cow. Having to be a serious Craig show. Craig agreed but, that you know, he's a lol cow. Well, it's a clip of him saying it. Fun of us all day, every day. It's ridiculous. That never happened, dude. I received a twenty dollars. He's tip. super offended about fucking anybody else saying it though. From opposite George, I only caught the last twenty five. If minutes, Cat so called him a lol cow, he'll ignore it. Now, do you think you were fairly interviewed? I thought interviewers were pushing a little bit with the Yucko the Clown. Is that who that was? Was that Yucko the Clown? I, is that from the Howard Stern show? Is that who It's a Gundam is? No way. Is that him? Is it literally is that, that dude? Somebody would have said that by now. I'm pretty sure a dude in passing would have said, y'all know it's a Gundam. It's is the it dude really from him? Howard Stern. I want, I want answers because he sounds like Yucko the Clown. You hit it on the head. Bro. Maybe he just tries to sound. Is it really the guy? It's not, right? I don't know. I'm being, I'm being gaslit. No. No one's answering. No. No one's answering if, he, if it actually is uh, Yoko the Clown. This right here sucks. Adam seemed triggered. It's not Yoko the Clown. It's just he just sounds like him. <laughs> it's not. Confirmed, what a, what a maybe. To have. Holy moly. Yeah, Keemstar could have been more mean. Oh, uh, Tartarian Truth? We have the membership I for 10 months. I think Keemstar wasn't that mean because uh, he didn't right, have a reason uh, to. Time. Guys, I'm mean. sorry. I, I would like to talk with you. I'm just going to throw on a hat. Okay. Yoko does adult cartoons. He does not run a YouTube channel. Okay. Well, this is so dumb. Obviously, DSP made a joke, and then people tricked him into thinking a joke was real. 100%. He also might be exaggerating his voice. He might be like a dingus. You never know. Oh, man. Yo, I love this song. We have the Los Santos hat. Do I feel I did well countering some of the claims? Here's the thing. It wasn't about countering them. It was about answering them in one place. I've already countered all of those claims. Yeah, that's I why we need part two. Done that. Did you have it's any factual new that I have questions in that you, for, you found out a few new that DSP was never asked one. before. And that's about it. Things that I've never factual. before that are issues, ongoing issues with us. Right. That's why I didn't want to uh, point out back. what they were. I don't want to tell you. About and I don't want to tell you what they are. They're secret questions to do with our country. Because I don't want them to get asked. It's really no one's business. Um, yeah, he didn't answer anything either. I, he I actually didn't answer anything. Dude. They directly asked him so many questions, and he he answered. He did answer some, like the champions question. He answered the champions question, and uh, partially, kinda, mostly. And he answered the new mobile game question: How much he spent on it? Fifteen dollars, a couple bucks, fifteen dollars, you know. But it took so long for him to answer some things. Like, in the way, if you ask DSP a question, you almost have to just follow up with the same question and force them to, to give less words. Or you have to give them a quote unquote loaded question because a loaded question force them to give you a short answer. Like, do you think it's true that this happened based on that happening and you did that after that, but then this happened. So do you think it was okay based on the facts that this happened and that happened? And he'll be like, oh, that's a fucking loaded question. But if you ask him if something's just wrong or right or okay or not okay, then he's going to go in circles for 30 minutes and say, well, basically, uh, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to rub his nose and say that he agree with people on both sides and that everybody's an idiot. I agree with people on both sides and they're all idiots. He's going to treat it like Hogwarts. Yo, now and uh, he didn't show the champions log in. Yes, he did. Go watch the show. Do you we got to wait on that. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Right? But the well, thing is, if the part two happened... What are we going to do? We're going to do part two of the interview and then say, oh, I can't show my champions still. 
And on top of that, we got another thing. Fucking Keemstar sees in the water and basically said it's too late. Because when his stream went down, he could have went away and made a new account or something like that. So I don't think he's ever going to show his account. If you don't believe him, that's fine. Hate him, don't watch his content. Or do. Whatever you want to do. He should have did it during the stream. Now, right? At least now there's a definitive answer to all of that stuff. Correct? He could have took a screenshot yeah, of his phone and sent it to him or something. I don't know, man. Uh, Drunken Weasel with knows. a super chat with the recent podcast. But he just got to be a bitch about it. With a part two. That's what it is. And being a bitch about it. If you take his band. Well, Grove Street. Uh, Drunken Weasel did a super chat with the recent podcast. Is there going to be a part two? Well, with a part two, we consider talking about Review Take USA. No, absolutely not. American so Mom, this is the wild part, Jeff right? DSP talked to Keem Star today. He talked to Keem Star today for a pretty long time. I know I thought he was going to say, no, I'm not okay with Keem Star showing up and talking to me. When it was like, are you okay with him? I thought he was just going to say no. I thought he was going to say no and let people call him a bitch or call him a pussy or whatever. I did not think he was going to talk to him. But he did. And I'm pretty sure if somebody asked, and somebody probably did, he said at one point, I don't want to talk to Keemstar. Bro, Keemstar offered him $50,000 and he didn't want to talk to him. He talked to him for free today. He talked to him for free today and he's not going to make any money off it. The 50K offer is gone. It's never coming back, I think. Yeah, Keemstar showed up. Keemstar was there in real life. Him and DSP talked. It was great. Well, I don't know if it was great. It was great. Anyway, my point is, how can he with a straight face say he's not willing to talk to Review Tech USA? A dude that gave him money, human money. A dude that sent his viewers to him. Like, unironically, at least once. It was that one Castlevania stream. Review Tech, Review Tech was feeling the sunshine. So how are you going to say you're not willing to talk to him? Is he worse than Keemstar? DSP just saying shit. He's just saying shit. He's not willing to talk to review uh, Tech. Came on to argue with me about Are you willing to talk to Tevin? To be on a podcast, which never uh, no. Because he never talked to me. We're going to be talking next said, week. Oh, this was the offer. There was no offer. You never offered it to me. You never contacted me. You couldn't even listen to simple instructions. <laughs> Dragon, uh, Dragon Davey Ray did a super chat. Great job. Kept your cool mad respect. Thank you, Dragon Davey Ray. Appreciate that. If you guys want to ask me a question, Wait, anybody doctor, say his please ego? Please tag me in the chat. You don't have made to him able, talk to Keemstar to and not say no. I'm not letting him on. Tip. You guys are being awesome and don't have to be. But thank you so much. You I don't really know how to look at it. So thank you so much. Besides for being surprised that happened. Um, twenty dollar tip from One Minute Man. Good job. He do. Uh, this is just me saying some shit at the same time. But somebody might believe me. He do want to prove the trolls wrong and make them wrong way more than he want to do most other things in his whole life. So him not rage quitting and him coming back after this and coming back after that, his internet probably just randomly went out and he's DSP and he's mad paranoid. So he assumed people was DDoSing him. Like, why would they do that? Why don't they do it when he's streaming every other fucking day? I don't know, man. But, you know, he can't, he can't rage quit. We're going to have part two because if you don't do part two, what? People are going to call him a pussy or something. They're going to say he's a coward, obviously. And, uh, it's like 90 questions that they still have to answer. I'm keeping your cool during a five hour interrogation. One minute man in a rare move has spoken. He never speaks. $20 tip from one minute man. Good job keeping your cool during a five hour interrogation. One minute man in a rare move I thought one minute spoken. man didn't watch the show. He never speaks. I think the last time he spoke was Christmas. He said, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, one minute man. I appreciate your always staunch support of me and my content. It's yeah, very I'm nice posting this on our account channel. Say something on the stream. I this appreciate that. Awesome stream. I don't know about the decompression segment, though. I mean, are there any questions I wish Craig and Adam asked? Uh, there's so many questions. There's so many questions to be asked, right? I don't know. I don't hey, know DSP, why aren't you getting DDoS attack now? It's almost like you just said some shit. Why you be saying shit, bro? Like real talk. George, no, I mean, I, are Keemstar and I cordial? I have absolutely no Keemstar and I have no desire to really talk to him. He can't even is answer anything. Do you really yes think or no, bro? Me? Here's you talked to question. him. All right. You didn't he's yell at him. Oh, no. You literally cordial with him. The offers off the table. Like he, he just told us he wouldn't talk to he Review said, Tech, oh, no, no, but he's willing to talk to Keemstar. He said both, right? So when you say both like that, you don't know. 
It's like... <laughs> thoughts? What do you mean? What does, what does mean? thoughts mean? Talking out of both sides of his mouth. Again, I don't I want like to him acting people. blind. I really don't. Um, He's so blind. What do thoughts mean? Likes. I don't know what that means. For a full screen, celebratory, bubble, blow. Very nice. Here we go. ASMR. Excuse me. Yep. He sat around with those dudes for five hours and ain't burnt and clear his throat. Muted him, yeah. muted his mic to clear his throat when he did Thank it once, by the way. On this stream, we got he boosts up a stream within an hour. Like we get a burp. All right, so I'll be here till 4 Very p.m. Nice. Just like always. Um, and then I'm eating my dinner with my wife, and then I'll come back tonight with another stream. And it's up to you what you guys want to do. Do you want to do a Like a Dragon Asian stream tonight? Do you want to do another just chill stream tonight? I'm down for whatever you guys want tonight. Okay. By the way, we have over 700 people on the stream right now. I'm so dumb I didn't say this. Welcome Big. to anyone who's a newcomer. You, we, I very well may have some spillover. <laughs> I hope he asked right for something. From that show. He got too if much money to ask for anything. Side Scrollers podcast. Maybe you're even a patron. Consider the gift of the membership. Welcome. Sorry, I didn't say anything. I'm being stupid because I'm kind of shell shocked after the show. Shell shocked. Um, he said it again. 24 hour sub only mode chat. There's you need to be stopped. For it. It's because if somebody needs to yell at you uh, there, that you care that, about, maybe you'll listen. Your entire chat right now would be trolls. You can cry again on stream. So I have to be careful about that. Shell shocked. And I have to basically shut it shut down. I kept my composure, but I'm also shell shocked. You are. If you like this, is what happens when you don't know what like the fuck you say when you say stuff. You say you kept your composure, and that's just shell shocked. If you don't like the content what? in the next 24 hours, unsub. <laughs> you don't have to stay sub, but you do have to sub. Actual if you chat. PTSD moment. Wait. Tomorrow, oh my you like God, G Herbo. Gameplay and everything will be usual. Normal You're the stuff. humble beast. Okay. DSP really um, is the humble so, beast. Purple Pickle to the Super Chat. $10 one. Thank you. I got to give credit where it's due. You showed of these. Ah. Like Lana Rhodes. All right, Ooh. this is some kind of a sexual joke. That I don't even know what it means. It was a great watch. Oh, I'd love to see more. Might be a porn star. Wait, it might be a wrestler, is, wrestler name. They porn wrestler star and wrestler names are mad similar. Yeah. Oh my god. Yikes. <clears throat> Holy crap. All right. Mr. Oink says, ultimately, oh, it's your choice. Name. I don't like the oh, way my. they conducted themselves. Can we run a poll for which game? But, but you know tonight, what I mean. The name. No, come on. Like if you see Cody Rhodes' name, do another chill stream, whatever you, guys want. you might just, like, think out. he's stroking. So but Lana yeah, Rhodes could be a wrestler, too. Lana is a wrestler. There was no a Rhodes is a wrestler. He never actually went through the process of contacting me and offering it to me. He tweeted on his own Mandy account. Rose we is a wrestler, DMs and she, you know, she's stroking, too. She helped you stroke? When he was supposed to. But this is somehow my fault. I was supposed to drop everything in my life for this guy. She do both. A controlling egomaniac, which I said on the show. You know, so uh, this is not anything I didn't already say. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, I think about some of the input I got today. I, I could definitely you see know, Cody Rhodes in a dark oh, but you said you alternate changed. universe I mean, I I randomly popping up on the hub. Input. We're doing stuff we've never done before. I'm trying to change for the better. I'm trying not to bring up drama. That was the whole purpose of going on the show was that's where I was going to address it, right? Get it out of the way, right? Correct. So, you know, hopefully this will kind of be the end of it. I don't know. It's not. What about part two? I received a $20 tip. Part two, part two, part two. I can't wait for part You're two. You're fucking degenerate. From was good here. Okay, let's see. see here it take this long to check a tip or what all right so here we go they said i don't have to read this but i can if i want so i'll read it 20 dollars tip came in listen to this and let me play the animation when i read it okay it really took that long it took that long to pre-read it and then say okay listen to this you don't have to read this on stream if it's too uh. much it's not you were incredibly too polite that's it's fair when you're being a guest but that was not an impartial interview it was an interrogation you say you can tell why he's reading it. So we're going to go back immediately. I want to point something out. First of all, it took him this long to You're read it degenerate. before he read it. First of all. So that's already a problem. And then the dude even say, you don't have to read this if it's too much. Of course, DSP wants to read it. It don't matter how much it is because it start off praising him. You don't have to read this on stream if it's too much. It's not. You were incredibly too polite. Boom. It's, it's fair when you're being a guest, but that was not 
an impartial interview. It was an interrogation. Oh, he loves this. That he wants outsiders. to read that. Outsiders in a situation like this should not have been preconceived notions about you or your content. Craig's a nice guy, but he believed anyone should be able to spend money on whatever they want once received. They proceeded to grill you about your WWE account, pressing for screenshots like it would solve something. I because don't that's worse. what everybody wanted to know. He does not believe you when you got disconnected. Don't even get me started on You Keenstone. think a journalist only asks questions for themselves or for other people? Yourself, stand on principle, you fucking not buffoon. Others appreciate you feeling good luck. The dude uh, don't use common sense. They live with Slayer. Okay, do you have something to say? <laughs> right? Interesting. What? I don't know. I don't, what? I, again, even if they don't believe oh my me, I God. it was fair. Bros. I can't make you believe. You know what I'm saying? Like GSP. I can't. <laughs> okay. Make I don't care. You believe me. Is this your response? How could I do that? It's weird because they say the pignosis. The what? Am I some kind of a magician? Am I oh, a he gonna do this again. evil warlock? Here I come through the power the of the same internet. joke oh, that on. he made before. Excuse me. Through the power of the internet, I'm using my magical powers now to control your mind and tell you to believe me. Everything I say is true and everything else is false that people say. I can't do that. Bro, he accused Neil Druckmann of having a cult, don't he? Doesn't he accuse Neil Druckmann of having a cult? If Neil Druckmann can have a cult because people like his fucking corny video game, then he can, then DSP can do pignosis on people. If he talked to us for an hour asking for money while not asking for money, he can have a cult and he can be pignosis, man. You know, who do these people think I am? They think I'm but some him, kind of a crazy. Pignosis has to be so know, fucking literal, person. right? Like you know, actual literal it's, it's magic. Nuts. Um, but Neil Druckmann having a cult? Well, he doesn't have a literal it's cult. Just nuts. I don't know. Right? I don't I mean he has a literal I cult. I didn't. I didn't want. If they, if they <laughs> so annoying. Up, Ear dick. Ear dick. This, this is what happened. This is what happened, by the way. Want, you saw him look down. This is what happened when we stream and when we when we on other people stream, we're wearing headphones. We're not digging in our ears. We're not drinking seltzer water. We're not burping. We're not clearing our throat. We go live on our own account. We're digging in our ears immediately and looking at it, uh, burping. Let me put it this way. into the mic. The two best outcomes. <laughs> Wiped it on his hands. Wiped it on his fucking those guys chair. Either believe me or they just don't care. Correct? Uh, it's one or the other. The pignosis. So it's one or the other. And they don't have to like you. Uh, uh, I'm you doing know, pignosis. Really close personal friends. I'm sure, you know. <laughs> Would I like to show up on their podcast again? Yes, I will. I will do it again. But at the same time, you know. Darzyak says, I felt Craig and Adam didn't really get that the negative stuff is minor from your overall amount of content that you make. Exactly. Here's the thing. They say, well, there's this mountain of evidence. Yes, but I'm a 15 year long, one of the most prolific content creators out there. It's funny because it's like... Bro, that's well, such look, a whack fucking point, man. From July of last Holy year. shit. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's, it's a joke that's bad. How do you feel about Bill Cosby, by the way? the joke was, was racist because I didn't intend to... Yeah, really weird when Bill Cosby showed up. But Bill yeah, Cosby put out so much sure. content. Um, So much... Such a plethora that, you know, of content wow, found from Mr. Cosby. Years to say right? Cosby. Correct? Now we'll, now we'll do a clip from three more years before. <laughs> now the clip from 2010, you know? Oh, man. I've made 100,000 videos. 100,000. We all hate Bill Cosby. The and we hate DSP too. In the bucket, but they don't want to believe that. The detractors, they just want to focus on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, I could if you... You're a fucking degenerate. You try it more. Just saying, the whole show was supposed to be about the negative. That was the premise. He says, it was 3v1, only talking about negative. It, it, it wasn't a... Let's praise Dark Side Phil show. It was supposed to be ah, Phil yes. addresses. Praise the Phil. You know, that was the point of me going on there. Originally Praise it wasn't, it was supposed field. to be a normal guest, then it turned into Phil is now interrogated. Interrogated. No. <laughs> yeah, there's over 60,000 videos on this channel. Yeah, he's decompressing. Out there, I he only really complained about Keemstar so far. Off by a few. He legit only I'm complained sure about Keemstar. Right? You're a fucking degenerate. But he got $156. Naysayer says when you stream six times a week all year... One or six times, six days a week. He's complaining about Keemstar and reading people messages videos, that yeah, call out have, how he was ambushed I have lots and of how the interview went. Right? But like, I'm basically, he's only reading out. shit that make him look good. Long story short, you think of course he is. Why would he read a negative message? Truth, it went by like this. You're a fucking. I had no concept of what time it was. Zero. No. Yeah, he didn't go to the bathroom. Know. I just kept going and. I All the no things that happen during normal streams didn't happen during this. What? Because it's fake as fuck when it happened during a normal stream. You just don't like being around. 
Some people are saying it was unfair. If you feel it was unfair, you <laughs> so have he's to, doing right it still. to feel that way. Yeah. How many I messages are you going to read that say it was unfair? You know. What uh, does Derek think about this? Let's do... Let's grab... I need a light let's vest. Let's grab a it's vest. A light thing. vest. For good reason. Let me grab a lighter vest. We don't even do a vote. I know what one you guys like. I know what vest you guys like. The stupid one. Oh, God. He's about being weird. You're going to get timed out. Oh. Remember what happened last time you acted weird? This is an actual threat now, we'll by the way. I can watch it. Oh, it's five hours long. I don't know about that. It's a five hour long show, man. I don't know if I'm going to go back and watch it, quite frankly. You should watch the part when he uh, <laughs> cried, when he talked about it. <laughs> Let's see here. More tips coming in. Wow, thank you, guys. Only use oh, me much. Chip. This is not oh, really them. Three dollars. I had three thousand views in interview. Wow. Crazy conspiracy. I heard is that you ran a cult. This shit gonna get like two hundred thousand views like by the General and Derek was a high priest or something like that. What? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you for that. And uh, let's see here. I don't know what that was about. Do I think uh, it's a dollar tip? Do you think I defended myself well? Seems like they called you out numerous times. Literally, they said, "Well, you know, you're saying one thing, but you're not Correct. providing evidence." To which I responded, "You're right." I, you know, there's some things that are going to be put You're myself right. and my family at too much personal risk. There have absolutely positively been times when I thought there's no risk. Could you here, imagine you just do Subaru this man calling for part two and have an argument? Hurt me badly. Okay. Being honest. It's happened before. It's documented. This has happened. You're going to have DJ um, Academics watching so, DSP streams in no time. You know what time. I'm saying? Like, why? I'm putting myself in harm's way by putting anything out there of a bank statement or showing my mobile phone or anything like that. I am. Okay. Anything out there. No. I'm putting myself in oh, it's good. way. I know. Oh, God. A suspicious link. I'm scared to even think about clicking it. I gotta look at that on other computer. Or showing my mobile by putting anything out there of a bank statement or showing my mobile phone or anything hey, like no that. So, so no jumper fight clip. Right? And there's the risk there. It's too great. For my family and myself, why would I do that, right? <clears throat> You're just lead taller than everybody. What's going on here? Multiple times I felt you answered well the first time, vice versa. Some answers you gave more skirted your questions. There you go. I did my best. I really did my best. Five hours, man. Going in this show. You always said we make mistakes, and that's us being human, but I agree. I made more mistakes than a lot of people. PS3 Troop says you don't owe them anything. I mean, I don't owe them anything. Absolutely not, I don't owe them anything. Who was them? I saw an opportunity. I told you guys I wanted to be interviewed. The people that hate on him that used well, to I watch him. Interview, but then he sure. owes stuff to the people that currently watch him and not the people that used to watch him. Down, but, uh, I agree. Butter says you don't want to put yourself in danger for nothing. Exactly right, because here's the thing. Man, right, these messages from his chat the, suck today. The, Phil, you got ambushed. Being Phil, honest. you were too nice. Well, here we're chilling. Correct? Okay, we're man, right. we, we get it. Here today, Everybody else said it. Newcomer, this is the automatic. We're all here. We're chilling. One we're all chilling, man. So, after so this redemption attempt from the podcast with what and happened, declining has it affected offer, anything? What is Phil really on? Right. Still will it be positive or negative? I don't know what the net result will be, but ultimately, here's the Hopefully thing. Hopefully, done talking about My detractors will never be satisfied. Oh, anyway, he's talking about the detractors now again and how they feel. They will never be satisfied. But what about the people you know, that and from my pretend to like him? For personal gain. That's why they keep doing it. They love making fun of me so they can keep rolling. He's like, dude, the people that make fun of me, so they don't like they me. Never stop. There's what? situations like no that way. escort saga story. Is One DSP ever gonna like Neil Druckmann? False, they were just on to the next nah. thing. So why? Do it don't matter what he do. Why do I care? But then, because I don't say anything, I don't disprove it. Oh, it just continues forever. It must be true. It's right, not true. But why? And you know what Keemstar said resonates. Him doing that interview is supposed right. to prevent future segments I, like I don't this. Know when if he I just got talk DDoS, about how trolls my feel and shit. got knocked off the internet and came back within about, what, a few minutes? It got knocked off the happened. internet. And then when I come back. What does that mean? You know, basically Keemstar says, well, it doesn't even matter anymore. You had your opportunity. You didn't send the pick to Craig right away. Okay. Because of that see. now, it doesn't matter if you sent him one, now it's over. You can't anymore. I knew he was going to complain right. about this. Then again, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter anyway. Because no one would have believed him either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no one would have believed him either. You Even sure? Even if I send him the screenshot right now, they won't believe him. 
they'll say he's making it up or he's dumb he doesn't understand the game he doesn't literally one right. person could say it and he'll so, say look people said it so with that logic you yeah, know yeah. you might as well not give a fuck about anything ever in life one person could say anything you could make an account on twitter and say something and then one well, person you know said it thinking of doing but I, i'm thinking of doing it anymore here's what i was thinking of doing oh boy i was gonna take screenshots we're not gonna do it now not only now we're not gonna do it wwe champion now we're not gonna do it but also other games that i've played i was gonna do a thing and i'm not gonna do it ever now all the games so that way, at least if he saw that, it's a really believable like, segment. He's got an account here, here. I was going to stream uh, 50 hours and beat is, Elden Ring, but I didn't do it. You're right. Sorry, you're I'm not going right. to do it now at all. Um, I, I could have done it. Now, I'm not going to do it now. No one will believe it anyway. Yeah, you wouldn't like it if I did it anyway. You guys don't even yeah. like Elden Ring. I was going to do it though, but you know, whatever. What you know what they say? Damned if you do, damned if you didn't. What he was saying was stupid. Someone could say you photoshopped. Exactly right. I mean, yes. That's exactly what I was gonna do it. You but you know what? If I did, nobody would believe me anyway. So who cares? I'm not gonna do it. Purple Pickle did a super chase. If you reacted to your interview live, I recommend you and him have a chat. Uh, that would be a fun one. We all would support that. I have no problems talking with Wings. Would you like to know the truth? I, I've asked Wings over the last several months if he would like to have an interview with me. I have. He has never responded, so I don't think he's interested. But you're disgusting, DSP. Yeah, actually, he's actually disgusting. Interested. I would like to have him on the show. Talk about how uh, overweight he is and how unhealthy he is now. in a really I weird way. I already told you guys it and is my take advantage of to for money. have a, a, you know, like some it. interviews and stuff going on here. Why do you want, you want to interview low cows, DSP? Definitely be someone I would like to sit down and talk with. What are the low cows you want to interview? And I would like to talk with him before. Um, out the phone, Saren. No. Oh. I would love to talk with him before he has that boxing match with Boogie. Oh. I really would. For extra views. <laughs> heck, heck, heck. Some people are actually sending me some nice supportive messages via email, and I appreciate people who are doing that. I'll read okay. Those Sorry, I can't read those now. He'll read them later. So we check them uh, for... Says, no, see, we hear Babadook. Here you go. He says, Adam uh, thought of the possibility as well. Come up with a solution. You could do a FaceTime with Craig. Again, there's no point. There's no point because it, people won't believe Craig either now. That's <laughs> they won't. They just won't believe it. It's, you know... He's really struggling to find another message, isn't he? He just got to find one that's oh, going to say the same thing, the same thing he's been reading this whole time. He got to find another message that says that he was too right, nice. I think I caught up. Sorry, I'm now I'm zoning, zoning out here. Oh, right. yeah? He's zoning out when people stop saying shit that he want to read. Many hours early than I normally would be. All I had to he seemed pretty in tune a little while ago when everybody was being nice. And a bunch of water. Take a sip. That's what I'm fueled on. He's right. composed. He's composed, but he's so shell shocked and he's zoned out. Stars a children's entertainer. I prefer game streams. I agree with you. I agree with you. I prefer games. That's why we're not playing games right now. Does Jasper like cat treats? <laughs> yes, he does. Willow. You know, theoretically, Wings and Boogie could go easy on each other for a payday. I mean, yeah, but and uh, he pretend like is, he won't play such, games it's tonight. Such nonsense. He's totally gonna play games tonight. That whole dude. event is—it's not even about them. Boxing. Imagine it's not playing beers. games tonight. Making them look like jackasses for money. It's—it's it's disgusting in my opinion. Don't like that. You know, I don't. You want to speak up, DSP? You're the only one in the room. Well, what if one of them has a heart attack during the fight? You know, like I—I I, I can't be for that, man. Baby, your love is my medicine. Was it the, is it hard to sit there and talk openly about everything? Uh, let me put it this way. Okay. Attention. Essentially, Attention. I have it was a yes. Turbo Ox Two. Was oh my God! I forgot to pick the giveaway winner. Yes. No. Oh. I had to maintain train of Back thought and rationality. Keemstar has a winning. way when he talks. For he goes on and on and on, so that you don't have a chance to react to anything he's saying. That dude's He'll a say troll. Point, then say two more points. Oh, okay, you're responsible. Wait, you just said three points. It's it's a way of talking, very manipulative way of talking, to try to confuse. I got other games. You. Okay. Other games I felt like to give Adam away. And Craig were being very straightforward with their questions. While you know, his team starts a completely different kind of guy, right? Um, but you know, was it tough? Was it hard? No, I, at this point, literally nothing phases me. I mean, that wow, 100%. I'm shell shocked by the way. Positively, this dude don't know what anything means me. and what he's at saying all. at all. Nothing, nothing phases me, but I'm shell shocked. Everything. So that was like, bruh. If I was in your position, Phil, it would take years off my life. No, 
it didn't take years off my life. I'm cool. A nice random thing well, to make up. Let's see here. I got another ten dollar tip. Man, man, he Everyone is, is torturing me today. Tippers, an anonymous tipper saying torturing me. Keem is a hypocrite pretending that it's ethically okay see. to look things in a boogie box against Bear each other. Two men who could easily we'll suffer a heart attack doing it. Vec. That's indicative of his character. Four, I think one, two. A great job. Thank you. Yeah, four, one, two. I think you've seen my point. I'll send it off the stream. Brought it up. Oh, but they're all adults. Yeah, it doesn't mean nothing. They're desperate adults who need help. They're gonna do anything they need to get help and hope for the best. I don't know what I can pick next. Shit, both of them have joked about suicide and stuff. It's like, dude, do you not understand how this is wrong? I, I... Okay. I even brought it up. They need to get help and hope for the best. Shit, both of them have joked about suicide and stuff. It's like, dude, do you not understand how this is wrong? I, I... Oh, I know what he mean. Okay. That wasn't necessarily joking. Was it, a, was it a joke when DSP said that he felt like he would do something well, drastic? Well, someone gave me a $5 tip saying they're from an attractive when he was channel depressed. Involved, but they still think I need to deal with alcohol and mobile game addiction. I don't know. You don't have to, again, you don't, don't have to. I don't feel like asking. It. I mean it, you don't. I'm not going to convince everyone. In fact, I might not convince anyone. Thanks for the $5 tip. That's nice of you. <laughs> At least you said I had balls. That's something nice, I guess. I mean, yes, I am male. I have testicles. Bro. No, I did not have a toaster strudel. I had a regular strudel. From the Why are you so fucking hey, whack, man? Strudel, like, actually. You need to take an L, good podcast. I don't know what that means. You do. So we had a whole, like, month-long segment okay. when you're talking about the duty yeah. guy. What? Appreciate that. Uh, so positive, man. So positive. Ooh. You're a fucking degenerate. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Jay. Nice lean in, Bert. What were the Good burps during an interview? I hope you're feeling better. Buller Spirits has came already right. said Boogie and Wings game. lost weight for another the game. He says it's I'm giving away for them, but hype of this fight convinced them. Gal Guardians no. Demon uh, they've Purge. Already done that. They already both did that. Remember? A Metroidvania. Documentaries or whatever. We saw one of, of uh, Wings. He had with the Gal Gun characters. That was all documented. He lost weight. He came right back. He didn't have the discipline to keep it off, correct? It doesn't mean anything. Correct. The risk is still there. Just because you lost weight doesn't mean your heart has magically fixed itself. From all the years that you put it through, all the stuff. DSP a doctor now? Are they going to a heart doctor? Are they getting cardiograms? <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope so. Again, it's not my business. Keem is bringing me into his business. I don't care about that. Why do you think he was on the show? Why didn't he say this during the stream? His stuff. That's why he was on. He had way less to say. Chilling, man. It's a chill life. It's interesting. Two dollar tip came in. He was shell shocked, maybe, or maybe he's shell shocked now. The podcast is entertaining. Uh, they made more than twenty thousand dollars of contributions. Will you be seeing any of that? For real? No, and I didn't know that. And no, <laughs> I. It's not about making money. That's not real, right? At all. Welcome to it was there. I was. I get paid zero. Zero. I was trying to make them get, get weird. Zero. I will be receiving. It's not about me making money. It's not what I went on the show for. I was not paid. I will not be paid. Um, Danny did a super chat. You did fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Danny. Danny. But that's going to be the next Ninja giveaway. Legend got gifted Whenever I start it. Ed, but, Appreciate uh, it. Thanks for the massive positivity. Well, did a super chat with enough talk shows, we can revive the vest goal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so if I keep going on talk shows, I'll keep hitting my vest goals. I'm sure that's what it was about too, right? I wanted to revive the vest goal. There you go. Every every stream now, I must You're hit the vest degenerate. goal of $150. That was the intention of going there for five hours. Correct. So what was the intention then? <laughs> because apparently nothing right. mattered and nobody cares, according to you. August but says, we I'm did not sure whatever the fuck we did today. He seemed to handle himself in good faith. I mean, he handled himself in good faith, but he also shilled. He did. You should have told Absolutely. him that. Did he have to bring up that fight between the two? He should have no. told him he was a he shill when he was up. talking oh, to him. First time I'm announcing this, it was promotion. It was free promotion for him. And Craig and Adam fell for it. They did. You felt he, they fell for the trap. One million percent. That's how Keemstar operates. Why didn't I stay for the after podcast? I did. The after podcast was 15 minutes for their patrons, so I stayed. And I actually had some more conversation with them that was not interrogation stuff. It was more fun. So. Yeah, so fucking fun. You have to pay for four ninety nine dollars you watch. From one YouTube vid, I'm judging from his entire history and watching some of his, his drama alert stuff myself. That's what I'm judging off of. Did Kat watch it? I, she told me she watched some of it, not all of it. She, she watched, watched it in? And she was 
Disgusted by Keemstar. What she thought about the end. <laughs> I'm going to make her watch the end. Wow. Jade, there will they not can't be watch this, this part. No. DSP says something really important at the end. As you know, the stream ends at 4 p.m. There is no time for game. Tonight, I'd be down for Like a Dragon Ishin if you guys want that on the late stream. I'm also down for just interacting. I'm According to Jade, we want gameplay on this stream. Why don't we play games? Tomorrow, we don't have time. Sorry, Jade. We didn't also, want time. I didn't do a level one podcast today. This is a long week for me, yep. guys. I'm streaming seven days this week. Yes, level Thursday, Friday, podcast. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm here seven days this week. So we're going to make big pushes to try to finish Hogwarts Legacy, to try to get really far, maybe even finish Wolong. My goal is to try to get as much done before Resident Evil 4 comes out. Are you sure? Is that why you don't know if you're playing Spartanius games tonight? wants us, do you think Keem will be back for part two? I don't see why he would need to be. He said his piece, right? If he wants to contact me about being... We a have a giveaway. Open. Holler! If you hear me! Type exclamation this point game. enter Gallic followed by a number Demon to join the giveaway for the Steam. game I'm currently no. playing. Yeah, Steam. I got this game on console. Type exclamation point enter followed by a number to join the giveaway for Ghoul Guardians Demon Purge. You get a gun? Uh, another gun. A sword style weapon. You can jump around and play a game yeah you can play a game if you want to give away it looks pretty cool man anger crow didn't play it yet this dude gave it a thumb down and said not fun can't say i can recommend this game for a few reasons they don't like the ui the movement holy fuck i can't read that great retro castlevania style game Panties out of 10 would not complete again. We'll finish though. They play 18 hours. Less Symphony tonight, more Rondo of Blood. That is all. Somebody know what that means. I love uh, Rondo. It's my favorite player. Oh, um, and that's that. I don't see why he would have to be on a show interviewing me again. <laughs> P.S. Yeah, I know. P.S. says he's asking about the bank leak. You know, the actual for identity theft. We never got into it. Notice that. Oh, we literally David Bryan. Never went into the true identity it's not Barrett trauma. Instead, it was just the bank leaks, but not address what really happened. Maybe that'll be part two. Maybe part two, they'll ask this questions, and I'll be able to tell more my side of stuff rather than just directly answering questions. I don't know. We never got to a lot of stuff, quite frankly. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty scary. The amount of stuff we didn't get to. No, Green Goblin. I'm not asking them for any percentage of donations whatsoever i refuse absolutely not sure mommy i kind of want a pizza but how much do i really want a pizza is the question like Domino's didn't even scam me last time hooey they almost did part two coming soon yes and yes and no Yes and no. Two, it's going to be a ways out. Don't expect it in the next few weeks to month. Maybe maybe a month or two out. It's not Yikes. Be, you know, they want to do That's their own painful. show, man. They just had two weeks of drama around me. They didn't say anything. Anything that will make us assume that it's going to be this long from now. DSP obviously wants it to be that long from now. Obviously. So we rolled. Part man. two coming soon. Yes and, yes and no. For I don't understand, there will be a part two, but uh. it's going to be a ways out. Don't expect it. In the next few weeks to month, maybe oh. maybe a month or two out. It's not going to be, you know, they want to do their own show, man. They just had two weeks of drama around me. They're going to publicly, likely publicly announce. So why would they wait two months to make part two? Wouldn't it logically make more sense to get part two out of the way to not have people fucking with you for two months? Think about it. Come on now, dog. Come on now, man. Is the reason, that's the same reason why DSP play games and beat them and don't like stall for three months. Uh, that they're not doing it anytime soon. They want me back. I want to go back, but I'm not going back in, you know, in next week, next month. It's going to probably be like, you know, April, May, June-ish at the earliest. You got to give it, you know, give it some time. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let's see here. I received a $5 tip. 
I mean it. I'm impressed with your performance. One day you'll openly talk about mobile game addiction. Here we go again. I'm genuinely interested in keeping up with you now. I've thought negatively about you for a while. Today you stood your ground as a man that took balls. Hope nothing, I, nothing but the best for you. Hope you'll play Elden Ring DLC. I will be playing Elden Ring DLC. Thank you for another tip. Again, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I said this on the show. I mean, I used to have addiction to mobile games. I admitted it. I admitted that I used to have addiction, but it wasn't the games people say today. It's the other games that I used to play. You know? Why do they say you have delusions of grandeur when you brought up being the most prolific content creator when you literally are? Because Adam doesn't know that. He didn't do the research. He doesn't know that. He actually doesn't know that I put out that many videos. Just look. DSP Gaming has 60,000. Darkside Phil has like 10,000. My vlogging channel has like 20,000. Just between there, you're almost at the 100. And I have all these other channels too. <laughs> but they don't know that. I don't know what you mean, Felix the Maid. Are you official guest of Side Scrollers? I don't know what that then means. Then I assume we didn't I say anything show. important. Am I official? Besides I guess Grand I was Dory. officially on the show, no? I wasn't a standard guest. Me being on the show was a different and kind of And he's digging guest. and picking right. already. Jeff says, I think when you talk about these things, like your struggle with addiction or... Uh, let's see here. Your mental state around an inc cool incident humanizes you. Amazon packages. I'm just really. being honest. I got it. You can that table. Purple Pickle did a super chat. You're losing I'm hoping to actually make my internet faster. From painkiller already. You Imagine. You on your own personal camping trip. There you go. Thank you, Purple Pickle, for the super chat. Thank you, Purple Pickle Yum yeah. Yum. I remember the first time Purple Pickle Yum yes, Yum showed up. He told me they should change their name. To the source and watch your actual stream. That was so many super chats ago. Here we are. Hundreds of dollars. We're on my actual stream. Of wasted messages. Right. You see right? the content, correct? He <laughs> W posing. Come at me, man. Right. You see the content. Here we are. We're on my actual stream. Here we are. I'm outside right, right now, bro. The content. Los Santos hat on. He ready to step on shit. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even find a W pose emote. Is it even real? It don't even feel real now. Correct? Correct. Am I gonna get a try to uh, am I going to buy a beat the dragon t-shirt? They what? mentioned it. Was that the slogan they used? Oh, yeah, when your internet died. I don't remember if that's what they used or not. No, I'm not buying that shirt. Adam says he doesn't trust me when my internet's off. That's fine. He again, he doesn't have to trust me. They don't, you know. It's everyone has the subjective ability to make judgments for themselves. To to oh you know. Oh my god! And they, I wish can. this dude That's didn't fun. talk like this so often. Right. Simon did a super chat. Like responses to Keemstar. I'm glad you liked them, Simon. More often than not, he's telling us how he can't change people's mind, how it don't matter what you do, or how you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, or how you can't please people when you're pleasing them all the time and none of the time and some of the time. It's like half of his talking. It's him saying that he can't do something. But in a vague, fucking stupid, obnoxious way. I don't know. You know. Can't you know, time. I can't help you with that. <laughs> Why didn't you say this when you talked to him? You want to fucking pull his fucking drop his nuts <laughs> now? Truth says it blows my mind, almost as if the truth is underwhelming. Calling him a shill and stuff. Should have called him a shill in. Very, very underwhelming. He should have said, "Why are you shilling, Keemstar? You know? This isn't your show." Lanoli Correct. So Why didn't he do that? Right. That. Correct. I don't know what you mean by that, Lanoli. Trying to act like, man, he's so offended about it now. To belch every day. And now we want to belch. He want to belch for us, but not for them. I don't think Keem cared. I think Keem feels like he controls every situation in his life. And therefore, if Keem calls, I should just answer. He's still you know, talking about Keem Star. This is Keem Star, like I part seven, I think. In the, my live stream say, in the beginning of no, this I'm decompression right. session, Sorry. he told us he didn't so want to talk about Keem Star. You guys are my priority. When man, that was so long ago. Anything else around me, unless the house is burning, my wife needs my help, or, you know, the cops are outside. Your wife always you needs your help, are, man. Or what I'm doing, man. Not them. Not, not him, for sure not him. She needs somebody to help. 
I was finna say that bitch. Mango jewel pods, come on. Mango jewel you pods, be, be, you're gonna get banned. Negative things about me for weeks. Now you're gonna try to pile on. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Stop it. Don't pile Where on, man. If you really don't let me, just leave. Don't sit here and keep saying negative stuff, man. I mean it. Negative things about me for weeks. Now you're gonna try to. How weird this on, is, on, dude. especially dude, when he don't read the message. If you, if, if you really don't let me, just leave. Don't sit here and keep saying negative stuff, man. I mean it. Who knows what he said, man? Who knows what this dude said? I managed not to belch the whole interview. No, I muted. How do you read that? You, they're using a You couldn't read the last program. message that you overreacted to. Controls are giant. A buttons. streaming program. So when I felt like I had to burp, I muted the mic and then burped and then giant came Giant button. It's very easy to do. There's a difference between doing that and doing it. I'm like, right now, if I was going to burp, I could go, okay. But if I'm gaming over here, I can't go do that. Well, and that's we actually lost like when, I'm bur when I'm burping or whatever. Wow, you lean into the mic to do it. I'm doing it when I'm playing a game. He's big explaining saying? how his burps work. Double J did a super chat. Why don't you steal Keem's idea, create an exclusive podcast without him? Why did you already stole his idea? The task of contact You're on level one. Team? I outright again, I'm, I, I would do something with Boogie and Wings. I would. That was Double J was your name, by the way. I think. Thank you for the super chat. I would do something with Boogie and Wings for sure. And the three of us could work it out together. We don't need Keem. I don't even know what the value added is for Keem. I don't understand it. Just us doing a, a podcast on YouTube ourselves would be successful. Why do we need him involved? Why is he going to take a cut? It's annoying, too, how he act like he wished he could mute himself him easily. Involved. Because you know serious. if he could find a way or if somebody gave him a way, he wouldn't You're do absolutely it. absolutely right. If give, serious, give this dude a boomer, boomer button. Right. Actually, so one Keem button that's two now, feet I was going to say Keem, wide. To contact Dark Side Phil. My life ends USB. Right now until I talk to the Give man. it to him. He, thinks he's that he pushed that button and mutes him. Yeah, he still wouldn't use it. I can't I find the button. Where's the button? I'm playing a game, you guys. How am I going to push a button? When, a button when I'm playing games? I got a dollar tip. Correct. He can fucking check tips when he play games. Sell the fact. No, that's different. No, I'm not. I already explained. It was a depressing Everything's time in my different. life. Everything's different. Negative associations. I don't like talking about it. My wife doesn't want to hear about it. Why well, didn't you say it on the stream? It's not happening. <clears throat> hey, why when they made a masturbation joke and his internet died, why didn't he come back and say that shit, that shit not all right? <laughs> I'm just thinking of things he could have done. He didn't do anything. He looked like a pineapple. Why didn't he say, yo, that shit not cool, bro? He uh, want to tell us for the thousandth time it's not okay. We know it's not okay. Maybe tell some new people it's not me. okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about the man. You I can't do not do that. care about the man. I, I, I don't want to keep bringing him up. Could you guys like not mention him anymore? I don't care about the man. I don't want to Game talk star about again for the rest of the show. It's a waste ah, of yes. time. His stream basically done now. He probably already logged out. Oh shit, Michael he didn't. Cortez is a podcast with Ewing's Boogie and Review it's Tech. Close. Why do we need Review Tech? Why do we need Review Tech? Of all the people involved there, I think Review Tech would be the least interesting. Right? I don't know. You tell me. I don't think he adds anything either, to be honest. honest. Okay. Yeah. So, from one to another. Harley Cody's, I think it went extremely well. All right. Do we have any moderators? King Goku, you're here, correct? King, King Goku, can, can you ban some people? Here. He's one of my moderators. I'm curious. What did you think, King Goku? Did you watch the show? And what did you think really? Or did you not see it? Nobody wants to know what King Goku can think about anything, man. We already blue bubbles. What are you talking about? We did that long time. King Goku is not responding. Are there Look at how he, oh my god, he gave him not even a real I life I thought I'd set it up to have low latency, but it seems and like there's more latency uh, on the stream. Maybe he's I set it panicking up. about his latency uh, now. I don't think I can check that now, though. It seems like you guys are reacting uh, slower to me than usual, a usual stream. If King Goken was talkative in the chat, DSP knows, and he's acting like he don't know, 100%. King Goken said, I thought the interview was fair, way longer than I thought it would. Oh, no, I thought it was going to go long. I knew it, man. I knew it was going Damn, long. that was a based opinion. Uh, a based on what? You're lying to them. There you go. And King Goku says, send them the screenshot. Charge X says, there is a delay right now. I wonder what happened. Maybe I didn't click the button that says, you know, be live. He's not on Mixer. No shit, it's a delay. Oh, yeah. It's, I didn't click it. It's, it's set to normal latency, guys. That's why. I'll fix that for tonight's stream. Wow. Apparently right now. Sorry about that. I, I don't, how did that happen? Void, I already answered the question. Why are you asking me the same question again? What was the question? Right? 
Why are you asking me this? You same should question? read it. It's one message he didn't read from the whole stream that he responded to. One message when he said that the dude was being negative and that they've been negative for the last week or something. He read everybody else's message he talked to, <clears throat> except that one now. So now it's two messages. Fuck you, Void. Put you on a leaderboard, though. Talk to those guys again. Mr. Oink says, I don't see how screenshots would affect anything. 10 out of 10, I would not talk to those guys again. Okay. Tremendously. Again, it's a weighing of short-term game versus long-term impact. All right? It's dual. It's dual thing going on. Thing number one, doing business with someone who I don't respect, whose content I don't like, who I feel has made a lot of blood oh money on the internet. God. Payment for Keemstar that. again, by the way. I'm not okay with that. He's number talking two, about Keemstar again. Me now putting myself out there. As he a told us to not talk about him and not bring um, him up. And people who only like come three times. Him. Imagine this. I'm talking Imagine about him like eight times. Imagine this cast, correct? It correct. blows up in popularity. It gets tons of attention. Imagine I do something, time. correct? Now, Why are you saying correct? Is this a fucking new tick? But literally everyone correct? Ha ha, you're a lol cow. Ha ha. Troll, 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 troll. Immediately, we lose what we have. We lose the interactivity. We lose the meaningful nature of my streams because I put myself out there as a lol cow. Oh boy. You know what I'm saying? Like that could completely change the way that people perceive who I am and what I do. They right already, now, everyone makes fun of me as a you know, okay, laughing stock of the internet. That's fine. Okay. But I do have dedicated fans. I don't want to ruin that for my fans. Fan? I don't want to ruin you what I have right now. I worked 15 years to have this. Why should I throw that all out for short-term personal gain? That doesn't seem to make much sense to me. You know what I mean? Can you imagine if there were 2,000 people in this chat right now all talking with troll messages? How the hell do I even do a show? Right? Is that? Do you guys understand that line of reasoning that I'm saying here? No, Chris, I had zero clue that Keemstar was going to appear on the show. Zero. So you got ambushed. But you disagree when somebody said that. Yes, Big Papa Phil, it was supposed to be called the Lal Cow Podcast. Like, an ambush don't have to be bad. Insulting name on purpose. It could be a good so ambush, too. That's exactly what the premise of the show was. If I get called on Discord by Jesse 51 and he's like, we got to take a shot, Tevin. You're, you're right about selling stuff. We got to take a shot right now. I, I got like 50 gift subs. Dude, that would be a great well, ambush. I don't really care about review tech's personal issues. I don't know why I even bring that up on my stream. What does that have to do with me? I'm not review tech, nor do I care about his issues. When did I last have pizza? I think my wife and I made one of those oven pizzas the other night. One of those <laughs> oven pizzas. I don't know why you're asking Five. me that. <laughs> Very pertinent question. Which is one of the best things you can get in life. It's like being kissed on a forehead. <laughs> me and my wife made one of those. Oven pieces. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe DSP. Maybe he say microwave pizza too when he mean really, really shitty small pizzas. But oven right, pizza is definitely hitting tonight, different. If we, if we do yakuza, see you later. Like a great. radiation, we'll see. I wonder oven if the, if the, pizza. the blob will have died down for tonight's stream. Subs. We could actually have like a. He was just to avoid and saying or like frozen if we pizza too. Wasn't take the whole day to decompress or not? So I have no idea. In oven <laughs> pizza. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. We'll do a poll during the break. They're all oven pizzas. Craig's idea about sponsors not necessarily being shilling is a good point. Yeah, I mean, but, so wait, all what do you mean? What was his idea? His point was just be, if you're with Keem, he'll get you sponsors or whatever. He's in 20 minutes with no oven. Sponsors for your stuff. It was only for his show. First you crack you the see? egg. It will be very delicious in the end. Nice metal jacket, Daniel Sam. I agree. The interview gave me more respect for you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So fair play would have been easy to quit. Big ups. I could have got, I trash got man. Got the five get the subs. Again, I have been through it all. Two, I'm not afraid nine, of anything, man. One, I'm seven, not. seven, eight, nine. No one on first the internet's going to scare me away. Smoky Trails, you know, first month. <clears throat> Cowboy Smack, second month. Eurezia, fourth month. And Damien, 35. The fifth month. Oh, God. I got to eat five beans. And I only have spice in this mouth. talking about being real and snorting. The bean gimmick going away crazy. extra fast. Can I ask you guys an honest question? Can I really? And I know it's going to take a while to get answers. All right? Well, I got to pause before this. We're going to have the snort question answer. It's going to be really difficult to see what these are. We got a uh, possibly habanero. The habanero bean. I should spin a wheel. I don't know. Well, that was habanero. This is the cayenne pepper bean. 
we have the Carolina Reaper Bane. We have the Hot Up Ringo Bane. And we have the Sriracha Bane. All right. Yes. I've been making content for 15 yes. years. Correct? I have been, right? So I don't stop being words. You're gonna get banned. <clears throat> Since day one, the first couple videos I put out, I was sick. I was sorry. Oh, you let people when they do that Most in DSP chat, so I'm gonna away. do it to you. It gets better or worse depending on weather, uh, humidity. Other factors. It just so happens today I didn't have it. I thought I might have had it because I didn't wake up early and I thought my body would react badly. So what is the big deal about this? The post nasal jam, the snorting. What is that's like making fun of someone? Okay, it gets better or worse depending on weather. He's completely taking uh, this the wrong way. We lost. Other factors. It just so happens today I didn't have it. I thought I might have had it because I didn't wake up early and I thought my body would react badly. So what is the big deal about this? They the would just point out that he didn't snorting. snort during the interview. That's like making fun of because someone he didn't. Can't help, right? Right? Because he, oh, he couldn't he's help it. I don't get it. If someone could explain, he fucking helped it during an interview. This thing is, you know what I'm saying? Big purple pickle did a super chat. You're afraid of anime boobs. Yes, I'm terrified. Dark a lot of people can't help stuff. Really tried to help you out, but, but that don't mean you have to person. do it they in the video. I don't right, know. Thank you for that. See here. The spice is kicking in. This is why I just Plain went ahead and ate all five of them. labels you a loud cow. Because spreading it out would have just been worse. How you portray yourself on the internet. I. These beans, man. Content, my I don't right, know which one I hate most. Right now, the spicy ones or the nasty ones. On a hat and a vest, which doesn't matter. It's just still me under it. What exactly Probably is the spicy ones, to be honest. Right now? Am I freaking out reacting like an... Because you eat like one or two. Top. You can say that's lol college, but for the most part, you my feel content it. today, it's nothing like that. If I do a lol college cast, you're literally creating that environment. Everyone will just say, well, he's on the cast, you know? And that's it. Now you're the joke, right? That celebrity... The reason that Boogie and Wings are doing that boxing match... Can we be honest about this? They are desperate. Boogie has said it outright. He's Why didn't you say it on stream? Bad straights right now. He doesn't know what he's going to do moving Bro, forward. Bro, what? He lost all his money. They need. I want to rewind back to the part where he basically said he didn't want to assume that these dudes were basically down bad. We we had this happen. Something along the lines of, well, I don't want to assume that he's like doing bad, but you know. And and now he's like, well, he's doing bad. Man, I don't know. This dude, fucking full face. He's not two face, three face, four face. He's full face. F O. What he's gonna do? Moving forward from no F O E. Because he's everyone's foe. They need it. They can't. They they don't know what they're gonna do. Right. What a fake fuck. Right. As of now, I'm not an insane. Literally talk directly to King Star. Sure. Why didn't you call him a shill? Why am I going to degrade myself down and ruin? He spent 15 years calling a whole internet a shill, and he's talking and talking to the main one. Think it's worth it. Don't call him anything. He should have told him to fucking talk about G Fuel. Of course, I can use the help, but again, it's short-term gain versus long-term perspective. What's the point of getting a short-term help if it dries up within a year or whatever? Right? It's a one-time deal or whatever. Maybe there'll be some residuals on the show. I think the, what's the point no, of doing that? I'm still then, feeling the bean, the bean spice. I can't even do a normal stream anymore. All my hardcore fans who literally support me through it quit because they're like, I don't want to, hey. I can't, it's ruined. Every time I go to fill streams, it's a bunch of trolls. I got an interesting question. This would be an interview question. Shit. It can't be an interview question if I ask on stream. So we're going to dedicate the question to Scuff Jake's resub. Uh, two months in a row. Five total. Big ups. Okay. Was it? Or was it not short term game? Short term game? Game? When he went across the country to get married and got a bunch of money from his mama. And she said, uh, you have to get a job in 10 years. What was it exactly? Yes. Because you don't have money from that anymore. No, she's so, uh, yes. I don't know. Yes. Like, That's my I interview know, question. Do a stream but I can't send it in now. Fans who literally support me through it, quit. But DSP, like, don't. DSP don't want short term game. Short term game. Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I can't. He, it's ruined. Every time I go to fill streams, it's a bunch of trolls. You don't want that. A okay. cow choking about Chop. disgusting stuff. I can't put up you with it. Take a I, I do, sorry. I don't think it would be short term if you get 2,000 views and it's people saying, LOL, you're stupid. That's my take. I'm pretty sure that's not short term. Bruce.
DLX did a super chat. Taking a bunch of money from your mama he did make a good is point. The definitely short term, though. No. Especially if you fucking spend it anything. before a year pass. Okay. Correct. Fair enough. God damn it, dude. That's okay. I'm just being Boy, a troll. Super chat. You're, you're fucking thinking out, morals. out of context. We really need it. it would help you with taxes. That's why I think you, you're not thinking. <laughs> taxes. Okay. Oh, I was thinking. Trust me. I was thinking. There was a lot of thinking going on. For sure. A ton of thinking. Uh, Great way to talk about it. I appreciated it. King Goken, I, I see I disagree. I don't think your fans would leave. I think they would. I think what's happened is we've now... Over the last several years, we've created a community here on DSP Gaming, and now we're growing a new community over on DSP Reacts, correct? Oh, man. Um, and this is a community that is the reason Pignosis. I do this. As I, as I said on the show, and I've said this with you to you guys many times, I love what I do. Actual okay, Why not just quit? I don't, quit. Quit. You want me to quit doing what I love because of these people on the internet being disgusting to me. What? Quit. No, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to succeed past Correct. this nonsense. You see? I, I, why would I quit? I love it too much. So if it means, oh, success by what, what it means. I, I hate it. By Keemstar, now everything's ruined. No. That's not success. I wish I had a stress ball that's every time I hear the correct. Some, that's like saying, I'm General Electric. I am a wow, company great. that makes electronics. He went on this rant legit well, like eight years ago. This is a Tevin video segment one day. Well, you at want one to point, DSP finance. We could do that. You want to do DSP finance? Actually, I think it was probably a bad idea. That podcast, uh, hey live, hey so live. When I'm making here, a lot of people have issue with that. I'm like, gonna give you know, an analogy. Mean I'm changing to my General Electric business model. They used to make one thing, and they made another thing, and they almost went out of business, and they went back to making the one thing. And I would be or something of the sort. People would just leave me alone. And the guy that ran the company was a moron. They will not. You're right. Wow, so people that make a lot of money are stupid, I right? I know. I ignore the nonsense around DSP's me. DSP's one. Just keep nah. trying to be better, personally for myself, or I give up. So what's it going to be? Correct. Is it going to be push forward or give up? <laughs> uh, oh, no, not Quasi did a super chat. You're on your best behavior. Thank you, Quasi. Okay. Never had Last chance to enter the what giveaway for Gal Guardians Demon Purge really? on Steam. Think that, huh? You think I've never... It looks super cool. And you can play it for free. Just type exclamation mark enter. Wow. Anyway, thank you, Quasi. And followed by a number between 1 and 777. Kind of nice guy. There you go. No, what's funny is maybe Quasi is a first-time viewer for real. Maybe he only watches the detractor stuff. He's like, oh, you're just being nice now because, you know, all the eyes are on you. Um, I don't actually, think you know what a first-time viewer is. This is actually exactly what it's like on a regular stream. He really, really. You know what? Whatever, I get it. I received another it's some tip. people that don't know what a real DSP stream is. But come on, Logan man. I wouldn't go to another interrogation. They're not your friends. You don't need to show They you only watch troll stuff, but they don't know what my stream is like. Bro, the troll stuff made out of your stream. You think we're like sewing clothes together? Like we're making a new thing. Truly a made a new thing. It's pretty interesting. I welcome this opinion. I don't know. Input. I only had one shot. Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies. I am alive and I need your. 1985. 1982. 1986. I was close. Ah, yes. Input. I want to hear your. I love input. Short Circuit. Please continue. To give me, I'd never heard of it, but I knew it was a fucking. Uh, I knew it was a movie older than me. Of course it is. Benjamin says, "No offense to it, you, it always I is. Think yes. a million dollar market for a podcast between me. We got Hulu. So remember what? Yo, remember that? I forgot that happened. Dang. Okay, we had that one part in the stream where the dude asked about his business expenses or something, something, something in, and he talked about it." And he said he had a Hulu and he started saying something yes. else and then they stopped him and we never went back to it. They fucking helped them. They fucking helped them. I forgot that shit happened. So, yeah, this dude got Hulu and HBO Max and whatever else. Amazon Prime too. Yes. factually got all three of those. You can't watch something newer than 1999. Is new is media really that bad? 
Okay. Maybe. I don't. Th- I, I That's agree. That's why I play games. Here's what would happen. Every time that that podcast gets serious, no one cares. But yeah, Only he was about to go over happened. some real specific and lore. He was... And I am not a dra- Mr. Drama. They helped him you know, by basically saying no. We're insulting each other. We're pulling I forgot that shit happened, man. You know what I mean? I can't wait to watch you know, this again what, for a 10-hour video. If it's a serious podcast... It's, it's going to be the last guys, Tevin video. The last pre-recorded the Tevin video. Listen to that. Uh, I probably wouldn't listen to it. And I'd be on the show. I'd have I was close. about to blow up. <laughs> Can we get prayer you hands know? and shit? As a matter of fact, guess what? Promotion segment part two. If swollen underscore underscore dingus can get five new followers, I will take a shot of whiskey. It's a wild sample. Yeah, I remember fight night. If five people follow swollen underscore underscore dingus, I will take a shot of um, beverage. I think it's already five at this point. We got Turbo. Uh, get Stompus. Suspicious name. Maybe I shouldn't have read it. Frog in a tuxedo. Uh, Mr. Katron. You better take a sip. We need one more. Can you feel the sunshine? Big ups. You better take a sip. Uh, thanks for the extreme positivity. You better take a sip. We will be taking one shot. I still got my strange drink you from this strange place. You better, you better, take, you better a take a sip. You better take a sip. Let me get a fucking glow on a dog shot glass. You better take a sip. You better, you better take a sip. The word of the day is thousands. You know how to count, right? Yes. Correct? Yes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. Yes. Yes. All right. We dedicate this shot to all the super chill and cool and positive individuals. Uh, the dingus is worldwide. The people taking the bag with hashtag at. Which remind me, I got to do a poll on what game to play. This is going to be, uh, we're going to have a gaming segment in the stream too. What the fuck is that? And I know what games I can put in the poll. All hashtag ads. Uh, what else? I don't know. Literally everybody. We also dedicate this shot to uh, Craig and uh, Beanie Man and the Grove Street Ballas and uh, Derek and Jade. Seven six five four three two one. Let's go. You better take a sip. 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 I don't think there's a market there for that at all. I agree with you there. I think the the popularity of the show would be based upon us being lol cows and doing lol Lol cows. So what would happen is after one week... The whole decompression is just drama. So here you go. Here's all the shit we got, all the stunts we got to pull at, you know, personal risk and all this stuff. No. Oh, yeah. Last, last, last chance to enter the giveaway. Exclamation Arkham's mark enter interview. They need followed by a number between Adam 1 and 777. You if you want to win, Tyler enjoyed the Gal Guardians. Let's see. Mr. Oink says, do you feel like they were ganging Mr. up on you? Mr. Oink. So wild Such show. a good name. I don't feel like they were... Again, that was the premise of the show. Do you not understand what the premise of the show was? That was what the show was supposed to be. Yeah, Edie by when she got to do a playthrough of it. A full playthrough. And then all of a sudden, the out devs of the probably blue, they're asking the me these questions. That was what the show was. That was, you know, the whole idea. You know, the dudes that made this. still is a standard what guess. they made? At all. Oh, they made a lot of games. Gal Gun and all of that. Right? 
You're a fucking Dude, I love degenerate. Galgun. I got a $5.77 tip. I love anime. I'm a long time detractor. I don't believe a lot of the things you said in the interview, but Keemstar is a snake. What you witnessed tonight was a classic. Yeah, another tactic. fake one. Turns up to an opening hey, Phil, uh, I don't like you, but here's some money. Hey, Phil, I'm a long-term detractor. Here's some money. What? Exactly. What I, what I, that's uh, what I uh, to contact me legitimately. Hmm. Honestly. Do you want to know why Keemstar appeared on that podcast? There's two reasons. You the first reason is because uh, he wanted to promote I'm not trying to spill too much money. sauce. And but it's a term for when people uh, break podcast. the rules of a gang, basically. And the second thing was because and, uh, said, we got to do something that I do. If, if they're if they're what they say they are, deal, he never would have went on that podcast. It had nothing to do with him. Nothing. He would have. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> no big. No big deal. The dark side fully ignored. It's me. gonna be boot to ass. Again. When you're an egomaniac, right? When you're an We're gonna turn him upside down and get that five dollars back. You, you, you. Then literally, <laughs> the when hell, man. doesn't. Go along These with you. people, and, and it's literally and bait too. Like, drop everything to talk to him. The literal oh bait. Oh my god, that's a slight. So I don't now take like, the bait well, anymore, you guys. I'm chill. This guy again. Let me appear on his podcast show and dump a bunch of stuff. Right? Correct. He proved it with his actions on that show. <laughs> right and correct. Do you right? my last question? Then snorting, and you know it. Actually, I just saw the snorting. On snorting, it's disrespectful to viewers and easily avoidable. It is not easily avoidable <laughs> We at need all. DSP I, correct to be an emote in this chat. Post-nasal. I will, snort, I will cough. Repeat it's wild. It. For the last air, week, it will I thought I wasn't even going to really pay stop. attention to this interview. Snort, you I thought I was going to be playing games. You Maybe every 20 minutes, I would ha have to pay attention to something. But the whole time, I was on the edge of my seat. Blow. Okay. From the beginning, literally from the first five minutes of the stream. Shit was crazy. Oh my god. Thank you. Second everyone, fucking bubble blow. For the support. I have about 20 minutes left before I have to go for dinner. And I'll be back later tonight. All right. I wonder how much you're gonna talk to Cat about this. Another stream. Maybe I'll put a poll up um on the channel page to determine what you guys want. Do you want gameplay tonight or just another kind of talking? I'm not sure what we want to do yet. All right. He's always teasing, always getting some extra interaction. Vesper says, do you feel there's a subset oh, yeah. of people who are trying to gaslight you? Uh oh Being overly positive of you and critical of the advice. Crazy uh -oh. I don't work at me. I well, don't know. A lot of people in here, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, now you don't know anything. I agree with, agreeing with them. Um, I don't see that. Again, oh, I, I disagree. I think that the show was fine. I, this dude's so fucking smart until he had the dumbest. The Truly the dumbest. Guest. And if I was okay with how it went, in a good way. Why wouldn't like you the dumb way? You're I mean, you can formulate your opinions however you guys want. I thought it was good. I thought that's what I was going for, you know. The interview is already up to watch. They made it they made it live. It's an archive. There you go. You can go watch it right now on side scrollers. Check out some Yeah, they're not Grinchers. Uh, they're not gonna upload fifteen parts. Check out some of it during the break, right? No, we're not doing Wo Long. That's for the love of God. Don't have no, part two happen. Today, two so. months from now, man. And it's no anything, way. The next main daytime. I hope they rush it. It would make sense to. They have to. Why Hogwarts would like man stop? Two streams away from finishing Hogwarts. Like we actually, Hogwarts, man, stop. Right? Get it out of the way so we can move on to other <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's my opinion. Man, stop. See so another tip. Wow, you guys are being amazing. Twenty bucks. Twenty. Okay, you don't. You're not that high. Enjoy the interview. I think you're correct. A podcast with Boogie and Wings. Would not be successful without silly lol cow crap. Keemstar was very, very, very You know what? Why can't this is a kind of a lame question, but I'm asking it anyway. Because he basically told us he put on an act when he rage at games, but then simultaneously he don't. And then also at the same time, he's literally the realest fucking gamer, realest motherfucker on the internet. Not even realest gamer. This dude called himself the realest motherfucker on the internet. No, I can't. Yeah. What the fuck it do, nigga? Because World Conqueror, you missed no, everything. It was mad toxic and pretty scary. And hello, Koya, first time chatter. You here at the perfect time. I'm uh, I'm shell shocked, but also very composed about what happened during the stream. Well, pray for you for doing that. Nito, I enjoyed the interview. I think you're correct. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Why the hell can't this dude put on an act or play it up when people give him money? If he allegedly, apparently, possibly, maybe, kinda exaggerate his rage when he losing the game 
Like that shit pissed me off, man. It actually that that's the one thing that genuinely pissed me off. When we have long term booking and he fucking just back out on it. Well, I wasn't really mad at Kojima. I was just putting on an act. Why would you put on an act if you think people are going to come to your house and kill you because of it? Because people made fucking videos editing your dumb gameplay. And you said that those people are going to pull up and kill you and that they were crazy. Why would you put on an act after this? Why would you continue to put on an act if you think it's threatening your life? How you put on an act for 15 years? And then it's not because you say you're real. Like, no. And that's just one thing. This dude retconned so many things. So many things for no fucking reason. With Boogie and Wings would not be successful without silly lol cow crap. Keemstar was very, very, very disingenuous as usual. Pray for you for doing that. I So then you saw the thing like, what's even real? Swago Nito. <laughs> like I'm hallucinating when I watch DSP streams sometimes. What's even real? Was it real when you say Kojima was this? Or were you just joking? Or was it real when you said he was that? You never really, like, why can't you be happy, like, fake happy? You can be fake angry, but not fake happy. You can artificially be upset, but not artificially happy. You can't get $20 and say, oh, my God, $20. Holy shit. Thank you for the 20 You can't do that. I'm just saying it wouldn't be. But you can fucking exaggerate being mad at Wo Long. No way. That's convenient. It would have to be antics. It would have to be drama and antics. Don't worry, Bushu or Bear. We're supposed to have a part two. Guys talking about video I actually games. sent in it's a bunch of questions. Okay. I'm not going to say what they are because if but I do, again, then somebody else could ask it and it's going to ruin stars, my, uh, my point. Be holding but they're great questions. Forever. Because then he could even tout, I was the reason. I pulled you out of the situation you were in. So you're going to do what I say. You're talking about Keemstar again? Constantly. It could not just be three guys talking about video games. No it's fucking way. Okay. He is. And again, if I do the show and oh, Heemstar is involved, I would be beholden to Heemstar forever. Forever. That's what my rapper would say. Even tout. I was the reason. I pulled you out of the situation you were in. So you're going to do what I say forever because, yeah, you're beholden to me. Do you understand? You're going to do what I say forever. That's exactly the kind of guy he is. That's why I would not do that. Does Keemstar do that to other people he interact with? And arms uncrossed. Keemstar was going to give him a 360 deal. And he was going to give him a chain. My first chain, I bought it. First oh, chain you got. $6.66 Another tip. frog bought it. From Laquisha. <laughs> Laquisha. Thank you for a fun and fancy free interview. There you Laquisha. go. Laquisha. Let's fucking go. Laquisha. That's Dingus, friend. That is very nice. Dingus. Fun and fancy free. Why the fuck Laquisha tip in DSP? That was fun and fancy free. Not once. You're lucky I don't know who that is. So I would email her. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, I saw what happened on uh, Phil's stream. You all right? Take a sip. The coffee sip. Yes. Showtime said Phil was a setup. I'm positive they had Keem laying in the cut. They had Gundam pre recorded. What? They had a ton of uh, detractors laying in the and cut. They played one. <laughs> That's all they got to. Time was time ran out. Yeah, they were probably gonna do a segment of it, and yeah, that did not work. They ran out of time. Interesting way to word it. I mean, shit. I want to send in a recorded question. If I do it, I'm not sending all of mine in. I like gotta that. figure out if next time if there's. I want to have secret questions. Show. Like I know that people I don't know I asked him. I'm going to tell you after. Adam sometimes able to I thought it's ahead of time. Like he's able Dude, to I even was going to give away some money. I'm still doing it. And, stuff, and I don't know how to do that. Like, I, I was the first the person. I'm pretty sure I emailed Craig. Service, and I was like, man, I wish I had known. The question. In, you know, that one. I don't know how even thing. how to do that. To look at it. Um, I'll explain it. A $2.50 tip. I explain everything on my stream. I understand why Keem acted like a... Why Keem acted like a victim. You literally told him the times you're available for a call. Then they asked why you wouldn't answer the phone while you're streaming. It's unprofessional to drop what you're doing live and answer a phone call. You spent years on the channel. I feel like they didn't respect that. They said, what was so important you couldn't answer the phone? Yeah, it was my, it's called my yeah, job. Yeah, I got my me. That's what was so important. Well, Sorry, I can't drop my cheer. job. And again, Ten, I didn't even know that it was him. I didn't have his I phone number. I talked to Subaru, man. Did so he I say sussy no stuff? Did I just well, screw that up? Almighty cap, almighty cap. No. 
It's correct. Basically, the stuff no he idea. said was the stuff I talked about in the video. Him calling me. What am I hearing? Is this a P fan no. clip song? He didn't leave a voicemail. Oh my god, it's he a song. Called and a missed call. Again, there's so many things. So they freed the guys. What he said, but because he's Keemstar, we're hearing something like one percent anyway. Whatever, dude. I got a ten dollar tip. Oh, let's see. I think to myself all the time. If you I can just go back and look at the messages with me and Superu, man. I don't agree that with that. Detractors will never change their minds. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Works. Pretty likable and trustworthy. Has a dedicated viewer base like Craig Vouch for you. You literally have no allies or anyone with an audience who would defend you online. Huh? I'm going to make it a sub goal. You mean right now? I'm going to confront Superu, yeah, man. no one knows. No one cares. Hey, bro, you was who hidden, cat? Cares? That shit ain't cool, bro. No one cares I don't fuck about the WWE champions, bro. but my detractors. Why do they care? Cause that's the it's going to be boot to ass. He's going to get cheated like that other that's dude exactly that gave him $5 earlier. Really. <laughs> for them, folks. It's, you know, 100% the gravy train for them. They keep uh, it cool. In Fortnite. Rolling, rolling, We're going to do 1v1 you in know. Fortnite. I'll see you tonight, Willow. Sounds good. See you tonight, left, Willow. Is any, any final things you want to ask? Any things you want to say? Any contributions? Uh, anything? Now would be the time before I take my break. See you tonight, right? Willow. <laughs> <laughs> it was one specific one. I'll see you tonight, Willow. Sounds good. I think it was the Ghost MC one. Because I could role play and act like I'm literally asking it, and then it could literally be asked. I just reworded it a little bit. Dino Crisis from PS1. Maybe we've played it before. I don't know why that's being asked now. <laughs> What's for dinner? Alive. A Mexican bake. Mexican bake for dinner. There was no golden opportunity to debunk everything. There it's was. This never happened. <laughs> it's never happened. There was no perfect opportunity to do this. No matter what Ghost I said and did on that show, they are the winner. He would continue it of the uh, <sighs> thing. Do I like Street Fighter? Duel? This was real. I wasn't um, fooling around. I think it's okay. It's a good time killer game. Is exactly what it is. The best it's, question from this you know, list. I reworded way, it slightly and sent it to Craig. Different. Like I said, I've spent so am I get it bucks on it. The dollar the here, two. the dollar there to get a, you know the freebie packs or whatever. The, but the, 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 uh, hold on. The question basically was something something criminal. Let's see. Do you still consider me a criminal for reacting and criticizing your content when you yourself? Do this for special react events on other on other streamers Free such as Wings and Project, as well as doing react streams every week on DSP Reacts. Now I could uh, I could figure how he would answer this. Like this is like almost I could see him giving a snow carl a snow carl style response to this. But I mean, obviously he got to say no, right? But what else could he say? Well, of course I didn't mean he was a criminal, right? Like, I don't think he's going to have literal police officers pull up to his house and take him and arrest him for making fun of my content. But I was saying, like, you know, like, technically it is, like, like factually illegal. We're going to get some shit like that. Low charge packs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some actual um, garbage. And I've been playing it. Actual you know, garbage. Characters and everything. I'm not going to talk about it at length or tell you, tell you my account or anything about, you know, that extent because you know exactly what would happen. You know I mean, no, let's not be stupid here, right? We know what the detractors would do with that. Return on that on the Steam but Spring it's Sale. It's an okay game. It, it's not even like Street Fighter at all. It plays it's nothing okay. like Street it's Fighter. Worth it's worth like it for tap, full price. Uh, like, like Adam said. Hey, you're talking about like mobile games. RPG, but you don't even have to tap. It just auto plays itself. It does. It auto plays. You, you build your team, you build your order. Of like how this how don't help the case fight and then the game just plays you so you spend 15 hours on a game that plays itself that that's street fighter i don't know it is cool to have a you really out here playing auto ballast bro like you know what i'm saying like you know what's funny i don't know how funny it is people recommend it an auto auto battler is what i'm calling it that one game that people like a whole lot damn me calling it that you might be able to think about it you already seen it you've seen it in your head Vampire or something. I love vampires. Vampire survivors. It's on Game Pass. You basically just kind of have to move your thumbstick, right? Like, come on. Multiple people, at least a dozen real humans, say he should stream this game. Never streamed it. Oh, it's just some indie game. It's a fucking little indie game. 
It's a meme game. But this dude out here in his free time, which is supposed to be more valuable than his stream time, he out here in his, in his free time playing some way lamer, way lamer, like factually lamer. If this is a 10, that fucking shit he playing is like a 2.5, a tree at best. What the hell is this? Cocky. Play his own stream versus Chalupa one day. Duck game. Big ups. Thanks for the Steam gift. I can only assume you sent it to Chalupa. And if not, uh, get his Steam account and send it to him. But yeah, Vampire Survivors is definitely, probably, factually, uh, what's another word for probably? More than likely, way better. Like, come on. It's cool. Why didn't he play that? All your favorite Street Fighters are in it. Play a stupid stream. He should play it for free stream. It's cool to see like the Street Fighter, and they're portrayed pretty accurately. Like you know, Zen you're a fucking degenerating pile driver, and you know, Dalsim will do a yoga flip. Now he's hyping it up. He's legit hyping the game up. That he had that. I don't know. Oh, it's so cool, man. They look like the real characters. And kind of you know, Dalsim looks like Dalsim from a Street Fighter game. Zangief. He grabs people. Pepsi underscore added cheered. It's nothing to write home about. If you want that's a game but it's like for kid you, horse oh, I want to talk about Street Fighter <laughs> Duel okay you do it once ever there's Wrestling nothing Empire else to say you know what I mean it's you boring don't already it's grindy it's all mighty kith okay I don't think I have oh uh, I got an $11.55 tip I got a demo of it a lot of podcast would be great I might have this on my PS5 comedy no extra shenanigans needed you did well in the interview this is coming from a detractor and I never it played it because I gotta turn on the PS5 I appreciate that and thank you for the tip again you guys are awesome Mm, right. If I do, it's like, dude, I could just play it. Here we go. Oh All right. God. A few more minutes, guys. Man, I got to pee. <laughs> I did pee between the streams, but man, I got to pee again. I drank two bottles Damn it. of non-carbonated okay, water. <laughs> two bottles. I am like about to burst. I thought one of them had coffee. Oh my lord. Oh, it's... What? I'm playing myself. It's over. The trolls won again. Do you guys think we should just we should do a normal stream tonight? Let's do a poll. If in the only chat. I could check the PS and app right on now my phone. Here, over 600 people still here. A lot of people are leaving. Now. I gotta see if I have that game already. Though. I know I have what some specific on? wrestling games on my PS5. Thanks for the fresh style, chill style, urban style content. Two hours. Please tell me this will chatting. be archived. But I can't, I can't log in on PSN the right way. I forgot how to. Like a dragon, Ishin gameplay whoa we're doing a poll you guys want to see gameplay oh, right now let's see what you guys are going to vote for quasi did a super chat go drink your alc keep the change what like how did ALC? i not sign in correctly what does that mean what am i doing wrong i don't know i got banned but thank you for the super chat quasi. what psn bro No, we're not playing anything else tonight. It's either Like a Dragon or we're going to do the, the Everybody Decompress stream. Because here's the thing. Tomorrow, I am 100% back into the regular schedule. It's going to be Hogwarts on the first stream and either Like a Dragon or Oblivion on the late stream. Saturday, we're doing my React stuff. It's all normal schedule for the rest of the week. <laughs> and I basically want to get this done with. Meaning, I don't want to keep carbonated about water about all day. I know some people will be bringing it up occasionally. But I, I want to spin really on it, you think? talk about what just happened. I want to just talk a about mini habit, basically. Right, get it out of the way, and then the rest of the week, we just go back to. Are we seat, wait? Okay? No, and that's my goal. No, hell, and we nailed by it. Big up to one K cat now, or the three thirty three. Mr. Wayne says, "Can we all hop in a Zoom meeting?" No. Scott Potato says, "Ishin is pretty uh, long." Thanks of a game. for the first style show, style urban style content. This stream, please tell me this will be archived. Big ups. You know, yeah, some people are going to be confused. There's no level one podcast today. I'm so consistent with that. I wonder how many people. Are Thankfully, like I've been so locally recording the whole time. That there's no podcast, right? So whenever right? he's done with this part, I could just hit stop record. <laughs> okay. Games are backlogged. Make progress on Ishin. Here, here's the thing, Scallop Potatoes. Eh, he don't want to play those and games. And Oblivion are in no rush, 
Right now, I would say the games that need to be finished are Hogwarts. I got to resend my Fiverr so thing, too. Done, my Fiverr guy Resident just Evil gave me a Friday, refund. And then maybe bring in... Metro they didn't want to fucking work with me, man. Uh, remake, I got a... Right? Remaster. Remaster. They're, they're racist. That would be good to daytime main gameplay streams. The I can't do go the video you sent me for this amount of money. Bro, like I didn't want you to copy it. it. I don't really feel pressure <laughs> there, you see? Whatever. So I could go Silver line, and this is a bunch right of people right that now, do the same thing. I just gotta send the same thing to another person and tell them, like, no, I don't want you to literally copy this. This is just a really good example of uh, a mood, a style, maybe, like a vibe. But damn, like if I send you a picture of I taste the gin, uh, gin a the yacht, me, I, I mean, not, you can give me a speedboat. I just want to move across the water. Taste it during my birthday. Do you know what I am saying? On April, well, if it happens on April. And they so told me, nah, I ain't giving you anything. I give you your money back. Yeah, leave me alone. Wow, man, thanks a lot. That's oh, what I wanted. Wow, that's pro exactly pro what I wanted. So helpful. Tip. I love the fact that the tractors want answers. They go to the interview without derailing the stream. And the Street Fighter Duel looks like an interesting game, especially with the Monster Hunter Universe crossover. I don't think I'm gonna do a sponsor stream of Street Fighter Duel. All cow podcast. I agree. It's not. That's the point. It's not supposed to be respectful. It's supposed to be an embarrassment. It's supposed to be make some money by embarrassing. I might have Wrestling body. Empire on my PS5 do you though. Think I know I have something because it's a bunch of wrestling games like that. Is going to be a like respectable that, boxing match, or do you think that, that it's a publicity stunt between two people who everyone knows are going to look ridiculous and probably put themselves at great personal risk? Everyone to do it? knows. Everyone. Mm. There you go. We're definitely leaning towards a decompression. Are we still live? Sure. Wait, 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 wait. It's Did autoplay happen? Percent. So. No shit. Auto play. Guys come back for the decompress stream. The Auto play. Show me for a couple of hours and talk. Oh, that's funny. I'm down for that. The raw restream is playing and lead now. Fuck. That was a mistake. Huh. <sighs> I have never watched the Fighting Cowboy or Rad Brad. No, I have not. No, I do not know who. Shout out to the Rad Brad. Wait a minute. Imagine not knowing the Beef God, the Beef Lord, the Elden Beef, Deller Lowell. I have never watched the Fighting Cowboy or Rad Brad. No, I have not. No, I do not know who Delor is. Nope, nope, and nope. He's still live? Nah, he got offline. DJ Academics live. John ja Morant. Morant? It's probably Morant. Captain Wolf, please, then gonna. No. Moon Moon playing Mario Make a Tears. I pay to see you fight Keemstar in a boxing match. Oh my god, you guys are something else. Watch me forever is you going guys down, are down, something baby. Else. Yo, shoot in a range roll. You pay to see me take someone's block off or someone take my oh, block yeah. off? That's what you want. You want DS, DS, DS Pugilist. What? Well, I fight like this. See, most people, they actually, like, they lead with their left, and they go for The fighting animation. We got a new animation unlock. This is going to record this up front. I'm not even going to think about it. fight like this. See, most people, they actually, like, they lead with their left, and they go forward with their... I fight the old... Ropa dope fisticuff style, the underhand style. You ever seen someone fight yeah. like this? This is the deadliest punching style. I don't know if you're aware of this. When you come from underneath, there's no defense. How are you blocking this? I'm gonna turn my PS. Right. Bro. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I wish you would have said uh, like, "Put him up, put him up," or something <laughs> like that. Chef D says, too bad you're not playing Bassmaster anymore. Would have been a perfect night for Yeah, we're not doing that anymore, sadly. <clears throat> I wonder if my PS5 just kind of hooked up still. Should be. A good reboot for KO Gaming, says Ken the Boss. Now, that's a good one. A good reboot for KO Gaming. The only video on the channel is me knocking someone out. Yeah, he could have hit us with a scrappy, dude. Out, I guess. We still work. The name. Put him up, put him up. 
Would I ever be inv involved in and creator uh, why content? Why I ought to... Anything else in the type of content creator event with other creators is Big Papa Phil. No one wants to be in an event with me, Big Papa Phil. Because of the trolling. Unless it's a lol cow related event, no one wants Big to Papa collaborate Phil. with me. Did you know that? Figure out how life works. That's very much the case. Okay? It's probably a console yeah, update since I'll turn this thing on. Oh my god, down thank down you Simon for becoming a channel Five member. Bits. Oh man, Forspoken. For me I need to play a PS5 game soon. I got Forspoken installed tonight, still. I love that game. PM Pacific time to relax with all of you. Ah, uh, yes. I hope that you all will, will join me tonight. got an update too. Um, and, you know, it looks like you guys want another decompressed session. It looks like wow, I'm so happy. Excuse I didn't expect like that. Vacation. Then tomorrow we'll get back to it. Tomorrow will be Hogwarts. Do you guys want a decompression like a session? Or Yakuza like a dragon ishin? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm just going I wonder why off of what you guys want. Whatever one one. Okay. And it's what you want. You better not show All up right, and say you're bored. Guys, thank you. Thanks I'm for gonna tell you that you wanted it. Decompress. You wanted this. I guess we'll come back and talk you wanted to decompress more tonight. Okay, I found a game. PM I have the AAW, good. Sounds good to you. which is Boy, Action Arcade Wrestling. I'm not playing a game. They actually bother me. Yeah, just to figure out what the game was. Time. Um, so I hope we'll relax tonight. Whatever you guys want to talk. You know what we could do? Holy crap. Place. We could do the Level 1 podcast tonight. I am, actually. Because we didn't get to do it. Oh, wow. That would be perfect. Now I'm excited. Oh, I can tell you about my day off. I can oh, tell man. You, yesterday. you might get me to stay up a little longer. News, right? And we, you know, we could have our interaction. Right. It's a longer segment, so it'd be a long. What's the name of that Miracast that, song? Somebody here might know. Somebody here know. That would work. I need that song. I, I can mind. It's probably like call like get the bag. Big, you know, again, open Q and A. Or quick money, or easy bucks, or some shit. Do that. Get the bag. Get the bag. Get the bag. Correct. Thank you, Wolf. Like for ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Play a chill game. That one. We're gonna have a chill stream tonight. I'm pretty sure I heard that like twice. Six forty-five. The level one. Well. The stream starts at 6.45, then we go Level to... Level uh, 2 at night. You know, then we go to the late night stream at around 7.15. Late night level podcast. 1. All right? And you didn't even think about there. it? We never got to email before. him. That's a first. You know what? Right? It's called Easy Money. A special edition. That's 100% post, it. Post side scrollers edition of the Level 1 podcast. I'll even set up the stream with the logo and everything. Yeah, Jay says, hell yep, let's do it. Sounds oh, good. Jay's Sounds excited. Like that was a good plan. I don't know how I came up with that. I probably stole it from someone. All right, guys, thank you very much. Okay. Let's end the show. Thanks for watching. See you tonight. I stole it from someone. I stopped recording. I actually with most DSP ideas. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for being a good audience. Thanks for watching their show. If you did watch it live, thanks for watching their show over there. And, yeah, uh, it was pretty wild. 3,000 views. Me. Hold on. I hope you when guys you think about it, tonight. that's the most PM, people. Time. See you then. Peace out, guys. Possibly. Hmm. This can't be the most people ever watch a DSP thing, right? I think it was. What the hell? Correct? Wait, where did that sound come from? Oh. That was my video finally finishing. Correct? I made a gift by accident. It was supposed to be an MP4. DJ Academic's computer breaks down a live stream. Fuck. Wait. This is why I like the illegal restream. It's not illegal. This is double illegal. Let's see. Did something sus happen or not? Nah? I do feel like. Oh. No. It's so loud. Look at all the cameras. Not even cameras, all of them monitors. All the cameras. They're having fun. And we're buffering. Oh, shit. Uh. Hell. Okay, we're good. It's still playing. It is.
I gotta make sure the video is actually capturing. The song sucks, but it don't. I think it suck more than it don't, though. Correct? gonna have easy money on loop yes what did, I, did I even pick a person for this giveaway uh, no I didn't all right I'm finally picking another winner for the giveaway Gal Guardians. I forget I don't have it on Steam. But Gal Guardians. I could actually play it now that I think about it. Hashtag ad. Classic game, obviously. I only play classics on this stream. If you don't, you're banned. I'm gonna play this wrestling game too. Because I never played it. Whoa, Midnight Suns. It's a lot of hashtag ad on this PS5. Why did I look at it? And PS Plus. Whoa, The Last of Us Part 1 PS5 Edition. I love that game. Imagine not being a part of the cult of Druckmann. Okay. You may be seeing and noticing the name of this game is different. It says Grim Guardians Demon Purge. They got like in trouble. Some other dudes own a thing called something similar to this. Which you may be thinking, it's like, wait a minute. But the game makes more sense being named Gal Guardians because it's like a Gal Gun spinoff, kind of. But uh, apparently, it was originally called Grim Guardians. And they were forced to change the name to Gal Guardians. Pretty cool, huh? Oh my lord. Is PSN broke or am I banned? I got PTSD. Update system software. Uh, I don't have enough space. Like, unironically. Just let me play the fucking game. Oh my god. This is why we don't play games. What do they want from me? Bruh. You're making me mad here. Uh. Ah, yes. <laughs> See? Nothing's wrong. It's supposed to happen. Doesn't 
another reason why it's pops ain't go. That's another reason why it's pops be told. I spot an op and I lead up with flow. Little way peace and it look like the ocean. Walk with a G, I keep it in motion. Yeah. Free the fucking orders, man. Free all the fucking orders, man. Free the fucking unit. Not G unit, nigga. Free the murder unit, nigga. Get money. It's gotta turn off like three times. Maybe four. Imagine just now showing up. Wow, you should have had a tab open the whole time. Unbelievable. Sadly, DSP is going to do another decompression segment, what, two hours from now? So I don't know how I feel about that. I might still be uh, streaming. But yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, God. You remind me. I can actually end this now. This epic... Uh, seven hour, 50 minute long archive type of deal.